Holy moly, dude. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. The stream isn't even started yet. It's not even started. I'm not even wearing my glasses. I can't even see anything. Thank you. Seriously. It's very nice of you. Yeah, it's me, dude. I'm here. I'm like half awake. It's great. And it looks like the stream deck is working. It looks like it is. Looks like everything is working right now. The ferrets are working. The stream deck is working. Nothing is exploding. By the end of the stream, nothing will work. Good. Is chat pre-recorded? Only yours. Everyone else's is live. Yours is pre-recorded. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. What's usually done on stream? I usually answer people's questions and help you get into the games industry. Because a lot of people don't realize they can do this. But they can. And today, we're going to be updating one of the websites. And I'm excited for that. So it's going to be good. Today, we update develop.games. Actually, technically, we update the uh, Game Jam page, but... Worth. Worth and important. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be good. And tomorrow, if the same trend holds, we may hit one million. When listening to two different audio sources, how do you differentiate them? Is one pitch down or up? What do you mean? At the same time? I don't know. I just play two videos at once, that's fine. Gold play button by Christmas? I don't know, dude, that's... That's kind of wild to me. Maybe? I have no idea. We'll have to see. Oh, wait. What is this YouTube stuff? YouTube. They've removed all the weird videos. Uh, where did it go? Where did it go? Why, why am I getting an email of this? I don't want an email of this. If you're sending me an email, you need to stop. <laughs> no? What the hell? Decline. No. People have been asking for editor access to the, uh, the game design document. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Yeah, no. It's not happening at all.
It's very funny. What are shinies? They are little tokens for stream avatars. What's going on today? We know see you today. Did you see? So I need you to look at something. If you're wondering why you currently cannot see me, you're going to have to look at the center of the screen. The gigantic text in the middle of the whole screen that takes up like 50% of the visible space on the screen. It may give you a clue as to why you don't see me yet. It may. I I, I know it's difficult. It is, it is really difficult, I know. I am eating a snack. It is delicious. Oh, the demo is for you, Goblin. Also, I have a cool announcement. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be doing game streams on Wednesday, starting next week. The reason why is since I take the day off on Thursday, if I want to play a game for 19 to 20 hours, which I normally do, I can without having a problem. Yeah. Am I finished? No.
Nope, not Finnish. My middle name is Thor because I was born in a thunderstorm. No joke. What are you going to play next week? I have a lot of different games that I could play. Primordia is likely the highest one out of everything. Out of everything on the list, that is likely the highest one. Because everybody wanted me to play that for ages. Did you finish Knuckle Sandwich? We did. And uh, that whole video is now being sent over to Steets. So that that one is going to be up on the YouTube. Eventually. Which is good. And my glasses are missing. I was sitting there was like, why is the screen so blurry? And then I was like, oh yes. I'm not wearing glasses. I should probably fix that. I think they're next to my bed. One moment. Alrighty, I am back. No, I don't live in Europe. I live in Washington State in the United States. Hear about Bethesda doing stupid stuff with mods? No, I've not heard about this. All right, queuing system looks good. Everything looks good. This is going to be good. Did Valve fix that big issue? As far as I can tell, yes. The community has stopped complaining about it, people have stopped saying that it is an issue, and Valve did issue a patch. What's your opinion about the day before? Uh, incredibly egregiously false marketing. Ending in their removal as a purchasable game on Steam. All right. It's time. It's time to start. Yeah, it was a train wreck. Yeah. They did the old flip and dip. Yeah, they did the old Steam is going to refund your game is what they're going to do. 
Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not good. All right. Whoop. I exist. Why, hello. How's it going? What's what's up, guys? We did it. We've made it to another day. And my hair is still kind of wet because I took a shower right before the stream. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I exist. I exist. With that in mind, yesterday we finally finished Knuckle Sandwich. It took me 22, no, 23 hours it looks like. Yeah, 23.2 hours on record. I'm gonna go look at my review. Because if you finish a video game, if you play a video game, you should review it. Positive or negative, you should do this. Helps the developer a lot. Absolutely incredible blend of, com of combat mechanics from Super Mario RPG and WarioWare. An aesthetic reminiscent of Earthbound with an insanely funky soundtrack of damn good work. Edit. After finishing the game... experience only got better. There we go. This is not YouTube? No. No, this is this is Twitch. That one over there is YouTube. You're at, you guys are actually, at the same time, being streamed to. But you're dimensions that can't touch. Yeah, unfortunate. And you mostly can't touch because each chat gets a single brain cell. And if you were able to cross the streams, you'd get two. And that's not good. We can't allow that. No. No, it's not good. Yeah, we can't have it. Yeah, you're next to YouTube. And YouTube's next to you. We can't let you guys touch. Never. No com- no com- you know, no, no, com I can't even talk. No combination. There we go. Thank you, brain. Ooh. You smell YouTubers? They smell you. Yeah. No touching the streams. No, you can't touch the chats together in the stream. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. You ever just wake up and you can't talk? That's me today. It's great. Yeah. No God can stop me? That's probably fine. Right? This review is waiting analysts by our automated content check system. It will be temporarily hidden until we verify that it does not contain harmful content. Wh what? What? Where? Where's... It's good. It's all positive. Go away with your automated content checks. If it's automated, it should be instant. What the hell are you doing? What are you doing? I'm gonna control a five this. You good? Okay, we're good. We're good? We're good. Alright. Alright, we're good. I think we're good. Fantastic. Yeah. Is Knuckle Sandwich on this list? No. We're just putting it up there. Okay, good. Good. Also, by the way, I have found solutions to a number of the problems in Heartbound on Steam Deck. It is a lot of problems. Most notably, it actually deletes all of the, uh, the, like, UI buttons randomly. And it deletes the camera object randomly and i don't know why i have no idea why so that's great that's fantastic it's what it's what you want yeah i don't know why it just removes it from memory so i will figure out why this is happening but i don't know yet why this happens my favorite part about it is that it only does this if the first button you press is a joystick controller which is the most common thing for people to press if you hit A first, nothing happens. And it's totally fine. But if you hit joystick, it deletes all of my objects. I don't know why this happens. I have... I have no clue why this is occurring. Yeah. I don't think this is something I can fix. 
It sounds like something wrong with Steam, but I'm going to try anyway. Yeah, it's a it's a weird one. So if I use the joystick first, it deletes everything in the game. The game just crashes. If I hit the D-pad or I hit the A, B, X, Y, it's fine. I think what I'm going to do is if it's... I may actually start having the game default to controller first. That may be how that goes. Have you reported it to Steam already? Oh, yeah. I was like, dude, what's going on here? Like, why is this happening? Was this the Steam Deck OLED problem? It's a Steam Deck everything problem now. So it's just kind of expanded out into all of it, which is cool. I don't know why. Yeah, the same thing happens for Champions of Breakfast now, too, which is also cool. That's great to see. Because I used the exact same library that I made on both games. I'm not really sure what's happening here, but we'll see. Could a quick fix be sending a button press and start up? Yeah, sending a fake button press is kind of what I'm thinking about doing. Uh, I have more testing to do because I spent about six hours on it yesterday. And I was like, what the hell is going on here? And I had to figure out exactly what was happening, and now I understand what's happening, mostly. Because it's just weird. It's just a weird one, you know? It's very, very odd. Let's go look at Heartbound. Woo! Woo! Nice. Nice! By the way, thank you guys for all these reviews. This is a massive amount of extra reviews. Uh, the game's at 95% positive out of 1,400 reviews. So that's really cool. Um, staying at 95% or above for a game on Steam is a very big deal because it stays in the overwhelmingly positive area. So thank you for doing that because that matters a lot. A lot more than you would think. It's a huge amount, actually. Because it's not just Steam that pays attention to that. There's a bunch of aggregate websites that look for the 95% positive or higher games on Steam, especially with the ones with that many reviews. So it, it helps a lot. Yeah, it's a huge amount. It's a good game, so it deserves it. I'm really glad you like it. I'm really glad. I don't care how much the demo is, I'm going to buy it. The demo's free. The demo's free. All right. First alert. We got 29 in the queue. Let's do it. One moment. All right, there we go. Works now. Works now. You're changing into a development role. So I actually heard that one, but you guys couldn't hear, hear it. I fixed it. I fixed it. One moment. It says, thank you for everything you do. Massively helped me re-review my job as a test automation engineer and now looking to change to development role outside of this. That's awesome, dude. That's really good. Stel was here. What is up, dude? Thank you for the raid. It's so quiet. It's because it wasn't on. You couldn't hear it. <laughs> it's so quiet because it literally wasn't on. <laughs> the volume was, was zero. How are you guys doing? Thank you for the raid. Or are you streaming? Tell me about it. I'm just getting started up for the night, dude. What language do I use for Heartbound? It's called Game Maker Language, very similar to C Sharp or, or Java. Yeah. Wrong message in Discord? Did it do the wrong message? Did it? Did it do the wrong message? Hmm? Oh. No, it did. Deleted. Weird. Weird, it did. Yeah, it totally did. Nice wormhole t shirt. It's pretty cool. I like wormhole. Wormhole, neat. You know where I got this? It's not a band, by the way. It's not a. It's not a wormhole band T-shirt. You're gonna like. You're gonna like this. It's very funny. Let me see if we can find them. They may not even exist anymore. It was a company. It was a company that used this logo. Let's see if they're still around. Yeah, I found them. I found them on LinkedIn. They're like a technology company. And they gave out a free shirt to me, and I'm gonna be real with you. Nobody knows who they are, so I just wear it, and it's funny. <laughs> it just says wormhole on it, and I'm fine with it. It's great. What made you choose Game Maker over Godot? Well, at the time, Godot didn't exist, so... You know, there's that. How do you have time to sleep? Uh, I sleep for five hours a day, every day. I have the same schedule every single day. This is normal stuff for me. Basically, it is eight hours a day on stream, eight hours a day or work outside of stream, three hours a day of personal time, whatever I want to do, and then five hours a day of sleeping. And that's my job. That's what I do every day. Da -da. Would you choose Godot now? No. Uh, Game Maker Studio one-time license with uh, no royalties, lifetime license, was great. And it was only 100 bucks. 
So that's kind of trivial when it comes to long-term games like this and making multiple games, so that's great. And then, outside of that, it also allows me to do 2D games with relative ease, doing all the things that I want to do, so it's really good for making 2D stuff. Even though Godot is great at 2D as well, it's 2D and 3D, and I wanted something that was just just 2D. Why not Unreal? Overkill. No reason to do it. Yeah. 5 is horribly bad? No, it's not. So for all you people doing chat MD, all right, you're not my doctor, and I've already talked to my doctor. I've done sleep studies, gone through the whole gambit. I've been like this since I was 13. I'm good. <laughs> chat MD is worthless. It's it's the same as going to web MD. Basically, if you listen to chat MD, by the end of it you'll think that you have cancer and are pregnant. It's not it's not good. It's never going to work. Never going to work. Done it. Done it all. Ads. We're going to wait. You're not pregnant? No. Maybe. I don't know. Go to a doctor. Yeah, Goblin MD, dude. I'm going to start calling it Goblin MD. That's true. Ads in progress? Yeah, it's for Twitch side. Twitch gets ads and we wait. We wait. Yeah, that's how it works. I always wait. Not everybody will get ads. Only some people do. It goes to a percentage of the community only on Twitch side, and when it does, I wait for them. Always. And if you have YouTube Premium or Twitch Turbo, you won't get any ads anyway, but I still get money as if you did. Do you read both chats? Yes, I do. I am currently reading both at the same time. Thor MD. I know, right? Thank you. Do you ever think we'll get an AI-made game? Yeah. We already do. They're just kind of shit, frankly. Yeah. Right now, anyway. Are we 29k away? Are you serious? Holy shit. Wow. Can I work for you? No. Not right now. I don't have enough bandwidth to hire more people right now. Do you read YouTube chat with your right or left eye? Uh, actually, my middle one. Yeah. Yep. It's really useful that way. I also try not to read YouTube chat, because then it makes people think that I don't read YouTube chat. And then I only see their messages when they say, he doesn't read YouTube chat. And then it's very funny. Yeah. We have open applications if you do? Yes. Always. Have you played Faith the Unholy Trinity? No. What are you doing on your streams? Well, I help people enter the games industry, I talk about technology, and I, I teach them about making games, basically. That's the whole idea. You can ask me whatever you want. And we get a huge queue of messages that are queued up for dollarinos, and I have to go through them, which I haven't done yet. So, I gotta fix that. Gotta fix it. Also, I put in some new u update stuff, so that's good. We go to the actions. Decrease action. Let me see this. I've put in a new thing that checks to see if the message is nothing, and if the message is nothing, then we don't go forward with it, which is good. It's good. It's good. Let me see if that message actually had anything. But yeah, look, we're almost there. I thought, have you seen the mouse gameplay trailer? No. I don't think I have seen that. Let me see that. Let me make sure this all went through. For some reason, this is raw input. Raw input went through. Pending actions. We're going to go to actions here. We're going to look at decrease. Decrease goes through. That didn't function. Weird. That is really weird. Alright. We're going to try this again. I have a new messaging system up. Next. Random prog with 50 pesos said hi Thor. Works. Have you seen the mouse gameplay trailer? No. What is the mouse gameplay trailer? Is there a game called The Mouse? I haven't seen this. Let's go look at this. Game. The mouse. Mouse official early gameplay trailer. Is this what you're talking about? Is this a... 
Hold up. This actually looks really cool. Immediately, it's a shooter. It's a first-person shooter. Really? Oh, man. It's a cartoon shooter, dude. Yeah, it's a Mickey Mouse Cuphead Doom shooter. That's cool as shit. Who made this? Fumi Games? As a gritty and noir-filled first-person shooter that draws inspiration from classic cartoons of the 1930s. He's eating spinach. He's eating spinach. Let's check this out. Look at this. Oh, dude, this is so good. Look at the animation quality on this. That's wild, actually. Holy shit. That's really, really well done. I'm linking this in chat. Actually, wait. Do we have... Is this up on Steam yet? Mouse. I'm gonna guess it's this one. Yeah, it is. We're gonna link this in chat. I'm gonna link this to you guys. This is cool. This is actually really neat. I just added to wishlist? Yeah. No, this is really cool. Acme style weapons? Yeah. That's wild, dude. I love stuff like this. You See, the thing is, is unique art styles, to me, are very cool. How is this not copyright infringement? What would be copyright infringement about this? Legoland. Basing your game's artistic quality off of 1930s cartoons? What's the problem? Disney? No. Having a mouse in a video game, having a mouse in 1930s cartoon style, is not a problem. Those are clearly not Mickey Mouse. You have to remember, Mickey Mouse is a specific character. And for you to have a problem with copyright, you have to copy that specific character. Having a cartoon mouse from the 1930s is not that anyway. Is it Mickey public domain now? I don't think he is. I think Steamboat Willie Mickey is, but I don't think the current one is. Yeah. Is it not yet? 2024 is when Steamboat Willie goes into public domain? Yeah, see, we've seen this song and dance before, and then Disney lobbies, and then it becomes 70 years, and then 80 years, and then 100 years. Yeah. Steamboat Willie. Let me see. Steamboat... Willy, public domain. When does this happen? It will enter public domain in the United States on January 1st, 2024. Steamboat Willie will. Yep. The cartoon is going to enter the public domain in, in January 1st, 2024. So, a month. Doesn't Disney own the art style? There, No. <laughs> It's not how that works. You can't you can't own the art style like that just like you can't own a note in a song. No. This kind of artistic style is is iconic of the 1930s and it wasn't just Mickey that did this. It wasn't just Disney that did this. All cartoons looked like this back then. Just like mini cartoons look similarly today, right? Same kind of a thing. That's why we have this sort of a style. It's not just Disney that did it. Yeah, you can't do that. It doesn't work. You can copyright music, a song, but you can't copyright a note in the music. That's the difference. Just like you can't copyright the letter C, the letter E, so on and so forth. But this this kind of artistic style is, no. This is indicative of that time of 19, about 1930 to 1950 is when we see that. Yeah. Yep. I like the idea of cartoon characters blowing each other's brains out. I'm into that. I think it's cool. I copyrighted all noises. Ah, oh, shit. You're going to make bank. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, no, it doesn't doesn't work that way though. You can't own you can't own that particular style. It doesn't work that way. You can own the characters though. They obviously cannot put Mickey Mouse into there, but they can make a bunch of different interesting mouse-like characters, right? Remember the Mickey Mouse video game on PS1? No, I don't. I couldn't afford color. It is it is very expensive, that's true. 2020, 2025 though, damn what a wait. I mean, yeah, it's a while, but who gives a shit? Game looks cool. I think it's really neat. I love this too. I love the health indicator. Because the health indicator actually goes up and down based on like how healthy you are at the time. So he's like real beat up here. So his heart is all beat up. Shows how many bullets he has and what kind of bullets there. That's good. That's really good. Yeah, if you look at that. That's really neat. They've done a very good job with this. Like a really, really good job. 
I'm super interested in this. So thanks for letting me know about this, man. And yeah, I've wishlisted it and I followed it because that looks great. Looks really good. Finger guns is the best part. Is there actually finger guns in there? Did I miss that? If they use finger guns, that's even funnier. How do you reload a finger hand? Like a finger gun. How do you do that? A hand, a hand gun, as it were, right? It's a brief in the trailer. That's awesome. You cock back your thumb. You get it like that. And that's how you reload it. And you slap it. Yeah. There you go. How do you, how do you change out the mag on a finger gun, dude? <laughs> You have to blow on it, you know, afterwards. Is that how to do it? No ammo. Bullshit. Everything's got to have ammo, dude. Then it's overpowered. You change gloves. I like that. That's exactly how that should work. You shoot a bunch, and you have to change the whole glove out, and that's how you reload. <laughs> that's the way to do it, dude. Oh, dude, if I had a handgun in a game, that's how I would do it. That's 100% it. That's fantastic. You change the glove out, dude. All right, next alert. Mooners with 500 bits said cheer 100 cheer 100 cheer 100 cheer 100 cheer 100 recently I asked for your advice about lack of creativity and you told me to upload more of my hobbies rather than just content. Just wanted yes. to say thank you for that advice and ask you one more thing. Do you have sure. a better way of coming up with content ideas even if you're not in one niche? Yeah. Thanks a lot Thor. P.S. I think you're probably the most genuine creator I've seen. Keep up the great work man. Well thank you. That's that's really nice of you. Yeah, I am. Um, like, to be real with you, you say better way of coming up with content ideas. I don't worry about coming up with content. I just find things that I really like, and then I share them with people. So, if I'm super interested in something, I tell you about the thing I'm super interested in. The things that I like, I share those. Uh, the things that I do, I share it, right? So, I'm kind of doing my life adventure, and as I go through that, I share it with other people. I'm not worried about creating the content for the day or coming up with a video idea or anything like that. Although I, I know a lot of people kind of chase that sort of thing, but for me, I, I don't do that. I just share, right? I share whatever it is that I'm doing or the things that I want to talk about or the things that I think are interesting. That's all. That's all it is. Yeah, I'm the content, I guess. <laughs> that's... Uh, so yeah, no, I, I think that's the thing is it's, it's hard to get out of the idea of you need to chase the content of the day. You need to come up with something. You got to be creative about that. But for me, I just don't, I just don't do it. By not doing that race, I'm a lot more comfortable making things because all I'm doing is sharing the things that I think are good, right? Yeah, the content grind seems incredibly stressful. It does. And I think a lot of the times it leads to weird areas like reaction content. And it leads to reaction content because if you can't come up with something that day, well, let's go review someone else's something that they came up with. I don't like that very much. I find that to be kind of shitty. So instead, uh, I just share the things that I do, right? If that makes sense. That's about it. All right. Let me make sure that this is working correctly real fast. I need to go into here. Mm. What is the message type for this? There we go. It is called message. There it is. And we'll go back over to here. Pending actions, actions, bits. Do that. And then we'll do this. Okay, that should now work on that. And we'll go back to the action queue next. Don't call me pain with 500 bits said hi Mr. Thar. Not sure Hello. if you remember but yesterday I asked if it's a good idea to sign up for your game jam with no experience. Well yes. I bit the bullet and signed up thanks for the inspo man, Yar bongos in the chat. Dude awesome. I'm really glad. I'm really glad about that. That's freaking rad. Nice job. Do it. Signed up. Signed up. Where's the message? Okay, I put the wrong message in there. I'm still fixing a bunch of this. I'm really glad you signed up, though. That's freaking rad, dude. Keep it up. Keep doing that stuff. Is that bongos? It's so many bongos. He called for bongos, and now it's happening. Ooh, should I enter without any experience? Yes. In fact, one of the things we're going to be doing today is if you look up here, and we do this. Also, why isn't this playing? Uh? Oh, it is playing. There we go. There we go. We're good. 
if we look up here, this is going to be updated today. And the reason why is some of the people were worried about the rules, right? They were worried about this. You cannot use pre-made art, sound effects, music, or programming assets. The reason why I had this in here was so that people didn't preload a whole ton of shit that they bought. So what I'm going to change this for instead is you cannot use commercial art, sound effects, music, or programming assets. You have to make them, right? So they have to be made, of, like, in there, right? Um, actually, I'm going to say, I think we'll change this. We're going to change the wording on this so that it, it makes sense, is the idea. Because this is going to lead to a lot of different questions. And I, I think the, the whole intention of this is I don't want you to buy a bunch of stuff. Because the idea is that it's a flex of personal skill, not personal wallet, is the whole point there. Yeah. So, pre-made was meant to be, don't buy things. Do not buy things. Yeah, don't buy stuff. So I'm going to say in here, you cannot use purchased art, sound effects, music, or programming assets. Just use free stuff. Yeah. No pay to win. No pay to win. What about free assets? That'll be fine. I'm going to say no purchased art, sound effects, music, or programming assets. Even then, that's going to lead to more... See, I'm thinking about all the questions that people are going to put in. The idea is just don't spend money on it, man. That's the idea. That's the whole point of it. So I got to think about this. About free for the month? What does that even mean? You can use your own pre-made assets? Yeah, of course. You made it. What about stolen? Hmm. Yeah, see, there's other questions. This is why I'm going to run the gamut on this on stream, right? So, your game must be turned in before the posted end time. No teams of more than five people. Your game must fit the theme. No AA-generated content. So this is going to be this, right? The intention is for you to build your own stuff and learn from it. Don't overthink this and try to find a way around it. Just make things. What if they're free? Yeah, see? See? Can I use your voice as effects in the, in the game jam game? Do it up. I don't care. That's fine. Team signups? No team signups are required. It, if you sign up, you're signing up here. Which, by the way, it's already at 1,500 people. Jesus Christ. That is a lot of teams! Yeah, no way generated content. The reason why is we can't confirm if your content is made from commercially allowable assets or not. Um, and that's the whole thing. That's the whole deal there. Does hiring an artist count as pay to win? No. See, this is these are the questions that I need. Because here's the thing. With hundreds of thousands of people engaging with this damn thing, right? And it is a lot of people that are engaging with this. I now have to think about every possible answer that someone can give and every possible way that someone can take this wrong, right? And if you guys have any questions of like, oh, I don't know what that means, well, that means that 10,000 other people are going to have the same question constantly. What if my, I made my own LLM? No. No AI-generated content. Stop it. No. No. Is this a yearly event? Two times a year. Yeah. What exactly is a game jam? A game jam is you make a video game over two weeks. That's what it is. Do fonts fall into pre-made art assets? See? That's a good question. That's a good question. Can you do a flip? No. No, I can't. Unfortunate, right? I'm a nerd. We don't do that. When is the game peanut butter? Always. A new, but I'll do it? Good. Yeah, no. I'm going to be updating this today, so we're going to go take a look at this. Let me actually grab this over here and put it there. And I'm going to go into their edit menu. Uh, I have to log in. Uh, I have to use my verification code. Uh, I like turtles. Good. They are delicious. That is true. Now what? Is nudity allowed? No. I'll add that to the list. Alright, there we go. Game Jams. Uh, edit. Alright. I'm gonna go into the HTML. Oh god, it's all gross. The HTML is so gross. Why do they do this? We have no control over the HTML. It's so... Oh. Look at it. Why is it all formatted like this? Jesus Christ, dude. What kind of what kind of horrible mess is this? What kind of disgusting, horrific mess am I looking at? What is this? Jesus Christ, dude. What what even is this? What 
what even is this? I have a deep hatred in my bones now. I have, I have a deep hatred in my bones. All the way in my bones. It's so bad. This is auto-generated from their stuff. And there's like nothing I can really do about this, frankly. It's just disgusting. And we're going to leave it that way. We're going to leave it as disgusting. Yeah. It's gross. It's really gross. I know. I know it's gross. Okay, so... No AA-generated content. No pornographic content. There we go. Look, we did it. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. What else can we add to this? What else can we add to this? No politics? Nah. You make a political game, it's probably not going to win. But I don't have any problems with it. Can you join in the middle? I mean, yeah. That's not a problem. God, there's so many. Are bribes allowed? No. No bribes. What is pornography? I'll tell you when you're older. No purchased assets. Yeah, so let's think about this. You cannot use purchased... See, here's the problem when we run into purchased, right? Someone's going to ask me, I paid for this engine. Does that count as a purchased asset? They're going to do that. So I can't say no purchased assets. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to happen. See, every time you ask me a question like this, every time you try to say a rule, I'm going to tell you the weirdest take that could possibly come out of the community as a result of this. They're still going to ask. You see, an engine's not an asset. They're still going to ask. <laughs> oh. You cannot use purchased art, sound effects, and then they'll be like, well... What about all these samples that I bought to make my sound effects? See the problem now? Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Let's do this. Can I use any assets not able to be used for commercial use? Right? Right? That makes sense. If it's not available for commercial use, you can't use it. If you don't have the ability to do that, then you shouldn't be doing it. No assets, no art, no sound effects? Good. Yes. No pre-compiled asset packs? That's not true. You can use a free-to-use one. I'm fine with that. No purchasable assets excluding engines. And samples? What about libraries? What if they bought a library that helps them with controller support? See the problem? Close that? Why would I do that? Why why would I why would I close this? Is that is that what you want, chat? As we're sitting here writing this, is this See the problem there? Is it good? We'll end we'll close it when we finish the, the line. When we figure out what we want to write here. This rule would enable purchased art. It would. Yeah. If so, the intention is this, right? The intention is this. I don't want you guys to spend a shitload of money thinking you're going to win on this stuff. I don't think that's a good, healthy thing. That being said, if somebody has already bought something and they have it, I don't want to exclude them from using it. You see the issue here? So what I think I want to do is make it so that if you have the commercial license for that work, you can only use assets. You have the commercial license for, right? You can only use assets you have the commercial license for. Some asset packs allow for free, no free stuff. That's not what commercial license means. No free stuff. That's not what commercial license means. Commercial license means you can use that work, that art, that sound effect, whatever it is, in a commercial setting, a setting in which you could make money off of it. Yeah, that's what it means.
Gotta buy the demo then? God damn it. Is there a game maker this week? Should I join a team? Yeah, teams are great. Uh, I don't know about his course. Ray Chris, Craig, Ray Kristen. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know about his course. I don't know anything about it. Sorry, but if I don't know, I'm just gonna say I don't know. No excessively gross things? Dude, if, if somebody wants to make vomit on your dad's simulator, I'm not going to stop them from making vomit on your dad's simulator. That's fine. You're probably not going to win, but it, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to stop you. Whatever you want it to be, right? So, like, that's fine. Whatever you want to do. I don't, I don't give a shit. That being said, likely not going to win. As long as it's not pornographic, we're fine with this. It's not a big deal. I would play the vomit on your dad sim. See, there's a there's a game for everyone, you know? It's really niche, but like you could you could do it. Whatever, right? Let's see. Let's think about this. Great game selection, Thor. Thanks, Magical Star. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Some asset packs only allow non-commercial use. Make sure you know the licensing limits for anything you use. The intention is for you to build your own stuff and learn from it. Don't overthink this and try to find a way around it. Just make things. Game Jam is a flex of personal skill, not personal wallet. That's from Zafra. So I think that makes the most sense there. Um, you can only use assets you have com the commercial license for. Some asset packs only allow non-commercial use. Make sure you know the licensing limits for anything you use. I think that works. Does that work? Does that work? Free Game Maker license is non-commercial. That is correct. That is correct. The Free Game Maker Studio licenses. The reason why I have to say commercial use is this. We have a cash reward. Because there is a cash reward for your Steam upload fee, that could be construed as commercial use if you are using this in the game jam. Do you see the problem now? Mmm. 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 That's the issue. That's the big issue there. So that's what I'm thinking about. I don't want you guys to get in trouble. I don't want you to get in trouble because of that. That's the whole deal. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything else in there. I don't think there is. I don't think there is anything else. Let me think about this. Get rid of that. Okay, I think we're good. I think this all fits. What if I hire someone to make me a game? Dude, if, if you're hiring someone to make you a video game for the entire thing... Oh, no pornographic content no nudity yeah no pornographic no nudity there we go we'll just we'll make them separate right because someone will be like well it's not it's not pornographic it's just nudity and someone will be like oh oh it's not nudity it's just it's just a little bit it's off-screen porn see it's fine now no pornographic content covers this no nudity co covers this there we go easy Easy. U.S. nudity or EU nudity? They're the same. They're the same. Don't you do this to me. Don't you do that. Don't you do it. No drug references? Yeah, we can do that. That's good. Yeah. No drugs or drug references. Actually, we just do no drug references. That should cover everything. 
Because if you're talking about it, it's, it's a reference, right? Define drug. No, not safe for work content. Here's the problem, though. What job? I'm going to be real with you. Someone said no racism or discrimination. That's already a big rule in the community. If you if you do that, I'll just, just ban you. Coffee is a drug. Oh. Oh. See how far this goes? Oh. Ed Twitch TOS friendly? I don't need that Twitch TOS friendly. If you do this and you make something that's like egregious, then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play it on stream. Ooh. Yeah, you said weed is, weed is legal in Canada? I don't care. It's not legal everywhere, so we're not gonna have it in the game. You're not gonna be making you're not gonna be making this a problem. Alcohol or drug references. No alcohol or drug references. Done. That's the point. What about tobacco? See? You see this? This is what happens. Smoking and gambling? Look at chat losing its mind. How about this? I, I, I'm writing a rule right now. You'll see it after the ad break. I have got a rule I've got a rule going in. I'm gonna zoom in on it too so you can see it real closely. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this. You'll see. You'll see when it gets Yeah, when the ad break's over. When the ad break is over. There goes my Joe Rogan game idea. It's very funny. How about if it breaks Twitch TOS, you're in the rush of not winning? If you make if you break Twitch TOS, you're probably not gonna win, dude. Because if you're going for shock value, then it's not gonna be that interesting in terms of impl implementation, frankly. Like, it just won't be. Why do I hear you twice? Because you're on the website and you didn't see the gigantic stream at the top of the page. Yeah. What's the criteria for winning? I can put that in. Where's the jam hosted? It'll be an itch.io. No implied kitty stuff? No, I'm gonna be real with you. That's... That's pretty normal, right? <laughs> do not do that. <laughs> games? Unlimited games. But no games. This is... This is the rule now. There you go. Don't you dare what? You don't want me to do that? Is that... Is that what you... You didn't want... You think I didn't have that ready for you? You think I didn't have that? Alright. Good. I'm glad you understand me now. That it's there. So let's think about this. Um, no A-generated content. No pornographic content. No nudity. Um, no alcohol or drug references. Or illicit... See, the moment that I say illicit drug references, actually, alcohol can be implied, and I think that's fine. If you have, like, soda cans, like, Harpan has soda cans in it. They're actually energy drink cans. And we imply that it's something that's, like, an addiction. And I don't think that's a problem, right? I don't think it's an issue. Because it's not done as a, as a focal point. Yeah, weed is illegal in XYZ. I don't give a shit. Illicit in which jurisdiction? See, there there comes the problem. I think we're overthinking. You are. Yeah. Really enjoying your shorts? Thank you. Thank you very much. Where do you get all the motivation? To wake up every day? And make your game? I think it's also fun under finding motivation to stream. I don't like wasting time. My motivation is derived entirely out of this. We have a limited amount of time. We don't know how much we have. So I'm not going to waste any of mine. It's also why I don't like when people ask me if they're allowed to ask me a question. Just ask the question. <laughs> <We're> wasting time. <laughs> uh. 
That's how I feel about it always, because it's like, you've just stolen 20 seconds from me. You give that back, goddammit. So if you try to say, can you ask me a question, I usually say no. <laughs> yeah, don't ask to ask, just ask. And now everyone's like, can I ask you a question? No. No. No, you can't. Not a single one of you can ask me a question now. Not even one. So let's think about this. Do we have anything else we want to add? No AI generated content, no pornographic content, no nudity. No pornographic content or nudity. We'll just put it on one line. That's fine. No illicit drug references, weapons. I don't give a shit about that. Put weapons in your game. Who cares? Not set a rating limit? No animal abuse? I'm gonna be real with you. I don't need to go down the list of laws and be like, let's re-implement the entire series of laws for all countries that are engaging in this. Right? These are, these are general things in here. Right? It's general things. No extreme violence? You can have extreme violence. There's tons of extreme violence video games. Go play Doom. Extreme violence. You could make a game about war crimes. You could do that, right? See the problem now? Or nipples nudity? Oh, we're gonna play that game. Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Like, I'm gonna be real with you guys, alright? We've had, we've had over a thousand submissions, right? In the history of the game jam. There's probably gonna be over a thousand submissions in this game jam alone now, because of how much it's grown. If... If you make, like, abuse animal simulator, I'm just gonna ban you from the community. Like, that's not really... It's not even a question at that point. I, sh I don't have to play rules lawyer with this. This is, like... Like... This is... This is gonna be the find-out portion of the graph. Is, is if somebody does that, it's just gonna be the find-out portion. They'll be like, ha-ha, I got around it. You didn't explicitly put it in the rules. Yeah, you're banned. I don't give a shit. You know, I didn't explicitly put it in the rules, and now I'm explicitly banning you. That's how it works. That's how it works. Yeah, don't be a dumbass. That's what it is. This is not an exhaustive list. Don't be a dumbass. There. <laughs> Done. Now it's in there. There we go. That'll be in the list. That'll be in the rules. That's going to cover it all. Don't be a dumbass. That does cover everything. The list is done. Swearing? I don't care if you put swearing in your game. Have fun, right? I'm gonna be here with you. Swearing is different for every region, alright? There's a four-letter word in Australia that means they're your friend, alright? Sometimes. And you use the same word in the United States and everyone in the room, like, the music stops, everyone stares at you like, what did you just say? Like, it's... Yeah, it's very... Yeah, there you go. There you go. It's different. It's different for every region, right? No, it's definitely not mate. <laughs> See? Australians, no. I'm Australian and can't confirm. Yeah. So you can't say no, no foul language. What does that even mean? I can say no foul language and then you can't talk about chickens. We could do that. No hateful, derogatory, or bigoted content. I'm not even... I'm, again... Don't be a dumbass. That's in the don't be a dumbass section. I'm not going to make a full list of everything. But I am going to specifically call out no pornographic content or nudity, AI-generated content, no illicit drug references. Right? Easy. What about hiring voice actors? As long as you have commercial license for their work. Yeah, do it. Why wouldn't you? Absolutely. Requesting to emphasize the dumbass sentence. I think we could just bold this. I think we're allowed to do bold. I think it works. Hey, you going to know it's AI? It's not hard to figure out. It's not hard to notice. No classified U.S. military documents? I mean, I guess... I don't want to be War Thunder, right? So... Maybe maybe I should add that to the list. No, wait. I think that's going to go under Don't Be a Dumbass. Let's be real. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Don't be a dumbass. And by the way, all the alerts are queuing up. Look at the time and where the last time that I actually clicked one. We're doing this first, and then we're going to do the alerts afterwards. Wouldn't that be a smartass? No. No. Smartass is when it's clever. Dumbass when is when it's dumb. Right? The level of intelligence your ass has is what determines the reaction that other people have. Which asked the whole ass. The entirety. I think we're good. I'm going to put this up there. I'm going to update this now. I'm going into the HTML. And I'm saving it. Save jab. There we go. And now, we're going to go over here. Oh, unfortunate. That's the wrong tab. That's the wrong tab, Chet. Yeah. I'm just going to leave that there for a moment. And now we're going to go back over here and I'm going to do this. Yeah. It's just a landmine tab. That's all it is. That's just a landmine. We're going to the rules. Hmm. This is a weird gap in it. Why? Why do you have a weird gap in it? Oh, that's why. Boop. Boop. Good old tagging. Boop. There we go. So Mass Effects only allow um, non-commercial use. Make sure you know the licensing limits of anything you use. The intention here is the intention is for you to build your own stuff and learn from it. Don't overthink this and try to find a way around it. Just make things. This is not an exhaustive list. Don't be a dumbass. Easy. 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 Conditions to win. Let's think about this. Let's see. Turn your official Discord. Form up into teams and decide on... Form up into teams or decide on running solo. How about the team name and get ready for the jam? Let's see. To be announced in 1-12-2024 during the daily dev stream. Submission. It's planning document that details where the game will be. So we've got a game design document and this. When you go to submit something on itch.io, you can submit a package that has your game design document in it and the, and the game, right? What do you mean that was two weeks ago, Chet? What do you mean that was two weeks ago? This is, this is U.S. time. January 12th. Do I have to go and put this on there? Yeah, you go, you go day, right? You guys go day, month, year. Yeah, we go month, day, year. As is intended, eagles per gun, America. America. USA. 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 All right, let's go fix this. <laughs> uh, I have to go change it to January 12th. Uh, I have to go change it to January 12th because it would be so confusing. January. January. Th Thanks, Hans. 12th, 2024. Uh, let's just let's put this in little brackets, right? Let's just kind of do the, one of these so then it makes my life easy. And then I can just do this. January 26th. See, there we go. And now it's a token that I can replace anytime I want to. Actually, let me think about this. We don't even need this anymore because this shows up at the top. We can actually get rid of the timeline section. Yeah, because it's up there. Let's just get rid of this. I don't think there's anything in there that we need. This is stupid. Timeline removed. Timeline removed. Gone. It's at the top of the page. Actually, I think it deleted the theme, too. One sec. I did. There we go. We're going to delete the timeline. To be announced. On the start date. To be announced on the start date during the daily 
Pirate Suffer Live development stream. Let's change this right there. Doing the daily stream. There we go. And what next? So we've changed the theme out. Now for submission. You don't have to submit a game design document before working on your prototype. Why is this so tiny? Why is this text small? What happened there? Why do we have tiny text here? Something is wrong. Tiny, tiny text. Oh, that's why. I forgot to put the UL style font size. There we go. Fixed. Okay, that text is now going to be fixed. We're changing that to size 18. What day of the week? I don't know. Whenever it is. It'll be on the 12th of January, which is a Friday. It's starting on a Friday. We planned it on a Friday specifically so that you guys would have time. Do you want to make an FPS game? Yeah, you can do that. Okay. If it doesn't run, it won't rent, win. Looks on playability over anything else. It's a very limited working copy of your game. If you don't... If you do need to leave your team... If you do need to leave, let your team know in advance. Do not attempt to sabotage other teams. Be cool to each other. Yeah, I'm just, I think this is fine. Just don't sabotage other teams. Don't be a big piece of shit. Right? Really easy. And I think... I think we're good otherwise, man. I think we can do this. Alright, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it back over there, and we're gonna save it over the top again. And now we're gonna save the jam. I'm gonna start this up. Blah! There we go. Set up. Theme. Can I make a game? Yes. Uh, I think I'm gonna make that one centered and not like this. I think that, I think that will work. Where's my centered? Uh. Uh. Where's my theme? Tech center, there we go. Whoop. 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 I think that's kind of all we need there. I don't think it even needs to be a list. We don't want a list. Uh, I'm probably going to make that one an H5. five save that out oh god it's not what i wanted i forgot it's not on my web server i got so used to just saving it save the jam make it look shit come on yeah oh i forgot the li boo i'll fix this it'll be fine don't worry about it where's the li on this thank you for the raid by the way what is up dude what is up we're watching you nice that is that is kind of the intention of twitch it is true I'm glad to see the Eagles. America. Very good. Very good. Hope you're having a good day. There we go. To be announced on the, on the start date during the daily stream. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's working. It's working. We've done it. This is fine. We've done it. Proud of this. Let me see what else we can do in this. This is fine. This will go here. I think we just need to do a P on that instead of an H5, actually. Make the formatting a little bit better. Their um, their built-in like formatting tool is kind of shit, so it sucks. It sucks and I hate it. It sucks and I hate it. All right, I think we're good. Is there anything else you can think of, Chat? Is there anything else? Is there anything else that you can think of? I think I will probably get rid of these ordered lists. I will probably make it block style like this, most likely. Because the ordered lists just don't look as good as the centered text, I think. Must be offline playable. Hmm, that's a good one. That's true. 
No, I, re I don't have... What do you mean we forgot the bullets? There's bullets everywhere. There's bullets all over. It's covered in bullets. The whole thing is bullets. Age restriction for winning? True. You have to be 13 years or older. That is true. I have to add that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That is a problem. Yeah. What's the song name? The song name is Heartbound. It's from our game Heartbound. Yeah. Yeah, 13 and you need parental consent. That is correct. Good point. I forgot to add that. Yeah, you must be at least 13 years old and have parental consent. Easy. Does a 30-year-old need parental consent? Yes. Yes. Yes, 100%. Definitely. You goblins, I swear to God. This is, go again, this is going under don't be a dumbass, the catch-all. There it is. I'm 55, do I need parental consent? Don't be a dumbass. Don't be a dumbass. Don't be a dumbass. Who it is. Senator, don't be a dumbass. Let me actually look at the exact one. You must be at least... Let's see here. Yeah, we don't actually need that. The parental consent under COPPA apparently only applies if the child is under 13 years old. Protect the privacy of children under the age of 13. So you can request parental consent if they're under 13. That seems correct. Which makes sense. Itch.TOS should already cover this? It should. So, just because Itch.TOS covers this, doesn't mean that I shouldn't put it in. In this case, you must be at least 13 years old. Makes the most sense. Yeah. We can't do or have parental consent. There's money involved. There's a whole thing with that. I'm just gonna just gonna put it like that. I'm just gonna do that, right? I think that'd be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Any geographical restriction concerns? Not that I can think of. How do you even verify parental consent? They send me a thing saying I consent. Yeah. And then we put it on there. It's not include the likeness of any public figures without consent. See that right there? Don't be a dumbass. What about Russia? I can't send them the dollars. Yeah, but they can get everything else. What's the stream all about? Teaching you how to make video games. And we're setting up some rule sets for our upcoming game jam. You know what? I think what we could do. Let's see. Itch.io. Um, sign up. TOS. Let's go to sign up TOS. The itch terms of service. Here we go. Let's think about it. 13. There we go. Perfect. Now we can just do this. Now I don't have to give a shit. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to do anything.
There we go. You must follow the itch.io TOS. And it has a section right in there, if we go and look at this, which is users and publishers and the age for those. Aha! My legal terms now. You wrote them, I use them. Because it's the platform we're releasing this on. Missing double quotes? You're a double quote. Yeah, that's right. How about I did this? What if I just did that? Does that make you happy? Is that going to make you happy there? Is that good for you? What if I did a double quote on that side and a single quote on this side? Is that... What if I just did two single quotes? That's the same as a double, right, chat? Yeah. No, you don't like that? Okay, here. I'll put two commas instead. Is that... Is that good? They're like... It's like a double quote. It's just down, right? That's what it is. It's just low... Low quotes. This is fun, yeah? What, a, what about back ticks? We could do double back tick. That, that's good, right? Is that ha oh, you want... I, I know you guys, you know, we're a lot of programmers here, so you're really fond of the semicolon. What if we just did that, right? Just get it all together. We just put it all together all at once. Is it happy for you? Is it good now? Mm hmm? Hmm? How about this? How about this? Cougar Town. Over in Top Chat over there. Why is this set to Top Chat, by the way? God damn it, YouTube. Top Chat is the worst. What if we just... A little cat face. What if we just use two cat face emojis? Is that good? Is it? Does that make you happy? Yes. Yes. Two cat face emojis. I'm glad that came through, by the way. <laughs> I'm glad that came through. That's pretty funny, actually. I need a goblin face, is what I need. I need to put a goblin emoji in here. One moment. Goblin. Where's where's a goblin? I need to search emotes. Goblin. There we go. I'm grabbing a goblin face. And I'm posting a goblin face. I'm going to copy that. Don't be a dumbass. Goblin face. <laughs> Look at the notes. It's so good, dude. Okay, done. It's done. We're going to go back over here. I'm going to save this in. Don't be a dumbass. Goblin face. Save jam. There we go. Don't be a dumbass. Goblin face. You must follow the itch TOS. Actually, let's go look at the itch terms of service. I'm going to say drug references. Nothing is in there. Horn. Nothing is in there. Um, nudity. Nothing is in there. Artificial. Nothing is in there. So yeah, this is good. You must follow the itch.io TOS. Game must be turned in before the posted end time. No teams of more than five people. The game must fit the theme. I don't even think we need that in the rules. That's already kind of there. That's the point. We're going to remove that. It's too much. Do -do -do -do. No teams of more than five people. The game must be turned in before the posted end time. That's fine. We don't care about that. That's implied. No AI generated content. Um... That works. Those aren't goblin emotes? Yeah, they are. It says goblin. You were violating don't be a dumbass. True. Don't don't be in violation of don't be a dumbass. That's like the worst thing you can be in violation of, to be honest with you. Out of all rules in the game jam, don't be a dumbass is the most sacred. All right. All right. <clears throat> I think I should put that one up to number one. Yeah. There we go. This is not an exhaustive list. Don't be a dumbass. Number one. Number one on the list. Don't be a dumbass. The most sacred rule of all. This is not an exhaustive list. Don't be a dumbass. Done. Done. You must follow the itch.io TOS. And when you click on this, it opens this. How many times am I going to get you with this? How many times is that going to happen today? How many times, chat? This is like the third time. It's like the third time. There you go. It opens up this. The terms of service. And then this again. Fourth. Fourth time. Unfortunate. No teams of more than five people. No AA-generated content. No pornographic content or nudity. 
Uh, we're missing a period in the end of these, aren't we? God damn it. All right. Let's go fix that. Doo-doo. Doo-doo. You know what I found that's really interesting? There's a lot of people, and I, I still don't know why this is happening, but there is a lot of people that now think that putting a period in the end of a sentence is rude. Why is that a thing now? Why is that happening? Yeah, like it's 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 harsh in texting. Like you're being you're being mean in texting. Because you put a period at the end of the sentence. Like it's ooh. It's a, it's a very weird new trend. Too formal? Is is that why people stopped using capitalized letters? Is that the reason? Wait, is that a golden kappa? Is it a golden kappa in the middle of ads? Holy shit. It's actually an unironic golden kappa. This, oh my god, dude. How many of these are we going to get? This is outrageous. Hold up. I'm going to do the announcement. That is insane. That is insane. Hold up. I'm alerting it. I'm alerting it out. It's going out to everybody. Why? How are we getting another golden kappa train? How is this happening? How is this happening? <laughs> it's so insane. Oh my god, no. Hold up. I can't believe the ads are happening at the moment that this went off, too. I'm gonna change the music. We're changing the music. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. There we go. So, for YouTube guys, um, the Golden Kappa train is every time a train pops up on Twitch, there's a very low percentage chance it becomes a Golden Kappa train. And if it does happen, and they join it, they get to have a golden cap over the next 24 hours. That's what it is. It's a good meme. It's a quality meme. It's actually kind of cool. It's something fun. Also, for some reason, if you write cap on YouTube, it makes a little moon man face, and I don't know why. And it creeps me out, actually. Unironically, it's a little disturbing. Yeah. It's a little disturbing. If you do Kappa with a capital K on YouTube, it becomes that. Do Kappa with a capital K and then hit space afterwards. It'll turn into a moon guy face. Yes, it does. Kappa, space, moon man. Why? Why does it do that? Why does it do that, YouTube? Why did you use Kappa? And why does it turn into a weird moon guy face? I don't know. I don't know why it does that, but it's weird. Look at YouTube trying to mimic a fraction of Twitch's power. <laughs> it's so weird. It's such a weird thing to do. You have to hit space at the end of Kappa, though. Yeah, goodbye, Moon Man plays. It's true. Isn't that weird? I like how all of YouTube is trying, though. It's such a weird thing. It's such a weird move. Holy shit, that's so many subs. Oh, the queue. Oh, the Q. HPF3 with 500 bits said, Yard Cheer 500, do you think a retro arcade style game is okay to start out with? My yes. idea is to try and make a collection of games that are variations on a bunch of old games like Snake or Tetris so that I can learn to make games. Also, do you think there would be issues with releasing said game for free since many mechanics would be reproductions of old games? I don't think that would ever be a problem. Um, every mechanic we ever use in any game is a reproduction of an older game. We sit on the shoulders of giants. That's how it works. Everything we make is an echo based on the things that we played as kids. And that's always going to be that way. Always. Always has been. Also, look at this. It's really cute. It's Mouse. She wanted to cuddle with my hand. She went to sleep like this. Yeah. She wrapped around my hand and then held it and was like, I'm sleeping now. And that's it. What's the record scam train? Let's look. What is the record? What is the record on this? This is outrageous, dude. That is so many subs and bits. Holy shit. Yeah, Mouse is cute. She's the best. She's a very good animal. How are the ferrets who dim? They're doing okay. They have their own cage now. Well, they work together. Uh, Level 28 at 52% is the highest train we've had here. Yeah, that's a massive trade. Yeah, this is nuts, dude. This is so many. This is so many. We need another fast music song. I think Raging Shadows is going to be the way. Where's Raging Shadows? There we go. 
Yeah. That is a lot, dude. Who's your biggest ferret? That's Lucky. He's like five times the weight of Mouse. He's ridiculously big. He's a big chungy. He's very large. And he's fast, too. He's super fast. And he gets his ass kicked constantly by the girl ferrets. It's very funny. Gold train record is level 50. Our level 28. I think ours is level 28, which is a massive amount. So, Loki is very small. Loki's really small. Yeah, she's tiny. She's very strong, though. And don't worry, all these alerts are going to the queue. Moonas with 500 bits said one more thing. I am thinking about streaming as well. Did you do, do all it. the layout yourself? Yes. Because it's I all... want to customize my stream as well. Okay. You should. Um, the layout is actually drawn by Shay, and I do modifications for it. I'm going to be doing some modifications for it tonight, where it says QTTS, and it has, like, the number on the side. And then uh, the last on that, I'm actually going to be splitting that into two bubbles. So I'm going to be doing that tonight to fix that up, to make it look better. Yeah. Next. Ronaldo here with 500 bits said, Yarchir 500 Hi Thor, have a great stream. Just wanted to say thank you for being an awesome human being. Well, thank you. It's very nice of you. It's very nice of you. Thank you. Is it still on Twitch? Is if you have the stream muted, it counts as a view? I don't know. I have no idea of how that works, to be honest with you. I mean, you should just watch the stream if you want to watch the stream. Don't forget about us. I'm not forgetting about you. No one's forgetting about you. This is an outrageous amount of bits and subs. It's ridiculous, actually. Look at it go. Look at that golden cap go. It's level 14 already. Holy shit, dude. That is so many. I'm trying to burn through the queue because you guys are burning up the queue. And now I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do! Let's go to the binding. We're gonna run the binding next. What did I join back into? You joined back into a golden kappa train. Yeah, no, you're not getting the golden kappa until it's over, guys. It's It has to end first. In order to get the golden kappa, you have to do one sub or a hundred bits or higher. And that's it. That's what it is. And it's already at level 15. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh yeah, we have to do the, we have to do the, uh, the cursed quest too. I totally forgot about that. Let me go to the Curse Quest real fast. While this is going on, I'm going to multi-track drift into a Curse Quest. Because you guys are outrageous. No, I don't want to start a squad stream. There we go. Manage reward requests. Curse Quest. Don't call me pain. Are you there? Don't call me pain. I'm going to pull this up. We're going to make a new tab. Don't call me pain. Are you there? Sudden 100% CPU spikes? No, not for me. It's gonna be something on your end, man. Don't call me pain. Are you there? I am ready for my quest, my liege. Good, good. I see you. I see you. All I have to do is slash user in your name and we're good to go. Do you want art? Cooking? Or music? Choose. Choose. This is oversaturated. That's fun. You are you upset about it? This thing that's happening right now is called a golden cap train over on YouTube's or on Twitch's side. So because of that, it's just a shitload of people throwing stuff at me. It's gonna break all at once. You said cooking. Let me make sure. Don't call me. Pa oh my god, there's so many subs and bits, dude. That is outrageous. That is outrageous. Holy shit. Sound like a final boss of the music in questions? This is actually boss music. Not the final boss, but it is boss music. Alright, you want cooking? Don't call me pain cooking. Let's see. Let's think about this. What is your favorite food? What's your favorite food? Don't call me pain. And don't worry, I'm gonna keep checking your name. Everything is completely oversaturated right now. Yes. It's, it's outrageous, frankly. I'm trying to multi-track Drift to handle it, but there's just too many. They're already at 70% of level 17. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that is. YouTube's like, what's happening? What is going on? It's, <laughs> it's going to be a bit wild right now, right? It's going to be a little absurd. Uh, what other, what other song can I play in this? Let's play Chicken Chicken. There we go. That's fast. 
That's fast and good. Uh, the specs for my th machine, I have a 13,900K and a 4090. All right, let's see. Your favorite food is a pizza. Wait a minute. Music stops. You want to make a pizza? No. You don't get to make a pizza. You get to make a pizza. That's right. You get to make a pizza out of my face. Let me pull this up. We're going into... Where is it? Where is it? Where's my face? You have to arrange the toppings in any way you want to to make this face right here. You have to make a pizza. A pizza. We love a pizza, dude. We love a pizza. There have been so many before you that have made a Thor pizza. So many. Did that just... You guys just made the camper train? It just... It's on level 18 now. It's on level 18. That's ridiculous. Yeah, you gotta use the toppings to make my face. Can you do this? Don't call me pain. Hmm? A pizza. A pizza. Look at it. I accept the contract. The contract is sealed, chat. Good. Good. All right. Now let's get back to it. As the Golden Kappa train is going completely insane right now, we're going to go to the next one. We're doing the next one. Are you ready? Are you ready? One moment. Also, by the way, we're currently at 19,759 subs in the channel, which is outrageous and wild to me. So thank you very, very much. That is, that is bananas. Fat Cat Swing for you. 19,759 subscribers with 20,730 sub points. And there are so many subs coming through that I an actually cannot see them all. I'm trying to look, and there's too many. The, the chat is going wild. We have three minutes left on level 18 for the Golden Cabot train. No, the other thing about computer? That's okay. It's okay. Is that little ham over there? Hello, little ham. How's it going? I think we should bring back the ferret buddy emote. Yeah, no, Twitch deleted that, saying it was pornographic. So... <laughs> And then they deleted it from, like, hundreds of other channels, too, but there's there's thousands of channels that have one. Even if you just look up the word dumpy, there's, like, 800 of them, which is funny. Tried to dispute, can't... Yeah. If it's an animated butt, it's not allowed. And now that you've posted animated butts in the chat, someone is going to report it and it's going to get deleted. That's how it works. Yeah. Dumpy's not allowed on Twitch. There are so many of these, and they're not allowed on Twitch, which is why they deleted ours. <laughs> yep. Everyone posting those, they're all gonna get... Do you've done it now, you've shown them off, and now it's gonna happen. This is your fault. You're, you're actively getting people's dumpies deleted, is what you're doing. That's what you're doing. It's true. Guess it <laughs> that's not me doing it. You deserve the donos? That's very nice of you. Thank you. The pre-recorded chat messages always throw me. I know, right? Totally pre-recorded, dude. A minute and 30 seconds left. It's going. It's going. The bongos are going. The chat is exploding. We're at 74 messages in the queue. How many have I even gotten through today? I've been working on that... On the game jam thing, we've only gotten through seven of them today, and chat's going to love that number, which is like the worst time for chat to find that number, is right now, when the chat is already unreadable. Oh, there it goes. Your voice is cool. Please say my name. Walliter. There you go. See? Said it right, didn't I? I put the emphasis on the right syllable, didn't I? Walliter. It's pretty good, right? I think it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Also, Kronos, I thought I made you a mod. For some reason, it looks like that didn't go through on YouTube. And I don't know why. Somebody go look. <laughs> yeah, it's the emphasis on the right syllable, dude. Yeah. That's how you do it. Let me go see what's going on with this. Level 18 got completed. No way. 
Outrageous, dude. Which one can I play? Oh my god, we have so many songs. We have so many songs. Mm, that one's not fast enough. We need a fast one. What are Salty Shadows? No, Terminated. There we go. There we go. This is the sound that the game makes when you're losing your job. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Wait, what in the name of... How did that jump up so fast? What did you just do? 50 community subs! From Kemic. Dude. That is a shitload of subs. And I'm sure I missed other people doing the same stuff, too. Thousand bits? Dude, I... This is too many. I can't even keep up with this. There's too many. I literally can't keep up with them. Oh my god, dude. How are you so cool? Well, I live underground. And it's cold here. And that's how I stay cool. Yep. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Oh my god, it's going! It's so fast. There's so many. Five subs. Thousand bits. Another thousand bits. Dear god, dude. Golden Kappa is now at level 19. You've done it. You've done it. Visually, it hasn't even done it yet. But in data, it has. Outrageous. Honestly insane to me. Let's play... Heartbound. There we go. It's a good three and a half minute song. If it plays. Level 20, dude. You guys are on level 20 now. Yeah, dude, the queue is insane. The queue is insane. You ever played Dark Souls? I have played, I think my first style of game like that is Armored Core, and people are like, that's not even a Dark Souls game, but it's it's adjacent, right? Armored Core 6 is great. I need to go through all of those and play them. They just never were my jam, dude. Played Lies of P. A lot of people keep telling me that, actually. I haven't played Elden Ring yet, either. I don't have a lot of time, man. What are your thoughts on Valheim? I love Valheim. Valheim is great. Armored Core? Armored Core is great. Armored Core 6 is incredible. And I 100 percent it. And it was very hard. Like, a ton of New Game Plus stuff, dude. When you get to New Game Plus 2, it's so difficult and so fun. It was so fun, dude. It is an amazing game series. But Armored Core 6 is my first one, you know. My first real one, anyway. I played, I think I played an early Armored Core when I was super young. When I was, like, much younger. But Armored Core 6 is, like, amazing. It's not even still the same. Still going? Oh, yeah, still going. I'm gonna put out a tweet. If you guys keep this thing going... I'm going to put out a tweet right now. All right. If it makes it to the next level, I'll put out the tweet. I don't mean an X post, a Z, a sheet. I'm going to sheet into my timeline. That's what it's going to happen, right? Can we 100% bit goal? Maybe. By the way, the bit goal now is 100 gifted subs, so do keep that in mind. It's a lot. Yeah, I'm going to sheet into it. Because X is pronounced as sh. In, like, it's like a sh. Yeah, sheet. It's called a sheet. Yeah, I'm sheeting into my timeline. It's true. Oh, it may stop here. It's got two minutes left. An exception? More like an excretion. Right? Are you actually a hacker? Yeah, 20 years. Actually, 23 years, technically. I was young and dumb once. It's true. Now I'm old and dumb. It's different. What is happening? Well, over on Twitch's side, they have what's called a Golden Kappa train right now. YouTube doesn't have this type of thing. Basically... When people throw a lot of bits or subs, it can start a hype train. When that hype train gets to, like, when it starts, it has a very low chance of being a golden kappa train instead. Holy shit. 
Thank you for the hundred subs. God damn. And when this happens, anybody that engages with it gets a golden Kappa emote for the next 24 hours. We are now at level 20. We've started level 21. I have put out the tweet. It says, we have a golden Kappa train running right now on Twitch. Already level 20. This is wild. There we go. You've done it. You've done it. It's there now. The tweet is out. Yeah, that's outrageous, dude. That is actually wild. It's level 20... Wait, what? <laughs> what do you mean it's already level 22? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold up. What just happened? Wait a minute. I think that 100 gift subs pumped it through two full levels. What in the name of shit, dude? That is so many. That's another 20 gifted subs. Oh my god, dude. It's insane. It's honestly insane. You're seeing all the alerts come through. You're seeing the queue shoot up into the sun. And that's just kind of how it goes, dude. What? Ten gifted subs. Thank you very much for that. Oh my god, there's so many, dude. Dude, there are so many subs coming through. No, that's too many. We're over 20,000 subscribers now. We're over 20,000 subscribers. It's over 20,000. You guys have been having this go now for 23 minutes. The ads are going to start in another seven minutes. <laughs> oh my god, dude. What was it before the train? We, there's been over 300 subs. That is, that is bonkers, dude. That is bonkers. That's completely bonkers. Yeah, it's been 23 minutes of this. We'll make it another 23. There's no way, dude. Every level gets harder than the last. Every single level gets harder than the last one, dude. There's there's no way. Beep. Thank you for the 10 community subs. It's very nice of you. You're awesome, dude. You just get beat it again. Did you beat another level? Level 22 is completed. Level 22 has been completed. Have you hit 1 mil subs yet on YouTube? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh? Oh? Hmm? We're close. We're really close, actually. Nine hundred seventy-two thousand right now. Yeah. Which is wild, frankly. Yeah, it's going fast. Today, maybe? Most likely tomorrow. It's averaging like 22,000 subs a day, so if this does happen, it'll happen tomorrow. I... I'm still kind of amazed by that, frankly. I'm still really amazed by that. This is wild, dude. YouTube is how I found you? It makes sense. Yeah, a lot of people did. It's for all the karma you get from ferrets. That's super nice of you. That is... Re By the way, speaking of the ferrets, I actually switched out um, their air conditioning unit last night. So they have a new air conditioner in the, in the room now. So there's no more air conditioner you can see through with the infrared camera, which is really weird and interesting to look at. Because their, their uh, AC machine was releasing a horrible smell. And I tried cleaning it out, and it, it didn't work. It was horrific. It smelled like, I don't even know, like vinegar. Like infinite vinegar. And it was five years old, so. Holy shit, dude. Double 5,000 bits? What even is that? Fable Giraffe? The 5,000 bits? That is a ton of bits. 
Thank you very, very much. Holy shit, dude. That is a ton of bits. That is a ton of bits. Actually, need to see if my system is working. Did this work? Yeah, this is wild, dude. This is so freaking wild. Honestly. That is, that is outrageous. And thank you for all the super chats as well. Those will come through. We'll start the queue back up after this is done, because, like... This is... This is nuts. Holy shit, dude. The queue is enormous. The queue's at 96 now. Wait a minute. Is it at 96? Is it actually? Oh my god, it is actually at 96, isn't it? That's so many in the queue. That's so many in the queue, dude. That's so many. It's so many in the queue. I'm gonna leave this song running until the end of the cap trade. It's my favorite in the list right now. That is outrageous, dude. That is outrageous. Look at this. What is it at? What level are we even at? Level 23 has been achieved. We're on level 24 right now. Also, that emote with that chicken bouncing is amazing. It's really good. That's insane, dude. What in the name of science, dude? You guys are going into ads in two minutes, by the way. And there's nothing I can do to stop them. Nothing. I've already used all the snoozes. Oh, wait. It gave me another two snoozes. I'm using a snooze. We have seven minutes until ads. Do you have any recommendations on learning netcode to mod a single-player game to multiplayer? No, I don't have any recommendations on that. That's a very difficult process. It's a really difficult process. We're at 99 queued in the TTS. What in the name of science, dude? Oh, actually, we don't have 99 in the TTS. I was wrong. Do you know how I know I'm wrong? Because it's not actually writing it into the action queue if the message has no message anymore, but it's still increasing the number. <laughs> <laughs> Which means it's incorrect. Shit. I have a problem now. We have an issue. We have an issue, chat. I have found a bug. This is not good. This is not good. The action queue has not actually increased too many times. Alright, we're good. We're good. Some of these are increasing. Let me look at this. Only the ones that have messages have been going into the queue. If they don't have messages, they don't go into the queue anymore, but it's still increasing the number. Shit. It's not great. Um, we're going to have to make a special queue increase for each one of these, aren't I? I am. I am going to have to do this, aren't I? Damn it. Damn it! That's fine, they're in the queue. The ones that have messages are in the queue. That's a huge number. I'm gonna have to update this. Let's fix it. <laughs> I'm gonna fix it live, it's fine. It's fine. Oh god. Okay, so I'm gonna need to, I guess, duplicate this? Because this is wrong now. Reward redemption, criteria's text to speech. Greater than 500. What other thing can we put in that? Nothing. Reward is next to speech. And YouTube, any amount. So. 
The problem is, is we're not going to know the message that comes through because there's different default values. Because if we have this one, if this is null or empty, then we have to break, is the idea. So I'm going to have to make a custom one for each one of these. We're going to have to do Q increase TTS, or Q increase bits increase. Boo. Boo. Duplicate. Duplicate. Edit. Q bits increase. Bits increase. Okay. And we'll delete that off of it. Don't show me that again. Just delete it. And we'll delete that off of it. And then Q increase. We're going to delete bits from there. Oh god, it's going to be broken, dude. And this is going to be... Redemption. Thanks to speech. And this is going to be Super Chat. So we'll make this one... Q increase... What is this? Super Chat increase. Actually, we'll do it like this. Q increase Super Chat. That way it actually is going to be good. Super Chat. That way it'll stay in the same general area. It's working. We'll fix this. It'll be fine. Channel points. There we go. Alright, it's working. It's working. It's fine. I can snooze again. We get another snooze. We got eight minutes. Oh my god, it's still going up, dude. Okay, with that, we've got those. That's good. We're gonna go into bits now, and I'm gonna copy this. Oh wait, I can't I can't copy paste. I have to do this. Copy sub action. Bits. Paste sub action. There we go. And then channel points. Copy sub action. Channel points. A sub action. And this will now stop this from being a problem. Copy sub action. Super chat. A sub action. So while the queue is currently incorrect. It'll be fine. It won't go up anymore if it's just... If it's a null message. The number is wrong. But it will it will be correct in the future. These are correct, as you can see. There's so many bits messages. <laughs> there are so many bits messages now. Everything is going wild, yes. This was... This is the next message is queued up. This is the... This is the golden cap of train, is what's happening here. This is... These are all the ones with messages. Go back in actions. Okay, we're good. Q increase. There we go. We'll beat the goblins. Dude, that's a lot of goblins. You are the goblins, though. I got another snooze. We got 11 minutes. We're out of snoozes now. My next available snooze is in 56 minutes, Chet. There's no more snoozes. 11 minutes. What level are we on? We're at level 25. No way, dude. If we get to level 30, can you know me? You'll never know me. You'll never be able to know me. Is YouTube chat just counting? Is that what's happening there? You snooze, we win? It's not gonna happen. What was that? Missed the 50 gifted? God damn it, there was a 50 gifted in there? Holy shit, dude, one second. There's so many of these, I can't even keep up. I look away for two seconds and you guys throw out 50 subs. Unclog the Frogger, what a name, dude. Thank you for the 50 gifted subs. That is outrageously nice of you. That is a huge amount. That is bonkers, dude. Also, Neomako, think of the 201 total gifted subs in this hype trend. That is bonkers and Fabled Giraffe with the 15,000 bits. That's a lot, dude. That is a lot. Thank you very, very much. That is a huge amount. Yeah. It's not a small amount at all. Why is YouTube chat just counting upwards? What's happening over there? You can't get to level 69. No one has ever gotten to level 69. It's stalled out, finally. Two minutes left. Two minutes left. What is the record? I think it's like 50 for Golden Capitrain, is what people are saying. 
This is streaming? No, this is nuts, dude. <laughs> this is so many. This is so many, dude. That is bananas to me. That is absolutely bananas to me, dude. Fable Giraffe with another 50 gifted subs. Holy shit, dude. That is so... <laughs> really? It went up 50% because Fable Giraffe dropped 50 gifted subs. By the way, don't pay attention to the timer. There's a lot of times where these things end at 30 seconds left. Don't wait for the last second. You will miss the train. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> also, I saw somebody in there got inspired by develop.games. I'm glad. I'm really glad. This is... This is bananas, dude. That is absolutely outrageous. How's the new ferret doing? Oh, he's doing good. We're waiting to see if he reacts to uh, his chemo correctly. We're waiting for it. Jesus, dude. Golden Kappa Train just hit level 26. We're two away from the limit. Ace of Steen... Wait, Ace of Stearns. Thank you for the 50 gifted subs, dude. Thank you for the 50 gifted subs. We just finished level 26. Two more levels and it's at the, at the all-time record for the channel. That is a lot of subs, dude. That is an outrageous amount of subs. The Twitch events panel is just doing this. It's just spazzing. I can't even keep up with it. Also, Tyrosine, thank you the $5 to the mods. That's super nice of you. That is really nice of you. Oprah's in the chat? What do you mean Oprah's in the chat? You get a sub, and you get a sub. Yeah, exactly. Outrageous, dude. Yeah, I have to say, legitimately, thank you very, very much. This is way more. Way more than I deserve, dude. That is an outrageous amount. What the hell? That is so many. Is that another 50? What is that? Where did that go? It's already at level... Wait, it's already at 57%. What happened? It's not even showing up in the queue. I can't even see it. I'm blind. I'm blind to it. Holy shit, dude. Are you proud of us? Always. You guys are always doing awesome shit. And not for this. Just, I'm really glad that you're doing stuff, right? I'm really glad you're making things. The goblins are wild today? Don't be sorry about that, Maggie. The goblins are always wild. Remember, both chats, YouTube and Twitch, have one brain cell each. <laughs> it's one. There's just more people on Twitch, so they have to spread the brain, brain cell a little bit thinner. That's all it is. It's a thinner brain cell. It's like spreading too little butter on too much toast. That's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> the brain cell, dude. The one brain cell. We have the better brain cell. Okay. <laughs> They're the same. It's not my birthday. It's not my birthday, Kronos. God damn it. It's so many subs, dude. Another thousand bits. Oh my god, dude. That is so many. That is so many. I have to do the next one. Windy Castle said, Hi Thor. Thank Hi. you for being respectable and doing everything you do. I have question, just like all other goblins. Is there a way to listen to the Heartbound music without YouTube? I wish yeah. I did Heartbound after renting the demo to play your game when my exams are done early February. Less than three greater than three equals three. You can you can do that by getting the the OST on Steam. And you can listen to it remotely on any any player you want. Anything you want at all. Yeah. This is nuts, dude. Lukin Grevsky with $10 said I've started learning in GameMaker. 
Have any advice for breaking out of the idea phase, project management? It's going to be a game design document. You got to make a game design document to break out of that design phase. Because once you have that design document down, you're like, okay, I know what to do. Let's hit the ground running. And you start making stuff, right? Don't get stuck in analysis paralysis. Don't wait forever. Because if you do, you'll never get it done. It's all about taking those first initial steps to try things, and the game design document's going to show you what those steps need to be. That's it. That's all it is. Dude, this is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. What level is it at now? It's 97%. 97%. And you hit it. It is level 27. It is level 27. We are now on to level 28. And an anonymous gifter just gave a hundred gift subs. Anonymously. Holy shit. This is the new record. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's actually already broken the record. We're at level 28, 69%. Nice. Now it's 70%. No, no longer nice, but still nice. Still nice. Think of the 100 anonymous subs, dude. Holy shit. That is an outrageous amount of subs. That is outrageous. I told you I'd keep playing this song until it ends. We're all stuck at it together. This is bonkers, dude. Any tips for first DEF CON? Don't go to the talks. Stand in line. Talk to people. Go to the workshops. Learn something. Go to a different workshop every day. Do lockpicking village. Do tinfoil hat contest. Try stuff, right? But watch the talks afterwards. The only time I go to talks is when one of my friends is talking so I can support them. That's it. Holy shit. Unclog the Frogger with another hundred gift subs. Nazgul with the 20 gift subs. Thank you very much. Level 28 has just been beaten. Why is everyone counting? I don't know. YouTube's weird. Their brain cell is malfunctioning. They don't know what to do. Which side is exploding with a golden cap train and YouTube side is counting upwards? <laughs> oh. That is an outrageous amount, dude. That is an outrageous amount. I don't even want to say. 58% into level 29. That is outrageous, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> what? Dude, the most you guys ever got to before was like the very beginning of level 28. You're, you're halfway through level 29 right now. That is insane. That is outrageous. I don't deserve that amount of like subs and bits. That's crazy to me, dude. That is like the craziest thing I have ever seen. Like, you have you have no idea how ridiculous that is to me. Uh, <laughs> Seriously, that is... That's something else, man. And every single one of you is posting, like, super nice things, too. Like... That's a lot, dude. Thank you for the five gifted memberships over on YouTube side, too. It's very nice of you. The ads are gonna start in eight seconds. I can't stop them. I gave you 45 minutes of no ads. I used all of the snoozes. It's the best I could do. The ads about Jeff Bezos is entering the chat. 
There's nothing I can do about it, Chet. Jeff Bezos is here. He's ready. He's waiting in the wings. He's coming. There's nothing I can do about it. Wait a minute. What? Yeah, it says ads starting snoo soon, but it also says ads are snoozed for five minutes. Is he lying to me? What's happening? There's no snooze available. I can't snooze it. I don't know what's happening. The ads aren't starting. Did it stop? Did Twitch stop the ads? Maybe they did. Maybe they did. Maybe Jeff Bezos is being held at bay by the power of the Golden Kappa Tread. Could be. I'm not sure. I've never seen that happen before, so I don't know. Oh no, there's the ads. Yeah, no, it wasn't true. <laughs> there they are. You missed nothing. We wait. Well, I guess you're going to miss the Golden Cap Train. 94%. Wait, what? What? That is an outrageous, outrageous amount. You guys just beat level... Hold up. You're at level 30. You just beat level 29. You're at level 30. That is an... That's outrageous, dude. That is incredibly, incredibly large for a Golden Kappa train. For any hype train, frankly. Every level that it goes gets more difficult than the last one. Level 30 is outrageous, dude. That is so much... Like, so much. So many bits and so many subs. That is... That's 100% not only a new record, but it's... it's. That's so many, dude. How many? I don't even know. I don't even know. I can't tell until the end of it. What's the ever record? I think it's 50. People are saying it's 50 and 53 for a non-golden. The ads have 20 seconds left. Yeah, level 30 is crazy, dude. That's really, really high. Oh no, Maggie laughs. Twitch doesn't get rid of uh, uh, ads during hype trains. The hype trains actually are supposed to delay it automatically, but I ran out of snoozes. So, once you run out of snoozes, it doesn't delay it anymore. Your game dev? Yes. Oh god. Oh god, there he is, chat. There he is. He was running the ads, and he's he's arrived. I'm gonna I'm gonna slide him off screen onto one of your computers. There we go. Jeff Bezos' pog face is gone. Don't worry, you're okay. You're okay. I got rid of him. It's fine. It's fine. Don't panic. Don't panic. It's fine. It's fine. He was just there getting the ad money. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's totally fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I slid him onto one of your computers, though, so it's your problem now. Yeah, it's on your computer now. Yes. Dude, it's still going. What do you mean it's still going? It's been 45 minutes. I have to choose a new song. I have to choose a new song. We're going Raging Shadows now. This is... This is bonkers, dude. You're at 45% of level 30. There was another 50 bomb in there? Dude, I can't even see them. My activity feed is literally just shooting past. It is just a wall of of bits. It's impossible to read. I wish I had filters for, like, size. You know what I mean? There's nothing I can do about it. I can't even see them. Where'd it go? One? One? No, it's too fast. It's too fast. It's already off the screen. It's already off the goddamn screen. It's so many. It's so many. That is, that is bananas, dude. K-Snowball with the 20 gifted subs. I see that one. <laughs> it's so fast. <laughs> it's so fast, I can't possibly say thank you to anyone. Oh, it's so many, dude. 
It's at 49%. It's at 49%. You know, there's only one thing I can do in times like this, chat. And that's this. I hope you enjoy this hamburger. It's for you. I made it for you. I made you this hamburger, chat. It's for you. <laughs> it's for you. It's for you. It's for you during the level 30 golden camp train. It's for you. It's for you, chat. This is yours. You can have this. It's for you. Now this, how could this happen again? I don't know, dude. How could it happen again? That is, that is bonkers, dude. 30 seconds remain. 58%. Let's, let's get this going, actually. For the last 30 seconds. 20 seconds left. There it goes. 15 seconds left. It's going to end, Chet. This is it. Thank you very, very much. Seriously. There it goes. Three, two, one. And it has ended... with 1,409 sub-gifts and 114,000 bits. Level 30 at 64%. Holy shit, dude. That is an insane amount of subs and bits. That is an insane amount. I... <laughs> Post your golden kappas in chat. There you go. Spam the chat with your golden kappas. You have them now for the next 24 hours. Spread these across Twitch. That is yours to gloat about now for 24 hours. That's right. So thank you very, very much for that. Um, that's wild to me. And I, I can't thank you enough. There are so many subs in there. 1,409 subs, dude. That's... Two months ago, that is more subs in that one train than we had total on the channel. By 50%. That is... I can't even explain to you what that feels like. Like, that's just... That's wild, dude. That is completely wild to me. Holy shit. <laughs> it's like that level where you're like, I'm feeling emotions that I don't understand, and I'm going to laugh. Like, that's kind of how that goes, right? Like, the only the only solution to that is like, wow, that's, that's a number I can't comprehend at all in any way. It's like when you think about a million people, and you're like, I, I could understand a hundred people, maybe. A thousand people, not so much. A million people, you're like, that's not a number that's real, right? Yeah, 1,409 1, subs. That's not a number that's real. 114,000 bits. That's not a number that's real. That's bonkers, dude. That is outrageous. So, yeah, thank you. Thank every single one of you. And I... Holy shit. Yeah. No, it's not... You're not gonna... I'm not gonna cry. I'm not going to. I'm going to try that. <laughs> That's so many, dude. That's so many. Going to cry about it? Maybe. Maybe I'm going to cry about it. Maybe a little bit. Oh, man. Look, it's not, it's not crying. It's... It's an oil leak, because I'm definitely a robot. Beep, beep, boop, beep, beep, boop. Is it most... I guess, sorry about that. My, um, my camera seems to have crashed. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, whatever was said right before that isn't real. Yeah, some kind of bug. Some kind of bug. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. Yeah. Happens. Happens. You know, technology. How does it work? This chat is now mine? I don't think so. I don't think it is. I don't think, I don't think it is. I think the mods own it. I think the goblins own it, frankly, and the mods just kind of wrangle them. At least try to. 
Um, no, this is this is nuts to me, dude. We're now at twenty thousand eight hundred and sixty-two subscribers. Twenty thousand eight hundred and sixty-two. The queue is also wrong because it was injecting stuff into the queue that should not have been in the queue, which is funny to me. It's really funny to me, actually. There were a lot of things that entered the queue that had no messages, and that's been fixed now. So, let's get to the next one of the queue. Just as Panopticon with $1.99 said, have you ever played Warframe? Yes, Just a lot. Curious. Yeah, a lot. Um, I played Warframe for years. I have like 6,000 plus hours in it. Um, I have a full clan in it with all the unlocks. I have almost every card in the entire game. I have almost every frame in the entire game. I love the shit out of Warframe. Love it. I have not played the new update. I think it's coming out tomorrow. Yeah, I'm super into Warframe. I have been for ages. Love that game. And the, um, God, what is his title? Who here knows Pablo from Warframe? Good old Pablo, dude. Who knows Pablo? Pablo himself. This man. The design director for Play Warframe. He's in our stream team. I knew him before he was the design director. And he's been in the stream team forever. And he's a really good dude. He's a really good dude. Yeah. Twitch has stream teams that you may not know about. But yeah, he's he's been on there for ages. And I'm so proud of him. He's done an amazing job. I'm so proud of him, dude. Um, so before he got the design director position, he'd, he'd be streaming here every day, like all the time, on Twitch. And now he still streams. He does. Stream game dev on Twitch TV Pablo makes, so you should definitely check him out. He's a good dude. He's a good dude. And he's the design director for Warframe now, which is awesome. Yeah. Oh my god. Do you know Rue? I don't. I do not. <sighs> Alright. The queue is going. Harold Dawn with $4.99 said how long on Goblin Ferret emote or Gnome Ferret. Also thanks for being you and all your do. Chat get burgered. Get burgered. A burger. There it is. That's the one. That's the burger. Well done. Every time someone sends a burger, I'm going to do that. That's how it's going to go. Did that train finish? It did. It finally finished. Uh, it was 45 minutes long. It was 45 minutes, which was nuts. Honestly, bananas. Actually, I think it was longer than that. It was 50 minutes. That is, that is bonkers, dude. That is completely bonkers. I'm going to the Twitter post that I put out. I'm putting out messages for this because that's that's something else. That is that is absolutely wild to me, man. That is completely wild to me. I don't even know if I could find a, a good image for this. I give it the most ridiculous one. I'm putting a really ridiculous one. There we go. This is going to be a good gif. This is one of my favorite stupid gifs. There we go. The train lasted nearly an hour. That was absolutely bonkers. Ended at level 30. You are all amazing. And thanks. <laughs> I love this gif. This gif is so stupid and good. It's so stupid and good. Oh, it's going. That's in the. That's in the list of my gifts. Yeah. Check the Twitch rank. We can't. It takes them a little while to pull it up on Twitch Tracker. Yeah. Yeah. We're at twenty thousand eight hundred and sixty-one subscribers. So if we go to, 
Twitch tracker. Let me see what their leaderboards look like. Let's find out. The Twitch tracker leaderboard. No, it's ranked 22. With our current amount of subs, it's actually ranked 22. It is not displaying those subscribers because they just came through. Yup. That is, that is bonkers, dude. That's so many. That is so many. It's a lot of aspiring game devs. It's not just aspiring game devs. It's people in the tech industry. It's people asking questions about how to, like, move around. I think the, the biggest thing is a lot of people who are joining the tech industry now are having trouble getting in. And a lot of people who are in the tech industry are either underpaid or having trouble getting upward mobility or even lateral mobility in any way. And they just need advice. And it makes sense because tech industry is rough, dude. It's a rough thing. What YouTube subs are we at? Let's find out. Oh, is pirating games bad? Let me let me be clear. Pirating games is not bad. Pirating games is an economic issue. It's a service industry issue. It is because people can't afford your game because it's too expensive in their region, or they can't get your game because it's not available in their region. Piracy happens because of those things most predominantly. It's not about being good or bad. It's about making sure that people can get your game. That's it. That's all it is. Why don't you go to bed? Because this is my time to stream. I go to bed at a different time of day. <laughs> Amazingly, my life doesn't work on your schedule, right? <laughs> is it actually going to be today? I don't know. If it's not today, it's likely going to be tomorrow. Unless something explodes. Because this is... This is bonkers, dude. Yeah, that's bonkers to me. How is our brain cell handled separately on Counts and Burgers? I don't know. YouTube's, YouTube has, let's see, Twitch is at 5,363 viewers right now. YouTube's at 1,755. As such, since both chats have one brain cell, Twitch has to split theirs between 5,000 people, and YouTube has to split theirs between 1,700 people. That's how it works. So YouTube is, per viewer, using more percentage of a brain cell. Yeah. <laughs> and as I say this, I look over at Twitch chat, there's a person just posting a lick emote as it goes past. There you go. Lick emote and, and bongos. Here, watch this. Seven. That's it. That's the whole message. Twitch chat on fire. Twitch chat on fire. YouTube chat a little bit on fire. Twitch chat on fire. Twitch chat gone. Cleared messages. I think the funny part is, is if anything ever bad happened to the chat, I wouldn't have to hit clear chat. I would just say the number seven and it would disappear instantly into the void. Gone. Deleted. The power of chat. Still gets logged into Nightbot, by the way. <laughs> oh my god, dude. It's super rough in my field, too. Rough times, more empathy. Love the Thor does this. Anytime, Maggie. Anytime. Maggie's one of our mods, by the way. Kicks ass. One mil subs before Christmas? Dude, I mean... I didn't believe before, but I'm... You're starting to convince me. This is... That's really close to a million. That's really close to a million. Go to bed? No. I just woke up. Do, do you want to know what my day looks like? Do you want to know what time I woke up today? That's when I woke up today. I took a shower for 15 minutes. And then I got on stream. Then. I was only awake for 30 minutes before the stream started. Then I go back to bed. At around... Usually around 7 p.m. Usually, so that's like 1900, right? Usually about 1900. To like 1930. Somewhere there. It's usually when I go to bed. Wake back up, do it again. Did you eat? Yeah. I ate a little bit of food. Insane schedule? Not really. I mean, insane for you, yes. For me, this is normal. I've been doing this for like 10 years. Plus 10 years, you know? You're going to sleep four to five hours? Five hours a day. Every day. I've been like that a super long time. How long did you dry your hair? Um, In the 15 minutes it took the stream to start, my hair dried, right? It was kind of wet when the stream started, but it's good now. Yeah, yeah. So I, I work 10 hours, or I work eight hours a day on stream. Then I do another eight hours a day off stream. 
and then I do three hours of free time, and then I do five hours of sleep. And do that every day. My normal day. Am I okay? Yes. I've been doing this for over ten years. <laughs> In fact, to be real with you, I have had this schedule for longer than some of you have been alive. <laughs> so yeah, that's just kind of how that works. I'm good. Promise you. Yeah. And that's it. I need 10 hours of sleep. How old am I? 36. Yeah. I'm 36. And I'm doing fine. Doing fine. Been to the doctor, got all my stuff checked, made sure that I I do blood work all the time to make sure that I'm good on that end, that my diet is fine. I um I go and did I, I did a sleep study. Like they did like a bunch of different sleep studies where I had to go in and sleep and they put all the electrodes on you and they record you when you're sleeping and it's weird. And I hated it. But yeah, I've done it all. Don't you don't you oh I'm sorry. Don't you oh I'm sorry, don't you do it. Do you let me see. Do you think like you had enough sleep when you awake? Yeah. Do you know, here's how I wake up. You know how most people wake up and they're like, uh, and they like roll around in bed and they're like, no, no. Like, I don't do that. I wake up and I get out of bed and I put on my socks. And like, that's it. I just, I'm just out of bed. I just get out of bed. I just wake up and I go. Sometimes I wake up and I pick up my phone and I go, okay, nothing's on fire. And then I get out of bed and I'm good. And that's it. Or I get a bed while looking at the phone, if, it, if I wake up at like 30 minutes left. Yeah. Socks before shower? I don't shower every day. I shower every three days. I wait for my hair to get greasy and then I take a shower. When it gets a little bit greasy, I'm like, okay, now it's time. Yeah. What do you mean, ew? I don't leave the house. What? What am I gonna do? What's gonna get weird? I don't smell weird. I don't go outside. I, I stay in my home. Is it easy for me to fall asleep? I fall asleep, like, instantly, dude. I get in bed, and I'm like, Bleh. Gone. Shower with the socks on? Definitely. No. No, no, no. This is not kidding. This is not kidding. I shower every three days. I wait for my hair to get greasy. Because washing my hair every day would make it dry. I don't want it to be dry. So I don't do that. I just shower every three days. It's not a problem. It doesn't smell. If it smelled, Shay would bitch at me, right? I don't smell. I'm good. I'm good. Because I stay inside. <laughs> I don't go anywhere. I wear pajama pants and a shirt and socks sometimes. I don't like wearing socks, but I do it when it's cold. The only time that I wear socks is when it's so cold on the floor that I have to wear socks or my feet get mad, right? When I get to my desk, I take the socks off. And the reason why is because I sit cross-legged in my chair, so my feet are under me and they're warm the whole time. It's fine. Do you poop sitting down? No, I poop standing up. Yeah, that's how that works. Didn't you know? That's the normal way to do it. Whatever you've been doing is wrong. Do you have kids? I have 20 ferrets. <laughs> let me let me show you what this looks like. This. I can actually change this. This is the ferret rescue that I run with Shay. You see that? It's got an infrared camera running right now, so you can see them in the dark. But there they are. They're very cute. They're very cute and they're sleeping. They're sleeping and nobody is moving. They're like slugs right now down there. Look at them. Look at their weird little slug bodies, dude. Breathing. Slowly. But yeah, I actually... I run a ferret rescue with Shay. Um, we rescue ferrets from Washington State. And we save their lives. That's what we do. Yeah. We save their lives. And they, um... They stay with us till the end of theirs. That's it. No, they're not dead. They're sleeping. You can see very, very slowly breathing in there. Their bodies shut down when they're very comfortable, and they go into sometimes dead sleep, where you can pick them up and they wiggle, and it's quite weird, right? Yeah, they thank me with poop and crime, that's true. Yeah. They do thank me with poop and crime. This is basically poop and crime, incarnate, is what that is. They're very good at crime, too. They're, like, really good at crime. I'm gonna link this in chat a bunch. Your version engineer? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love that shit. I used to use Aldi DBG back in the day, but I use Ida now. It's very fun for me. Always been a fun thing for me. All right, the queue. Muffy Maria ninety with eleven euros said, "Hey Thor, hope you're Hi. doing well and your new mobo is behaving. I found you via YouTube Shorts and enjoy listening to your streams while I work. Thanks for sharing your insights. Wish you a nice day." Thank you very much. Thank you very very much. You're awesome, dude. 
Angel of Revelation with $5 said you do know you can. Download the GDD to your drive, then yes. edit it. Why request yes. access? People want to request access because they think that they're going to be able to, like, I don't know, like, pull one over on me and be like, I'm going to edit that. Blah, blah, blah. Like, no, just, just copy paste it. Just download it. You're good to go. You don't have to edit it. It's very funny. DOC registered with 500 bits said, oh, good, you're live. A reason not to start exploring endgame Subnautica. Oh, no, you should do that. You should do that. It's terrifying. Washington, it's a nice state, just not King County or Pierce County. You know what? I'm going to be real with you. There's very few parts of Washington that I would say are nice. The only thing that's nice here is the weather, because I love rain. And it rains like 75% of the year, which is fantastic, which is fantastic. And I'm very excited about that. Love the rain. Did Valve fix the CS2 exploit? There was a patch that morning, and people said that it's fixed. So, you should look for their patch notes. And if they don't have patch notes out for that, Valve, you should have patch notes out for that, because it was a serious issue. It was a really serious issue. People were chaining it in all kinds of different things. It started as HTML injection, and it ended with people going, wait a minute, I can hook other functions of the client with this, which is fun. <laughs> Toxic Turtley Top with six Canadian dollars and 99 cents said, Borg Ragnarok, I just wanted to ask if you have any ideas what happens if you fail a college class because I'm afraid I might. You should find out from that college class. That's going to be different for every college. Uh, some of them let you retake stuff. Some of them make you have to pay for the going to do, do the course again. There's all kinds of different rules based on what college you're going to. So I don't have a silver bullet answer for you because there's no there's no true answer to that. You need to contact the college and find out what happens there. Yeah, that's the most important thing. Washington is actually gorgeous. It is. Uh, there was an exploit in CS2. Yeah, there's an exploit in CS2 that allowed people to do HTML injection. And the problem was, is when they did HTML injection, it didn't have a whitelist for local files. So you could you can inject external files to it. <clears throat> so the immediate effect of this, the immediate effect of this is you could host a file on a web server and you can make it so that nobody could see this file because it's just kind of hidden. Inject it into CS2. And then when you displayed this in game, there's a method to display it to other people in the party. It accessed it from their computers, which means you got all their IP addresses. That was the first exploit from this. This kept going where people figured out how to chain this in other ways and did other shit with the client. It was bad. It was really bad. Valve put out a patch for this. And I don't know if that is effective yet. Some people said it is. Some people said it isn't. But they haven't put out a patch note. And I really implore Valve, put out, a, put out an official patch note so you can fix this. Um, at least the public perception of it. It's very important because some people say it works. Some people say it doesn't work. Some people say that the client fixed it, blah, 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 blah. They need to put out a patch note. There, there has to be a patch note for this so that people can understand what's going on because this was a really bad exploit. It was a really bad exploit. The IP address thing on its own was bad. The chaining was also bad. It's not good. Yeah, it's not good at all. Not good. <clears throat> I don't think this is a live broadcast. Yeah, Hutch. I'm going to be real with you, Hutch. This is definitely all pre-recorded. In fact, I predicted your chat right there. That's That was predicted. Yeah. How does it feel to get predicted like that? What's that, what's that like? What is, what is that like over on YouTube, Hutch? How's it feel? <laughs> I love when people think that this isn't a live video. I love it. God, it's my favorite. Next. A underscore Gen 2 underscore Penguin with 500 bits said if only 99.99% .99 of humans are real, approximately 780,000 individuals would fall into the category of not being real. How many of us are real? You think I'm real? I might be. But what if I'm not? What if I'm just like a bird, right? Like a government drone created to fool you how would you know do you work out i work out problems that's working out got abs on my brain dude and on my vocal cords apparently yeah meat popsicle i am a meat popsicle yeah dude alucard 150 with mx 100 dollars said i went to college for swe but nice. ended up as a translator and I love it even more. Been doing it for three years almost to the day today. How important do you feel localization is in the games industry? Incredibly. Localization is king. Let me, let me be very clear about this. Localization is massive in the games industry. Localization is massive. Our overall income from regions outside of English, which is English United States, is over 50% of our income as a studio from game sales. Localization is massive, dude. 
localization is massive. It is a big deal. It is a really big deal. You should localize your games and you should localize your prices as well. 25% of our overall income from sales is from Brazil. By the way, Brazil, rise up. My glorious Brazilians in chat. We made the game 60% off in Brazil. It is $4 USD in Brazil. It's like 20 BRL. And it'll always be 20 BRL. Thank you, Brazil. Because 25% of our income came from Brazil. Which is nuts, dude. It's nuts. And the reason why is because we made the game affordable for people in Brazil. And we made it available for people in Brazil. Easy. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. You've seen that short. Yeah, you have. There's a short on this. Localization is huge. It's a big deal. How did you decide on that price? I talked to people in Brazil and I said, hey, what makes sense? We've got ads, by the way. We're going to wait. We're going to wait for the ads. Yeah, it's from a short. Yeah. Is the demo also 60% off? Actually, the demo is 100% off because it's free. Yeah. Argentina got cut off now. Um, their purchases on Steam are tacked to the US dollar, which sucks. Can you see me here? I can't see you, man. Yeah. Joke's on you, I got ad block. You're on YouTube. This is for Twitch. Twitch ads in pro progress. I should actually change that to say Twitch ads in progress, and I might. I might actually do that today. I took out a mortgage to buy it. Did you buy it from Zoltralord? Mmm, foolish. Foolish. Yeah, I did see the announcement that E3 is officially cancelled and not returning. I did see that. It's quite sad, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. E3's done, dude. They're done. Never coming back. Never coming back. There we go. I'm putting out an official response to the E3 thing. Because it's it's really shitty. It's really shitty. There you go. It's it's sad as hell to see. And uh, E3 is a really big thing for our industry, man. Yeah. So, after more than two decades of E3, each one bigger than the last, the time has come to say goodbye. Thanks for the memories. GG, well played. E3 is done. Yeah, they're done. Um, and it's sad to see. It actually is really sad to see because E3 was a really cool place for like games to come together and people to find out about cool stuff and just awesome memories, frankly. Awesome memories. And it's, it is, it's sad. You do hate to see it. E3 was kind of in a weird spot. You know, they started closing down certain things and making it really expensive and stuff like that. But after the pandemic, they couldn't recover. And that's it. That's really what it came down to. It is end of an era. It's actually end of an era, legitimately. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be a money-wise and interest problem, right? Where they just can't get the kind of sponsors that they had before. A lot of physical location events like this are really difficult, man. Like, since the pandemic, people just don't want to do them. They're always like, well, if I go, I'm going to get COVID, right? And they usually do. Like, it's rough, dude. I have to think about that, too. I'm going to DEF CON anyway, but the reason I'm going to DEF CON is because I'm going to be in a tiny room away from everybody, you know? So I'm going to limit my exposure to other human beings. So that's a big thing. Same thing if you go to TwitchCon. You know, you have to think about that kind of stuff. Why did you shift your sleep schedule? I haven't shifted my sleep schedule in, like, years, dude. Yeah, it's the same. It's been the same forever. COVID broke the camel's back for E3? I think so, too. I really do. I really, really do. Yeah. It's really sad, dude. It's really sad. Yet, yeah, E3 was tasteful ads. It was. E3 was tasteful ads. I can agree with that. Yeah, I can agree with that. What time is it for me currently? 3.56 a.m. Yeah. Is COVID still a thing in America? It's still a thing everywhere. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, it's still a thing. Every time I get sick, I'm like, well, I got to bust out the new detection thing. And I'll be like, okay, I dodged it this time. Oof, you know? Yeah. It didn't go away, dude. 
It's just like a round now, which sucks. Uh, DEFCON spelled D-E-F-C-O-N. It's always canceled, by the way. But uh, it's the hacker convention that allegedly happens in Vegas every year. And I allegedly go every year and compete, which is fun. But yeah, I haven't been in a number of years because of, uh, well, the pandemic, frankly. I almost died. Yeah, sucked. I actually sucked a lot. DEFCON is the after party for Black Hat, which is like the corporate version of DEFCON, right? It's the one that has all of its soul sucked out of it, is what Black Hat is, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> but it's also canceled. DEFCON is definitely canceled. Allegedly fun. Yeah. I mean, people show up for it, even though it's canceled, and then, then they end up hanging out. About 30,000 people usually show up thinking the convention is not canceled, but... No, it's definitely canceled. Definitely. Black had a, had a soul, which, since when? Never. Never. You almost died? Yeah. Yeah, it took me about a year and a half. Do you want to see what it looks like in data? Who has never seen this data? Who wants to see what data looks like when you get COVID as a streamer? Would you like to know? I've been streaming for six years. Look at this. See this? This is my first two and a half years of streaming. I streamed every day. Seven days a week. The only time I missed it is when I got sick randomly throughout that, right? Maybe once or twice a year. Look at that data. Look at how good that looks, right? Look at that shit. And then, look at this. You see this? You see this slow decline? And just like the outrageous reduced times on these things and me just not streaming a shitload? That's what happens when you get COVID. I had long COVID. It was about a year. Uh, it took me about a year and a half to recover. At the end of it, something went terribly wrong. Do you see these three months here? I couldn't breathe. The reason why is at the end of COVID, I got a fungal lung infection and I didn't know about it. And the only reason that we found out about it is because I went to the doctor. I was like, my mouth is burning always. Can you figure this out? It hurts and I can't breathe. And they were like, oh yeah, we'll give you these tablets. They're antifungals. This sounds like a fungal infection. Two weeks later, I could breathe again. Immediately started streaming back up again. No shit. Yep. Yep. It's really, really rough. So, yeah, no, it was not good. Um, there was another time in there where I was like, oh, I can stream again. Everything is cool. And I got sick again. Uh, that was for a little while. And then this was, this was, I took time off. I think that was, yeah, that was the end of that. That was when that was. It was really rough. There was a couple times in here where I just had to stop because there were other things that were terrible that were going on. But most of that was COVID. Most of this was COVID. And now this year, it's like, cool, I'm good. I can stream again. I can do things, right? Da -da. And that's all it is. Jesus Christ, your body's been through the, the wars. Oh, yeah, no, dude, it was rough. It was really rough. And look, all these look dark now because you guys are all here now, which is funny. <laughs> you can actually see how this has changed dramatically in the last, like, month and a half, right? Was that 50 subs, dude? Or did that alert finally just come through? I think that was the alert finally coming through, actually. No, 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 that was the alert finally coming through. Yeah. The alerts are three seconds per alert. It has been like an hour, dude. They're still running from the Golden Kappa train. I need to find some way to fix this. I have to find some way to fix that, dude. Maybe I have to make it so it's like a second and a half of alert, and like we speed up the GIF for this. Like the animation has to be faster. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Because we made the animation to time it with the sound. If you look when Baron does his little ear flip thing, it's it's on time with the little noise of the sound. So it's all timed, like... See that? See how that's cute? How can I change it now? I have no idea. I don't know how to fix this. I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. I have to change everything. I have to change everything. God damn it. You can't change Baron? Maybe I'll make it so that it runs half the speed if it doesn't play the sound. Because it only plays the sound when it's a multi... Multi-thread that shit? Maybe I will. I'll find a way to do this. I'll find a way to do it. I actually had to turn off the follow alerts, too. The follow alerts were just too many. You guys have gone from... We had 38,000 followers before this. We have 180,000 now. Right? Like, what am I... What? Blah, 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 blah. Blah. There's, there's noises in there that I don't know what to do with. Maybe only 10 subs and above? Maybe? I guess we could turn it off. Unless it's like 10 subs and above. I don't even know, man. 
There's got to be a way to fix this. No, it's, it's... Before this, I had unique alerts for, like, all kinds of stuff. I had... I would sit down and say thank you to everybody that subbed, anything like that. That's impossible now. That's completely impossible. And I don't like that. <laughs> I want to say thank you like I always do to every single person that does these things. But I can't. Because there's too many. You hit a you hit a throughput issue where there's just too many. And I understand now why there's so many streamers that just don't have alerts. Like, I get it, right? I never understood that. I was like, why do all these top streamers just have no alerts and they just have a blank UI, right? I get it now. I understand now. I didn't get that before. Now I do. And now it's broken, right? Everything is broken instantly. Yeah, you DDoS all of it, dude. The, the donation system that we use for the moderators, that broke as well. You guys killed it for days. It was completely dead. It was completely dead. It was wild, dude. Speedrun subs? I mean, yeah, it's, it's crazy to me. It's outrageous. So thank you very much. I gotta get through this queue. Hi. What just happened? What? Why did that just do the first second of that? Speaker bot? Are you okay? Event log? Well, the event log is mad. What's going on there? What's, go what's going on there? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to go read that one out because it looks like it just broke, dude. Yeah, it totally just broke. I will name my son Billy so everyone can rip on him. That's <laughs> I'm glad we read that. Long Cop Legend with 500 bits said, Hello, my good man. Hello. I noticed various games have different editions. Are yes. you planning something like this for Heartbound? If so, I think a great one would be like Minecraft have a Java edition. Your passion and all-consuming love for Java would make it the ultimate version of Heartbound and I would buy the demo of that version 100%. Also, I am working on gnoming you. Is there a guide somewhere on what sound and picture of gnome to make it count? Thanks there is for a, all you do, Java man. There is a gnome. If you look up gnoming meme. On Know Your Meme, You've Been Gnomed is the point of it. Let me pull this up. This is all you need. You need to have the, the image and the sound. The image and the sound. That's it. That's the meme. It's so weird. It's so weird. Gnata Gnoblin, dude. Gnata Gnelf. You're a gnome. Yeah, no. No one can do it. No one's been able to do this. If you don't understand what's going on, in six years, the community has tried to know me. They've never been able to know me. So if somebody manages to know me, they get this. They get this. A pirate software official challenge coin. Look at that. Look how shiny it is. Look how good that is. Actually colorized and everything. Mm. This is for you. If you can know me. And the closest... The closest anyone has gotten to this, and I'm going to look away when I do this, this came in the mail. They tried to know me in the mail. That's the closest that's happened as I was opening it because it came with my Steam Deck, by the way. See this right here? I was like, what the hell is this? And I looked at all of it on it, and it has a charging port, and it had these play buttons, and I was like, no, no, no. And I handed it to Shay, and I left the room, and I was like, can you check to see if this is a gnome? And Shay opened it and just started yelling, gnome, 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 gnome. And I didn't get gnomed. Didn't get gnomed. Close. The closest anyone has ever come to gnoming me. Anyone. Outrageous, frankly. Absolutely incredible, frankly. You know him, Shay? Shay absorbs the gnomes for me. Yeah. Yeah, Shay ab absorbs the gnomes. Over six years, we've built in layers of defenses. It's like an onion, chat. Layers of defenses to stop me from getting gnomed. The mods are in on this. Shay is in on this. There are so many defensive layers to stop me from getting gnomed. I am at the core of the onion. 
of six years of cat and mouse game to stop me from getting gnomed. Six years of cat and mouse. And that one was new. That was new. Smart. Very smart. Really smart. Wolf says, it's wrong, I'm going to try and get you gnomed. Yeah, you're on the list of mods not to be trusted. You know that, right? Like, there is a list, Wolf. There's a list of which mods I can trust. To not know me. Zafiroth is in the maybe category. Wolf is in the do not trust category. Am I trustworthy? Maybe. Kronos, you're a lawyer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, let's be real. Maybe. I'm gonna give it a maybe. Legal stuff? Trust you. Gnoming? Mmm. You're an agent of chaos. You love chaos. And gnoming is peak chaos. How about me, Magical Star? I trust you. You're in the trust list. But now that people know that, they're gonna try and get you to know me. But I trust you not to know me. It's true. Next. Heartfire567 with 500 bits said, Hey, wasn't sure, but thought maybe you might have some advice. I have taken a two to three year hiatus from working and now that I'm trying to get back into my career field, CAD, but I'm feeling a lack of confidence in my ability to actually perform despite having a degree and worked several projects previously. Any advice on how to get past that feeling? Yeah, actually. So you're feeling a lack of confidence in your ability to perform even though you have a degree and worked several projects previously. We generally call this imposter syndrome. That is generally what that is. White Panther, thank you for the rating party of 87. Hope you're having a good day, dude. Hope you have a good day. Tell me about your stream. It may get lost in chat, but I hope you're having a good one. Yeah, greetings to you, man. Thank you for the rain. Thank you very much. Hope you guys are having a good one. We are answering questions from chat right now. Yes. Yes. Questions about the gaming industry and the tech industry. So this one is from Heartfire. I said, um, I've taken two to, three to year, two to three year hiatus from working, and now that I'm trying to get back into my career field, I'm feeling a lack of confidence in my ability to actually perform despite having a degree and worked several projects previously. And if I said, hey, get back, uh, past that feeling. Yeah, so this is generally imposter syndrome. Uh, you have the skills, you have the certification, you have the paper, you have everything showing that you know what you're doing, right? You just don't believe it. So what I would say is work on something personal to prove to yourself that you still know what you're doing. That's it. It's always scary to step back into something when you haven't done it for a number of years. Two to three years is a long time. It's easy to think, oh man, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. The technology has changed. Maybe my skills are gone. It's easy to think that that is wrong. It's easy also to prove back to yourself that that voice is incorrect. So all you have to do Work on something personal, just for you, and try it. And you'll learn a lot about how the technology has changed in that last two to three years of you not doing stuff, and you'll find that all of your training, everything you got to get that piece of paper, is still relevant. You can't take that out of you. Text just changed. And it's easy to learn it again, right? So do it. Don't wait around. Don't worry about it. And don't let that fear of not being good enough stop you from being good enough. That's the biggest problem. If you sit down and you let the fear consume you and you stop yourself from making things and trying stuff, then you're never going to get better. You're never going to prove to yourself that you're good enough. That's it. That's all it is. He's doing the shorts? Nah, music's playing. Makes it really hard for Shadelock. What mic setup do you use? I use a Blue Yeti. That's all it is. It's just hooked into via USB. Yeah. It's kind of a, kind of a jank rig, to be honest with you. <laughs> It looks right up into OBS, and it's kind of shit, you know. Fall into the paralyzing fear hole a lot. You know, it's a really common thing. It's called analysis paralysis. It's called imposter syndrome. There's a lot of different stuff you can go into that. You 100% sound like Howard Stern. Hey now, Baba Booey. <laughs> Baba Booey. I can get like, I wonder if I could get even deeper than that. Hey now. There we go. He's got that kind of twang on the end of it, like, hey now. He goes for a while with that, right? Hey now. I used to listen to Howard Stern when I was young. Yeah, a long time ago. I haven't heard him since he went on XM Radio. Long time ago. Long time ago. <laughs> there's an AI, there's no mic. You'll never prove it. You'll never prove it. I always see this guy in shorts, finally seeing you live. What's up, dude? I wonder how, many, how much a good mic does for a voice. I don't know. So, like, 
Twitch is going to be sending me a new microphone because you guys got through um, the Twitch hype challenge, like that big challenge that they did. You got to level 12 on it. And I'm, I'm worried about using it because I've never used another mic. This is actually the same mic I've used throughout the entire time I've been streaming, and it broke at one point, and I had to re-solder it. So, like, I've never used a different mic. If you go back into, into videos of me using the micro, like, streaming early on, it's this same microphone. It's always been the same microphone. So, like, I have no idea how to use an XLR mic. I just have a USB plug-in, and that's it. I've n I don't know anything about audio, dude. You should check out White Panther. As she also streams here in software and game development, it is absolutely fire. I definitely will. In fact, thank you for the, the raid. Let me go pull this up real fast. White Panther. There we go. Shout out. Done. Follow them. Always follow new game devs. All of fo always follow the other devs. What other content do you do? Let me look at this. Let me look at your stuff. It's time. It's time to review you. Because you've raided into this channel. I want to see what you do. Are you working in a specific project or anything like that? Anything anything I've never seen before? A video game, maybe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you work on? Hey, wait a minute. He used to stream in science and tech. Just like I used to stream in science and tech. Currently rebuilding my website for the fifth time. I feel it. I feel it. Were you there before software and game development existed? Were you streaming in science and tech back then? Let me go look. It sounds like you... It looks like you were. Oh, you were. One of us. One of us. Hell yeah, dude. We fought for that category so hard, dude. We fought for that category so hard. I put in the user voice to get the game development category made, and the whole community rallied around it. It was massive, dude. It was absolutely enormous. It became the second highest voted thing on user voice of all time, and then Twitch finally did it. I bitched for eight months straight. This website you see here, Develop.Games, was going to be an aggregate for all of us game devs. That was the idea for it. And I bought the domain two days before they made the category. And then afterwards, they were like, hey, um, we made the category, and it was like, shit, <laughs> like, what do I do with this cat? What do I do with this domain now? And I turned it into a resource for new game devs. The whole thing is just all free knowledge for game devs and like showing off other games and things. What was the highest one? I don't remember. I don't actually know what it was. But it's turned into this like big massive resource for new devs. So you are one of the originals, dude. You're one of the OGs that was streaming there in, in science and tech. I was streaming the same category. We were both surrounded by 24-7 weed growing streams and animal cams. That's And then sometimes NASA would show up. Sometimes. Which was... <laughs> which is super... Yeah, rabbits and ducks. Earthquakes, the earthquake stream, yeah, the earthquake stream and the weed growing streams. That was all of it. That was the whole category in the NASA, randomly NASA. And you're like, wow, NASA's here. And then NASA would leave and they're like, all the viewers went away. They, they didn't show up in anybody else's stream. It's just gone. They're just gone because NASA wouldn't raid anyone. They'd just be gone. They'd just be gone. And they wouldn't raid a game dev. What is a game dev doing in there? I'm so glad we have a category now, dude. So now, if you don't know, this category is for software and game development. And that doesn't just mean programming. It means writing. It means art. It means music. It means voice acting. Anything that goes along with any of those things, this is what the category is for. So if you make stuff for video games or you do anything for developing software, stream here. That is the point. That is the whole idea. That is the whole point of it. Do you think it'll hit a mill today on YouTube? I don't know, dude. That's a pretty big jump, right? 28,000 is a lot. I guess it's about to be 27,000. Almost 27,000. So maybe, maybe tomorrow? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Has someone done a rubber ducky stream yet? I don't know if anyone has. That's quite funny, actually. Maybe. And then, when you think of, when you say rubber ducky, I actually think of, uh, I think of, there's a couple hacking tools. <laughs> but when you, when you say rubber ducky, also, you may mean an actual rubber duck sitting on your desk. Yeah, dude, it's almost a million. It's almost a million. It's, it's crazy to me, to be honest with you. Um, for, for those who don't know, yeah. For those who don't know, uh, what I'm going to be doing is this. When we hit 100,000, YouTube actually sent me a silver play button. So they sent me the silver one. It turns out I can get duplicates of this. So I did. I got two duplicates. I am giving these to our editors, Steets and Shadelock. So they are both getting one of the silver play buttons each, which is awesome as shit. 
So I'm really happy that YouTube allows us to do this. Um, at the 1 million, we get a gold one. And if it hits that, which it looks like it's going to at this point, there's no there's no way I can get around that, right? That's that's wild now. That's 100% a thing. I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to be getting those. Yeah. So they they are getting, both of them are getting the play buttons for that because they, they're the editors, right? This This channel wouldn't exist without them. That's the whole point of it. The YouTube channel would not be anywhere without an editor, right? I can't do that shit. That's the whole point, right? So yeah, does story ever cross stream? I feel like cross stream. What do you mean cross stream? Like dual stream with somebody else? I haven't done that. I think I've done that only once, and that was with uh, Cardboard Cowboy, and it was a lot of fun. He's awesome, dude. Cardboard Cowboy's a really cool dude. Did we miss nine six nine six nine six? Did we? We did. We didn't miss six nine six nine six nine though. Yeah, the six nine six nine six nine was was obtained. We got it. Yeah, so they're going to be getting those as well. I'm already in talks with YouTube about this because you have to go through like a whole process for it. I need to check my email real fast to see if that's new. To see if that's new there. Doo -doo -doo. Let me turn the music back on. By the way, all this music is from our game. All of it is. <laughs> God damn it. There's so many messages right now. God damn it, it exploded. My Twitter timeline is a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. Who made the music? Stein von Wakeren, our musician. Yeah. Awesome as hell. Let me see. YouTube award. Okay, so three days ago was the last time they responded. And they have to go through a process to verify that we're eligible to get additional awards for this channel. And they have to go through YouTube for it, because it's a separate group that does this, and blah, 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 right? And I know this is the real email because they sent me a card with the award itself. And I'll, I'll send them an email probably tomorrow to find out if we're still good. Because the last time they responded was on a Sunday, which was a while ago. It's Wednesday now. Right? Does the musician get a play button? So, the way that the studio breakdown is like this, right? So, of the 100% of money that we get in from Steam, which Steam takes their cut, right? They, they take 30%. I take 50% of what's left over. Steiner Musician takes 25%. Shea gets 25%. When the art book is made, Shea is going to get 100% of the art book. The OST, which is already out. Stein gets 100% of the OST. Of my portion, I pay for all the software and hardware for the team. And I put it in their name so they get to keep it forever. So all the licenses, all that shit is in their name. They keep it. It's theirs. And I pay for all the legal fees for the studio. So things like trademarks, stuff like that. For the translators, for a localization team, the general standard right now is $0.10 cents per word in English being translated over. I pay $0.15. Cents. As this is increasing with inflation, it will. I will always pay 50% over international standard for their work. Always. Every single time. For the moderators, the way that the mods work, I'm going to pull this up. Uh, Pally.gg tip pirate software. Is it pirate software tip or is it tip pirate software? There it is. 100% uh, of your guys' donations through Pally.gg go to the mods. Steets is our community manager, so Steets gets 50% more than the other mods. Every other mod gets 8%. So it comes out to 100% to them, 0% to me. So the mods get paid from your guys' donations directly. Every time you do this, that is only to them. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And it's all automatic. This never touches my account, which is huge. Yeah, no, not 100% right now. 100% forever. I was doing mods giving, which was going to be until the end of the year. It is 100% forever now. I am never taking a percentage from this ever again. It is going 100% to the mods forever. Forever. That's it. What about bits and subs? That goes to me. So bits and subs go to me. However, I only spend about $1,500 to $2,000 a month in expenses, full expenses for everything that I need in my life. Everything that comes outside of that, this is what I do with it. Let me pull this up. I run a ferret rescue in Washington State with Shay, and we are expanding the ferret rescue. We're going to try to expand it up to 100 ferrets. 
So we have 20 right now. We only take in ones that are up for euthanasia, ones that can't be taken care of, ones that have really bad medical situations, and we take care of them. All the ad revenue from this channel also pays for everything as well. Yeah. So we have 20 right now, and two of them have disseminated idiopathic myofasciitis. Uh, they're both on chemo, and they're round-the-clock care for that kind of stuff. A number of them are just very old, and they're like spinning plates, so we got to fix stuff for them all the time. Many of them have adrenal disease, so we have to do implants for them every year. All kinds of stuff. Yeah. All kinds of stuff for that. So, like, this is these are things that I, I you know, I do outside of this. So that's where I put all my money, because why wouldn't I? Because it's fun, you know? It's something that I really enjoy. It gives me a lot of, like positivity and i get a bunch of ferrets and sometimes i lay on the floor and they just crawl all over me and try to eat my face which is great it's fantastic actually it's it's probably the most joyful moment of my day every day it's just being like ah yes the ferrets <laughs> slowly descend into the pit of ferrets also this entire room is theirs it's very it doesn't look very big right now because that's where the camera is but it's actually huge it's um it's the largest room in the house it's larger than my office and we have ads now we're gonna wait for the ads Animals are great, dude. Ferrets are the best. Ferrets are the best. And then we're gonna do the we're gonna do the alerts, because there's many of them, because you guys have exploded the queue. Enormous queue. I'm actually gonna start doing these now. Umar Hay said hello Thor. How hello. are you today? Do you have Good. any suggested testing methodology that is applicable to game development? I also wanted to ask you if you think it's a good idea to do a video game project with Unity right now, or if it would be better to wait for the contracts to stabilize. Thank you for the motivation to make games. Sure. I have been going through hard days and your stream and motivational words have made me reignite the flame of making games. Absolutely. Greetings really from glad. Columbia. I will answer this once the ad break is over. We've got it queued up now. Have you been contacted with the FBI? No, but I've contacted them. I'm a hacker. I have been for over 20 years. So because of that, when I find things that need to be shown to the FBI, I show it to the FBI. Da -da. Fear that a bunch of bots just join? Eh. Beh. <laughs> Doesn't matter. The ads won't play for everyone, guys. How did you get started with hacking? A misspent youth. You can do everything that I did then, now, legally, uh, by doing bounty programs and websites to learn, which is great. Do you do bug bounties? Yes, I do. Yes. Love them, dude. Super fun. I actually have a whole section of the Discord for you to learn. Let me show you this. Let me show you this. Uh, where's my pin messages? All right. This is our Discord. On our Discord, under the interest section is Hack the Planet. Hack the Planet has a bunch of resources for you to learn offensive security. That is the whole point of it. We also have partnered up with Hack the Box. Hack the Box will actually give you a discount if you get annual plans through it. Using this, You have to use the link and the code. So, if you want to do that and learn this stuff, you can. Which is great. Super, super good. I would say that you start here. This is when you start knowing a little bit more stuff. And then this is where you're actually putting it to real world use. And it's broken. Mark is resolved. There we go. <laughs> you guys all joined the Discord so fast that it broke. Fantastic. And now it's good. It was defending itself from how many of you that are there. It's discord.gg slash pirate software. Discord.gg slash pirate software. Yeah, that's the channel. That's the Discord. And I'm saying it instead of linking it so that it doesn't break as heavily. Yeah. Discord was getting raided by you, is the point. But yeah, please do read the rules when you join and um, and do this, man. Learn this stuff. 100% learn this stuff, because it's it's great. It's It changed my life. That's the whole point of it, right? That is the whole idea. So because of a wonderful time in there. Also, whenever you guys do a TTS message, 
Uh, when that gets answered, it goes up here into Answered TTS. When it goes into Answered TTS, you'll be able to see your message, and it has a timestamp for the moment in which it happened. So you'll be able to go back to that day's stream, and you'll be able to find the answer. Even if you have to leave the stream, you can see it here. So that is a thing for you to do, right? Easy peasy for you. And you can leave comments on it. Yeah. Which is great. It's fantastic. <clears throat> All right. We'll get back to the queue. So test plan and unity. So somebody asked, like, how do we how do we form a, uh, a way to, like, test? How do you test a video game? And the idea is you form a test plan. You determine what the parameters are. And the params in this case are going to be like, okay, what do I... How do I test this fireball? And the fireball is like, okay, the fireball does damage. It has a crit chance. It has crit damage. It has an elemental effect. It has, you know, and, and then you go down the list. You're like, well, how do we test the damage range? Does the damage range match up to the tooltip that is shown to the player? Is it affected by flat damage increases? Is it affected by percentage damage increases? Does the, the calculation for percentage and flat damage line up with what the developers, the rest of the development team is saying it should be? right the crit chance does it actually have the correct crit chance does it actually de apply the correct crit damage where in the calculation is the crit damage applied is it a multiplicative effect as it should be elemental damage is it percentage or flat elemental damage where in the calculation is this applied making sure that all of this aligns with the way that they want that system to actually function right if an enemy has something that's damage resistance does it affect that correctly? Does it do it after the calculation for the damage or before it? Is it flat damage reduction or elemental damage reduction or percentage damage reduction, so on and so forth? You create a test plan for how this should be tested, and then in the future, you can use this for every spell in the game. Hey, and then you can build out unit tests to automatically push out all the data for this and tell you when something is wrong. Easy. Test plans. Test plans are huge, right? For Unity... I would wait, and the reason why I would wait on using Unity for new projects is their new business model has not been tested. They used to have a business model that made sense. It was a seat license, and the seat license was fine, and they changed this into a $0.20 cents per download model. This was stupid. Nobody liked that, because it was very dumb. They wanted you to track it as the developer, which means you can't do that in Europe, because that doesn't make any sense, right? Because GDPR is not going to let you do that. You can't go and track everybody's email for that kind of shit. It's not going to work. So you're like, okay, well, that doesn't work. And then also, I could just set up a bunch of servers that randomize all their data, like all their hardware information and everything, and they just download your game hundreds of thousands of times, and then you go out of business because you're a rival mobile company. And now you have to pay 20 cents per download. Because that, that's good, right? Opening up that abuse path is a fantastic job. So then they walked this back and they were like, well, it's not actually 20 cents per download anymore. Now it's 20 cents per download or 2.5% rev share, whichever is smaller. Just get rid of this shit, Unity. Stop it. Get rid Just stop it. Just get rid of that. Nobody's going to do that. Nobody can do that. It's the dumbest thing on the planet. Stop it. Stop it. Just do the rev share. Just do the rev share. Be like everybody else and do the rev share. Now, this is where we're at now. You're probably going to do the rev share, right? With that in mind, this is now untested. Because it's untested, we don't know if their business can sustain itself on 2.5% rev share. Is that your voice? I mean, yeah, it's coming out of my mouth, so it'd be kind of difficult for it to not be mine. <laughs> Would you rather I talk like this the entire time? I could make it like this for the rest of the stream as well. Chat really knows that I can pour the butter on the voice. If that's what you want. And yeah, this is this is actually my voice. I can change it at will because it's my voice. And I talk every day. And I have for the last six years. Or I can just talk normally like this and nothing's changing. So yeah, no, this is this is not a voice changer. This is just me. That's that's me talking. I've been doing this for six years. When you talk eight hours a day every day, it comes with a little bit of a perk of being able to modify your voice automatically. Because you get abs on your vocal cords. That's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> and second puberty. That happened too. My voice actually used to be super high pitched. It dropped when I hit about 33. Um, I went to the doctor because I was concerned about it. They did a bunch of tests. Um, it was horrifying, by the way. They did do something called a manumetry test at one point where they put this thing down your nose into your esophagus and then they make you swallow and then they had to do another one for another thing where they put it down there and it had to stay there for 24 hours and i had to wear a little pack on my side to measure the amount of stomach acid that was coming up into my throat because i had to get a hiatal hernia fixed and i also had to get a valve put into the top of my stomach because i was born without one and it was horrible 
It was a horrible year for my esophagus. It was not good. It was not good. I had a robot on my hip, and it went up into my nose and down in it, and I had to sleep with that shit. I had to sleep with it. It was horrible. It was horrible. It was not good. It was not good. A lot of testing. A lot of testing. Turns out I'm fine. Turns out I'm fine. I did have to get a new valve put on the top of my stomach, though, because I didn't have I didn't have a valve there, which meant that every time I had any acid reflux, it's just, you know, up it goes. That was the whole thing. How do you breathe with a tube in your nose and throat? It was very thin. Yeah, it's a really thin thing. It's just annoying, right? It's annoying. Yeah. You admit you're a cyborg? For a little while it was. For 24 hours. Did it come with Steam? No. No, it didn't, unfortunately. Couldn't play any games on it either. Couldn't even play Doom on it. Sucked. Any tips on starting hacking? Uh, again, into the Discord, in the Hack the Planet channel, under interests. Go there. You will find everything you need in the pinned comment, which is the top pinned comment at the very first comment of the, of the channel. Yeah. So with that in mind, though, we don't know if their business can absorb this. We don't know how this works. Um, and I, I'd be wary of it. The, the engine is fine. There's nothing wrong with the engine. It's just the business model's weird, man. And we don't know if they can run an operation on 2.5% revenue share because they've never done it before. And that's it. That's all it comes down to. That's all. What are some alternatives to Unity? Godot. Behold. There is no best engine. Godot exists. And it's free and open source. That's all. That's all it is. If you're already working in Unity, keep working in Unity. If you're not working in Unity yet, I would wait to find out if their engine, if their business can absorb this new model. In the meantime, Godot is free and open source and fantastic. <laughs> it's really good. It's really, really good. Thoughts on Unreal? Unreal Engine's amazing. Did you know that Unreal Engine actually makes games that you've probably never even thought it could make? Check this shit out. You ready for this? You ready for this? Did you know that Unreal Engine made this? Did you know that Octopath Traveler was made in Unreal? I bet some of you didn't. This game's wild, dude. 2.5D. Made in Unreal. Yeah, that's Unreal. That's an Unreal. It's really cool. I think they did it for the lighting model. Like, look at this. Look at the lighting in this. Brilliant. Beautiful. And then also, the particle effects are incredible, too. It's actually really awesome. So, yeah, I've actually listed out a couple of games that are made in each one of these engines. And, like, RenPy was used, which is free. RenPy is a free tool. Used to make Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, Unreal was actually a bunch of different games that we have here. Game Maker's a bunch of different games here, which I need to add more games to this, which is cool. Um, Risk of Rain Returns, I think, is in Game Maker 2. I need to add Knuckle Sandwich to this, actually. I'm going to be adding Knuckle Sandwich today because Knuckle Sandwich was Game Maker, which is cool. And then Godot, Dome Keeper and Endoparasitic. There's actually a number of other games that are coming out for Godot now, too, that I need to add. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> what games does Pirate Software made? So, Champions of Breakfast and Heartbound are the ones that I work on. So, Heartbound's the game that we're currently working on. And um, we're sitting at 95% positive, which is doing really, really well. It's very, very good. And... It's in early access, and I just keep adding stuff to it. Now, let me explain something. Don't buy my game. Don't do it. Do not buy this game. Play the demo. The demo is free. If you like the demo, you'll like this game. It is an experimental RPG. It is based on player choice. There are thousands of routes in the game, which is not a joke. It is based on your choices. Everything changes based on how you play the game. Everything changes. It is outrageous. It is incredibly difficult to do. It's taken me a long time. Don't buy the demo. It's free, you goblins. It's free. And that's what it is. So that's the point. That is the whole idea. And don't worry. All of your donations and stuff are in the queue. The queue is very long. So please, please hang tight. We had a golden cap at train today. Everything exploded. Um, and we're going we're gonna to see. I'm going to start burning through the queue now. We're going to do it. We're going to burn through the queue. We're going to burn through it. King Awkward herself with 500 bits said the second ever Papercraft quest is complete. I'm sorry in advance. It's been sent as a video via Discord for your displeasure. Put it on YouTube. Put it on YouTube and send it to me there. And I'll have one of the mods review it to make sure there's not a gnome in that. The moment you're making a video, I think gnome. Instantly gnome. You have to send it to me. Via YouTube. It's gotta be a YouTube link. And then I have to give it to the mods. King Awkward herself will we'll do. Good sir, thank you. Thank you. I will be giving it to the mods for review. It's probably going to be a no. <laughs> You're sacrificing your mods to the gnome? The mods are the first line of defense for the gnoming. Understand something. This is how this works, right? There's me. 
I'm over here, right? I'm over here. Then there's you, trying to know me. The first layer of defense is my paranoia, which is very large, as you can see. The paranoia is enormous. This is the paranoia layer, right? Then, the next layer of defense is the mods. Then the next layer of defense is Shay. And then the next layer of defense is another layer of my paranoia, in which I have to think about if Shay or the mods have decided to go sour and are trying to know me. There's two full layers of paranoia here. Two full layers of paranoia. That's what that is. And you have to get through all of it. You have to get through all of it. Yeah, the chance of a rogue mod or Shay is never zero. It never is. Which is why there's two layers of paranoia. No one is trusted implicitly. No one can be. No one can be trusted implicitly. This is how I've survived for six years without getting gnomed. For six years. And if one of you manages to do it, you get this. Pirate software challenge coin. Look at it. Look at how fancy that is. My god. Look at that. Look at that. Six years. You've lost the game? I lose the game every day. It's meaningless to me. Losing the game is like breathing. In which you are doing it manually right now. That's right. That's right. You're, you're manually breathing. It's true. It's actually true. Also. Yeah, this is called asymmetric warfare. This is when you make me lose the game and then I... I hit you with this. Yeah. Three at once. Three at once. Asymmetric response, my friend. <laughs> That's your fault. You did that. That's your fault. Alright, next one. HPF3 with 500 bits said, Ya Cheer 500, have you ever heard of CryptPad? It's supposed to be a high security alternative to things like the Google Doc Suite or Ms. Office Cloud, and it can be self hosted. Huh. Interested in your opinion as a hackerman? I have never heard of that. I'm going to add that to my list and check that out. I, I'd like to know more about that because if we have an alternative to that that's self hosted, I would rather have a self, -ho self hosted solution usually. Um, that being said, if it's roll your own crypto kind of a thing, I'd like to know that too. So I'm going to be checking it. I'm going to be checking it out. First message, Shatter reporting in. Thank you very much. How's it going? Was it called again? Cryptpad. Yeah, I want to know more about that. I want to do research on that to find out. Because usually when you get things like this, it's like, oh, it's it's host it yourself. It just kind of falls out of out of usage or it finds like people find vulnerabilities and doesn't get updated. So I'm always interested, you know. Are you do you play or have you heard of the augmented reality game Ingress? I've been playing Ingress since the beginning, my dude. I also play Pokemon Go and I play Monster Hunter now. I love everything that Niantic does. I've played everything that Niantic has released, even the shitty ones, even the ones that are shut down now. I love geolocation games. I love the hell out of them. I've always loved weird ways of playing video games, and geolocation games is a cool one. I also used to play way back in the day, who has ever heard of scanners? And I think it's spelled with a Z. You used to scan barcodes. It was like a little device. You scan barcodes and you fought monsters with it. I love weird shit like that. I love that shit, dude. Pikmin Bloom? Yeah, I played Pikmin. Yeah. Yes. Have you played Ingress? I was just saying yes. I've played Ingress since it, it since it launched, dude. Yeah, I have always played strange method video games. I love barcode scanner games. I love geolocation games. That shit's fun for me. I enjoy all of it. Is all data harvesting though? Yeah. I don't give a shit. It gets me out of the house. I get to have fun with it. My geolocation is kind of irrelevant to me, to be honest with you. If somebody managed to steal that out of that, they'd be able to find me. Cool. There's other ways to find me. Cool, right? The way that I always feel about it, I'm going to be real with you. I got doxxed 12 times last month. It happens. Yeah, but the swatters, yeah, here's how I handle that. And I actually put out a short about this to think about this stuff, right? If you, if you have these types of situations, if you're worried about swatting, the best thing that I've done is I contact my local police and I say, hey, I'm a streamer. People know my location. It happens, right? People can dox me. It's cool. This happens, right? And I want to let you know that if somebody tries to swat me, that this may be the case. And they go, cool. And they add that to a tag on a file for my address, right? And now this doesn't mean they won't send a SWAT team, but it does mean that that SWAT team will get informed that this may be a false alarm. And if it does happen, 
I have a room where I'm well lit, got my hands up so people can see what's going on, and I'm in the farthest location of the house from the front door, which makes it easier for me to find out what's going on, shut down the stream, handle everything appropriately, and put myself into a place that's well lit and vis visible. That's all you can do. Yeah, I've seen there's a short for this. I did a short for this. It's so sad that you have to worry about these kind of things. Yeah, people are idiots, man. People are idiots out there. They are. So, like, you know, why shut down the stream? So if you don't, if you get swatted on stream, Twitch will usually ban you for a couple of hours as a precaution, right? I don't really want to go through that process. So I'll just go, hey, something's happening. I'm going to shut this down, and I'll be back. And that'll be it, right? That's the whole idea. So you, you do that kind of stuff to avoid these types of problems. Yeah, Twitch does it as a safety precaution. They do it for you, right, is the idea. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing that they do that. And yeah, that's the, that's the whole point of it. How do you respond to the 12 doxes last month? I just delete them. I don't care. I don't even respond to that shit, to be honest with you. I've known where I live longer than you. I don't care. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, okay, woo, you know, like it's not that spooky for me. I grew up on 4chan when I was a kid, dude. I grew up on 4chan and something awful forums and YTMD and all the shit like that. I grew up on the old internet, the internet that was stronger than you. Like, it, this is irrelevant to me, frankly. It's it's not going to scare me. It's not going to bother me. It's not spooky, right? It's just like, okay, you did the thing. Ba -ba, you know, like, great. You know, it's not scary at all. So, like, when these things happen, do I have plans in place for it? Yes, that's it. You know, if they ever do. I hope they don't. It's super awful if they do. But that's kind of how it is. That's that's the idea. Is you plan for these types of behaviors just in case someone does this. Like, I think people, someone was talking about, like, XQC lives in a location that's not even near any type of flight paths so that no one can hear a plane through his stream and triangulate his location based on plane flight paths, which is, that's the shit you have to do. That's the shit you have to do, right? And it makes sense. It makes absolute sense. Like, think about where you're going to live. Be like, there's no flight pass here, so no one can know. And that's all. Because you can go and look up the planes and find out where somebody is. You can narrow it down every time you hear a flight, right? Yeah. I mean, that's that's the whole point with that, is making sure that people can't find you is, makes the most sense. For me, it's like, okay, well, people are going to be able to do it eventually. And that's it. That's all it is. You just plan for it. You handle it. You move on. Not a big deal, right? Yeah, holy crap, the ferret exploded. Yeah, that's, that happens when people do that, which is funny. <clears throat> they can do the um the witness me channel point thing yeah the Shia LaBeouf flag yeah so Shia LaBeouf actually put out a flag a long time ago on a video and it was something like they will not divide us or something like that on the flag and um, 4chan found this in like 24 hours and the only thing that they had to go on was the sky and a wall like People can find locations. This is how this works. So the best action that I have, you can't stop them from doing it, right? So what you do is you you handle the situation in a way where it's like when it when it inevitably happens, or if it inevitably happens, right? It's, it's an if, you know. You just handle that side appropriately, knowing that it could happen, and knowing that somebody could be dedicated enough or a group could be dedicated enough to do it. That's all. That's all you do. Easy. What do you suggest for docs, people? Well, I mean, to be honest with you, um... If you're really worried about that, contact your local police. That's the best thing you can do. Say, hey, this happened. Um, I want to let you guys know just in case any, anybody tried to do something stupid. And you go from there. <clears throat> there was this incident where somebody posted a pic of him standing at Burger King and the location was found in 20 minutes. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. Like... If you're ever wondering how fast somebody can find a location, watch somebody playing GeoGuessr. Legitimately. Just watch a human being play GeoGuessr. Some of those dudes are insane, dude. They're so fast. They're so fast. So the moment you have that kind of a situation, the moment you see that, you realize, like, okay, yeah, it's, it's better to put a defensive measure after that happens than it is to stop people from actually being able to dox you, because you can't. You can't stop that. You can't. Rainbow? Yeah, no, dude. Geoguessr people are nuts. They're so fast. Yeah. The no-move Geo guys are crazy. It's crazy to me. It's completely crazy to me. <clears throat> Rated Geoguessr later? I would love to watch some Geoguessr people. I think it's really important to understand this, though. So, like, for, for people who don't know this, if you've never seen Geoguessr stuff, they find a location on Earth based on either a single image or very limited information, right? I cannot do this. There's no way I can do this. I'm not trained to doing that kind of thing. Not not a location-based data thing. I do different ways of doing OSINT data. I can't do what they do. I have not trained for that. 
I feel like I could if I trained in it, but it's wild to me. It's completely wild to me. You want to try it out? No. No. I've, I've never even done it before. You don't know how to yet. Bingo. Yet. I don't know how to do it yet. That's something I'd want to do, right? Your hair doesn't match your voice. What? Your hair doesn't match your voice? What does that even mean? Do does it match my voice now? How about now? Does it match? What if I talk like this? Does it match my voice now? Is this what you wanted to hear? What are you, what are you going to do now? Now you're stuck in here with me. Now you can't look away. Yeah, unfortunate. Now what? <clears throat> Hair doesn't match your voice. How dare you? How, how dare you? You do a high-pitched voice? I can't anymore. I used to be able to do Lemon Grab. Like, I used to be able to do Lemon Grab's voice when I was younger and my voice was higher pitched. When I try to do it now, it just hurts. And then, like, it makes me cough for the rest of the stream, which is super annoying. It's, like, not great. All right. But, yeah, no, these are the things that you think about, man. And GeoGuessers are really fast. So because of that, I go, okay, well, it's kind of a mute issue. Or it's a moot issue, rather, not a mute issue. Uh, it's a moot issue to try and stop someone from doxing you in the first place. So you can't stop that. So you stop the effect of that doxing, right? That's all you can do. That's it. You know? So that's what I do. It seems more correct to do it this way. Yeah, it's a moot. Pretty big brain. I mean, I guess. I mean, it's just basic shit. And for prevent doxing, not showing face is partially helpful. Well, I've already failed that. Yeah. F. F. By the way, um, since the YouTube exploded, I have been identified in stores three times, which is horrifying. I don't know what to do with that. They're like, oh, you're pirate software. Shit. <laughs> so that's been really weird. Uh, one of them said, oh, you're that shorts guy. So that was also weird. They didn't even remember who I was. They just knew I was the shorts guy. That is three people who have failed to know me. That's true. Yeah, that is true. That is true. I, I don't even wear shorts. I was there in my one of two pairs of jeans. Next to the queue. Andy Garcia 92 with 500 bits said Emechi one take my money. Thank you very much. That's very nice of you. Jesse Height with 5 Australian dollars said, What do you think of the Game of the Year awards? Think BG3 deserved it. Unequivocally. What Game of the Year is for? Hands down. So if you don't know, Game of the Year, like, BG3 won Game of the Year at the Game Awards. And I completely agree with this. I completely agree with it. The reason why is Game of the Year is specifically for any game that pushes our industry forward in a way that changes people's perceptions on how games can be sold, or how games can be made. BG3 did this. It showed that you can make a really compelling narrative with different routes. It is possible to make this in a massive scale by a major studio, when generally this is only seen as an indie type of thing to do. It is very, very good to see this. And it had no MTX. It had no pay to win. It had none of that shit. The fact that they were able to do this makes it game of the year. It changes the way that people see the industry. It changes the way that AAAs are going to look at games. It changes the way that people want to monetize and build games. That is Game of the Year. 100%. And we like that. That is what I like being chosen for Game of the Year. Not which game is most popular, which game changes the industry. That is the point of it. That is 100%, like 100% the point of it. BG3 is an indie game, though? No, it's not. Do you know what indie means? What does indie mean, Chet? What does this mean? Independent. What does independent mean? It means all the money comes from your players and your players alone. That's what it means. That's what it means. It has nothing to do with being a pixel art game. It has nothing to do with any of that. It has to be... No, it's not a low-budget little studio. That's not what that is at all. It is your money comes from your players, not from investors... Not from business deals, no outside funding, none of that shit. It is from your players. That is it. That is it. 
an independent developer is an indie dev. It doesn't matter the scale of the game. It just matters based on where the money comes from. That's what an indie is. That's the point. That's the whole point. That's very funny because that gets that gets turned into oh, it's a pixel art game. It looks indie. It's indie like. None of this shit is no. 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 Funds from publishers? Not indie. If you have a publisher involved that has any type of control, creative control over your game, you are no longer independent. That's it. That's how that works, dude. Do you ever hack time? I'm hacking time right now. In fact, Jeff Bezos is about to walk in and hack your brains. It's about to happen. Are you ready? You ready for it? Here it comes. At least it, it says it's going to. And now it's awkward, because... Because it's supposed to already start, and... Twitch, what are you doing? Come on. Come on, Twitch. Twitch, come on. Twitch, come on. <laughs> I guess we'll wait. Oh, there it is. There we go. There we... Thank you. That's good. That's good. We're good. I hacked too much time. That's why. Yeah. What if the publisher doesn't have any authority over the game IP? Uh, investing money means that they have somewhat authority no matter what. Frankly. Um, if a publisher is going to walk in and give you $100,000 and there's no strings attached, that's not a, a publisher, that's an angel investor. Angel investors means that someone's investing in your, your product or service that you're making, your game that you're making, and they do that with no strings attached. There are always strings attached from a publisher. Always. Yeah, you have to operate financially and creatively independent in order to be an indie. That's all it is. What if you self-fund it? That's kind of how indie works, yeah. Self-funding or funding just by your players. Angel investors are very rare. They are. Are Super Chats included in TTS? Yes, they are. They are absolutely included in TTS. They go into the queue just like everybody else. Um, there were just a lot of bits earlier. We actually have two bits messages and then two super chat messages queued up for the next four messages. So, we're doing that right now. The queue is very long right now. So do keep that in mind. Queue is very, very long. <coughs> yeah, it's really, really long. It's outrageous, actually. Play next. There we go. Yeah, so this is this is the queuing system right here. This is everything that's in the queue. This was the golden cap trade, as you can see. We're getting through the morning's ones now. So Way heavy next. with 500 bits said I have been addicted to RuneScape again for the first time since 07. I was watching the OSRS stream today where mods were talking about future updates, chest yeah. etc etc. I was even in the world hanging around the mods as they dropped items haha, but didn't see Yearjoy. I was wondering oh, what exactly yeah, no, he's, he does at Jagex. He is the creative services director at Jagex, my dad is. And um, he doesn't he doesn't get in-game. So he's never going to be in-game. He's not like an in-game mod. I think his name is Mod Yearjoy, though. Yeah. Yeah. You heard a little rumor about possible issues with the current physics of Godot. Would you know anything about this? That's so vague, dude. I have... <laughs> a rumor. Possible issues physics like you got to give me something to, to hook onto there man like i got nothing with that zay 9979 with 500 bits said hey thor was planning to do a cool slay the spire mod themed around your stream and community that's awesome then i found out it need to learn java never dropped a project quicker before <laughs> <laughs> this man hates java good job good job i'm proud of you proud of you can't believe you dropped Java like... No, no, not a Java enjoyer. 
I found out I need to learn Java. Never dropped a project quicker. F. Goodbye, Java. Goodbye. What's wrong with Java? See, here's what's wrong with Java. What's wrong with Java is every time that I say Java sucks on stream, a bunch of people come out and cry, why is Java bad? How dare you say Java bad? There's nothing wrong with Java. Ugh. If I say that Rust is bad, I would like you to see what happens in chat when I say Rust is bad. Hey, Rust is a bad language. Rust sucks. I'll wait. I'll wait to see what happens. We're just going to wait a minute. It's going to wait. Just going to wait. You see all those messages with crabs? You see all the, we'll get you eventually? You see all the crab emotes? If you shit talk Java, all you get is crying. If you shit talk Rust, all you get is everyone in chat turning into a goddamn crab. And they're like, you suck, we'll get you. You'll turn it, you'll eventually use Rust. That's what that is. And it happens every time. The reason I make fun of Java is because Java cries. Stop crying, Java. Stop, jo stop crying, Java. Stop it. Stop it. Be proud of your language. It's called bait, and you take it every time. You take the bait every time. Every time. Rust has self-esteem. That's the difference. It's true. It's true, Cannon. You're right. That's right. Alucard150 with MX50 dollars said, Did you hear about the Starfield multiplayer mod devs abandoning the project saying the game was just too boring and not worth the effort? Oof. LMAO. If you have a link for that, I'd love to find out about it. Um, let's see. Starfield multiplayer mod dropped. Starfield multiplayer mod drops plans to bring multiplayer to Starfield. The code will be made open source. The modder behind this popular Skyrim... Oh, no shit. It's actually the good ones, too. The modder behind the popular Skyrim Together multiplayer mod has abandoned plans to make a similar mod for Starfield. In a post on the official Skyrim Together Discord, the developer and the mod stated that they had ported out about 70% of the Skyrim Together reverse code to Starfield Together, and there was one main problem in their opinion, which was that the game is effing trash. That was their official quote. That's the official quote from the guys who made Skyrim Together, which is the multi, the go-to multiplayer mod, was, we stopped work on this because the game is effing trash. <sighs> Quote, I didn't realize this until after I started playing the damn game a week after launch. The game is boring, bland, and the main draw of Bethesda Games, exploration in a lively and handcrafted world was completely gone, the developer explained. That is some harsh, harsh criticism, dude. That is really, really harsh. And um, I'm going to be real with you. There are a lot of people that worked on that game that love the hell out of it. There's a lot of people that worked on the game that, that love it very, very much. There always is. And this is not a reflection on you as an individual working on that game whatsoever. But the end result of that game is very boring. That's it. I, I don't, I don't want to buy it. I'm not going to buy it. And that's it. That's all it is. That's all. And it, not all of them could be great. It doesn't make you a lesser developer. It doesn't make you a piece of shit for working on something like that. And I'll be real with you. I worked on Diablo 3 at launch. Do you remember Error 37? That shit haunts my nightmares, dude. I was there for that. I know what it's like to launch a stinker. I know what it's like to launch a stinker, dude. So don't take that as a personal slight. You just worked on something that didn't work out. It happens. It happens. You know? It doesn't matter. I was on Warhammer Age of Reckoning. F. F. At least you weren't on Diablo 4. Diablo 4 is, just needs time. That's what it needs right now. Error 37. So, Diablo 3 had a really stupid bug at launch. Where if anything disconnected you in any way at all, ever, it just said Error 37 on screen. It didn't say what this meant. There was no descriptive error. It was just 37. It was so known that people actually made merch with this on it. It was so dumb. I hate D4 level scaling. Yeah, they screwed it up. So D4 at launch uh, was in a better spot than D4 1.1. 1.1 kind of ruined that because they dropped the amount of experience gained by about 30%. In 1.2, they've actually fixed a lot of this. It's mostly fixed, and I find the game to be a lot more compelling. It just needs time. They just need time. That's all they need. Still fixable. Needs time. Needs time. Hopefully they give it what it needs. Um, it's going to take that dev team a long time to fix the perception more than the game, frankly. 37 in a row? 
In a row? Next. Chasladeki with 50 Czech Karunas said hello stream, let me hear hello. the calming voice. Why hello? How's it going? $100 expansion, gross dude. Live service games though, Resident Sleeper? I like live service games. I love MMOs. MMOs are my favorite. Will HOTS ever come back? I don't know, ask Blizzard dude, I haven't worked there since 2016. Checked out Path of Exile 2? I have. Path of Exile still has the exact same problem it used to have, right? It is the same problem. Do you know what the problem is? I'm interested. I'm interested in, in Path of Exile. I, I played a lot, but I'm I'm interested in seeing what they do as they evolve into Path of Exile 2. It's not just too much to choice. It's it's a specific problem for a new player. The issue is this. Let me grab this. Oh, that's a bad one. Let's grab a good one. So I want to show you this. You see this? This is already a lot of talents. It's a little bit overwhelming to people. The moment you level up, the moment you level up in Path of Exile, you don't get this. You get this. And that is horrifying for a new player. They get instantly stunlocked by analysis paralysis. This is the issue. Some people really like this. Some people immediately get turned away from the game by this. And that's it. That's all it is. I saw this and quit. Yeah, it's going to be... It's, you say that's not an issue. It is an issue, just not for you. You have to understand how different players play games. The moment you give a player way too much information like this, you don't introduce systems slowly, some of them turn away. And if you don't want that kind of experience, that's fine. It's just you're going to have a, a more niche audience that is super fine with that, right? This is always going to turn away some part of the player base by not introducing it slowly. This is the one problem I have with Path of Exile. The secondary problem that I have... Actually, this is part of the same problem... You can't refund these easily. You have to use Orbs of Regret, which you have to farm, which is kind of shit. So when you do go make this choice, the general community, their opinion on this is, go play a character up to maximum level, then throw them away, and next season make a real character. That's not good. That's not a good thing for new players. They feel like their whole time is wasted playing their first character. They feel like it doesn't matter because it's so much harder to do Orbs of Regret to redo your build than it is to build a new character. So it's, yeah, it makes it bad. This is, it feels like time wasted for a new player. It sucks for a newbie, bingo. It sucks for a new player. My hope is that they, as they transition over to Path of Exile 2, my hope is that they find a way to introduce this slowly to new players to absorb more of those new players. That's the, that's the issue is you're going to turn away new players with this. It's always been the problem with it. It has always been the problem with it. They, yeah, the tree, it's not just ridiculous in size. It's, it's the problem where it, it leads to analysis paralysis. It's the combination of ridiculous size and also not being able to refund, right? So if you, if you can refund this, this would be fine. If you could just change it and play around with it any way that you wanted to, it'd be fine. But it's massive and it's a rough, rough system to go and refund your, your points. That's all. That's all. Most of the tree is completely useless dog shit, too. It is. I mean, anytime you have a massive system, it's going to be that way, right? It's going to be that way. So these are the types of things that I think about when I'm like, okay, well, what's the pain point for the game? Pain point for the game is new players in Path of Exile. It's always going to be new player retention. That's all. Yeah, don't spoon feed. Give them tidbits. Snackies, then move to appetizers, then to main course. Bingo. I think there's actually a game that did this really well. Even though the end game of this game is shit. Lost Ark. Lost Ark did this really, really well. They introduce a system. That system is really good. Then they go and introduce another system, and then another system, and another system. They do them all one at a time. By the end of the game, you're a master of a shitload of systems. There's tons of them. There's like over a dozen of these, and you know how all of them work, and it didn't feel overwhelming because you introduce them one piece at a time. However, the end game is a brick wall, and it sucks. Like, we know that about Lost Ark. But the progression to get there felt really good. Because you were constantly getting introduced to these new systems. It's good. Yeah, the end game is bad. The end game is bad. The brick wall ruined it. Like, 100% ruined it. But I, I think that a lot of other games can learn about that component of Lost Ark. Because that beginning part was just so good. It was. It was good. Everything for that brick wall. The brick wall is rough, dude. Yeah, it's really, really rough. That's just passives. That's all the gems with the skills. Yeah, there's a ton of them, too. 
There's passives, there's gems, there's skills, there's skill upgrading. I played to max level in Lost Ark. Love the shit out of it. And then the end game sucked. It was not fun. It was not fun. What do you think about Ashes of Creation? Oh, boy. I love the shit out of that game. I think it's going to be amazing. I think it's going to be so amazing that I used to be an alliance leader in EVE Online of an alliance called Strybog Clade. We were the largest Triglavian alliance in the game. 1,200 players in my command. And I was a villain. Mean villain. Mean villain. That was me. My character's name was Maldavius. Oh, I loved that shit. Loved that shit. So now, I've left Eve. I gave away all my belongings. I helped them pay off all their debts as an alliance. And I left. Done. And now I'm going into Ashes of Creation. And in Ashes of Creation, I'm going to play the shit out of this. We already have a guild set up. You ready for this? I have a secondary discord set up specifically for the Ashes of Creation guild called Actual Pirates. Actual Pirates is 100% what we have here. And we've already set up all the ministries. So sub guilds are set up. System of government is set up. Everything is ready. Everything is ready. And there's over a thousand players in the guild already. So go make an account there and you can sign up for the discord there. Behold. And now that I've linked this in chat, it's probably going to die. Yeah, it's probably going to die. Actually, actually, actual pirates, dude. Actual pirates. By the way, they're going to have naval combat, so we're definitely going to be actual pirates. We're just going to just going to do that. That's kind of how that's going to go. Yeah. Letting the trolls in? In the beginning, yeah. I'm fine with that. Here's how I did it in EVE Online. We let everybody in at first. Then we got restrictive. Then we got powerful. Then we fought all of space. We carved our place out in the universe called Pachvin. And then... When it became clear that the developers were against us, we burned it to the ground. No one could have it. We took it from everyone. Even ourselves. It was the best. It was the best end. The best end ever. We went out on our terms, not theirs. Felt great, dude. How were the devs against us? Uh, there was an exploit that was found in Ponchman really early on that if there were basically these mini dungeons that allowed 15 players in, and if you had more than 15 players, it would dramatically drop the amount of money that you would make inside of that. And the this didn't work for the first, like, two... It was like two months. It was like two, three months of the game. This system didn't even work. It actually gave you negative rep, which would make it so none of the gates would work. Because, like, the way that it worked is you had reputation to move around Ponchman in different directions, and we worked for a year to get that reputation, a full year of playing the game to get that reputation. We finally got Pochman made and everything got in there, and we were living inside of Pochman. It was great, right? And um, to go through one system to another, you needed to have a certain amount of rep. Well, for the first two to three months, it would actually give you negative rep. So we'd get over there, we'd go and do it. It would break all of our characters, and then some people couldn't get home, and it was a shit show. We lost 70% of our online players. We contacted Eve about this, which is CCP is the name of the company, and um, they did live fixes for this. So every week, they'd be like, hey, is this fixed yet? And we'd go and live test it on the live servers. And by the way, it wasn't fixed. And they had to go and fix this for tons of people. It was shit, dude. So 70% of our players just stopped logging in. Like, we almost died. It was awful. Then they finally fixed this. And we're like, oh, sick, dude. Awesome. You finally fixed the problem. Some of our players came back, but maybe 40% of them came back. And we were able to build back up our roster and start doing shit. Well, then the next thing happened. People found out about an exploit, and the way the exploit worked is you could go with a ship to one of the jump gates to get into that dungeon. Think of it like the portal to the dungeon in World of Warcraft, right? And you could shoot it, and then you would cloak. So think of that as like going into stealth and fly away. You counted as one of the 15 if you did this. So what would happen is people would go and do this with their alts and then fly away cloaked and then decloak right before the boss died and get a cut of the money. And we our income dropped into the floor. It just died. Right? Completely and utterly died. CCP, we sent them in over 300 tickets for the next several months about this. And they didn't do shit. They didn't do shit about this at all. And eventually, they said, hey, we're going to do a new patch. The patch is going to be um, focusing on Pachman. Like, oh shit, they're finally going to fix the problem. The thing that's killing our entire alliance and making it so we can't make any money. Because this was the only content in our space. We're like, what the hell is going on with this? And um, they said, first, we're going to uh, deal with the accessibility of Pachman. Yeah, you know that three months that they said they'd be working on Ponchman? They made one change. You know what the change was? To remove the access requirements for the gates. Well, the problem with this is Ponchman is unique. Anywhere in space in EVE, your defense is based on distance. But with Ponchman, you could teleport there at will from anywhere using what are called filaments. Suddenly, a very powerful alliance 
of people that had a lot of money and a lot of power and a lot of cool shit, because they'd been doing this for years now, was served up on a platter to everyone in the game, and we had no distance defense at all. From anywhere. Anywhere. So they just appeared on our front steps. We fought for months. Every day. For months. And they didn't make another change. So after this happened, we went, what the hell? And we burned it to the ground. After like two months, three months of this, we burned it to the ground, dude. And then after we burned it to the ground, new people moved in to our space where we used to be. They had to live out of NPC stations because there's no more stations in there. At least none that we owned, right? We burned them all. And they responded. CCP finally responded. They said, oh, other people are reporting the same bug. You know what their response was as devs? We thought that was just a Strybog problem. And then they fixed it. I never played the game again. I quit that day. They didn't fix that issue because we were the ones reporting it. I was done with the game, dude. I can fight other players. I can fight other players' wallets. I don't give a shit. But I can't fight devs that are not fixing issues specifically because it doesn't help their faction fight us. That pissed me off more than you could possibly believe. And I stopped playing the game as a result. And that's why I'm going to be playing Ashes of Creation. I actually left, went off and played New World for a while. That fell apart. And I'm going to be playing Ashes of Creation. I hope that it's good. Yeah. I, I won't play the game again. I won't. I will not play EVE again. The only time that I ever play EVE now is I sign on once a year during April Fool's on, um, on a, like a, my free account now because it's not subscribed. And I sign in and go, I'm back, bitches! And I just troll everyone for a minute and they freak out and everything's funny. And then I leave. And that's all I do. That's all I do with it. Yeah. It really pissed me off. And I loved Eve. I played Eve for 15 years. And I won't touch it again. I will not touch it again. I'd been, I had been there since the asteroids looked like little balls of clay, dude. Way back in the day. Way back in the day. So, it's, it's really sad. Yeah, it's really shit. So, yeah. Yeah, not great. Tried Sea of Thieves? Not yet. Sea of Thieves kind of turned me away because there's no progression system. It's all cosmetics. All cosmetics. Which I like cosmetics, but I also like number go up, right? Like getting stronger. It is fun, though. Yeah, it is. I know, I know. There's TTS, I know. Heart Link with 500 bits said tomorrow is my birthday, but I hope mm. chat party's super hard for the Geminids meteor shower. Please mm. hug all the ferrets for me. Wait, is that going on right now? Is there a meteor shower right now? When is it? Is it tomorrow? Is that already started? Why is AOC monthly? Because it's an MMO. It also has no box price and no expansion prices. It's just a monthly fee. That's it. And they localize the price monthly, too. So, depending on what region you're in, you're going to pay a different price. It'll be cheaper for people in Brazil, for instance. You can't fight devs, but you can certainly swat them. No, you can't. Don't say shit like that. You're getting you're getting timed out. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. That was your first message. You get banned for that, and you get to figure out why that was a dumb thing to say. How's that feel? What's that like? What's it like getting banned? When your unbanned request comes through, I'll read it. Yeah, yeah. It's not even a ca Kappa won't even save you on the end of that set sentence. Bonk. Dumbass thing to say. <sighs> First message deleted. Yeah, dude. Yeah, really gross. You tuned into me banning someone? Enjoy. Yeah, you know, we actually have this. I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I added this to the rules today. Um, It's right there. This is not exclusive, exhaustive list. Don't be a dumbass. Don't be a dumbass applies to this stream as well. Yeah, that's that's part of like the one of the largest rule sets that exists. Yeah, that's that's what that is. Excessive profanity type ban, though? No, he's got that, dude. Like, if you wanted me to do an excessive profanity ban, it would end up like this. I'd be like, all right, guys, you got to start, you're going to start voting. We'll, we'll do it. We're going to, you got to do it now. Here's, here's how it goes. And I'm going to put like the Wii over here and then like the non, right? And then I'll just be like taking this and I'll be like, oh, 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 oh wait, wait, no, I forgot something. Hold up. There's something, something else I have to fix with this. Um, yeah, there we go. There, just got to do that. Where's the, where's the, the shift on this? How do I, there, drop the, there we go. There, we, I'm a ghost now, somehow. There we go. Okay, now there we go. Now it's excessive profanity. This is... That's how the point. That's the point of it. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. 
I've become excessive profanity. Look, oh wait, oh wait, there's so many we's. There's so many we's. There's just one non. There's just one non. Oh, he's banned. Wow. Unfortunate. Unfortunate how that just worked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. Don't be a dumbass. Yeah. Perfect democracy. Yeah. Perfect democracy. Outrageous, dude. Thanks. Lackney said, hey chat and Thor, it's Tokugai. I already recommended you Carmen Rider build and SSSS. Gridman. My next pick is Dogangers Season 1. It's full of soul and like nothing you've ever seen. It. See you in 1000 hearts. <laughs> I have not actually seen that. And yeah, you did You did actually recommend that. I haven't had a, t a chance to watch that, to be honest with you. Um, the 4S.Gridman, which is a weird name. I do actually have to, I do have to watch that, because you recommended it, so thank you. I watch a lot of animes. Yeah. Taffanay with 500 bits said yum 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 ice cream so yum thanks for the develop. Games yum yum I work 8 hours on stream 8 hours on Heartbound and have 3 hours to myself which I often speak in the Discord. Thank you for the glizzies, did you know about the door in Heartbound? This game isn't inspired by Undertale, my generation grew up on the NES. <laughs> Is that the like the the low quality Cliff Notes version of me tapping? <laughs> is that we have Thor at home? Is that what that is? Fantastic. Tapping is like you should do the TTS, and this is why. This is the reason. Doomble Forder with ten dollars said, "Brutal Legend is probably the most metal game that came out for my childhood, I love Legend. and I think you'd like its style of an inspiration yes. in metal yep. music. Yep, Even yep, Jack yep. Black and a bunch of band members are in it." Yeah, no, I like Brutal Legend a lot, actually. I really do. If you've never seen Brutal Legend, it's a really cool game. Let me pull this up. You're gonna like this. Brutal Legend. I'm just gonna show you the art style of this. It's an older game. You guys ready to see Ozzy in Brutal Legend, dude? Look at him. Just look at him, dude. Just look at him. What a boss, dude. It's not that old. That's kind of old, dude. When did it come out? Release date. Brutal Legend came out in 2009, dude. October 13th, 2009. What year is it, chat? It has been 14 years. It has been 14 years. Yeah. Brutal Legend is almost in high school. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's a cool game, though. It's very cool. I think it's on Steam, too, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. Yeah, it is. 15 bucks. Yeah! By the way, to be real with you, I love everything that Double Fine makes. Um, I am a super big Double Fine man, like fan. I'm super into Double Fine. Their shit is amazing. Double Fine made this. Double Fine is is legend, 100% legend. I love everything that they make. It is outrageous. They always choose very strange things. They try all kinds of stuff. Uh, it is wild to look at. It is absolutely wild. And if you haven't seen Double Fine's work, you really should. Day of the Tentacle back in the day. Psychonauts. Um, Hack and Slash is fantastic. I really enjoyed that. It's really neat. It's like a hacking game. Where is it on here? There's one that's missing. Where is it? There's Full Throttle Remastered. Hmm. It's not listed on here because it's only their new ones. I need to see every game that they put up on here because there's a game that's really good. Just filter to all. Just show me everything. Show me everything. There it is. Headlander. This game is rad. If you have never seen this shit from Double Fine, which you probably haven't, it's 90% positive. This is such a weird one. It was actually, the publisher was Adult Swim Games for this. And it's just so neat. It is so neat. You ever played Iron Brigade? I have not. No. If you've never played this, it's wild, dude. The idea is that you're ahead. You're actually ahead. You can actually add yourself to other bodies and take control of them. So it's like part puzzle game, part platformer, part like shooter. It's wild, dude. It is such a freaking awesome game. It is absolutely insane. You're just ahead. You're ahead. That's the game. You're ahead of the game. You're ahead in the game. See? See his head? Look at his head. 
Outrageous game. Fin- finally, you have a game where you get to play as a head. Peak video gaming. Incredible. <laughs> it's an amazing game. It's an amazing game, dude. I thought you meant third birthday? What, what, what does that mean? Next. Did nothing come through? Interesting. Sometimes this isn't working and I don't know why yet. It was a super chat. And it said, I get a spy versus spy feel from it. That's weird. Why didn't that work? I don't understand why they didn't work. Actually, that's really strange. I'm going to re queue that. That just got re queued. I don't know why. Weird. Super weird. Thank you for the $15 to the mods, by the way. Brian Milos with $20 said, Hey, Thor, I am a game developer, but I have a lot of trouble balancing life IRL and being a dev. Mm-hmm. I usually either go full hermit and get a lot of work done or want absolutely nothing to do with being a dev. Any advice for this? Yes, and I will do that after the ad break. We're going to wait. After the ad break. And thank you for the $20 for that. It's super nice of you. Game developer and I have a lot of balancing. A lot of trouble balancing. I'm going to grab this out so I can read it. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't play. Sometimes there's some things where it's not playing, and uh, it's definitely going to be an issue, and I don't know what it is yet. I have not played Yomi Hustle. I have not played that. I'm actually going to get some more water. Give me just a minute. All right. So, the message was, I am a game developer, but I have a lot of trouble balancing life IRL and being a dev. I usually either go full hermit and get a lot of work done or want absolutely nothing to do with being a dev. Any advice for this? Yeah. So, 
it sounds to me like you're overworking yourself. You're overworking yourself in short bursts. And because of that, you're burning out. Take it slowly, man. Stop trying to do this all at once. If you do it all at once, it's gonna wreck you. Like, you shouldn't do that. I would do like one to two hours a day, man. And if that works, maybe two to, two to three hours a day. Depends on what you have, right? Depends on the amount of time you have in a day. But don't don't go full hermit mode. And then you'll get nothing done later. That's not healthy. <laughs> I would definitely take this in moderation. Have a schedule, basically. Give yourself a schedule. And stick to that schedule. Don't go over it. Don't allow yourself to go over that schedule. That's the most important thing. Yeah, half hermit mode. Not all the way hermit. Yeah, never go full hermit. Don't be me, right? I live in a basement. I work all day. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's not good for you. I'm going to eat some more of this cheese bread. One moment. It's delicious. Oh, God, it's delicious. Shunit said it has been a tumultuous week for everyone. Please give us a thorough update on the ferrets. P.S. Love, your VTuber model got to be one of my favorite Bishonen. <laughs> God damn it. It's not a VTuber model. I'm a real person. Um, the ferrets are doing really, really well. I actually updated their room yesterday. They have a new air conditioner unit that is not gross anymore. Because the old one's like five years old. Kind of gross. They also have uh, two cameras now and two two tripods for it. And I put their, ba their ball pit that they had upstairs in there as well. Is it a Wellington? It is not. It is a sandwich. Heavy underscore spades with 500 bits said Yar cheer 500 hey Thor. I know you'll get to this message later, but I imagine reloading finger guns is like healing in Far Cry, Far Cry 2. You know? I could imagine that. I could 100% see that. Far Cry is amazing, by the way. What happened to the webcam? I'm eating. And if I if I eat on webcam, then people clip it. And they make weird... Weird things. Out of it. It's not good. No, not fart cry. Not fart cry. You know, that's what you do after a lot of burritos. It's different. It's different. Far Cry is a video game. Yeah. David Flores with $5 said, Hey bro. I don't know if you have any knowledge with this, but I wanted to try VA. Any tips? Fear of failure is what runs through my mind. If you're talking about voice acting for VA, if you want to start doing this, go make a YouTube. <clears throat> make a YouTube account. Start practicing characters. Put them up on YouTube. 100%. Aside from that, you can also play Dungeons & Dragons. And as the DM... You can voice many different characters, or as your own character, you can voice your character. This makes it good practice. Yeah. This makes it really good practice. You should definitely do this. Zabratic, thank you for the $15 to the mods. That is super nice of you, dude. You rock. Doing a YouTube is going to get your stuff out there so other people can see it. Um, doing D&D &D is going to give you a thing to practice on a, a weekly or maybe monthly basis, depending on your team, right? Depending on your group. I can confirm my players like my different voices. Good. Good. I'd make a YouTube. 100%. <clears throat> I have a little bit of voice control. I can do a couple of different voices. But if I practice it more, I'd be way better. And it's all about practice, right? What happened to the camera? I'm eating. Your D&D looks like Owo? I don't think it does. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. Now what? Now what, chat? What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? It's an OO with hair? I don't think it is.
Why does that keep ending? Okay, that's really weird. That is really weird. Let me go and read this one, because it didn't work. Something has gone wrong. I think it's probably the latest update to StreamerBot that this is happening, because they just updated their alpha to alpha 0.7, and it, I think it started in alpha 0.6. A little bit weird. <clears throat> ah, my camera isn't working now. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what caused that. It's very weird. I'm checking through these to find out what just happened. No, it's different. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. All these other ones are fine. Weird. Someone's saying they're a steel fabrication expert. Are you actually are you actually a steel fabrication expert, YouTube person? It's kind of interesting. That is an interesting thing to be. Yeah, weird. Tekken Zero VA said gnoming in the game, Jamie, is mandatory. Get the Mr. a man. <laughs> you see how it had that pop at the beginning? Something's going on with SpeakerBot. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to restart SpeakerBot. I'm going to close the program and reopen the program. Because something has gone wrong with it. Or it's freaking out. So give me just a minute. Yeah, I'm going to rebuild it. It is reconnecting now. StreamerBot is the side that has the queue. SpeakerBot is the side that plays the, the audio. So something has gone wrong with this. I'm going to go into audio StreamerBot. We're going to change that over to SpeakerBot real fast, the new version of this. And we're good to go. Like a welder? Maybe. Yeah. I don't, I don't think you're a steel fabricator if you are. I think you'd have to be like the metallurgist that's making these things, right? Jo yeah, look, it just did it again. Why is it doing this? It says, I started Game Maker this week. Should I join a team? Yeah, you should. Definitely. It just said the first word and then stopped. Something is wrong with SpeakerBot. Josh. It just said Josh. It just said the first part of his name. I can't roll back because StreamerBot would break. You know what I could try to do? Let me try something real fast. What is the next one? Action cues. The next one is a super chat. I'm going to go over to actions on super chat. We're going to change this from speaker bot Oliver, like it is now. Cancel that. We're going to unenable that. I'm going to add a new one. And we're going to do speak UDP. Oliver. Pass through the bad word filter. And there we go. You know what I wonder? I wonder if it's breaking because it's writing the file. I wonder if that's why it's breaking. I have an idea of why. So this is kind of the queued up system, and it speaks over a connection, and that connection is set up over WebSockets, right? It may be breaking that. I'm going to write first and then speak. We're going to move this. It may be causing this to break, and I don't know why. Um, I'm going to have Super Chats go on UDP. We're going to see if the next time this happens, if it's a UDP thing versus a, a WebSocket thing. Because it might be WebSockets that are breaking. Nicola Rigi with 5 euros said, Would a 3D artist have a meaning in a game jam or the limited time brings to only use free assets? 3D artists have a meaning in a game jam. Yes. Yes, absolutely. You can always do low-poly stuff. Low-poly stuff is super useful. In 3D, that's super fun, right? That's super, super easy to do. Um, do that. Yeah, do that. It's very easy. UDP is fun. I use it to make robots meow. UDP is cool, but it loses data, right? I was doing it over WebSockets. WebSockets was having the issue, so I'm going to switch back to UDP for those. So we're going to do super chats over UDP. We're going to do everything else over, over normal WebSocket connection. If the next time this fails out, if it's not a super chat one that we know that something's wrong with the web sockets right at least we have more information yeah udb is best effort exactly <clears throat> next 
Zach C with $2.22 said new here. What are you working on? I actually answer questions for chat. So that's what I do is I help people to get into the gaming industry. I talk about the gaming industry. I talk about tech. This is kind of thing for him. You to be unreliable data protocol. I know, right? I would tell you a TCP joke. You likely wouldn't get it anyway. Yeah, yeah, for UDP. Yeah. TCP creates a handshake. UDP just goes, yeet. It just yeets your data in the direction and hopes that it lands and walks away. That's all. That's all. That's all it is. Omega Robot 21 said, I've been finding personal joy going around to various chat streams and saying, which would you rather have? Unlimited bacon, but no video games, OR games, unlimited games, but no games. I have yet to find people that know this is intentionally wrong and quoting something. This is the next, all your base belong to us. Here's the problem. You're wrong. You're wrong. Do you know how, how I know you're wrong? Because we do have unlimited games, but no games. We've already chosen. We've already chosen as a society. Games. Unlimited games, but no games. You don't even get to choose the bacon, chat. You've already chosen. You've already chosen. That's right. How many is that? I don't know. I've been using Steam for like 16 years. <laughs> oh, it's very funny. It's very funny. Micah Greenspoon with $4.99 said, Hi Thor. Hello? Any thoughts as an industry insider about the controversy surrounding the day before? Do you consider it a scam or were the devs in too deep? I consider the day before completely um, bad marketing. I consider it completely misleading marketing that affected players. If we go to the day before, right here. I'm going to show you this top thing right here. It's a post-apocalyptic open world MMO survival. They also doubled down on it right here, where they said it is a post-apocalyptic open world MMO survival. It is an extraction shooter. It was never an open-world MMO survival. Ever. It was an extraction shooter that had no survival mechanics. And now you can't buy it on Steam anymore. It's actually not purchasable anymore. It's there, but it's not purchasable. Steam has shut it down. 15% positive reviews. Yeah. That's it. Yep. Didn't they try to blame the Discord mods for telling you it's an MMO? It's on their page. There's no there's no one to blame there except for them. The developers set this, not Discord mods. If if they're going to put that in the title and the description for their game twice, not just once, but twice, and then not deliver on that, they deserve this. They deserve the 15% positive. Don't lie to your players. That's it. That's all it comes down to. Don't lie to your players. That's all. It's false advertising. It is. So I I have no sympathy for this. Don't lie to players. That's all. <clears throat> Jeremiah Golder with ten dollars said, "Is it possible to truly stop fish spam hack in-game abuse, self-promotion nope. in in-game message boards or chats?" Nope. Nope. So many online games are full of these kinds of comments, which are an eyesore. Yeah, there's no way to stop it. There's no way to stop that because there are so many different ways to get around it, right? Um, if somebody wants to blast bad words, you can't stop them from doing that. If somebody wants to blast a racial slur, there's nothing you can do to stop that. You can put in filtering and things like that, but somebody could just change one of the words to a Cyrillic character, right? That's kind of how that works. All kinds of stuff like that. It's very, very simple. We have filters in place, and then we have real human moderators to go and look at those things. Our moderation team is really fast. They're really good at this kind of stuff. So because of that, you're always going to need a human mod. Always going to need a human mod. It's kind of how it works. Because if you have an auto mod that is doing the investigation and then the banning automatically, you're going to have huge problems with that, right? It's always going to be an issue. <laughs> hey, look, Little Ham just timed one of them out for 10 seconds. <laughs> nice, Little Ham. See? You tried to do it and the Little Ham got it. It's very funny. It's very funny. See, the mods are good, dude. Quick. They're quick. Nice person in lead speak, yeah. Unban request waiting for me? Let's see what the unban request is going to be. I love me a good unban request, though most of them are kind of dog shit, to be honest with you. Most of the unban requests are really bad. 
They're usually not good in any way. They're usually a person saying, I was actually right to post the bad negative things. And I go, no, you weren't. And they're like, Ugh. Unbanned requests, let's see. Oh, God, I have to pop out the chat. I have to do this stuff. Pop out, blah, blah, blah. This person was banned for saying, you can't fight devs, but you can certainly swat them. JK. With a cap afterwards. I don't find that to be funny. I don't find that to be funny at all. Haha, <laughs> we'll just perform a felony a little bit. Hoo hoo hoo, hee hee, funny me. Someone could die. Ho ho ho, isn't it funny? Isn't it funny? And their response to this was irony. The description, the Webster's description of irony. Here, I'm going to do this now. Eat sand. Denied. Let's go look at the next one. Please check out my stream. No. Denied. Eat sand. Denied. I'm not even going to show these. Nope. Done. Those weren't even hard. Those weren't even hard. You get nothing. No vote. No vote even at all. I don't want that kind of person in the community. I don't even care. I don't even care, dude. Yeah, weapon. I'm going to be real with you. Weaponizing police officers that can result in the death of a person. Not funny. Not funny even if you put Kappa on the end. You're a dumbass. Yeah, that's how that works. Insane to me, dude. Insane to me. Not worthy of a vote. Not even at all. I'm not going to waste Chet's time. Next. TH15R4ND0MP3R50N with 500 bits said Yarchir 400. Hey, far. Aye. Can I ask you a question? Savalent no. with 777 bits said, Yarchir 777, hey. Thor, can I oh ask God. you a question? Oh Zulta God. Lord with bits, unlimited bits, but no bits said, I smell. This random person <laughs> with 500 bits said, Yarchir 100, hey Thor. Just wanted to know if I could ask you a question. No. Rogue class when, Archer this buff weekend. when, block game when, threes this in weekend. chat, three. I just updated it. I just updated it. This weekend is when the Archer comes out. I just gave you guys an entire Christmas event. There's a new mount in the game. What do you mean? What do you mean block game win? Go look at the patch notes, you goblin. Look at this. Look at this. This is the patch notes. All professions now drop petrified snowballs. All monsters now drop petrified snowballs. Yggdrasil has more. The bounty system is redesigned. A new plugin has been developed by Lev the Dev. Replaces Luton and now it controls all of our chess. Global spell cooldown was changed. Wizard spell cooldowns were changed across the board. All the chests are now instants per player, which is cool as hell. Running to a safe zone when engaged in PvP no longer pushes you out. Running to a safe zone when engaged in PvP no longer makes you safe. No more cheesing PvP. Archers will be re reworked as rogues. This class will center around burst damage and poison. Hey. Yeah. And backstab is being added. It's going to take some time, man. Christmas event went right now. It's already done. It's already in. Go play it. Go play it. Go play it. Go play it. You goblins. I want more. Next. Sweet Donuts underscore W with 500 bits said I worked name, in an dude. art industry and overworked myself to burn out and all the packages that comes with it. Trying to work again after a few years, but I developed a fear of drawing. Have you seen similar cases around you? And what would your advice be for people such as myself? I used to do freelance art. Um, that was kind of like one of my jobs for a long time when I was a freelancer. And I did freelance art for a long time. I did commission work for people and things like that. And I found very quickly that I hated the shit out of it. I hated it. Um, there were so many situations where it was like, you get scammed, you get ripped off. People don't want to pay you the full amount that they, they agreed on. They say, oh, like, oh, I can't afford it now. It's like, well, I've already done the work. You owe me the money, right? Like so much stupid shit like that. So much stupid shit like that. And it is awful to deal with. It is awful to deal with. And it made me hate art. And I realized through that process, no, I don't hate art. I just hate them. I hate all these people that are acting like this. So I don't do art for them anymore. I do art for me. And that's the whole point. Is when you have a situation like that where it's killing your drive to do these things, it's not that you hate the action of doing art. You hate the people that are being idiots that are stopping you from doing art effectively. That's all. That's all that is. So don't, don't feel badly about your craft. Feel badly about the people that are making your craft feel shitty. 
That's all. That's all it is. And I learned that, and I, I do art for me now. That's all. Yeah. Oh, we did it again. This one was a bits one. I'm switching these all over to UDP. I don't know what the hell's going on here. We're switching them all over. Yeah, this is stupid. This is stupid. It's dumb. It looks like the... It looks like the speaker bot connection over secure web sockets is broken. That's my guess right now. It's very, very odd. I don't know why this is happening. We're going to do speaker bot. Speak UDP. Oliver. Yep. Delete the old one. I don't know why that would break. That really shouldn't. That's really kind of weird, to be honest with you. I find that to be strange overall, because it, it shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, in any respect. And it's happened a number of times today, too. Like, a number of times today. Yeah, no, that's really weird. That's really, really weird, actually. I'm going to delete this action now. Okay, it's doing it all over UDP now. This person said favorite overweight person. Uh, Danny DeVito. Right? <laughs> I feel like that's probably correct, right? He's built like a sphere. Danny DeVito's amazing, though. He's the funniest damn human being on the planet. Yeah. I'd say Danny DeVito. Chris Farley? Well, I mean... Yeah, but Danny DeVito, right? I'm gonna say Danny DeVito. He is. He's built like a sphere. You ever seen him? I've seen too much of that, man. There are so many things that Danny DeVito has done. I have seen too much of Danny DeVito. There are so many times where he's just like a naked dude covered in grease in like whatever th scene that he's playing. Why? Why is he like that? Why does he exist in this way? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. God damn it, Danny DeVito. Seen too much of him, dude. Too much of him. True Help TV with two dollars said Fanaticalite is a cool dude. You two super equals D. Uh, I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. No idea. Next. Pinkafluffin said the Australian wedge tail eagle is a much more impressive bird compared to the weak and inferior American bald eagles. One eats mm. fish and rabbits, the other eats kangaroos, koalas, and goannas. It has even taken human babies. That isn't even the most frightening bird in Australia. That Imo is the cassowary, or that's as my dinosaur. son said when we were at the zoo recently, a Velociraptor. No, no, that's not a that's not a bird. That's a dinosaur. Um, yeah, that's. I'm gonna be real with you. Australia doesn't count when it comes to scary animals. You guys are living in a different time, literally. Like you, you go into Australia, you go back, way back. You have dinosaurs. Everything can kill you. There's like flying spiders and shit. No, dude. No. No. No, it doesn't count. Doesn't count. If, if you guys are going to be like, oh, our animals are strong. Yeah, your, your animals are terrifying. Your, your animals are you're from like the Cre Cretaceous period, dude. Like it's horrifying. Yeah. We don't have flying spiders. Oh, you do. You do. Let me show you this. You ready for this? You ready for this? I'm going to show you this. Do you see this right here? Do you see that? You know what that is? Spiders in, in southern Australia. Do you want to know why they do this? Because they create little webs, and then they fly on them. And then they land somewhere, and they do this. You didn't think you had flying spiders. You have flying spiders. Australia. You have flying spiders. Yeah, they've always flown. They've always flown. They get little nets made out of web. It picks them up on the wind, and they go great distances. Australia is 100% the test server. Australia is PTR. For other bullshit that they might add to the game in other regions. That's what that is. It's horrifying. It is horrifying. I don't know how you live there. I'm proud of you. Survive. Survive. The devs were like, hey, you know what? What if we just made spiders fly? Eh, let's try it out in Australia first. See what happens. See how the players react. 
Joshua Jameson with two Australian dollars said, can I use AI to help debug? You can. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. That's fine. That's cool. Neremo with five dollars said, not sure if I'll be here for the actual Q&A part work, but I had a question of where could a freelance writer could try to get into the any industry. A freelance writer getting into the industry is a tough thing. Writing is a hard thing to get into the industry for. It's really, really difficult. Yeah, we've got ads. We're going to wait for the ads. We're going to wait for the ads. Crustacean period. Why oh, you like this? Huntsman spiders are horrifying. Oh, dude. Australia. I have so much respect for Australians, dude. That is a wild... That is a wild-ass place to live. Everything tries to kill you there. Everything. It's all really good at it, too. Aussies are built different. It's incredible to me, dude. They teach you to stomp on your gardening gloves in elementary school? Yeah, they do. Because you don't want to put your hand in the glove and find out there's somebody living in it. It's a horrifying thing, dude. If I left my, my gloves out, I would just throw them away. Because I don't want to kill what's in it. Right? So I just, I leave my gloves inside the freezer, frankly, at all times. Or in a box. A sealed box. We Australians are the upgraded versions of Florida men? That's true. That is true. Florida is like the Americanized version of Australia. We try our best, but we can't even compare. It's terrifying, frankly. Shoebox, it's a thing. I've seen them lift a shoebox lid, dude. It's gonna get in there. You gotta have, a, like, a metal sealed box. You know? With a latch. Do you plan to add more languages to the game? Yes. We want to add Italian, um, Arabic, Chinese, and Portugal Portuguese. Are the options right now. Alright. So. It looks like switching it over to UDP has fixed this problem, so it's definitely a WebSocket issue. Which sort of sucks, because I like this system, and I don't know why it's breaking, and I don't want to run it over UDP. UDP is gross. UDP is gross! It's gross. It's gross, chat. It is gross. We don't need it. All right, it's not connected to that anymore. Yeah, shiny and chrome. We love shiny and chrome. All right. So it was a super chat, and the super chat was specifically this. Let me grab this so that you can you have the timestamp for this. Let's grab this. Not sure if I'll be here for the actual Q and A part work, but I had a question of where could a freelance writer could try to get into the or any industry. Being a freelance writer is a really difficult thing. It's a really, really difficult thing because it's hard to get people to be interested in media that isn't visual currently. Getting people to read is a tough thing to do, right? So if you're trying to get into the industry, that is a hard thing to do. Usually it's something that writers are a thing that you do on the side while you have a different job until you're getting into writing where people are paying attention to the things that you make, right? It's just kind of how it works. It's just kind of how it works. That being said, if you are a writer, I would say go team up with an artist. And here's the reason why. If you're a writer, and you can't do anything but writing, and you team up with an artist, many people will now just pay attention to your stuff simply because there's a visual representation. Make a webcomic. Webcomics have brilliant writing a lot of the times. The good ones do. And because of that, you can combine your powers with an artist, make something really compelling, and you guys can split the revenue and make money off of it. And it's great. That's actually great. That's a super good thing to do. And there are tons of people out there that are artists that can't write. There's tons of writers that can't do art. Combine your forces. That's the idea. Have a joint project. That's the whole point, man. I tell you a UDP joke, but you wouldn't get you might not get it. I know, right? 
Yeah. But that's the whole thing, man. That's the whole thing. What about this? Oh, that's a Pet the Mods, dude. It's a Pet the Mods. We have a different Pet the Mods emote. Artists who can't write right here? That's exactly it. I think that webcomics are a really great interlude for that. It allows you to practice your writing. It allows you to um, make money off of it. It allows artists to get a job where they actually can make money off that too. Form a business arrangement with somebody. Make some cool shit. It's really hard to be one person doing anything. It's really easy to build a small team and do stuff together, right? You just have to find people that are reliable. That's the tough part. You have permi my permission to play my SoundCloud songs. Nah. <laughs> All the music that we play in stream is from our game. All of it. I'm not going to play anybody else's music. Uh, that way we don't get DMCA'd. Yeah. Because it might not be your SoundCloud. It might be somebody else's. It might not be your music. It might be somebody else's that you re-uploaded. I don't play with fire. MR Speedy Doug with 1000 bits said Golden Kappa. Golden Kappa. Oh god, wait. Have we gotten into the Golden Kappas now? Is this it? That was the beginning. That was the first message of it. Vanidi with 500 bits said Yar Cult, Yar Cult, Yar Cult. There we go. Rare Devil with 500 bits said Yar Cheer 100, 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 only doing this for the Golden Kappa train. Size with 1000 bits said Golden Scam Train Kappa. Bendel with 500 bits said Golden Kappa. That aside, do you have a home lab and if so, what would be your advice for starting one? I do. Uh, start off with a really shitty computer. Go buy a bunch of piecemeal garbage, frankly, right? Like, really old parts, really shitty parts. Don't get used parts, though. That's that's something you should know. Um, I got a bunch of really garbage stuff, and I ran all that really garbage stuff for a while on my home lab. And then I slowly just, as my computers died or whatever, I took components and I ship a theseus it into something that was actually really good. And then you can do some cool stuff with that. That's all. That's all it is. Is that a real gold, dude? Oh, shit. Grew gold. Admiral Baru royalty. That's awesome. Fabled giraffe with 1000 bits said Yar cheer 1000 golden kappa. That's interesting. It sent the same message. But why? It shouldn't have. HPF3 with 500 bits said Yar cheer 500 farewell Q kappa time. That's a little bit weird. I need to put in a delay. We have to put in an artificial delay on that. When we say play next, we don't mute it. Speaker bot does that. Wait a minute. I think I understand what's happening here. I think I understand why this was breaking. I can change everything back. I think I know what was going on. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. It was a race condition. It was a race condition. Uh, where is this? It's going to be under settings. And... Speaker bot. Where are you? It was a race condition. It was a race condition, and I'm fixing it now. I hate race conditions. Those are the worst. Starting the server. Connecting to the server. Okay, those are connected over. We're going to go back to my accounts. Everything there is cool. We're going to go to channel rewards processing. Processing is good. We're going to go to actions. We're going to go back into here. I need to do this. Cancel that. Grab this. Say new. Speaker bot. Speak to Oliver. Do that there. Delete the old one. We're not doing it over UDP anymore. Delete sub action. There we go. I know what was happening. It's actually really interesting. No, did I fix my I did I fix my stream deck? Yes. Yes, I did. That's fixed. No problems there. I have no more issues with that. Oliver. Play that. What is that? Rating with a party of six. Thank you very much, dude.
Almost there. Almost there. Now I at least know what's going on here. Man, it's always gonna it's always gonna be a race condition, isn't it? It always is. Race conditions suck, dude. Goddamn worst thing on the planet. Alright, deleting that action there, we've got the write to TTS file. And then after we write to TTS, we're gonna go to increase, play next, and that'll go to action queue decrease. We read the lines from there. This needs to be a delay. I'm going to put an accord delay on this. How much is the delay in? Oh, it's in milliseconds. We're going to do a delay of 1,000. Actually, we'll do a delay of 500. There we go. Now we'll no longer have this. And we'll do this there. All right. All right, we're good. TH15R4ND0MP3R50N with 500 bits said yard cheer 100 yard cheer 77 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 give me kappa. Give me rogue. Give me BLOCKGAME stream. No. I miss the BLOCKGAM streams. Oh. I am here for the block game streams. You That's must fine. love block game. Show love to block game. <laughs> I Give updated me all the time. In chat. Three. No. Three. No. Three. Three. No. Give me threes in chat. No. Three. 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 No three, three for you. Give me threes in chat. Three. 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 Give me threes in chat. Three. 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 Give me threes in chat. Three. Imagine. Three. Imagine. Three. Three. Give me threes in chat. Three. Imagine this. Three. 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 Give me threes in chat. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. Imagine. Imagine going through all that to fix this bug. And you do this. You do this to me. Dark Naze with 500 bits said Yar Bongos Yar Cult by the demo. Get the pirate pass for free. Get ready for the scrum meetings. Hmm. Scrum meetings. No. Next. Runolf with 500 bits said Kappa. Thank you very, very much. It's very nice of you. I think this is working. I need to make the delay less, though. The delay is too high. It's supposed to be, like, maybe 250. Actually, we can even do it as 100. 100 milliseconds would be fine, because it's a file write, file read. Not a problem there. Next. Fabled Giraffe with 1,000 bits said Yar Cheer 1,000. Tyler Tekis with $9.99 said I'm getting my degree in cybersecurity with no prior tech field experience. Okay. What are some good entry level jobs I should look into? So I actually heard this before, which is kind of cool, right? You have no tech field experience. Um, Gurren was, was talking about this. I was talking to the whole team about what you should do if you're entering the game industry or when you're entering the security industry, right? And Gurren is a malware specialist. He's somebody that is awesome. He's on the psychoholics with me, right? That's the whole point of it. And what Gurn said is really interesting is hacking, being a hacker, is a prestige class for an IT specialist. That's all it is. It's a prestige class for IT. If you want to be offensive security, you're a prestige class in IT. That's all it is. That's all it is. So you start with IT core basics, IT skills, and you become offensive security. It's really useful. Oh, is it saying line zero? Boo! Is it broken? Let me look at this. It shouldn't be broken. Why are you broken? Why is it broken? Huh. 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 Is it the apostrophe? Is that actually a backtick? It is not. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing this. Let's go to the next one. But yeah, it's really just that. You need to do your IT basics first. That's the biggest thing. You're getting a degree in cybersecurity with no prior tech field experience. What's the good entry-level jobs I could look into? Yeah, look into IT jobs. 
Look into IT jobs, prove yourself inside of there, get a bunch of skills, understanding the infrastructure there, and and explain to them that you're an offensive security specialist and you're you're doing IT. And they will be like, oh shit, I can definitely learn that kind of stuff. Yeah. InfoSec is tough, tough. It is it is tough. It is tough. And I've done it for like 20 years. Getting IT experience is not a bad idea. So start in IT. No problems there. Yeah, it's broken for some reason. Let me actually hit the button real fast. Pinkafufan with 500 bits said PFFT male pattern baldness bird. Male pattern baldness bird? God damn it, no. That is not what it is. How dare you? How, how dare you? So we delay for 100 milliseconds. Oh, hey, that would be the reason. I know why this is happening now. I know why that's happening now. Because I'm a dumbass. All right. Now let's fix it. Classic Eraser 9 with $5 said, Hey, love your Chanel. My question is, what are your thoughts on Microsoft buying Blizzard? I think it's a good thing. I think that Blizzard was in a really bad location. They were in a bad spot. Um, the direction the company was taking was not good. The public perception was not good. So when you have those types of situations together, what do you do? You shake it up. That's it. That's what you do. You shake it. You shake it. And if you don't shake it up, it's just going to continue down that route of being shitty, right? That's the whole point. So they shook it up. Is it going to be better? Maybe. Is it not going to be better? Maybe. But they're trying something. That's all it is. Having Microsoft absorb it is the opposite of shaking? No, it's not. I worked at Blizzard for seven years. Um, my dad worked here for 23 years. Having a completely new infrastructure, new way of doing things, new way of being handled, new bosses, new everything that goes into that, new direction for the company means a shakeup. Does it mean the shakeup's going to be positive? Who knows? We don't know. It's easy to think that it's not going to be positive, but you don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. None of us do. So what's happening right now is they're changing things. We just have to wait to see if it's for the better. That's it. That's all it is. That's all it is, man. And that's all. Bobby will stay, so there's a real, real change. No, he won't. He said he was stepping down. He said he was not going to be a thing anymore. Did you not read into that? Let me pull this up for you. CEO Bobby Kotick will leave Activision Blizzard on January 1st, 2024. It's in Ars Technica. You have less than a month left with that man. So, like, I'm telling you, this is what a shakeup is. That's what it is. So, like, are good things going to happen? Maybe. You just gotta wait. Gotta wait and see, right? So don't be don't be low morale about a, a purchase by Microsoft, big old scary Microsoft. Realize that this is an opportunity for Blizzard to finally start succeeding again. Could it squander the opportunity? Absolutely. Will it? We don't know. Right? That's the whole point. It's definitely what I would draw to describe a shakeup. Feels okay, man. All right, shake it up. There you go. Enjoy that now. Play Dragon's Dogma. Yeah. What are the Bobby memes? I can't wait to not have those anymore. I just, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be wondrous. Kin underscore 3D with 1000 bits said, Always wanted to make games since I was 11, but my mind is always overflowing with ideas. Also, doing web programming as a job leaves me too burnt out to do programming outside of work. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. So here's what I like to do, because I used to feel like that at work too is I'd go to work every day and I'd get home and I was like, I don't want to do anything, but... right? It's not good. It's not good at all. So what I do is I'd come home and I'd take an hour-long nap. Just a nap. Just one hour. And I'd get up from that nap and I'd go, okay. You know what? I have a barrier between work and the thing I want to do. And I could immediately start going back to programming and doing things. Giving yourself a barrier like that is a great idea. It's a really good idea. It's still going to be difficult for you to go and do program at home, but give yourself the barrier, dude. Your mind is always overflowing with ideas. Temper it into one idea. Just one. It doesn't even have to be a good one. Just one you can run with, right? That's the whole idea with that. Yeah. If you're burnt out to do programming outside of work, give yourself the nap, dude. Naps are good. Naps are good. Embrace the siesta. Yeah. Naps, is there anything they can't do? I know, right? Naps are the best. Just write them down in your idea book. Then you get a whole bunch of ideas in an idea book that does nothing. Write down one idea. Make a game design document of it. And build it. Build it shitty. 
build it shitty. Is nap the barrier? Yeah. So the way that it works is like this. You go to work every day, and you're like, ugh. You get home, you're like, I don't want to do anything. You take a nap. And then after the nap, you're like, oh my god, I want to make stuff. Because I'm not at work anymore. And I've tricked my brain into thinking it's a new day. Yeah. Do you want to know how to get things done? Trick your brain into thinking it's a new day. And that you're allowed to make stuff now that it's tomorrow. And you don't need work yet. Because that'll happen after your next nap. That's right. There's another nap coming. And then work happens after that. You've created a new day when you don't actually have another day. That's what you've done. You've created a second day inside of the day. More hours for your hours. This is why I take a nap after work. For an hour. That's it. That's it. I don't have to do that anymore because I love all the shit that I do. But if you have a day job, nap. Nap. Do a nap. Do it. Make two days in one day. That's my actual sleep schedule? Good. What is this sorcery? This is how to build a new day. Inside of your day. Right? Just... In there. I have about eight days a day. That's... <laughs> if you have eight days a day from naps, you need to go to a doctor. That's not great. Something's wrong there. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna chat MD you right now, because... If you're just passing out all the time, it's... Oof. That's a little bit concerning. <laughs> I'm worried about you. Oh, uh, stream MD, yeah. Go to a doctor. Go talk to a doctor, dude. That's not good. What is your sleep schedule? I sleep five hours a day every day. So I do eight hours on stream. I do eight hours off stream of work. I do three hours of personal time. And I do five hours of sleep. Every day. Everyone write raid? Why? Was there a raid on YouTube? What do you mean raid? What do you mean? What do you mean raid? What do you mean raid? Next. Ace of Stearns with 1,000 bits said ya cheer 1,000. Thank you very much. It's very nice of you. You're awesome, dude. Thank you. Runolf with 500 bits said golden kappa check. You do have a golden kappa. Lil Scorpy with 1,000 bits said let's go all. Hell yeah. This is the Party Golden Kappa. 64 with 500 bits said thanks for inspiring me to start making games. Anytime. I started a studio. I'm making an online card game. The growth awesome. has been crazy. I remember when you were at a couple hundred viewers. <laughs> you deserve all the recent success, dude. You will never prove it. And you will never convince me. <laughs> very nice of you, though. Thank you. Ending she with 500 bits said ya cheer 500. Hey Thor, have you ever played the Black Watchman? The Black Watchman. I have Watchmen. played most from this developer and they are really good. The Black Watchman. Oh. Okay. If you're looking for something out of the ordinary, Black Watchman is an excellent introduction to alternate reality games. Successfully merging an engaging fictional world with real world activities and challenging puzzles that are best solved collaboratively with other players. Hmm. Hmm. And it's all, like, horror-based. It's a little bit of horror, right? A little bit of horror. Do they have stuff on Steam? Let's see. They do. They do have stuff on Steam. Oh, it's creepy, too. It's, like, super creepy. Clearance level open cell phone. Free DLC to all agents. Four-day live event. Introducing Steam trading cards. Oh, this is cool, dude. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, it's so creepy, too. Become a secret agent and investigate paranormal activities in this dark Lovecraftian universe. This alternate reality game will have you explore complex puzzles in-game, but also in real life. Interacting with real websites, companies, and NPCs that were created as part of our universe. That's freaking neat, dude. Here's the, here's the question that I have, right? If they have NPCs and stuff set up like that, how are they doing that for live events? If you're buying the game. Is it only going to be like a, a portion of that is live and then they go back to the non-live event? That's how I would think it would it would work, right? That's really neat, though. Demos, the demo's free, you goblin. 
It's an ARG video game. I'm going to link this. This is cool as shit. I love this stuff, dude. Black Watchmen is so fun. You'll love it. Dude, I, I'm big into ARGs. I'm really big into ARGs. So this is cool as shit to me. Thanks for showing me that. Similar to games you've played. What? I mean, I guess Heartbound does have an ARG. <laughs> it's similar to The Secret World and Heartbound. Hmm. 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 2,480 hours. Oh my god. Yeah. That's what happens when you play your own video game. You should, by the way. You should play your own game. You should play your own game, chat. Thanks for letting me know about that. That's awesome, dude. It's actually really awesome. Mr. Globless with 500 bits said, I love your pen testing funny stories. Could you please tell one more? Love your work and your stream. It inspires me while I work. Demo is not free. The demo is not free. Yes, it is, you goblin. The demo is free. One of my pen testing stories. Let me think if I can I think of one for you. Mm. Who here knows the story about how I got a guy arrested by the FBI? <laughs> At DEFCON. Who here has not heard this? Yeah, some of you know it. Some of you do. Okay, so... I had gone to DEFCON for a number of years. I have a black badge from DEFCON for 23... Uh, 24 and 25. So I have three black badges from DEFCON. In the year that I had gotten where I was doing my second one, right? So DEFCON 24. Lost the puzzle master of DEFCON. Gave me the key to his room. And his room is the room where everybody goes and solves puzzles there. There's kind of a couch like this. There's like a table in front of it and everything like this, right? And the doors are kind of like over here. And everybody's solving stuff throughout the room, right? That's that's kind of the whole deal is that they're just solving things. And I I the key to the room so that I could go and fix, you know, any of the problems and make sure the room was open all the time because I just stayed in there the entire convention. I was there solving puzzles the whole time. Well, I had convinced everyone that I wasn't competing that year, and I was the social engineer for my team. So I was answering people's questions, I had control of the room, I had the key for the room, I was in a position of power, and I leveraged that to make sure that we could keep our t fingers on any information that would go through. We ended up winning, and it was quite funny. However, during this, a man walked in and said, hey, I need to plug this into the wall. And I'm like, you ain't plugging that into the wall, man, what the hell are you talking about? And he goes, lost said I could. I was like, okay. So I let him plug it in, he plugs it in under the couch. And then he walks out the room. I immediately pull this out of the wall. It is a 3D printed box about this big. It has four screws on one side and three screws on the other. And one of the screws is missing. So it should have four. I opened that side because it seemed the most likely that this is the one that he was accessing normally. And I didn't know if this thing had some kind of a trap or other bullshit in it. Probably should have been more cautious and opened up in a different area because it could have been anything. Right? We're at DEF CON. Guy was real sketchy. Could be anything. When I opened this up, it's a Stingray. What a Stingray is, is it's a custom-built device to act as a cell phone tower. These are incredibly illegal. These are felonies to have. And the reason why is a small device like that can't handle the throughput of a whole bunch of different phones, so you can't call 911. Yeah. That's a big goddamn deal. It's a really big goddamn deal. So I took this to one of my contacts at DEF CON that I knew worked for the FBI, and I was like, hey man, we got a real situation here. We need to figure out what this, what is going on here and what this guy is doing. Look at this. And they put me in a back room. They found the dude. They found out he had put three of these around DEF CON. After they caught him, he admitted to putting those out there and doing that. He was trying to spy on some kind of DEF CON staff or some shit. I don't, I don't know the full details of that. They gave me a challenge coin. I had to stay in a back room for like four hours and he got arrested. Yeah, he got, he got destroyed. Um, 100%. Yeah, it was really, really dumb. Really, really dumb. The guy had enough knowledge to know what he was doing to build something and not enough common sense to realize how stupid that was to do. Especially at a convention with 30,000 people, no tiny at-home device is going to be able to handle that kind of throughput. Really, really dumb shit. Really, really dumb shit. So yeah, yeah, that was the thing that happened at DEF CON. And like, you just kind of have to be really aware of what's going on, you know? And that's why I allowed him to plug it in, because I was like, the moment he plugs that in, I know where he plugged it in, and we're going to be able to go and get it, right? And that's it. Show us the coin, please. I have to find my, I have a challenge coin bag. It's put away because I, I moved the ferret room. If I find, I'll, tonight, I'll go and try and find my challenge coin bag. And then I'll show it to you. Yeah. Because, like, I have a whole thing of, like, all my old challenge coins and stuff that are in that. So. Was your contact with the FBI Fox Mulder? No, it was not. Um, you'd, you'd be surprised at how many people that help run DEF CON are actually feds. <laughs> a lot of them. Spot the Fed is a joke for a reason. 
Fable Giraffe with 1000 bits said Yar Cheer 1000 Golden K A P P P P P A A A A Train. Yeah. Numarco 053 with 1000 bits said 7. How oh, dare you? How oh, dare you? Fable Giraffe with 1000 bits said Yar Cheer 1000. So interestingly enough, I thought I had a, a way to strip out those channel points like that. The Yarcher 1000 ones are not stripping out. The normal bits are stripping out, but those are not. And I don't know why. We have ads, by the way. We have ads. We're going to wait. How many are left in the queue? How many are actually in the queue? Some of them are in the queue that should not be in the queue. Interesting. Interesting. Wait, what is that? Kiat 777? Illuminaria? Let me look this up. Nice. You need a tattoo of the heartbound heart? I mean, if you want to. <laughs> it's up to you, man. That's a very personal question, right? Personal for you, not for me. The ferrets crashed again? They did. They just died. This has been a common thing with this recently. I don't know what's going on with it. It may be there's just too much throughput. Um, Let me see if I can fix it. I'm going to start it back up. It did just die. Yeah. You worried about copyright? Do you... Do you actually think that I'm going to, like, go over there and then, like, remove your skin? How am I going to DMCA your skin, dude? Like. What? what where? How do you think that's going to happen? Kronos, what happens if somebody copy, like, puts Mickey Mouse on their skin? You're a lawyer. You know things. You can't just, like, Disney can't just come over and remove your skin. Doesn't really work that way. Nothing there, making money off of it. What happens if, um, instead of posting classified documents on, on the War Thunder forums, you, you actually put those on your skin? What are they going to do with that? I don't think that's ever happened. What happens if you put, if you tattoo classified shit on your skin? See, now I have questions. Now I have the weird questions. How are they going to redact that? <laughs> I guess that's true. Across. Have you heard of Edward Snowden? That is a that is a valid answer to that. Actually, I feel like that's valid. That is a valid answer. It's. I always wondered about that. I was like, what happens if you put classified information on there? But I guess you know. There you go. So uh, somebody actually said in chat that this is Illuminaria is the first game ever to be approved for Nintendo Switch from a studio in Guatemala. And this is a small studio in Guatemala. It says right there, tiny game development studio based in Guatemala. And it looks really charming. I like the animation. I'd like to see what the game is about. I do think that's pretty charming looking. They're tiny little robot dudes. What does it do? What does it do? Oh, it's got so many blob creatures. So it's got a proof for Switch, huh? Command a swarm of intelligent robots in their quest to save the world. Mine resources, manage and defend multiple bases, go on expeditions, fight in auto battles, research new technologies, and create your army of golems to bring back the light. That's really cool, man. I'm going to link this. It's got a demo, too, which means you should play the demo. Yeah. Good job, Guatemala. Get approved for, for Switch. Do it. Do it. Do it. That's awesome. I wonder how many studios are actually in Guatemala, to be honest with you. I have no idea. The demo is free. The demo is free, you goblins. Ooh. How much does the demo cost? It's free. It's free. I feel like I feel like you could get a document, like a classified document tattooed on you, and then also tattoo the redacted on it. So everything is redacted. That would be pretty funny to me. It's a free demo, you goblins. It's free. It's a free demo. The demo is free. You didn't buy the demo. The demo is free. Ooh. All right, let's press this button. 
Fable Giraffe with 1000 bits said Yar cheer 100 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 Yeah, looks like Yar cheer isn't stopped. Lame. Next. Where's Waldo 0194 with 1000 bits said thank you for inspiring me to do more. Thank you for doing more. That's the whole point, man. Thank you very much. Thomas for 06 with 500 bits said let's get this train, guys. There it is. We're still in the middle of the golden hype train. MR Speedy Doug with 1000 bits said more. More. Corsonen with 777 bits said happy birthday Thor Yar Cheer 777. Ace of Sterns with 1000 bits said Yar Cheer 1000. So nice of you guys. MR this is Speedy outrageous. Doug with 2,000 bits said Yar Cheer 2,000. It's so many bits. Ink Stumbo 13 with 1,000 bits said new to stream but enjoy content. Keep it up. Thank you very much. RDDJ 623 with 500 bits said Golden Kappa. Golden Kappa. Andy Garcia 92 with 500 bits said C. C. Fable Giraffe with 5,000 bits said Zero Yar Cheer 5,000. Thank you very much, that's a lot of bits. Fabled Giraffe with 5,000 bits said Yar Cheer 5,000. Another 5,000. Koikoda said, Thor, how would you know if you were an onion? You wouldn't. Oh, you I might know. already be an onion and not know uh, about it. I'm it's not. true. I'm not. But don't despair, being an onion is great. No. Everyone cries tears of joy when they see you. <laughs> also, how the FK do you keep up with the cursed quests now that volume is so insane? How I know. do you know who has completed it and who isn't? Suffering from success, onion success. Onion be with you. Also, you smell like an onion. You smell like an onion. Every time somebody accepts a curse quest, you go into a queue. That queue is stored indefinitely on Twitch. I can see everybody that has a valid curse quest. Every single one of you. And when you complete it, I click completed. That's right. Yeah. And if you don't complete it, it just stays there forever. You should make a golden Thor emote for T3. I already have one. There's already one there. It's called Yar Scam. Everyone in chat, show your Yar Scams. There's few of you. But you can have it. Yar Scam is there. Next one. Ruraling with 500 bits said Yar Cheer 100 Yar Cheer 100 Yar Cheer 100 Yar Cheer 100 Yar Cheer 100. Kiwi Bird 37 oh God, with 500 so many bits them, said Yar Cheer 100 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 You deserve this. You're really making the world better through your positive messages and wonderful advice. It's really nice. Also, you're helping sick ferrets live wonderful lives. Yes. So just take our money, you goblin lord. I think that's the thing that makes me the most happy every day, is the fact that the rescue is doing so well. Um, it really makes me happy to do that. It really does. It's like a really nice thing for me. Because ferrets are very hard to take care of. And people don't realize that when they're getting involved with them, right? And it makes it really difficult when they when they finally come across their first medical bills. A ferret can go from zero to fifteen hundred dollars in a day, right? Go from zero to fifteen hundred dollars in a day, and they do that if you have any type of kind of any type of blockage, anything like that, any emergency for them gets really expensive really fast, right? Is the ex exploit in CSS or CS2 fixed? Yeah. So as far as I know, Valve actually put out a patch for this. Um, and it's really bad. Like, it was really a bad thing. They fixed it, and they put an announcement for that. I think some people said that they were trying to find ways to, f to go beyond that, to try and fix other ways of doing it. And um, I think they have fully patched it now, because most people are like, oh, it doesn't work anymore, it doesn't work anymore, and everyone's mad, which is funny, which they should be mad, get mad. That shit should be fixed, so. Yeah, it's good. Why is my stream so far behind? Oh, on YouTube, you can slide it to say if you're if you're at the beginning or at the end kind of a thing. How do I use DTS? Uh, here. There you go. That should be pinned. I forgot to pin it. That's my bad. There you go, dude. There is a queue. Understand there's a queue. You can see it at the bottom. Let me go do this. Ananus underscore games with 500 bits said thanks for all the good life lessons. Really learning a lot here and getting motivated to get into coding and art. I'm really glad. You should be doing that. We live in the best time ever to go and make things, dude. Literally the best time ever in history to make stuff. It's awesome. It's awesome. What is up? Which supermodel woman did you kill to get that hair, man? I didn't. I just grew my hair out. I just grew it out. I just grew it out, dude. There it is. There it is. 
I only wash my hair every three days, too, and I use $4 shampoo. I don't even use conditioner. I don't. It's funny. Get mad. <laughs> Platano Gringo with 5,000 bits said, I believe in you. I believe in you. Lil Scorpy with 1,000 bits said, let's G O O O O O. Why does he say it like that? It's so funny, dude. That's so damn funny. Oh my god. Rumor with 500 bits said, this is for the demo Kappa. The demo is free. Yeah boy toast underscore live with 500 bits said new potential ADHD name articles. Information in Pax here it comes from the Latin for in, not, Pax, peace, IA, what are we state about? of, one of the biggest arguments of each naming of ADHD, including the current one, is that it doesn't represent the whole of the disorder, well, sure. neither does autism that comes from the Latin for auto, self, and ism. They are both spectrum disorders with different levels of intensity so it might be fruitless to try to come. I think you were trying to say something longer than that, but it got cut off. I don't actually know what that was regarding. Because we weren't ever discussing that today. So now I'm confused. It just ended in the middle of their sentence. Yeah, it just ended in, in in that, which is weird. Yeah, that's... I don't know. I don't know where that was. I don't know what that was regarding it at all. In any way. Yeah. WK Nazgul said happy birthday Thor. Quick question, if I buy 7 demos in the OST and want to use the OST on stream, videos, do I need to put the license for the OST in the video description or anywhere on stream? No. We have full control over that entirely, over the music. And uh, there's no third party that is managing any of those for us. And as such, we don't have a problem with that whatsoever. There's never going to be an auto situation where you get banned or DMCA'd automatically because of this type of stuff. Even with the massive increase in people playing the game and looking at stuff, I don't have any issues there none whatsoever and yeah that's it that's really easy for us to deal with like super easy for us to deal with and if you re-upload our music i will definitely take it down if you re-upload if you upload a video or a stream or you do any of that kind of stuff with our music in the background have at it that's the point man that's the whole idea and if you look at this on here if we go to heartbound we're very explicit about this there's a hundred songs in the OST. It's massive, dude. Massive, massive. As long as you are not directly re-uploading the music with no other content, you are free to use the songs in this OST in any videos or streams, whether they are monetized or not. That's it. That's it. That's the whole point there. So do it. Just don't re-upload the song directly, as only the song. Also, don't re-upload my shorts directly. I keep having to deal with that. It's gross. Can people put them in games? What does this say? Does this say in games? <laughs> no you actual goblin <sighs> yeah the music is really good it's turned out amazing it's not incredible one ph with 1000 bits said good morning thor and fellow goblins good the morning time you. is currently 0315 p s t during golden We're three train. hours behind Empire Tycoon with 500 bits said hi Thor. I started in tech about seven years ago, at the beginning loved programming and wanted to be a game developer, never did it. Okay. Fast forward today I work with Infra as SRE engineer. Found mm -hmm. your shorts on YouTube and decided to give it a shot. Okay. Any tips on getting started and doing that on the side of a full-time day job? Thank yeah. you. Yes, most definitely. So if you're trying to do that, if you're trying to do this kind of stuff and you want to, you want to, you know, do things on the side and try and build things. First thing you need to find out is if you're allowed to do a side project. You already work in the industry. It's incredibly important for you to know if you can do this. Talk to HR about this. HR is going to know what your contract is. They're going to be able to discuss this with you and find out if you're allowed to do a side project. Some countries you're just allowed to do it and they can't stop you. Some countries they can. So because of this, you need to go and talk to HR and find out what you have signed in your contract in regards to side projects and ownership of personal projects. These are the big deal things, the things you have to pay attention to. So if they say everything is all good to go, then give yourself a tiny project, something you can finish in under 30 days, something small, right? What defines a side project? Anything that is being made off of company hardware off of company time, meaning you are not doing it at work, you're not doing it on a work machine, you're not doing it in hours you're being paid by work, you do it at home on your own time, on your own hardware, using your own tools. Nothing to do with work, ever. And that's the whole point. I just wouldn't tell the company, that's a great way to get sued. That's bad advice. It's bad, bad advice. Yeah. It's not how that works. It's not how that works. So yeah, with that in mind, 
something you can you can do in under 30 days. That's the most important thing. Under 30 days is super important. And the reason why we do that is you want to fail fast. You want to fail. You want to do it quickly so you can learn the most amount of information as possible. And that's it. That's the whole deal, right? That's the entire deal. Why is it a problem? So if you try to build something on company time or in company resources, or if you're not approved for a side project, they can legally own the thing that you're working on. Yeah. It's not better to ask for forgiveness than permission in this case. No, it's not. No, it's not. Now you have an issue. Either the thing you've been working on the whole time is owned by the company you worked for, or they could sue you for misuse of company resources. It's a lot of shit there. You don't want to do that. Go to HR, talk to them, find out what you're allowed to do. Yep, that's it. Sounds like really a U.S. problem, not just the U.S. Not just the U.S. Yeah. Yeah, if you use that time to work on a personal project, you are stealing from the company, and they will come after you for it. It's a very stupid thing to do, so no. No, don't do that. Don't do that. The same issues in France? Yeah, it's not even the whole EU. You say it laughs in the EU, but not every not every uh, country in the EU does that. So, go talk. You live in Japan, it's the same? Yeah, go talk to your HR. Yeah, it's not just the US. It's not. Very stupid contract clause should be outlawed. Yep, I agree. Yeah, no, I mean, some some of the people are, are all like, wait a minute, it's all the EU. No, dude, it's not. So if you if you live, there are many countries that have this outlawed, many countries that don't have this outlawed. Go to HR. Go to HR. Talk to them. That's the whole point. Why would they remove that clause? Because it, it allows an employee to become worth more money because they are learning new things. This is actually beneficial to the parent company. If you allow a employee to be like, hey, yeah, you could go learn some shit on your own. Great. Most of the people that go off and do side projects aren't going to leave because it's not going to be financially viable for them to leave. Most of those people are going to learn new things and become a better employee on the same pay that they had originally. So because of that, I don't understand why companies want to restrict this, frankly. I don't think it's a good idea. I think it's actually a bad idea for them to restrict this. And it leads more people to want to leave because they can't express themselves in a way that makes them have meaning in their work. That's the problem with it. It ends up having a more human impact on those employees. They feel trapped and they want to go somewhere else. And that's it. That's it. What is that? No. Uh, companies are terrified of short-term loss. Yeah, it feels like a short-term thing. It feels like a short-term problem that Right, where they're thinking that it's a oh we're gonna we're in the short term we may have an issue with this, but long term you're investing in that employee by allowing them to do this stuff you're investing in them. I always invest in our employees as much as I possibly can, because if you don't, you're just asking for failure. Frankly, you're asking for failure, and that's that's not great because you're gonna lose that person instead of getting a better employee that went off and learned some cool shit on their own. You'll have no employee because they'll go to a company that does allow them to work on side projects eventually. It's not great. It's not good. It's not good at all. All right. Next alert. Where's Waldo 0194 with 500 bits said, Thor, you are the Goblin King. We are but your humble servants in all no, your not. glory. Long live the King. Huzzah. No, no, no huzzahs. God damn it. Just a nerd on the internet, don't you dare. Liger Gaming with 500 bits said Golden Kappa Wahoo Hello from Australia you absolute legend You're a legend BTW everyone the demo is free That's FR Yes! Finally! No huzzahs! God damn it Oh chat is full of huzzahs Why is chat full of huzzahs? The Australians know the demo is free Thank you Australia Fabled Giraffe with 1,500 bits said Yar cheer 100 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 Yar cheer 1,000 Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. It's very nice of you. Bull Cool with $10 said Why is everyone counting? <laughs> there was over on YouTube side. I remember that. They were just counting up for Ryan some reason. 2K with 5 euros said I found an interesting indie bullet hell card game, Heck Day. The enemies shoot the cards. They do damage, but you need them to attack. Interesting. 
Hectech is a bullet hell card game where all the bullets are cards, and time only progresses as you move. Explore five stages full of unique enemies and bosses. Oh, this is cool, dude. Dude. Hold up. You gonna let me do this? Come on, Steam. So, you can shoot your bullets, you fly around with the mouse, and then you can pause. Oh, that's so cool. That's such an interesting way to do this. So you pause the game, and then you get your bullet shot out. So you always have a perfect shot. Look at that. Oh, that's so good. I've never seen anyone make that before. That's totally unique. That's completely unique. That's really, really cool. That's really, really cool, dude. The more I look at this, the more cool it becomes, actually. Because it looks like they evolved on the theme the entire time. They aren't even successfully counting. Here's the thing. Um, Chat has a single brain cell. They're not able to count. Yeah. As you notice, it's all over the place. Eventually, it's just going to turn into the number 69. And they'll just stay there for hours. Hours and hours, dude. It's just going to be like that. Yeah, one, one brain cell is what that is. See, now that I've said that, they're all 69ing. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, here's the game. This game looks sick. It actually looks really cool, dude. Yeah, this is really cool, actually. I built my own brain cell? No, you didn't. That's just paste. You can't res you can't replace a brain cell with paste. Y yeah, you guys share one brain cell with all of chat. That's why YouTube chat goes a little bit slower, because there's less of you sharing the same brain cell, dude. That's the only reason. That's always been the reason. Yeah. You think about it before you post. Twitch is just... Into the internet, right? It's where most of the bans happen, too. Altronic with 10 pounds said, please take my money, Thor. I don't have a choice now. Thank you for that. 321 Agemo with 500 bits said, first time dropping by. Just want to say your YT shorts have been really entertaining and have been helpful for motivation. I'm really glad. I'm really, really glad, actually. I'm really glad. So these people asking if CS2 is already fixed, go to Valve. They put out a patch. Ask them. <laughs> Valve should put out patch notes for that fix. They put out a patch that morning and they haven't put out patch notes for it. Texas Best Gamer with 500 bits said let's go. Let's go. Texas Best Gamer with 500 bits said let's get number one. Wow, you did two in a row without anyone else stopping you? That's wild, actually. Stealth underscore Tiger with 500 bits said let's go goblins. Hell yeah. Liger Gaming said my message got cut off earlier. So let's try again. Listen to Thor when he says that the demo is free. That's F-R-E-E -E and free is an acronym for financially requires enormous expense. No. So when Thor says it's free, that's what he actually means. Seven, 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 seven. Listen here. Chad is supposed to have a single brain cell shared between all of you. Who gave him your portion of the brain cell. Because I know some of you had to. There is no way that a goblin could determine that on their own. You've unionized, and I've, I've noticed. Is it like a Highlander thing? Has he been killing goblins in the background and stealing their brain cell portion? Like, what is... Something's happening there. I don't know what... I don't like it. Either way, I don't like it. It's not good. It's not good. Era Hohen with 17 shekels and 90 agoras said I was having a bad day now that I see you're streaming I'm having a terrible day. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Anode underscore KK said you're now in the big content creator league now Thor. What does that mean? And you really deserve all that is coming to you. What does that mean? Congratulations. That sounds... Okay, so this is the way that I took that. You're in the big creator content league now Thor. Okay. You really deserve all that's coming to you. And then congratulations. And if you watch enough anime, congratulations. 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 And that's how I saw it in my head. 
You deserve all that's coming to you. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, 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 I know that was probably supposed to be positive. In my brain, it's terrifying, is what that is. Deeply horrifying. Deeply horrifying. Thank you, Anna. Thank you very much. Smiling Fedora with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, apart from the book, I also started making 3D isometric RPG based on that very book in UE5. Okay. I managed to implement basic systems but struggle with more complicated ones. Any tips on where to learn semi-advanced blueprinting? I don't want to copy YT tutorials but make something on my own and understand it properly so I can add, optimize, repair as needed. After years of being dawn talked your streams motivated me to chase my dreams. I'm very grateful for that. Love. Dude, any time. So like, if you're trying to build more complicated systems, complicated systems are not complicated. I know this is going to sound weird, right? Complicated systems are not complicated. What they actually are is it's a large system that's made up of small systems. Each of these little individual components are things that you have built along the way. And that's it. And as you build each component, you find out how it fits into the other components, how the puzzle pieces work together, and you build it. And that's it. That's all it is. So if you're trying to figure out how to make a large system, a large complicated system, don't look at it like this. Look at it like a brick. You are building a building, one brick at a time. And each time you make a brick, you find out where it fits into the wall. And that's it. That's all it is. That's the whole idea with that, right? So as you are building these systems, don't worry about a massive tutorial. Don't worry about these huge overarching designs. Worry about building a system that works for what you're trying to create. And then when it works, but not quite well, you switch some of those bricks out and you give them better bricks, right? There are so many times that I've built something like our dialogue engine or the lighting system or anything like that, where I put all the bricks in and I made the whole wall work and I was like, oh shit, there's a hole over there. The hell is that? And then I made a new brick and I put it back in. Or this one's chipped. And then I made a new brick and I put that back in, right? That's the whole idea is you have to build it and then optimize and build and optimize and build and optimize. And as you go forward, eventually you have this monolith. You have this big, giant, pristine cube, right? It's made out of a bunch of little bricks, ones that you've polished and made amazing along the way. So build it. Build it shitty first. And don't worry about it being amazing. Don't worry about it being perfect. Just worry about trying to build something and hooking that component to another component. And every time you hook a component to another component, you've made a complex system out of little, tiny, simple systems. That's the whole deal there. Shinku Aura with MX $100 said, Hi Thor, any tips for a recent college graduate who is looking to get a job as 3D artist in the game industry? Okay. Tips for the application, interview and self-doubt. My art station is Nadine Martin. I will check this out. Let's go look. Da -da -da -da. Let's see. Your stuff looks cool. Yeah, this is good. You got a lot of really neat looking stuff, man. That actually looks awesome. There we go. Yeah, if you're making 3D model stuff, you're building environments like this, you're doing exactly what you need to on ArtStation. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Um, one of the things that I will say that's kind of important is this. If you do build an ArtStation and you're trying to do a resume for being an artist, I would say... As everyone else, one page cover letter, one page resume, right? And then from there, your art station should have three examples instead of a portfolio. And inside of that portfolio, you want to have not only the art image as it is, but each of the phases of that art image to show how it made it along the way. But here's the important one. Put it with timing. Say how much time this took, how much time each step took to show them a good example of your workflow. Not just what you can make, how quickly you can make it. And that's one of the most important things. No, I didn't get gnomed. There's no gnome in this. The art station's not going to include sound, you know. But yeah, that's that's the whole idea with this. So definitely show timing for these things. If you're doing an art station like portfolio, this is super helpful. I see that you have a lot of stuff that's in there, but there's no timings on these. And it's it's kind of a mix, right, to show that kind of stuff. So it doesn't give me, if I want to do hire you, a good indication of your workflow or the amount of time it took you to make these things which makes it harder as a, of a sell, right? That's the whole idea with it. So yeah, I would, I would include timings for those things. Your work is cool. You've got some really nice looking stuff. 
I see you've got like some hand model things in there and some other stuff that you've made and some like environmental things that look really good, but timing. It's got to have timing. I want to include timing, 100%. We have ads in about 15 seconds. Do you have a lot of sensible answers to almost everything? What's your secret? I don't know. I sit on the internet 16 hours a day. <laughs> Bezos is about to arrive. We're almost there. There it is. Have you tried Excalibur? Yeah, but I won't cheat on Miss Paint, dude. Also need to translate in Australian more. Hashtag buy the demo. No, it's free. Why you like this? Who made you this way? I'll tell you one thing. Vegemite's delicious. Marmite is shit. And I want to do a Tim Tam slam after stream today. And I don't have any Tim Tams, but I do have the Milo. And it makes me deeply upset. I have to buy Tim Tams on Amazon. There's no other way for me to get them anymore. Because the grocery store I went to, that used to have them, went out of business. So now I can't get any Tim Tams, and I have to buy them on Amazon, and Jeff Bezos has to deliver them to my house. Ooh. It's grim. It's grim. I've come for your waffle fries. You can't have them. I love waffles. <clears throat> I think Target sells them. I know they used to. I've never looked at Target's, like, food section. When I think of Target, I think of, like, the gaming area, and I think of clothing that never fits. Was it graphics drivers? It was the MOBO. MOBO was having problems. Yeah. We may have the problem again in the future, graphics driver related, but it seems stable for now. Tim Tams, is it Passover already? No. I'll tell you one thing. You bring up Passover. I've thought about this a lot, actually. Let me find this. When you brought up Passover, I thought of those little, like, communion wafers. You know the communion wafers, right? Yeah, every... You brought up Passover and I thought of these. Little communion wafers, the things that taste like nothing, right? And they're like, it's the body of Christ. Then you eat it. You know, a little bit of wine. Like, the whole thing, right? You're supposed to do the... Yeah, the little Christ crackers. Um, I have never been able to unlearn this. But these are... These are supposed to be the body of Christ, right? Body of Jesus. They're Jesus. That's what the other yeah, Jesus, dude. They're a hundred percent Jesus. That's what they are. That's what they are. And now you know, and you're never going to be able to unsee it. And it's deeply funny to me. And I've gone through the whole communion process. I've done that before when I was growing up. Our, our household was quite religious, right? I've done it. I've been there. And I cannot unthink this as Jesus. They're flavorless Jesus. That's it. And it's very funny to me. It is as as an older person now. I find it very funny. I find it very funny. <laughs> They're Jesus, dude. It's hundred percent it. They're completely flavorless, though. They are. They're like um. It's like a. I think they're made. Are they rice? Are they made out of rice? Communion wafer ingredients. What is the ingredient of this? They're so flavorless. Wheat flour and water. Okay, yeah, they're just wheat flour and water, but they're completely un unflavored. They're completely unflavored. They have no flavor at all. And they're so boring. Heresy? <laughs> you could say heresy all you want. Unleavened. I know, I know, but they're so boring, dude. Then again, I'm going to be real with you. If they tasted good, I would probably buy them and just sit on the couch and eat Jesus all day. Like, I'm just going to be honest with you. Like, that's probably not a good thing. I, I, I understand that that's probably not good, right? Like, did you know you could just buy those? You can actually get those. Communion wafers. Um, let me actually show you. They're cheap, too. They're crazy cheap. You can get them on Amazon. Communion wafer. You can actually just buy these on Amazon. They're crazy cheap, too. A box of a thousand of them is eleven dollars. 
you can get a thousand communion wafers for eleven dollars. I bet there's even better choices here. I bet there's way better choices. They're so cheap. They're crazy cheap, dude. Read the comments. What are the comments on these? What are the comments on this one? I bet they're really funny. It's a bunch of meme comments. It's a ton of meme comments, to be honest with you. But I, I think it's funny because, like, you never really think about when you think about churches and you think about the materials of the church, right? You never really think about, like, oh, how do, how do they get communion wafers? That's something you never really think about. And you're like, oh, well, they have to buy them somewhere. Like, they don't make them all in the church, right? Like, they have to get them somewhere. And you buy them on Amazon. <laughs> you can just get them on Amazon. It's like super bland crackers, right? That's the whole point of it. Yeah, a thousand parts of Jesus are only 11 bucks. I mean, it's the it's the ritual of the whole thing is the point, right? It's not about the cracker itself, but it is a ritual thing. And I find that very interesting is like, there's a whole like machine behind this that produces these terrible flavored crackers for a ritual. <laughs> it's just very interesting. It's always been very interesting to me. Also, they have pre-filled communion wine cups too. You can get those. They're little plastic communion wine cr cups. Or... 100% grape juice for the kids, which is also funny. Yeah, pre-filled, like here, look, let me show you this. It's gonna blow you away, actually. You'd be surprised at how, like, monetized this section of the internet is. You'd be really, really, really surprised by this. Are you not gonna let me copy it? Come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is like a, this is a weird thing, actually. Is how, are you really not gonna let me copy this? Oh, I was copying image address because I'm a moron. There we go. Yeah, they are they are actually pre-filled pre -filled grape juice. Like, so like when you want to do like communion, but you have like a little kid that can't have wine, obviously. They have these pre-filled little grape juice cups. Yeah, it's it's actually for this. There's a ton of these, dude. There's like a ton of this kind of stuff, which is wild to me. But you have to think about like how common this ritual really is. There's a lot of people to do this, right? A lot of people go in and they do communion and everything like that. And there's a whole thing. So you have to have companies that grow up around this that are producing these types of products because the, the church can't source that, right? No church is going to be able to source that. So it's very interesting to think about like, hey, wait a minute. I can just go get these things <laughs> because they're like super easily available, right? Yeah. Is the percentage alcohol? There's no percentage alcohol in this. It's 100% Concord grape juice for this one. It's for kids. This one's for kids. Isn't that weird? So you never think about these things. You never think about like the, the giant corporate machine behind this that produces these products. But that is real. That is a real thing. Yeah. And the moment you said that, it, my whole brain went into that direction. So enjoy it. Enjoy your newfound weird knowledge. Have that. That's for you. Yeah, it's a big wafer. It's just a big weird wafer, right? Although it's stupid and scammy, I'm in nowhere near the position to tell people that they're... Oh, no, I don't think it's stupid and scammy. No, not at all. Nothing like that. I just find it interesting that you have to you have to produce those somewhere, which means there's a factory somewhere specifically dedicated to producing communion wafers. And it's definitely not only one, right? So it means that there's definitely multiple factories that are just producing flavorless crackers for this, right? Which is, <laughs> which is deeply interesting to me. I find that very interesting to me, right? That's all that is. Yeah, there's a mass production system behind that. There is. There's actually a mass production system. And it makes me wonder, because, like, if you think about kosher food products, right? So, like, let, let's think about it this way. Kosher food products work the exact same way. They have to have certain restrictions on the way that that food is created, right? To, in order for it to be kosher. So you have to build a factory, a machine, like a system, specifically for kosher food products. I wonder if there's any restrictions on how these wafers can be made. I actually don't know. I'm not sure. I know that for kosher food, there's a restriction, but for wafers, does it have to be special in some way? Or can it just be made? Mass production? Hey, you finally cut on. <laughs> I love the puns, dude. Sometimes I just fit them in there to see how long it takes chat to catch up, dude. The brain cell is reactivated. They bless the fact. I wonder if there's any blessing in progress. Because there might be. There actually might be. Legitimately. I'm actually interested in that. Because it could be. They have to be blessed. But are they blessed at the factory? Are they blessed afterwards? Do they have to have like a dude blessing the like machinery? Like are we getting to a Warhammer 40k kind of situation now? Are you going to like a tech priest in there? Yeah. 
So now see how this goes, because like if it has if it's part of it, you have to do it. Where does that occur? What the hell is TTS? Text to speech. I'm surprised how many people don't know that. Yeah, do they bless the machinery? Do they bless it at the church? Do they bless it at the church, Fluke, you said? No factory priest? Okay. If there's no priest at the factory, and they actually bless it at the church, would you at least agree with me that it would be more efficient to have the priest at the factory and have an actual tech priest? Just in the, just in the realm of efficiency, where they come pre-blessed. I feel like that would be more efficient. Oh, absolutely. Okay, good. Good. At least we're on the same page there. <laughs> it would be a tech priest. It would. That's that's actually... That's a tech priest. That's kind of cool, frankly. I think that's kind of neat. Right? But there isn't one, unfortunately. Yeah, you'd have to have unblessed ones, too. Like, these are the pre-blessed ones, and then there's the unblessed ones, and then some factory would get completely cancelled because they said they were blessing it, but they didn't actually have a tech priest on staff. And all those went out unblessed, and there's a whole mess, you know. That's how that would go. I feel like that's exactly what would happen, frankly. Diet blessed? What does it even mean? <laughs> what is diet blessing? What music is this? It's all the music from Heartbound, our video game. Alright, next alert. Small Tangent head over. with two Canadian dollars and 79 cents said, Have you considered playing card games at all? I've been playing card games forever, man. Um, I love tons and tons and tons of card games. I like I liked Hearthstone. I like Marvel Snap. I like Magic the Gathering. Uh, hell, I liked Yu-Gi-Oh! when I was growing up. I liked the Pokemon card game. I, I even like stuff Cards Against Humanity is fantastic, by the way. Oh, also, never play Cards Against Humanity against a social engineer. I haven't lost in a long time. I haven't lost in a long time. Do you want to win at Cards Against Humanity? Do you want a trick for that? you want a trick for that? Human beings have a really interesting thing about them. Where if there is laughter in a room... Most of the time, they will mimic this just slightly. Even if it's just a brain chemical thing, where they're like, hey, wait a minute, I feel, I feel that that is funnier because more people are laughing. That's why laugh tracks were used. So when the person pulls up your card, and they read it, and everyone's laughing at the, the absurdity of the card, laugh a little bit harder. <laughs> laugh a little bit louder. And that's it. <laughs> It works really well in Cards Against Humanity, and like, that's, that's what he is, yeah. It's not cheating. It's not cheating. Not my fault. Not my fault your brain is hackable, alright? It's not my fault. I haven't lost Cards Against Humanity in years. <laughs> Bjorkor said Monster Hunter now tricked me into giving Monster Hunter World another shot. Oh yeah, dude. Um, Monster Hunter World is really good. Did you see the, the new one that they're gonna be making? The new Monster Hunter that they're going to be making is going to be a continuation, basically, of Monster Hunter World. So it's in the same thing. Yeah, Monster Hunter Wilds is what it's called. It looks sick, dude. It looks really good. It looks really, really good. And I'm very excited for it. I think they're doing a fantastic job for that. Had to exploit people, too? I mean, it's, it's kind of how it is. Yeah. You just gotta laugh harder, dude. Just laugh more. You also... The other thing that goes along with it is I try to learn the personality of the people that I'm playing with. So, I do a couple tester cards in the beginning that I know are just going to fall apart, and I read the room to see what people are laughing about, and then I specifically target cards to each of the people to, because I know their personality and their humor now. That's just how it works, dude. Welcome to Cards Against Humanity. Reading the room, figuring out people's humor, and then just laughing a little bit more when it's your card. That's all. That's all it is. Works all the time. Really hope they keep the snappier movement. Well, they brought mounted combat back. So that's a big one. Um, mounts being a thing in Monster Hunter Wilds is good. Because the, the one... There was one piece of Monster Hunter Rise that I liked. And it was the dog. It was riding the dog. That was it. Everything else I hated. Riding the dog was cool. Right? Monster Hunter World I like more. In every other way. But riding the dog was very cool in Monster Hunter Rise. So, Wilds looks really good. Wilds looks like it combined the two things. You know, that's good. You can't read rooms for shit. It's a trained skill. You learn it over time. You have to work on it. It's like any other muscle, you gotta flex it, you know. That's all. Yeah, Monster Hunter World is way better than Monster Hunter Rise. Way, way better. Monster Hunter Rise was bad, comparatively. I was not a fan of it. 
You play Gwent? I never did, actually. I never did. People talk about that a lot. Which is funny because it's a game within a game. A game within a universe, right? It's quite good. I think Sunbreak is superior? Nah, I don't agree. The, the reason why I have this problem is this, right? In Monster Hunter World, it made it more accessible to a lot of different players. Um, things that were, like, otherwise deep in the dark recesses of Monster Hunter that were, like, not explained. They explained a lot of that stuff. They made it much more easy for a new player to go in and join. And it was much, much more fun by the end game as a result because you had more information to be able to play the game. Get into Monster Hunter Rise as a new player right now. What do you get? You go and get inundated with a whole bunch of things that pop up all over the screen. You have no UI in the actual town. They tell you to go talk to a person and you have no idea where to find them. That's the first like 30 minutes of your gameplay is being completely overwhelmed and not given the information that actually is critical to your success. And then when you do craft items, they show images on them for powers and things like that, but they don't say what they are. Rise is not good. Like it's really, really not good. It is deeply strange from a UI perspective. Gameplay, it's fine. Gameplay, there's nothing wrong. But that UI is a mess, dude. That UI is is grim as shit. It's not good at all in Rise. And the, the new player experience was terrible. I got through, I slogged through the first 30 minutes, finally went and fought a monster, and I had a, I had a good time killing a monster. I played Insect Glaive. I'm an Insect Glaive class. That's what I enjoy in Monster Hunter. But like, dude, that, that new player experience sucked. It sucked. The combat was fine. Running around with the dog was awesome. Using the little, like, what is it? The bug to, like, leap. That was cool. I love that. Um, but the the UI and the experience with that sucks. It's so bad. Yeah, the wire bug. Wire bug was cool. I like the wire bug. I do. I think it's actually neat. I think it's really cool. I think the environments were more interesting to explore. But like, holy shit, dude. Outside of that, everything in the town, everything dealing with quests, everything dealing with, with anything outside of fighting a monster was just grim. It's just grim. Not good for the game. I don't think it's good for the game either. I really don't. I think it was too much. I actually, what I like about Insect Glaive is that it's a aerial class, right? And that it's unique and that it's an aerial class. So when you start adding the wire bug to stuff, everyone's an aerial class. So like, what is the Insect Glaive really bringing to the table at that point? Not much. Not much, frankly. And it's kind of weird to me. It's a little bit weird because that's, that's the aerial thing. That's the aerial class, right? Switch Icon World Rise, Charge Axe on MH Guy. What is MH Guy, dude? So Monster Hunter World is actually my first Monster Hunter game. I didn't get into the series before that because I hated the camera angles. I thought the camera angles sucked, frankly. And um, I finally got into Monster Hunter because of Monster Hunter World. I really enjoyed it. And now I play Monster Hunter Now, which is that phone game, which is very, very fun. That's the that's the one put out by Niantic, and I really enjoy it. I actually enjoy the shit out of it. And I've been beasting all the new monsters because they released some stuff for, for Christmas, which is cool. They actually released Dual Blade and Lance, finally. Which is cool. But still, no Insect Glaive, which is upsetting. Yeah, no Insect Glaive. No Insect Glaive. Very sad. Very sad. Monster Hunter World is a grand slam, though. I agree. I think Monster Hunter World is really good, dude. I think it's very well done. Yeah, the Niant Niantic is the people behind Pokemon Go. Yeah. If you didn't know about this, here. Let me link this in chat. I'm going to link this to all you guys. I'll give you guys my referral code and my, my friend list thing. There you go. There you go. Oh god, you can't see the Yar Rabbit over on YouTube. There you go. You ever played Stellaris? I think so. I think we talked about this. And, mm, no. No, I've not. I think I watched people. No, I've watched people play the shit out of this. Yeah, I watched people play the shit out of that. Oh, 50 hour tutorial Solaris for the win. That's crazy. Solaris got ruined for you by your ex? Don't give him that power. What do you mean, got ruined for you by your ex? No, dude, don't give him that power. They're your ex for a reason. Don't let him ruin anything in your life. Screw that shit. Go play Stellaris. Good game. They got nothing. They got nothing on you. They can control nothing. They're an X for a reason. Yeah. Why is Heartbound so cheap? Because I want it to be affordable for you. That's the point. You ever played Downwell? Yes, a lot. Love that game.
Demolition Man 5 with $5 said thank for the inspiration, restarted my law building for DND, just created critical fail tokens out of NFC chips. It scan on the phone, shows your fail. That's kind of cool. I like that a lot, actually. That's really neat. Weird. Cool implementation, dude. Sinisterus underscore Fory with 510 bits said Yarchir 510 Haythor Bigman. I am huh. happy I see you here finally. Any advices on Getenf into localization? I even do it for completely free as a hobby. It's Hungarian. Gaming is huge here even at 30 to 50 year olds, but sadly drops down because there are no localization for them. Any advices who might need help? Hungarian. Let me look this up. That's not something I even had on my map. So you have a population of 9.71 million. Let's go to SteamDB. Heartbound. What's the currency of Hungary, guys? What's the Hungarian currency? Does anyone know? Is Heartbound going to be on Nintendo Switch? Eventually, yes. No, it's not food, you goblins. Do they use the euro? Does Hungary actually use the euro? That makes it rough. Let's see. Average. Let's go median income Hungary. Okay. You guys use HUF is what it is? Yeah, foreign HUF. It's not it's not the euro. Let's go look this up. Do you guys actually have You guys don't actually have that currency on Steam. No, the Hungarian currency is not on Steam. Interesting. About 380 HUF is 1 euro. We're part of the EU. So you guys use euro then, since you're part of the EU. Yeah. That's what I was wondering, because you get paid in HUF, but you have to convert it over to euros, right? Is that kind of the idea? Okay, so you guys use both currencies. Okay, so if you want to go on Steam, you have to convert over to Euros, which is quite high. I do want to bring this down. It's really high. It's, like, way too high. Hungary accepts the Euro. Interesting. Is this crazy expensive for someone in Hungary? Is that, like, insanely expensive? It is not. It's not cheap. So think about it this way. If I go to... Let's see, cost of a Big Mac, USA. The average Big Mac costs $5. This costs two Big Macs in the U.S. If you went to McDonald's, do you have McDonald's in Hungary? Do you guys have Big Mac? Do you have Big Mac there? Cost of Big Mac, Hungary. What the hell? That doesn't make any sense. The cost of Big Mac in July in Hungary is really high. What the hell? What? The cost is 2,380 HUF. Six, $6.22 euro and 6.71 USD. That's the cost of the burger math. So if that's the case, if we do this in euros, this costs less than two Big Macs. Does that make sense? Yeah, it costs less than two Big Macs for the game. Do you think that that is too expensive? That's Big Mac plus flies for drinks? No, that's just the Big Mac. That's just the sandwich. Yeah. Just the sandwich. So American, pricing things via burger? Hey, listen here, all right? You just got burgered, so as an American, you're now a burger. Start running. Start running. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do? Nothing. Big Mac meal is like 10 bucks. Yeah, no, it's not. It, it says Big Mac menu, not Big Mac meal, guys. Menu. It's just the Big Mac itself. Just the sandwich. If you get the meal with it, it's, it ends up being like $10, $12. 
so yeah, no, that's that's just the that's just the thing. So this is less than two Big Macs. I think I'm going to start using this. Maybe I'll start using this. Maybe I'll use the Big Mac to price things. I'm going to do that. I want it to cost less than a than a Big Mac meal, you know, more than the sandwich, but less than the full meal. Yeah, we're going to use the Big Mac index from now on. I think it's time to start doing things because I don't know everything about every country. Big Mac Index. That's a great way to do this, to be honest with you. Show me the Big Mac Index. Where is this? Big Mac Index Worldwide 2023. Thank you, Statista. Ooh, the Big Mac Index. Ooh. Now we can see it expand the statistic. Oh, yes. Look at all the data. Look at all the data. Wow. Goddamn, Switzerland. Why is it so expensive? Hey, wait. It's also the most expensive here. It's almost like we're already using the Big Mac Index chat. Oh, ho, 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 ho. It's almost like McDonald's knows about economies. It's almost like they know. Do we have one in Hungary in here? Let's see. Hungary. There you go. $3.99. $3.99. So this is a little bit more than two Big Macs. Is it actually $3.99 there? This is July. I wonder if that's changed pretty dramatically, though. Because the world economies are inflating into the sun right now. Can't really use the Big Mac Index in Russia? No, we can't. The game's really cheap in Russia, though. So that's fine. That's like really, really cheap. Yeah. $5 in the US, what a ripoff. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? I actually made it way cheap in Australia. Uh, let me go pull this up. Australian dollar. So it used to be... It used to be $17 Australian by Steam's automatic pricing. And it was way too expensive. And I dropped it. I dropped it to 10 Australian dollars to be in parity with the US dollar. And people were like, oh shit. And now Australians buy the hell out of it. It's too cheap in Russia, I'm on. They have a really big problem actually charging up their Steam wallets. There's no reason for me to change that. 12% of our community was Russian before the war. And there's most people either don't know how or cannot go and charge up their Steam wallets. And it sucks, actually. So, like, I'm not changing that. I'm not making that more expensive. That's an ass thing to do. Why is the demo so expensive? It's free, you goblin. Poland, you would buy three Big Macs? I already reduced the Polish price. It was actually 46 zloty before. Zloty? Zloty? I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, it was really expensive. Do Romania, too? What is Romanian price of a Big Mac? Let's go see. Romania. 324 Romania. Let me see here. Romania. Roman? What is your guys' currency called? I don't even know what it's called. Is it even on the list? They use euros? Oh, you guys use euros. Okay, so when you... See, this is the problem I have with euros, man. This is the biggest issue. There's three... Like, there's... In this case, you can go, like, Greece. You can go to Romania. You can do all these different countries, right? That actually are using this. And the problem with this is you have so many different economies all under the same currency, and we have to do a unified price for so many different economies with different purchasing powers. That sucks. Romania doesn't use euro. It would be called Ron. Let me look at this. Ron. You guys don't on the list, or maybe you are. No, nope, you're not on the list. Yeah, Steam doesn't affect that. Um, Steam doesn't take that directly. So are people converting into euros and then switching it over for Romania? The U0 and the LEU. LEU. Yeah, you're probably going to be doing Steam stuff in Euros then. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be fixing the New Zealand pricing that's already been said before. Yeah, right now we're, we're memeing that it's a Marmite tax, but it is going to be changed. Don't worry. Yeah, it's going to be brought down. It is way too expensive. It is way too expensive. It's the joke right now. I have to I have to go and approve it and like go through the whole process, so... What about Malaysia pricing? Dude, I don't even know what you would do at that point. Is Malaysia even on this list? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think it is. But yeah, that's something that I need to I need to take a look at. But yeah, I'm going to use Big Mac from now on. I'm going to find out information by the Big Mac. Oh, Malaysia is? Is it actually there? Not that page. This page. Statista tried to open up back into the Big Mac index. That's not what I want. I want this. Malaysia. Malaysia. Ring it. I don't know how to pronounce that. Ring it? Ring it? 
Five sixty eight. It's only at the bottom of the list. But I don't know how the Malaysian currency works. I have no idea. Ringgit? Okay. Ringgit. How many of you guys are from Malaysia, actually? That's an interesting call out. It's an interesting call out, actually. Really? There's a lot of you. That's actually really cool. That's really cool. Yeah, that's really neat. We're 100% a Malaysian stream? I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. But here's the thing. Most of these prices are automatically handled for me by Steam. I don't change a lot of them. And uh, we have ads, so I'm going to wait. Shit. My stream favors SEA? Yeah, it does. That's why I try to make the sure the game is affordable for them. <clears throat> My currency be tanking hard? Yeah, it happening a lot. It is happening a lot, a lot. Where are all the Canadians? Oh, you mean greater Minnesotans? America. USA. 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 That's how it works, dude. <laughs> Take that back? Take what back? You telling me you don't want to be a greater Minnesotan? Come on. What is that? I just came back from ads? That's the ad screen. I put it on when we're waiting for you to come back. Actually, northern Wisconsin? I don't know, dude. You ever been to Minnesota? They all talk like this, eh? Every single person in Minnesota talks like this, eh? I used to have a lot of friends out in Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. I know that. Oh, you bitch, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Gonna say A that much? Oh, yeah, you do. I'm in Minnesota a lot, dude. Yeah, I got friends in Minnesota, eh? Oh, you betcha. Yeah, they call soda pop, too. That's true. Hey, you want a pop? Don't you know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, mega soda, dude. I'm always going to make fun of Canadians. Always. Mostly because Canadians make fun of us. We're like the weird... Like, I don't even know, dude. Like, Canada lives in America's attic. Right? And they're always just like, what the hell are they doing down there? Don't worry about it. We'll go out at night when they're not paying attention. They're all asleep. That's how it works. Canada's a loft over a great party. No, Canada's a loft over over Florida, my dude. If I was Canadian, I'd be like, what the hell's happening down there? Don't look at them. Whatever. Stay away from them. <laughs> Some weird shit happening down there. Let's not get involved. One Big Mac and one Big Mac meal for Malaysia? Hmm, that's really expensive. That's really expensive, actually, for Malaysian. I'll look into that. Here's what I'm going to start doing with this. I'm going to do a test. You know what my test is going to be? I'm going to change our Steam prices. I'm going to change those Steam prices based on the Big Mac Index. Because I think it'll be really interesting to see. And if we can localize based on the for the price of the Big Mac, I want the game to cost around 1.88 Big Macs. Not the meal. 1.8 Big Macs. Just the sandwich. Just about. Maybe, maybe just about there. And we'll see what happens. Because I'm kind of ex interested to see what happens there. And it still makes the game affordable. And it makes sense to do it. What game is this? Heartbound. Yeah. It is going to stay the same for Brazil. And it's going to stay the same for the US dollar, though. That's not going to change. But I'm going to probably start hitting some regions and be like, hey. It's 1.8 Big Macs. It's not even two of them. And see what happens there. See what happens there. In Portugal, it's perfect. The current price is perfect. Hmm. I am interested in this. The reason why I think about this is because McDonald's does a shitload of information, like in research on finding out what its things are supposed to cost. And they do that specifically because they want to find out if you're going to buy the Big Mac there. Right? Like, that's a big deal. That's a really big deal, actually. Seems accurate for the Philippines. Hmm. Should I wait with the buying? I'm in Poland, by the way. We already reduced it in Poland. It's already reduced. I dropped it from 46 down to 35. 
It's a huge decrease, dude. Massive decrease. And people were much, much happier about that. So, if you want to get the game, get it. Play the demo first, though. Do that. $4 for McDouble is a good price. That's expensive, dude. Is, it, is the Big Mac just overpriced in your area? I'd be surprised. McDonald's is a whole thing about like trying to keep that price down so that people will buy their shit. Which McDonald's is not good. Let's be honest with ourselves. It's not good. It's not good. There's no such thing as a dollar menu anymore either. It's not good at all. Here in Serbia, McDonald's feels really expensive. Same for gas fee. Maybe I won't do it in the Big Mac then. And here's the reason why. I was just thinking about this. I don't go to fast food. But I used to go to fast food a long time ago. Like a long time ago. And every once in a while, I go pick up fast food for Shea. Because Shea likes fast food a lot, right? And I found something really weird. Is if you get a meal at like McDonald's, or you get a meal at like Wendy's, it's like 13 to f like $15 now. That used to be the same price of like a sit-down restaurant. Like what the shit is happening there? So maybe the, maybe the Big Mac Index isn't the right way to do this. Maybe we're doing it the right way already. People seem happy with it already. So maybe I just won't mess with that. I do think it's interesting, though, at ha like how rapidly this has increased. How rapidly? Because it's really rapid. Yeah, inflation sucks. But do you like Wendy's? Nah. I don't eat fast food. I don't do that. Shea eats that. Shea enjoys the garbage machine, right? How can Russians load their wallets? A lot of them will put it into different currencies and then load up their Steam wallet from there, right? It's a workaround system. A lot of them went through Kazakhstan before this, and now they can't do that anymore. Um, so now they're doing it through other other sources. And they basically just have to pay a massive increased percentage on doing this. It's really shit. It's actually really shit. Especially for people, it's not their fault, you know? They're Argentina too. Argentina can't be put on this anymore. Steam actually removed Argentina, and I think... Was it with India? Or was it Turkey? Might have been Turkey. I think it was Turkey. Um, they removed those from here because the price was rapidly changing. It was Turkey. It was too expensive. The changes were too too fast, and it was ruining ruining the stuff. So they had to remove it, and they've actually tacked it to the U.S. dollar now. The price in those regions is based on the U.S. dollar, which is really rough. Yeah. In McDonald's, you see people in Russia eating McDonald's as holiday food. That's uh, really similar to Japan. Um, KFC is like a Christmas thing in Japan. Who here is from Japan? Like, the Christmas thing with, with KFC is really interesting to me. Is that still a thing that goes on? Because I knew it used to be. It is still a thing? Yeah. Is it just... I, I gotta be real with you. When I went up to Canada a number of years ago, um, food was just better. It was just way better, right? The cost of food was better. The, flavor, the taste of the food was better. Everything was better. Is KFC actually good in Japan? Because it's shit in the United States. It used to be good. Now you only get the biscuits there and nothing else is good. Everything else is garbage. They have it for Christmas dinner. KFC is a birthday food when I was younger. It's good in Japan. Interesting. That's actually really interesting. Yeah, no, here, here in the United States, KFC is like bottom tier, dude. It's so bad. It used to be good, too. It actually used to not suck. It's bad here. Whole cuisine in Japan with KFC. Yeah, no, it's, it's wild. That's good. That's actually really good. I wish it was better, man. Because, like, I remember when I was young, we had places like Claim Jumper. And Claim Jumper is shit. And I think it died now. Now the only good place you can get chicken, really, is, like, Raisin Cane's. Raisin Cane's is really good. And I haven't had them in a long time. Long, long time. It's, it's been years now. Popeye's used... Okay, I'm going to be real with you. About a year and a half ago, I had a Popeye's chicken sandwich for the first time. And it was amazing. About six months ago... I had another Popeye's chicken sandwich, and it was shit. I don't know if it was just my experience there at that one, or if they've had a rapid decline in the last year. It was not good the second time around. It was not good. Same store, same place. Exact same place. Chick-fil-A is boring. It's always the same. Rapid decline, everything's getting worse. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I just don't do it. I just don't do it anymore. Do you want to know how to make the best chicken? This is why I don't go out to fast food. Take chicken. Take a jar of pickles. Eat the goddamn pickles, right, over time. Save the juice. Put the chicken in the pickle juice for one hour. Take the chicken out of the pickle juice. Bread that shit. Fry that shit. That's it. That is how Chick-fil-A makes their chicken. That's it. You brine it in pickle juice, and that is how Chick-fil-A gets their flavor. 
This is actually how it works. Enjoy. No, it's not lies. No, it's not. Do it. Do it and try it. I'll wait. <laughs> how do you think I do this? I eat chicken this way. It is exactly the goddamn same. It is delicious. It is delicious. It is delicious. That's how you do it. You brine it for one hour in pickle juice. It's amazing. It's really, really goddamn good, dude. That's not a joke. It doesn't taste like pickles. It tastes like Chick-fil-A. And you could do it at home. You can make as much shit as you want, as much as you want, and it tastes exactly the same. It's really good. Pickle juice and peanut oil? I don't know if they... Do they use peanut oil? I'm not sure if they do. They still do that? Wife puts hard-boiled eggs in pickle juice? Oh. Yeah, like legit pickle juice. Yeah. Yes. Chick-fil-A is evil. It's a chicken place. Who cares? I don't, I don't really care about the morality of a chicken sandwich, right? I care about the fact that I can make their chicken sandwich at home and I don't have to leave my house. That's all I care about. KFC thoughts? It's not good. We were just talking about it. It's not good anymore. It hasn't been good in years. It has not been good in years. Sad. Yeah, just brine it. Just brine it in pickle juice. That's all you have to do. Yep. Brine it in chicken, ju chicken juice and it's great. It's very tasty. You would be amazed at what you can make at home with simple ingredients so that you don't have to go to fast food. And you'll eat better and it'll cost less. Mmm. Mmm. Brioche buns, though. Make your own. Make your own. You know what I do when I make chicken sandwiches? I make my own pretzel buns. They're delicious. Love that shit. Mmm-mm. Very tasty. I make that shit from scratch. And it's real good. Yeah. Look, it's going up. It's rising, shit. I think this is actually going to hit one million while I'm asleep. I'm a little bit concerned about this. Man's a chef? No, I cook all the time. I cook all my own food. All the time, man. All the time. Do it yourself pretzel buns. We need a short. Clip it. I, I wanna, I'll put a recipe out for you guys. Because pretzel buns are really good, but you have to do them correctly. And if you don't do them correctly, they turn gross. It's sad. <laughs> Here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. Oh, this is going to be so hard to set up. When we hit a million subs in the next, like, two days at this point, I will do a cooking stream. But you need to figure out what you want me to cook. Because I cook all the time for myself. All the time. All the time. And I can set up all the stuff that I need to, to cook, and do it. But I have to get everything ready and together so that I can do this. And it's going to be a whole thing. It's going to be a whole thing. And I have to move my computer upstairs because I only have one computer for streaming. Because it's a potato. It's a potato. Yeah. Cook pancakes. Bacon pancakes. That's what I'm going to make. Bacon pancakes. I can make real carbonara. That'd be good. Pickled chicken? I could do that. You'd be waiting. All you'd be doing is looking at it for an hour inside of a pickle jar inside of the fridge. We'd have to have a fridge cam. You want me to cook Asmongold's $2 steak? <laughs> God damn it. No. <laughs> I'm not cooking a $2 steak. Don't you do it. Ugh. Oh, it's so grim, dude. It's so... That guy's... Asmongold, please. You gotta eat, man. You gotta eat f food. <laughs> Don't make a two dollar steak. It's so grim. It's so grim, dude. Yeah, I'll do a cooking stream. I will. Two dollar steak is best in slot. What slot? The garbage? Ugh. It's grim, dude. It's grim to me. Yeah, we'll do it in a million. I, I need to find out what I'm gonna do with it. We'll find out what we want to do. Um, there's a lot of different recipes that I can share with this. I may make bread. I might make bread to show you guys some of the stuff that I do because bread is highly technical. It's like chemistry in the kitchen, right? Is the whole idea with that. And um, I do a lot of bread making and I do it all, all from scratch. And I love the hell out of it. What kind of bread? I'll probably do um, most likely my cheese bread. I have a cheese bread that I make that's really, really good. And the way that I make this is very specific. You have to get the yeast to be really active, really excited. But I do it with Swiss. And the reason why I use a very high temperature Swiss 
It's very high temperature Swiss. Is after the bread is finished, you can slice the bread, and it will have these big pockets of cheese in it, right? Really big bubble open pockets of cheese. And when you take this and you put it into the toaster, the Swiss will not actually melt in the toaster oven. It won't. What happens is instead, it makes a one slice grilled cheese. And it's really, really good. So you just throw it in the toaster and you're like, I got a grilled cheese sandwich now. And it doesn't melt anywhere. It's really fantastic. Yeah, no, I love, I love making this bread. I love making this bread. It is my favorite bread that I make. And it's a recipe that I made years ago. So I'm salivating now. I think I may have pictures of this. So you want me to go look at, at Twitter's support thing? Let me look. Or Twitch support. Whoa. We've made the decision to shut down squad streaming on January 17th, 2024. I'm really not surprised. Do you want to know why I'm not surprised at this? And this is this is for anybody in chat who didn't know what squad stream was. Squad stream was a system where we could actually stream together with other streamers. They made it partner only. But not only was it partner only, you couldn't actually have a non-partner join you in the squad either. So of course we're not using it. We can't use it because it's not relevant to use. If I want to stream with like my moderators and their affiliate or non-affiliate, I can't do that through squad streaming. I never could. It was always heavily restricted in a way that there was no reason to use this. Let's go see what people said about it. So the issue is almost always not the feature. The issue is that you tend to roll out features to partners only and almost never give it to affiliates. Most partners will not care about features. They don't need them. They're already super popular, etc. The ones who need it. Yeah, this this it was partner only. It was only partner. That's <laughs> the thing I was just saying is actually a comment down there. Oh man. No, I don't think I don't think Twitch is getting any worse. I don't think that's the case. I just think that there's a lot of features like this that are kind of getting left behind. And I'll give you an example of this. A lot of you people won't even know this exists. Let's go to my stream real fast. Hey, look, it's me. There I am. Look at this. See this right here? You see that? Did you know that's a link? Who here didn't know that this was a link? Who here didn't know that this page existed? This is our stream team. Like, these are the... These are the people that I think are really cool on Twitch and they're part of the stream team. Nobody knows about this. And if you choose black as your channel color, right, it makes a solid black image there instead of it being bright green. Mine is green, so it shows up. If you make your color white, it just looks like white text. And there's no way to change that one individually. They made it so that we don't have auto hosting anymore for stream teams. So now there's not a lot of benefit to stream teams anymore. And that's a problem. And then also, they made it so that it's down here instead of up next to your name, so now nobody knows about it. They have no clue. So this feature, I wouldn't be surprised if eventually they go, hey, nobody's using stream, stream teams, we should get rid of it. I would not be surprised if they said that. If they were like, nobody's using stream teams, let's get rid of the link. I really wouldn't be surprised. Because it's very easy to be like, oh, we've this content isn't being used anymore, we should get rid of that. Yeah, it's an armpit link. It's an armpit link. What even is the stream team? It's like a guild on Twitch. Yeah. We used to have auto hosting. So like if you were offline, your channel would automatically host somebody else in your on your team, which was super useful, right? It was really, really good. And then they got rid of auto hosting. So it was like, well, like what does it do now? Nobody knows. It doesn't do anything. It's just kind of like a weird like appendix now. It's a vestigial page that doesn't really do anything useful. And it's hard to find. So I wouldn't be surprised if eventually they, they remove that, right? It could be really good, but its implementation doesn't make any sense right now. So I'm, I think about these types of things of like, what can we do with this? That's kind of weird, right? The other thing that I, I think they could change is this. See that right there? Another armpit link. That's a Twitch Turbo link. When you have Turbo, you don't have any ads anywhere on Twitch. And if you watch a streamer, they get money as if you watched their ads. It's gray. And in the corner, why isn't that bright purple? Why isn't that bright purple? Why isn't that, like, really obvious and, like, incentivized? Little weird things like this that kind of bother me with this is these could be very powerful things with, like, kind of tiny changes, I think. 
What's Turbo? Turbo is a system where you get no ads anywhere on Twitch. It's the same as YouTube Premium. So YouTube guys, you guys already have this. YouTube Premium is the same. And that's it. That's what it is. They use money on it? If they lose money on it, they wouldn't be advertising it. And they do advertise it quite a lot. If they actually are losing money on it, then they've done something wrong. Right? They don't know if Turbo will actually be lucrative in a long-term play, then they wouldn't have the service up. A lot of people in chat have Turbo. And in fact, they've incentivized it recently. Do you know how they did that? Check this out. One of the things I try to get Twitch to do is change things. And I do this through user voice all the time. I do this all the time, right? So we go look at this. I'll show you this here. I told them to add deeper analytics to ad revenue. This is at 1,200 votes right now. Adding deeper analytics for ad revenue, because we have no idea how this works. We have no clue how ad, ad revenue works. And they said, investigating. If you want them to do this, please go read through this. Leave a good comment, not just to seven or anything like that. Actually read through it and give some insightful comment about how you feel that this feature could be in there, right? Something positive and good, because there's a lot of things that are like sevens and shit in there, and that's not useful. That's not helpful. So don't spam it. Actually read this and leave a, a human... You'll have to use the whole brain cell one at a time. I know, it's going to be difficult, but actually leave a good comment on it, right? But with this... Um, the first thing that they changed was they actually made it so that instead of just showing your ad revenue as a streamer, it actually shows your turbo revenue separately, which is really useful. So now streamers know, Hey, wait a minute. I'm actually making money off of this. I should tell people about turbo because they don't have to watch ads anymore. And it shows me I'm actually making money by this. By making that change alone, a lot of streamers didn't even know they were making money off of turbo. They had no idea they were getting a cut from turbo. They had no clue. So like... That's why these things are important, man. That's why these things are important to teach people about this stuff. Because they will, if you give the streamer the incentive to be like, hey, man, I actually make money off this. You guys should use this. It's supporting me. Of course, people are going to engage with that system. Nobody wants to watch ads. And having something like Turbo does that. So if they didn't want people to get Turbo, they wouldn't be incentivizing it by making those changes. How are you getting money from Turbo? The way that Turbo works is you don't watch ads. And then the streamer gets money as if you did. It's the same as YouTube Premium. It's exactly the same system. I'm actually considering getting Turbo. Yeah, no, it makes sense. It super makes sense, dude. I didn't know Twitch Turbo did that. That's exactly the problem. <laughs> that, is ex that is exactly the issue, is that you didn't know. Community adoption is the only way to go forward. Yeah, Bobby Burm knows what's up, dude. That's exactly it. And if, if Twitch gives you know better incentives to this kind of stuff, more information, it makes it easier for us to be like, hey, this is how it works. And then they're like, oh, shit, I didn't know. Yeah. If you watch more than two streamers, get it? Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. If you only watch one streamer, it's not like as good value. But if you watch like two to three streamers, it's a definitely a good idea. Definitely a good idea. I always wonder why I never see ads. Do you have Turbo and you didn't know? <laughs> Bravo, do you actually have Turbo and you like had no idea that this got rid of ads? Is that... That's funny as shit. <laughs> why did you get Turbo? That's like the whole selling point of Turbo. That's the whole point of it. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Turbo sounds fantastic now that I know. It's exactly the same as YouTube Premium. It's the same across both platforms. Yeah. Yep. What do you get, if it if, if at all, from YouTube Premium subscribers? So the way that this works on both sides is this. If you have Turbo on Twitch, or you have Premium on YouTube, if an ad were to play, you don't get the ad. The ad goes away. You don't see it. With either of these services. And the streamer still gets money as if you did watch the ad. That's it. That's the whole point. The streamer still gets money, and you don't watch the ad. That's all. I thought it was Twitch Prime. No, Twitch Prime is a, is a sub that you get for having Amazon Prime. It's a loss leader for Amazon to, like, push more Twitch stuff, which is good. It's actually really positive for the platform. Should be a clip on YouTube. Chat send it. I mean, all right. If you, wanna, if you want something to turn to a clip on YouTube, you have to clip it. And then if enough people are interested in it, then it uh, becomes a short on YouTube. That's how uh, Shadelock finds out which ones are good. Would it be better to use a turbo or sub? It depends on what you want, man. It is about your viewership experience, right? If you want a sub, you get emotes. If you want to not have ads anywhere on Twitch, you get turbo, is the idea. Sub is like, the way that I feel about sub is if you're trying to support one specific streamer and you're trying to do, like, I want the emotes, that's that's when you sub. That's when I sub, right? Yeah. I don't have turbo and I don't get ads. Yeah, you. it may be based on your region. Yeah, ads are targeted based on your region, the time of day, all that kind of stuff. I know, I know there's TTS. I know, I know, I know there is. But we'll do it. Fatal decal with 1,100 mm. bits said hello. Ooh. I'm the friend of Dix the Cobalt. Thanks for inspiring me and my best friend to start work on our game together. Hell yeah. I'm glad. Hell yeah. That's awesome. That is awesome. I'm glad you're working on something together. 
There, the number has gone down a little bit. I know. Cobalt brother, indeed. I like kobolds. They're cool. Kobolds are cool. You have 6.9 people watching right now? Oh, no. 6.9 people. What happened to the, this last guy? What happened to him? <laughs> why is he Why is he 0.9 of a person? What happened? Is he like... Is he five feet tall? Oh. 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 You're either six foot tall or you're two feet tall. That's how it works. That's how it works. It's upsetting. I know. I know. I know. It's I know. I know. No, not short king. Not short king. You're five eleven? No, you're two feet tall. You're two feet tall. Let me explain something to you though. I'm six foot two, right? And you may think, oh man, I wish I was six foot damn tall people. I'm gonna be real with you. It does make sense. And I can understand the anger, right? But we have to deal with our own problems. And the problems that I have to deal with someone just, you know, I'm six foot two. I do have to deal with these problems. Is that I can always see where I want to get to. No matter where it is in a room, right? But there's all these short people in the way. And that's really frustrating, all right? So you have to, you have to understand that we have to deal with, you know, just how frustrating it is having short people in our way like this. So it's just devastating, right? <laughs> Uh, next Toast one. point with two dollars said, "What would your advice be to a tiny old streamer?" A tiny old streamer. I would say, give yourself. Well, first off, it doesn't matter if you're tiny and old, right? You can do all kinds of cool shit. Doesn't matter. You can be small. You can be old. That's fine. That's fine. And depending on how old you are, right? Let's say that. You know what? Actually, this is a cool idea. You know what? I'd love to see. If you are. Like an old person. We're talking like maybe like 70, 80. If you're, if you're getting up there in the 70, 80 years, you've had a lot of things happen in your life. If you want to stream, don't stream video games. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. The whole 70, 80 years. Tell me about all the weird things that you've seen. The presidents. The way that the world felt. Tell me the history, man. I'd love to watch that shit. I think anyone would love to watch that shit. I want to have Old Man Yells at Cloud stream. I'm super fine with that. That's that's fine. Tell me about this. If, if you're in, like an older woman, right, and you have a whole bunch of like cool things that you've done in your life, tell me about those. Tell me about what it was like in the Depression. Tell me about recipes in the Depression, right? There's one. I'd love that. I love that shit. There's actually a, a YouTuber that I watch that shares a bunch of Depression recipes that are really cool, like peanut butter pie and things like that. I watch them all the time. He's cool as shit. Love that shit. It's awesome. Yeah, Dylan. That's the one. Let me pull this up. Let me grab this. Uh, potato candy. Yeah, this dude. This dude. Oh, this is a perfect... This is a perfect pause on this video, too. Look at him. He shares this kind of stuff all the time. Eggy, yeah. He shares this stuff all the time of like old depression time recipes. And I love that. I love it. It's super cool. You learn all kinds of stuff about food. And you learn how to live like really frugally, frankly. I love that shit. Yeah, it's awesome stuff. So like if you're if you're an older person you're trying to stream, share that, man. You have knowledge that can't be found on the internet because no one's ever put it there. And if you have a video record of these types of stories, that's really cool for people. That's really cool for people. So, like, do it. And if you haven't seen this, I'm going to link this in chat. I'm going to link this creator in chat. I don't want to do any React content to his stuff. I want you guys to watch him. Because his stuff is really cool. Go explore that guy's channel, man. Go explore Dylan's channel. His shit is rad. It's very good. There's so many different things in there that are very cool, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, it's very good. It's very, very good. And there's just so many different weird things. Like there's peanut butter pie in there and there's all kinds of different cakes and, and like weird desserts and just, and, and weird, like, I, I think the weirdest ones are like fruitcake ones, like builds a brick, right? You know, love that shit. It's so good. And like, yeah. So if you're, if you're an older streamer, do that. Share your experience. It's, streaming isn't just all about video games. I can only watch somebody play a video game so many times, right? But I can always share in a story or learn something about someone through that. And if you're a smaller streamer, that's okay. Beginning of your adventure. I've been streaming for six years. The internet only found out about me in mass over YouTube like two months ago. 
So, like, there you go. Do it. I'd watch that. Actually, I have another person that I can bring up for this. Um, God, what is it? What the hell is her name? There's a streamer. What is her name? I can't remember her damn name now. I'm actually, I'm following her too. There's a streamer on Twitch that streams like she's in the 40s or 50s. And the whole stream is done in black and white. Nicole Belafonte, thank you. That's the one. Nicole Belafonte. She's so cool, dude. She's so goddamn cool. Look at this. She does a whole room. Oh, God damn it, ads. Okay, we're going to wait. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. You really understand the algorithm? Anytime, dude. Yeah, I'm really glad you like it. I, I love... I love releasing stuff every day. There's always something to talk about, right? Yeah, there's ads. We're gonna wait for the ads. Don't worry. Should have had Turbo, nerds. <laughs> we wait anyway. Turbo does nothing. You just get to look at the worm. You just look at the worm. It's very funny. Very, very funny. Oh, what is this? Ooh. Fix ad length value for Twitch ad running event. Hey, they fixed it. That's good. I had to, I had to add extra timer to that. That's good. They've updated some stuff. Thank you very much, by the way. It's very, very nice of you. You're awesome, dude. The five gifted subs. What a boss. Are gift subs truly random? Uh, there is a weighted system. We don't know how it works. It's a black box to streamers. No clue. No clue. Is this Howard Stern? Hey, now. Only a little bit. I'm like Howard Stern at home, dude. I'm Howard Stern from Wish.com. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunate. All right. Ads are over. We're good. This is Nicole Belafonte. We were talking about streamers that are older, right? She actually plays as a streamer from the 40s and 50s. It's actually amazing. It's really goddamn cool. So if you go and watch her stream ever, and I'm going to link this in chat. It's really neat. It's really goddamn cool. Yeah, this is really cool, dude. It is black and white. It's fully black and white. And it's the whole room. You can actually, people will be like, oh yeah, show me the rest of your room. And she'll turn it around. Everything in the room is period correct. All of it. Everything. It is bonkers, dude. It is so wild what she's done. It's really, really cool. It's really, really cool. Yeah, no, I, I love the shit out of it, dude. Let me actually, let me do a shout out for a channel real fast because it's just neat. It's incredibly creative. And you'd be amazed at like how much of this shit you've probably never seen on Twitch, right? You've probably never seen a lot of this stuff. You'd be in, like absolutely amazed. Yeah, she's got all of her videos set to sub only and I don't know why. I don't know why she has it set up that way. I usually tell people not to do that because it makes it really hard for new people to find your stuff. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, but her stuff is really good. It's really, really good. Yeah, no, it's not even a studio. It's actually her house. That is correct. Harassment, probably. Eh, they give us the ability to, to ban people. If somebody's harassing you on Twitch, just ban them. Move on. It's not a big deal. We deal with that shit all the time. Lots of people do. I, I'm glad that the platform gives us the tools for that, to be real with you. Yeah. Yeah. Sub-only VOD sucks. But her, her streams are actually really good. And I watch her quite a bit. Yeah, it's it's sub-only. But you should, you should definitely follow her. Her shit is awesome, dude. And I love that kind of stuff. I think it's really creative. I think it's really interesting. I think it adds a whole bunch. It looks like 200 of you guys just followed it. Clear your notifications? No. In fact, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put that on screen for like the next couple of minutes. 
And then while I have that one on screen, I want to take this over here. And I just want to I just want to do that for you. All right. So now we've got those notifications. We've got these notifications. And I just want you to look at that for me for a moment there. Yeah, that's what I want. I just want you to look at it. By the way, this is the last 24 hours. No, it's never going to go away. Oh, wait, I think I have more. Here, wait, let me see if I can add some more to this. One moment. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna hide this for a moment. We're just gonna we're just gonna build something for you real fast. There we go. That's that's gonna be pretty good, I think. Yeah, I want you to I want you to see this right here. Do you can you see that? Can you see that right there? Is that visible to you down there? That one hundred and fifty four friend requests on Steam. Can you see that? That's for you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm at the friend capacity already. I can't do anything about that. What am I going to do about that? Enjoy that. This is yours now. You didn't want notifications, and now you have all of the notifications. Pull up subway surfers? I know, right? We need, like, a Minecraft jumping in the background, too. That's the only way, dude. Blah. 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 There we go. It's all gone now. It's all gone. You're safe again. Uh, you're safe again. Oh, hello, Max. Little one. Little one. Hi. <laughs> what? I say hello to everybody. How you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You want to go running? You want to sniff? Yeah. Yeah. Mouse, 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 mouse. Mouse, 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 mouse. Where are you going? Whoa. Water. Screen. More. Very good. Tall. How you doing? There you go. Oh, mouse. Mouse cute. Mouse is a good ferret. Yeah. Mouse is a good ferret. She's very cute. Shay's getting ready for work right now. At least I think so. What day is it today? It's Wednesday? Yeah, it's work day for sure. Good old mouse. Mouse is good. So mouse is um mouse is a ferret that has what's called Wardenbergs. And Wardenbergs ferrets generally will bond to like a thing or a person or an, another animal, whatever it's gonna be. And uh mouse bonded to me. <laughs> So, she is so excited to see me every day, and when I'm standing in that room, she'll, like, come up and, like, dig up my legs so I pick her up. She wants to be held by me all the time. She's super cute. And then Vinny bonded to Shay, and then Pickle bonded to Spud. <laughs> so, it's very funny. It's very, very funny. Yeah. So, Pickle bonded to Spud, but they can also do that with, like, stuffed animals and stuff, too. It's been seen in the past. It's pretty interesting. Weird behavioral thing. Yeah. Who's Shay and Spud? Shay, the person who made all of our art and animation. The one who just handed me mouse. <laughs> yeah, goblin. How many ferrets total? 20. We have 20 ferrets in the rescue now. 20 of them. Yes. It's a lot of them. All right. We got to get back to the queue or I'm never getting through it. We have to get back to it, Chad. We have to get back to the queue. The queue is large. It's powerful. Next. Crane Jackal said by the demo. It will cost everything, but it's worth it. You know, I... I thought maybe getting through the queue would be a good idea. I was... I was wrong. Dennis D2391 with 1,500 bits said sorry to bother you, but can you recommend a company for a beginner? The person is a environmental and pixel art Dagner. A company for a beginner? I mean, not really. I would say start applying for smaller studios, right? Or do some freelance stuff to build your stuff up there. Um, there's no, like, start here in the industry at this company, right? You know what I mean? You, you definitely want to start applying to places and building up your portfolio and making sure you've done a little bit of freelance work to show stuff off. That's a big deal, right? But n there's no there's no beginner company. Yeah, not at all, really. But if you're doing pixel art and design stuff, then I would say 
You should go engage in things like Pixel Dailies over on Twitter. Pixel Dailies is really cool. This will help you get a little bit of a portfolio together. Uh, let me pull this up. Who here has never seen Pixel Dailies? Who here has never seen Pixel Dailies? So Pixel Dailies is really cool shit. Let me show you this. If you are, if you want to be a pixel artist, use this. I'm going to link this in chat. Pixel underscore dailies. There you go. This is a daily prompt that is not automated. It is a daily prompt from a person. And they put out the daily prompt for pixel dailies. And then everybody goes and draws that thing. Today's was insectoid for December 12th, right? So yesterday's was insectoid. And that was drawn here. And you can see everybody else's take on that theme. You can see all these different ways of doing pixel art. The reason why this is important is because you're all doing the same theme. And because you're all doing the same theme, you can actually go and see other people's art styles and learn from them. It's really, really smart to do. It's a very good thing. It's, it's got 92,900 followers. You should follow this. If you want to do art, this is a great way to do art, especially if you're doing pixel art, right? Especially if you're doing that. Anytime you can find like daily prompt stuff like this, it's huge for your artistic talent. It is absolutely huge. Because you will be able to find those things and then learn from the other people that are in doing the same thing as you. Sad Keanu Insect? Yeah. It's going to be over 100k tomorrow. It's going to be over 100k in five minutes. It should be too, because what they're doing is incredible. Looks like Pixel Dailies is going down. No, it's not. It's Twitter. You can't bring on down all of Twitter. There's not enough of you. Not enough goblins for that. Not enough goblins for that. Yeah, there's so many different things here that are cool, though. Like, and some of them are, like, crazy high quality. Like, look at this super detailed one. A praying mantis detective. That's cool as shit, dude. Like, look at it. Look at this one. Look at this. Like, it's really neat. You can just see so many different art styles this way. I love it. I think it's really cool. X is such a dumb name. It is. It is. I don't think it's any good, to be honest with you. Nobody wants to post things and repost things either. It's dumb. It is It is a dumb thing to do. Take it a zeet, dude. Take it a sheet. Yeah. Everyone calls it Twitter, so we're always going to call it Twitter. What's insectoid? Um, Insects. Pertaining to insects. That's all it is. Yeah. Uh, so, like, any type of in insect and, like, any way of, like, using insect portions or pieces, you know? Sort of the idea with it. Yeah, insect-like. Bug. No Mothman? Go draw Mothman! The world is yours. If you want to draw Mothman baking a pie, you can do this. And then you can put it on the internet. So that hundreds of thousands of other people will see Mothman baking a pie. No Mothman said, no, go make Mothman. Go make Mothman. You do that. Do it. Mothman's amazing. Ugh. If you want to see something, make that thing. Yeah, next. Old school NL with 500 bits said as a security expert, what made you choose to use Chrome as a browser rather than Brave or Firefox? Those have a reputation of being more privacy friendly. Is that overrated? When I'm using browsers, I use a number of different browsers for different reasons. Browsers are tools. I do a lot of web security. When I use web when I do web security stuff, I use different browsers for different things. I use this when I'm doing stuff on stream. That's how I do that. When I do things outside of that, I use different browsers for different reasons. Always. And when I'm doing pen testing, I use all of the browsers. And the reason why is because I need to determine if the scope of the vulnerability includes a number of other different browsers. Or if it's browser specific. Always. Always. That means I use Edge, I use Firefox, I use Chrome, I use Opera, everything. To make sure that that vulnerability is true on every one of those. That's it. That's the whole idea. It's a lot. Next. Sope2 with 50,000 dongs said made a piece of sashimi move in Game Maker, then proceeded to build isometric map editor. I now have something to look forward to every night. What? 
I need to I need to understand. First off, thank you for those five gifted subs. I need to understand. You made a piece of sashimi move in Game Maker and then made an isometric map editor. If you're are you making an isometric like I don't even know, sushi tactics game? Like <laughs> I need to know. I need to know now. Because a sushi tactics game would be amazing. I would play the shit out of that. I would... I just have to know. I just have to know now. Oh, wait. Wait, what if... Oh my god, it would change all the flavors, though. It wouldn't work. What if What if you were like a sushi, and then as you killed other sushi, you, you threw... You ate the rice that they were on, and then their sushi piece of whatever fish that they had, like, stacked on top of yours. And it just kept doing that until you had a sushi tower. It would taste wrong. It, would, it wouldn't taste right at all. But you could you could visually show the power of your sushi. Katamari sushi. Oh, it's so good. You'd taste terrible. You'd taste terrible. It would be so wrong. I love Katamari Damacy, by the way. Katamari Damacy is one of my favorite games ever. It's fantastic. It's really good. It would taste so wrong. Okay, what if it, what if it wasn't that? What if it was like one of those sushi restaurants where they have like the water? And it comes down on a plate. And you grab it. And it's isometric. And then you, the point of it is that it's like a button masher. And you're trying to eat the sushi as fast as possible. And there's a whole bunch of like sushi plates that grow up around you. And you get the sushi. There, there has to be a tower involved somewhere. It's a tower of eaten plates. That's what it is. That's what it is. Or maybe you're, you're the staff and you're trying to clean it up. And this guy's just like, he just won't stop. He just won't stop. Thor, stop. I won't. I won't stop. I'm never going to stop. No more sushi talk? Oh, I'm talking about sushi. There's an all-you-can-eat infinite sushi place near me. And I've never been there. And I think when we hit one million subs, I'm going to go there. And I'm going to become a fat ass for a single day. I'm going to become a sushi fat ass for one day. That'll be my present to me. That'll be what it is. I'm not going to do it on stream. I'm not going to do it on stream. No human being should look at what I will become. In an all-you-can-eat sushi restaurant. No other human being should know the horror of what I will be. It's like Meat Canyon, but real. That's what it'll be like. You don't want this. You don't want this. It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> we need it? No. No. All right, next. Heroic Creations said, Hi Thor, I have wanted to be a game dev for many years. All right. I had tried once several years ago and failed, but YouTube Shorts kept sending me your shorts and through your advice and inspiring words I was able to find an engine that works for me. Godo, and as of yesterday Hell I yeah. reached minimum viable for my first game. No Thank shit. Thank you for all of your kind and inspiring words. Keep being your awesome self. The Twitch space needs more positive people like you. You know what kind of blows me away about this? This is a person that said that they, they tried for several years and they failed and they, they got involved with seeing my YouTube shorts. Those YouTube shorts started about a month and a half ago. They just finished their minimum vial product. That's their MVP. That's their, I'm going to let other people play this. In a month. That's how to fail fast, dude. If their idea doesn't work, they'll know. They'll be able to adapt. They'll be able to get that player feedback and keep kicking ass. This is why I keep telling you, don't wait. You'd be amazed at how quickly you can do these things now. You can do them so fast, even if you don't know what the hell you're doing. Even if you've never done it before. So, like, do it. Stop waiting around. Do that. You should have merch of the shorts. I think I'm going to make a Go Make Games sticker. I think I'm going to do that. Do something fun. Kakan underscore 94 said, Hey Thor, I'm currently studying web development at university. What are your thoughts about using ChatGPT studying? It's a great tool for that. Yeah, ChatGPT is really good to teach you concepts from a different way, like in a different perspective. And the reason why is this. So if you are if you are wanting to learn a subject and you're having difficulty with that, using ChatGPT is a great way to do this, to teach yourself. But you don't just have it explain the way it works. You don't have it give you the answer. You make it role play. You have it play a character and give you the information in the context of that character's way of speaking. It's quite funny, actually. You can be like, hey, I need you to explain this to me as a person that is like this. I need you to explain this to me like I'm five. I need you to explain this to me in these layman's terms or these more difficult terms. Yeah, so you could say, I want you to do it as 
I don't even know, a man with a southern drawl named Judd. Explain it like that, and it'll do it. ChatGPT will explain to you quantum physics as a, as a man with a southern drawl named Judd. It'll do it. It's really funny. Now, the reason why I learned about this, as funny as that is, I learned it from 4chan. Because the way that 4chan was originally getting around the like the features of this to try and stop it from talking about dangerous stuff is they would have it role play a character and that character was allowed to talk about things that ChatGPT was not. Since the character was allowed, the character would talk about it, even though ChatGPT was not allowed to do this. It was very funny. So they fixed that bug. Yeah, they fixed that bug. But now you can use this to teach you concepts in different ways. If it doesn't make sense to you, have it role play a character that does make sense to you. And that's it. That's all it is. Dan? Yeah, it's Dan. Explain to me like it's like it's Dan, right? Yeah, they fixed that. They fixed it. But it still works. You can still do this. You can still have it do that. It's quite funny, right? We were acclaimed Dan. I like how most of the people in chat know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, Dan, do anything now. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. But yeah, anytime it gets off, like I, I've actually, anytime it gets off track, you can actually just get it going and, and go back into character. You just be like, stay in character and it'll do it. It'll stay in character because it remembers the rest of the context for your conversation. It's really useful. It's really, really useful. And if you have trouble with concepts, get it to describe those concepts in different ways. It's super useful for that. It's super, super useful for that. I, I actually really like it a lot. I like it a whole bunch. It forgets a lot, though. It does. It does. But you just say, like, stay, you know, stay in character. Anytime it does it, you're like, stay in character. Explain it again, right? It's very funny. Tax evading Dan. God damn it, dude. It's very funny. Warframe update inbound. Oh, yeah. Now, let me know how it goes. Let me know how it goes. Oh, my God. It's really helping. Thanks. No, it will. Because people learn in different ways, man. Like, here, here. People learn in totally different ways. So if you have the character that is ChatGPT explain something to you in different ways that makes more sense to you, it's going to be so much easier. It's going to be so much easier for you. So just do that. Use it. There's nothing wrong with that. Use it. It's a tool. Use it like a tool. It is a tool. Do you know Turnip Boy commits tax evasion? My entire playthrough of that is up on YouTube. The whole thing. Yeah. Farah Legro said cosplaying into Albator would suit you, Senpai. What? Mmm. Mmm. I mean, I guess. I feel if I was gonna cosplay anything, I feel like I could pull that off. I got the hair for it. I could pull that. That one could probably be good. I could probably do that. <laughs> That'd be a little bit ridiculous. I could do it though. I, most of the time when people are like, hey, you could cosplay this guy, it's usually bullshit. But that one I actually kind of agree. It's got the piracy on it. I could get the cloak, dude. The body shape's about right. I got the hair for it. And a lot of hairspray. I need a shitload of hairspray, and that would be ridiculous. I feel like I could totally do that. I feel like I could totally do that. Thank you. Thank you for that. And thank you for the subs. Bulletproof Next. underscore meat underscore flap with 500 bits said hello, Thar. Hey, chat. Don't have a question. Just wanted to say thanks for your work, Thor. And chat, I hope you're all doing good. Have a great Christmas. Seven in chat for Goblin King Thar and his ferret army. Thank you very much. Um, I will be streaming for Christmas, by the way. So for all of you guys out there that don't want to hang out with your family, if your family sucks, I will be there. I will be streaming on Christmas. That's going to be my day. I don't generally celebrate Christmas because I think it's boring. That being said, I'll be here. So that's fine. Family sucks. I feel it. I understand. I'll be calling my grandma and I'll be calling my dad. I think that's all I have planned for that day. So I will be here. Yeah. Actually, what day is Christmas? Is it the 24th? Yeah. It's going to be on a Sunday. Nice. Easy. Don't even have to change days. Next. Hector Reisel with $5 said I get a spy versus spy feel from it. I played the crap out of it. Can't wait to play it. Which spy versus spy? Yeah, no, no. For the, like, the comic book? But I'm wondering, like, what game... Oh god, it was the middle of a conversation. I need to put context. F. Well, thank you for that. And I am I'm interested in which game we were talking about at the time. Alpha Orpheus with 500 bits said thinking about making a game, going to make it a typical RPG, was thinking okay. about making one of the classes a bard class where spells are casted like a rhythm game. What game engine would fit best for this? 
Rhythm game can be done in a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, I would explore things like Godot, Unity, Game Maker. Like, those all work for this kind of a thing. So, like, there's many, many different engines where you can hook to the timing of music. And those aren't even, that's not even an exhaustive list. Remember, there is no best engine, right? So, like, go into here. If we go to engines, go to explore this. There you go. Game is engines database. And you can see, like, there's a shitload of engines, dude. And this is... One of six pages. Any reason why Unity's not on that list? I don't like their business model right now. I'm waiting for their business to make sense. Once their business model is proven to actually be able to support their studio, I can recommend it again. I'm waiting for that. Unity the engine is fine. Unity the business model is not good. Random note generator said the strats used in Plants vs. Zombies speedrunning were discovered by scraping code from the web version. How did the scrapers know what was going to be useful for speedruns? P.S. Did you know in Pokemon Black White 2 you can surf on a tree in Pokestar Studios? No, I didn't know that. That's kind of funny. Yeah, so how do, the, the, um, how do they know what to scrape? I don't know. They probably scraped all of the data, frankly. I mean, you could be able to scrape each one of the units, write that down into an Excel sheet, or just scrape it into an Excel sheet and then kind of build a model out of it, man. Like, that's it. it. Tower defense games like that are mathematically solvable. So, really, at that point, you just need the stats. You heading out? Who are you taking? Usual. All right. Unity is a nice engine, but their business model is a mess. It is. Yeah. No, I don't think they need to surrender their engine and disband. I think that's a little bit ridiculous, right? I think that they need to prove that their business model is not harmful going forward. They've made a huge problem. Right? They've made a huge problem for a lot of devs. Chat says bye. I think he's already gone. <laughs> yeah, four of the ferrets always go to the go to work every day. Because they have to be so like four of the ferrets have to be monitored at all times. That's gonna be uh, Mocha, the new ferret, and then Grandpa, and then Max. Max is nine and a half years old. Grandpa has really weird problems where he crashes. Uh, his blood sugar crashes, even though it's not in Solonoma, and he almost died a bunch of times. And then Mocha and the new ferret both have DIM, which is disseminated idiopathic myofasciitis. So as a result of that, they need constant, constant watching. Like, they have to be checked on every 30 minutes. So Shea brings them to work every day. That's the whole point. Yeah. That is the whole idea. And Shea works in an exotic vet clinic, so if they need something, they have it right there. Instant. For Unity make it a yearly license? I mean, that's what they had before. It didn't solve their business problems. So, is DIM 100% lethal Cygnus? It used to be. So, DIM is disseminated idiopathic myofasciitis. The way that it works is with any ferret that gets this, it is a condition, we don't quite understand how it starts, but it makes the neutrophils in their immune system start producing rapidly. So they go from anything under 3,000 neutrophils by blood count is fine. Mocha came to us with 37,000. The neutrophils then start attacking all the soft tissue in the body. Everything. They attack the organs, they attack the muscles, everything like that. And it makes it impossible for them to move. We don't know why this occurs. We know that originally it was happening because of um, in 2003 and beyond, we found that it was a formulation, a, a portion of the formulation of the canine distemper vaccine for them. This has been fixed since, but it didn't get rid of it fully. It just reduced the amount of cases. So we don't know fully what causes this, but it did reduce it. It reduced it. Now, the reason why this is important is the way that we solve this, the way that we fight it now, originally there was no treatment, is we give them chemo. But the way this chemo works is that it suppresses the bone marrow where the neutrophils are produced. And by suppressing the bone marrow, it reduces the amount of neutrophils and the body effectively regenerates faster than the damage being done. You don't stop the neutrophils from attacking the body, you just reduce them back to a level that makes sense and it makes it so they can regen faster than the damage is done. That's all. That's all it is. So with that in mind, the reason why this is an issue is because suppressing the bone marrow also suppresses the blood cell count. So now they need iron injections because they can go into anemia, which sucks. Yeah. And if they get too low on their blood cell count, then we have to give them a transfusion. The cool thing about the transfusion, though, is that ferrets don't have blood types. So if we need a transfusion, we give them a transfusion and everything's fine. You have no issues. You have no issues at all. Yeah, that's the whole point with this. So it ends up being, it ends up being really rough.
ends up being really rough. And uh, we do work with it. We work with it a lot. But two of our ferrets have dim. And if I do, if I go to ferret software, which is a ferret channel, I'm going to put this in chat for you guys. I have a command called exclamation point dim in there. There we go. I'm going to link this in chat right here. There you guys go. This is some information for you. So you can go and see that. I'm going to put that information over here as well into YouTube. It won't let me for some goddamn reason. YouTube? Oh, it's too long. The message is too long for YouTube. All right, so I'm just going to show this. Um, this is Mocha after two treatments of chemo. This is Mocha after two treatments of, of chemo. He can walk now. He couldn't do it before. He couldn't even move. He was pooping on himself and peeing on himself before. And this is him going through a tube and having fun and actually doing stuff. So the treatment is 100% working. It just takes time. He's now at his third round of chemo. And he needs some more blood testing to find out what's going on. And the new ferret had his first round of chemo. And this is Max. Max is nine and a half years old. Goddamn ads. We got ads. We're going to wait. We're going to wait for the ads. Gonna wait. Read your notifications? No. I refuse. I'll never read them. Never reading them again. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna leave them up there just to spite you. That's how that's gonna go. I read them off stream, you goblins. You're such a human. Thank you. It's the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. So this isn't necessarily a genetic abnormality, superstitious scientist. So you said uh, with CRISPR technology, we're working to repair genetic abnormalities. We actually don't know the cause of this. We know it's acquired in some way. We don't know what triggers it. It may have genetic markers, but we don't have enough research. And the reason why is it's so rare that we don't have enough information. So it's incredibly hard to determine. We're actually in talks with the forefront um, veterinarian in the United States that works with this as a result of this, because we have two of them, which is incredible. That's, that's super, super rare. You're talking like six to 12 ferrets per year in the whole nation, and we have two, which means either something is wrong or we got incredibly unlucky in the area. Was the association with canine distemper vaccines you mentioned? I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up and we'll talk about it. Which answer so long? Not just two minutes. Almost swiped down. Nice. When Discord DMs? Dude, I told you, don't use Discord DMs. You can't get through to me. It's not going to happen. It's too many. All right. Ads are over. Music is off. So this is actually Mocha after two treatments of, of chemo for this to suppress that bone marrow like I was talking about. It's super, super useful. And uh, this is Max over here. Max is nine and a half years old. He looks ridiculous. He looks like Skeletor because half of his fur is missing. Ferrets in the U.S. usually only live to about five years. The fact that he is not only nine and a half years old but insanely active is wild. Uh, he came to us with a lot of different problems. We ended up fixing those issues, a lot of ulcers and things like that. So we fixed those problems using um, like the compounds that we use, which is really good. That was the the thing that I've talked about before with getting rid of ferret ulcers, uh, dealing with, um, what is it? Not Heli not H. pylori, it's Heliobacter mustelae. That's what it is. So we, we have a treatment for getting rid of Heliobacter mustelae, which caused his ulcers to go away because it's caused by that, right? In this case. So if you look at here, he's actually playing at nearly double the age of Ferret should live. And he's playing with Mocha, who has Dim. And Mocha's like opening his mouth and I'm going to fight you. I'm going to do it. Yeah, it's it's really cool to see. It's really cool to see that they're up and active and playing and happy, right? Yeah, there's Mocha. Mocha can do it, man. And the fact that he can run around like this is just so good. It's just so good. Because he can pull himself through the tubes. He can do these types of things. And it's great. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're wondering about disseminated idiopathic myofasciitis, which is DIM, which is what Mocha has, we can go pull this up right here. And we'll I'll put this in a chat. This is actually from VetMed of Illinois. And this is a lot of information specifically about this, right? And if we scroll down into this, you can see here, 
um, what causes disseminated idiopathic myofasciitis? And it says the first case of DIM in ferrets was reported in 2003. Since then, the disease has been linked to a compound formerly used in canine distemper vaccination given to ferrets. So we know that that was the cause. That was the linkage, right? The problem is caused by the body's immune reaction, and we suspect it's something to do with vaccine formulation. Hopefully, DIM will become even more rare now that ferret vaccines have been reformulated. Because they did. They actually reformulated this. Yeah, it's a new. it was a new problem within the last 20 years. So they reformulated the vaccine. The amount of cases dropped pretty dramatically, but it didn't go away. We've had a recent uptick, too, but we don't know if that's indicative of something more or not. We just don't know enough, right? No, it's not about anti-vaccine. It's not, not about that. There's things that can go wrong like this, right? Especially in very large populations. There's always something that can go wrong. And that's it. That's all that it is. So, like, we, we work with them very closely, and we also give as much information as we can, specifically to the um, veterinarian that, that does the for, foremost research for this. And they're the ones who actually put together the treatment plan that we're on for MOCA. And it's working. It's working really, really well. So we're able to take that and show them. Right, show them, hey, this is working. This is actually functional, which is quite cool. And if we look at the ferrets right now, this is them. And they are in a, um, their room is right next to mine, right here, right next to my office. It is completely dark in there right now, so I have the infrared camera on so you guys can see them. So we have a night vision camera, which is kind of cool. And uh, when they do playtime, which we'll do in about four hours, you will be able to see them run around the room. And we have a different camera that actually is really high quality to be able to see all that stuff. And that's it. That's the whole deal. Yeah, Yeah, it's a whole deal. Are ferrets canines? No, 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 no. Um, canine distemper, the reason why that's used for ferrets, canine distemper can actually be caught by ferrets. So canine distemper is a cross-species disease. And in canines, it's a bad thing. It's not really that big of a deal, but it's a bad thing. In ferrets, it's a 100% death rate. Not close to 100%. It is 100% kill chance if your ferret catches this. You have to. You have to vaccinate them or they die. And that's it. That's what that is. Yeah. That's the whole deal. How did you make Max into a lich? We got rid of his ulcers. And now he's amazing. So it's a really big deal. Can in December is a really, really big deal. And it's not a fun death, dude. It's a grim one. And it happens really fast. Now, the reason why this is so scary, canine distemper is highly contagious. So if one ferret gets it because they're social animals, all of them will get it. And then it kills all of them. So you have to vaccinate you. You have to vaccinate your ferrets, right? You have to. You have to. Yeah. They catch stuff from like everyone. They do. They have ACE2 receptors just like human beings. So they actually catch human diseases too. So if you have, um, if you have COVID, your ferrets can get COVID. In fact, two of ours did when I had COVID, which sucked. It was really shitty. It took six months for um, Loki to get beyond it, and uh, it was really bad. It was really, really bad. We actually had her on a, a little, like, uh, inhaler. She had a whole in inhaler thing. Yeah. A lot of stuff A lot of stuff transfers to ferrets. If you have, like, a, a normal common cold, they can get it, too. Depends on what it is. Ferrets catch a lot of shit from humans. Yeah. Which is, unfortunately, why they're used in medical testing. That is the reason. Because they're a really good human model. They're a really good one. Yeah, the only other thing we can really use are humanized mice, which are genetically modified mice. So ferrets are used quite commonly for this because they don't take extra work. It's a very normal thing. Welcome to the grim world of animals. Welcome to it. It's horrifying. Animal testing is rough. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that we actually do is we actually go and pick them up. So University of Washington does have animal models for this. And female models are actually picked up from uh, University of Washington because they only use them for breeding. And then we, we rescue them from there, too. Yeah. What are you saying? Wait, wait, wait on Cursed Wood. What do you want? What's the average cost of ferret per month? Like food and such? For the 20 of them, I think they eat about $1,400 to $1,600 a month in food. And then we have... Everything else is reusable. We use reusable everything. So, to make sure that that's the only major cost. That is the biggest thing. Oop. <clears throat> How many ferrets do you, could you home? We have 20. Yeah, the rescue has 20 of them, which is the maximum amount. My dissertation reused um, data from BXD mice. What is BXD? Is that is that humanized, humanized mice? Is that another use for that? Because I don't know what BXD stands for. I'm not sure. I know things specifically about ferrets and ferret medicine and like all the directions for that and ferret nutrition. I don't know that. So I don't know what that is. I have very I have a very thin knowledge base on this stuff. 
Bovine growth hormone? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, my stuff is, I do ferret nutrition research and I do, um, like, treatment research for us as well. And then we pass that by the veterinarian and then we, we work on new treatments for that. It's worked. It's worked really, really well. We actually saved a number of ferrets' lives that way. And I was very happy with that. And uh, I'm just going to keep doing that. When I sit down and do it, I'm like, okay, I'm spending the whole day today doing research because we have a critical situation and I try and do everything I can. The only one I have not been able to solve is Grandpa's, who is... Um, Grandpa is zero or hero, depending on who in the community wants to say his name, right? And his his issue is very strange. So normally when a ferret gets insulinoma, they get it because they have too many carbs throughout their lifetime. And insulinoma take their pancreas and basically fill it with microtumors like sand. Now those microtumors on their own aren't dangerous. They're not actually like causing problems, right? But they produced insulin. And they produce insulin faster than the rest of the pancreas does. So as they get more and more of these, eventually they have too much insulin in the blood and their blood sugar, the blood glucose drops into the floor and they die. So you have to give them prednisolone as a treatment to raise that blood sugar back up. Now, when they get insulinoma, it usually looks like this. It's kind of like a slow, gradual move, right? That's usually the issue. Grandpa's does this, even on prednisolone, and we don't know why. It is not indicative of normal insulin. And we have, we, we can't do like exploratory surgery. We've done scans. We can't find any tumors. We don't know what is doing this. And he almost died the other day and it scared the shit out of me. He had a blood glucose drop. He went into a drooling phase and then he could only turn left. He went into what's called circling. And I thought he was going to die. It made me really messed up. It was right as we moved them into the new room and it really, really messed me up, dude. And we don't know what did it. We have no idea. Um, because this isn't normal for insulinoma. Normally, it's a gradual decline. So this is a mystery, and we don't know what to do with it. It's the reverse of diabetes, yeah. So diabetes will give you too much blood sugar, and you got to bring it down with more insulin. This is, you have too little blood sugar, and you have to bring it up with prednisolone. How'd you fix it? We gave him emergency. What you can do is you can take, um, if they're in a crash, and this is very rare. You don't, you don't want to do this. Talk to a vet if you have a ferret. Um, you take honey, and you put it on their gums, and that hits them really hard with a bunch of sugar really fast. And then we immediately started having him eat liquid uh, food. So we had a, a meat meat soup that came out. I held him and then we did that. And we don't know what it was. It wasn't stress induced. He goes to he goes to work with Shay every day. Having a move like that did nothing. We just don't know what did it. We have no clue. And having a drop like that is so drastic and so not normal for, for insulinoma that we just don't know what it was. We have no idea. What do they eat normally? Raw food diet. Full raw food diet. He, his diet didn't change in any way. Yeah, so that's that's really what it is, man. It's like, this is a mystery. This is the only mystery that we have out of all the ferrets. Everyone else is like, oh, you're, you're old and you have these problems. His is like, what the hell is this? And at first, he had a cyst on his neck. We got rid of that. We're like, maybe that was causing it. Didn't cause it. He had a tumor on his foot. We removed that damn thing, thinking maybe the tumor was doing this. And it's still there, and we don't know what's doing this. So the only thing that I can think of at this point is that he has a rare, mutated version of insulinoma. That's it. That's all we can think of, is that Instead of all of his microtumors producing small amounts of insulin over time, they're producing it all at once and sporadically. That's the only thing we can think of because it's super weird, right? And so what we're going to do is when he does pass, eventually he will. All animals do. We do too. Um, we're going to do a necropsy to find out what, what it is. We want to know what the hell is going on because if we do find another ferret that has the same problem, we want to know how to fix it. We want to know how to fix it. And if we can't solve it for him, at least we can find out why. You know, that's the whole idea with it. But yeah, that's it. That's what it is. It's it's rough, dude. It's really rough. It's super weird. We're animals? Yeah. All once. We bitch on the internet instead of hunting. But that's that's the whole thing. So like we we do a lot of stuff for them, man. Like a lot. That's that's all of my free time goes to them. How long have you had the rescue for? About a year and a half. Almost two years at this point. Um, we call it Snail's House. That's a thing that we're doing. And um, we call it Snail's House because Snail's was the first ferret in the rescue that passed. That's the reason. And the only one so far. I know there will be more, but not yet. So. Yeah. Are there veterinary medical documentation? Shitload of it. Shitload of it. Uh, we document all of our stuff and share it with the, the medical community as well. So we give that out to the veterinarian that we work with and everything like that. Super important. Super important, because it allows us to save other animals in the future. The idea is not just to have a, a rescue, right? It's to build something that is not volatile. Like, here. 
most rescues that I've seen, and this is a really common thing, they're usually like a a system where it's like it runs on donations and only donations. Only runs on donation work. And I didn't want to do this because I was nervous that animal care and animal welfare then was based on individuals having enough disposable income to fund this. And if that ever didn't work, it would die, right? The whole thing would fall apart. And then what would what we we do with the ferrets? It wouldn't, you know, that's not going to happen. So what I did instead, I was like, okay, how about we do it this way? I'll show you this. Check this shit out. See this right here? See there's 477 people watching it? This is run on ad revenue. The whole rescue is run on ad revenue. All of it. All people have to do is watch it. And the way that I run the business is that if 70 to 80% of the viewers stop watching, the rescue still pays for itself. Even if we have a decline of 70 to 80% of viewership, it's 100% ad revenue. It's 100% ad revenue. So because of that, we don't have to rely on anything other than people watching the stream. And if we lose the majority of the viewers, which I hope we don't, but if we do, it still runs itself. That's the whole idea. So that's what we do. That's what we're doing with it. It's to make it so that it will, works well within its means and runs off of non-donation-based income. No, this is just including like ads. Not even subs, not even bits, none of that stuff. It running just on ads. And I actually have that channel set up so that if you're subbed, you actually still get ads. Because you can do that. You're allowed to do it on Twitch. They, they have a little checkbox for it. So it still gives you ads on that channel, just to be clear. Because the whole rescue is run on ads. Yeah. Wait, you just telling me this now? Because I think it's cool. I don't know. <laughs> it's because people asked about it. So that's what I do. Is that's, that's the thing on the side. Can you break down the cost? Yeah, the grand majority of cost is going to be food. Uh, food for them is about 1400 to 1600 a month. And then medical... Medical is going to be really sporadic. The biggest problem with it is like super sporadic medical stuff. So like, for instance, almost every ferret that we have has adrenal. It's actually why we have the full dark room because it, it, it incentivizes production of melatonin for them. We can also put melatonin supplements into their water to try and help this as well because adrenal disease is combated by this. So more melatonin that they produce, the less adrenal they have. This is why you want to put them in a dark environment for a long time, right? So adrenal needs an implant for each ferret and that's $500 per year. So this is just the, I know this medical expense is coming through. There's also like, grandpa had a crash. We need to fix this. Like whatever the hell's going on. So some plate is spinning and the more ferrets we have, the more that it's going to go. Yeah, the diet is really, really important. Let me actually go pull up the diet real fast. So the diet, I actually have a command for this over on the other side. The business eats a combination of cell and chewies, freeze dried, raw chunks with two raw meat soup meals in the morning and evening. They get salmon oil several times a week and raw egg weekly. Ferrets are obligate carnivores and can only digest meat and eggs, which is exactly the case. Yeah, that's $500 per ferret. Yes, that is per ferret. And we have 20 ferrets maximum right now. So the idea behind this is that we want to focus on specifically ferrets that are up for euthanasia. Ones that are either not able to be cared for by people because their cost is too high, which happens a lot. They get dropped like a $2,000 bill and they can't afford it, right? Or the animal is in a way where they don't think it's going to survive. For instance, the latest ferret that we got that has dim, the owner didn't think that the ferret was going to survive, didn't have the ability to take care of it because dim is very rare, and we convinced them to give the ferret to us, right? That's the whole idea is that we go and save it. So we, we get around the euthanasia. It's not going to happen. We're going to go and fa save him, and that's the whole thing. We pay for the bills and all that kind of stuff. The other thing that I've been trying to set up is I need to talk to the vet about doing this. Uh, what I want to do is set up a situ situation so if somebody can't pay the money, but they're able to take care of the animal, and they're like, well, we might do euthanasia as a result because we can't take care of them, right? We don't have the money to do it. We pay it. And we just pay their bill to make sure that, that it all functions just fine so that there's no, like, super huge problem. That's only in cases where we know that people can actually take care of the animal. Otherwise, we're like, hey, give them to us. We'll do it. Right. And that's the whole deal for it. So we've been, we've been doing that as well to try and do that kind of stuff. Just pay the bill off. And it's it's working. It's really working really well, really well for this. And it's it's totally payable out of the ad revenue for that. So we know that this, we can basically do this indefinitely at this point, as long as people are watching the channel. Like it pays well above the cost of that. How hard is it to take care of it? Incredibly hard. So number one, they are obligate carnivores. They can only eat meat. 
if you feed them like cat food, if the cat food has like pea protein in it, it'll give them kidney stones. Um, if they have anything else, it'll actually give them what's called an impaction and they'll die in about 12 to 24 hours. It's super shit. Awful. So obligate carnivores, we feed them raw meat. That's what we do. Raw meat and bones. That's what they eat. They need it. That's all they need. And um, outside of that, they have a temperature requirement. So if you get them over about 85 degrees Fahrenheit, they can spontaneously die. And the reason why is because they are they can't regulate their body temperature. Their normal temperature is about 102 degrees. And when they get over this amount of temperature, they can't survive. They just die. Like, that's just how it is. Um, they're also social animals. So you can't have just one. You need to have, I would say, usually a minimum of about three. Three is the usual good thing, right? Three is usually the good minimum. Two you can do, but their social interaction is kind of shit. Three is correct at the minimum, right? No, they're not cold-blooded. No, they're mammals, dude. What? No, 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 no. They just can't. They can't be in high temperatures. Anything over 85C star, or 85F starts to be really dangerous. It starts to be really dangerous for them. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just broth and meat. That's all it is. And it's not even broth. It's actually just water and ground-up freeze-dried meat. And I also give them taurine supplements because a ferret needs about 500 milligrams of taurine per day. And if they don't get that, their heart starts to suffer from a result of this. The food gives them about 400 milligrams by weight. And I add another uh, taurine supplements to it to bring them up to 600 milligrams. If we bring them to 700 milligrams, uh, they start trying to hump everything in the room. <laughs> Which is not great. It's not what you want. It's just, that's how it works. So we, we, we keep them at around 600 because it improves their heart health. Beans actually had a heart problem a while back. His heart was getting like real bad. And we, we upped the amount of taurine intake they had, and it, and it solved that. So we've solved their heart problems many, many times as a result of this. Yeah, many ferrets have had that, but beans was a, a really good example of this, as we increased that and it fixed it. So, yeah, that's the whole deal with that. That is the whole deal with it. Long story short, don't domesticate ferrets. Ferrets are already domesticated. What we've basically done, the reason why ferrets are like this, is because of the medical animal trade. Um, most ferrets in the United States are actually created by marshals, laboratories. And because they're created by marshals in this way, it's... They, they do that for medical testing. They do it specifically for medical testing. And because they do that for medical testing, you end up getting these animals that are bred specifically to live only a year because that's the limit that they need. And outside of that, they just, they don't survive very well. So U.S. ferrets usually live to about five years and have insane medical issues. Think of pug. It's like the pug of ferrets. EU ferrets are much bigger, they're much stronger, and they live to about 10 years. It's, it's bad genetics, dude. It's bad, bad genetics. And that's it. That's what it comes down to. It's real shit, frankly. It's really, really, really shit. Also, what was what was that wall of donations? Why did that happen like fifty times on my UI? It's just one. That's funny. It only you only did it once, but it went through like thirty times on my screen. Yeah, no, it's it's. I, I could talk to you all day about ferrets. I know everything about this. Like this is this is my passion thing that I do on the side. I do all kinds of hobbies and stuff, but like this is the thing that I care about a whole lot. So because I care about it a whole lot, like I'm always, always trying to find out any information I can to try and fix this. Yeah, rediversify is the only way. They have to introduce more ferrets from the EU to do this. Marshall's had a breakout of canine distemper as per a number of the employees. They had a lot of deaths from it, a lot of ferret deaths. And uh, they brought in more European breeding stocks. So there's a chance that US genetics for ferrets are going to improve as a result of this because they've they've made that better now. So we're waiting to see. We're waiting to see how that how that plays out over the next year. You know, yeah, that's a hope. That's a hopeful thing. Yeah, I get all your YouTube shorts and I love them. Legit, the reason I I get on YouTube, love your content, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you do content creation full time? Yeah, I'm a programmer and a writer for Heartbound. So I'm a programmer, writer, and designer for that. And that's what I do. I run my business, run my studio, right? And then I stream on Twitch for eight hours a day and stream on YouTube for eight hours a day. Same time, right? Are they neutered? They have to be. Female ferrets have to be neutered or they die if they don't have babies. Enjoy that. <laughs> it's grim. It's about a 30% chance that they bleed out if they don't have a litter. So you have to. You have to fix them all. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a joke. That's real. Yeah. They're metal animals, dude. They're real metal. Yeah. We're talking about ferrets. Yeah, we're talking about my ferret rescue. I run with Shay. I told you, dude, like, <laughs> they have some rough times. They do. They have some rough times. It's incredibly metal. It's wild as shit. But I'll tell you anything about these animals. I'm super into it. Um, other groups that you can find that are doing things that are similar, actually. So if we go and open this up, um, you can see that Alvius Sanctuary is in here. Where is Alvius Sanctuary? There you are. Alvius Sanctuary is actually run by Maya. 
they do the same exact kind of a thing, but they do it specifically for like tons of different exotic animals. We're doing the same thing as them, but we're only doing ferrets. Like only. It's ferrets only is the whole idea. And, and the reason why I like ferrets is because they're nature's hacker. They're very good about this kind of stuff. How are they still not endangered? They are. There's only one type of ferret that's left in the wild in the United States. It's the black-footed ferret, and there's less than 300 of them. And there's only 300 there because there's individual groups trying to rebreed them to release them. They don't exist in the wild anymore here. It's a lot more than endangered. They're domesticated only. It's really sad. It's real shit. Black-footed ferrets are really cute, too. Yeah. It's just too hot for them. They can't do it. What's an attack ferret? Oh, them. Beans. He attacks feet. He loves attacking feet. He loves attacking feet. That's what he does. He's a little goblin animal. Uh, also, salsa bites you whenever their skin exposed. Ever. Like, the, the little fatty bit of your arm, she goes right after it, dude. God damn it. Have you done Advent of Code? Nah. I have in the past, but I'm, I have too much to do now. Genuine Justin with $5 said, How did you go from little kid voice to G-I-G-A-C-H-A-D voice? Any tips on this? Yeah, that changed when I was about, about 33. I think is when that actually switched over. So my voice started to drop. I was streaming every day. I was streaming super long periods of time, 10 to 12 hours a day. And um, my voice suddenly just started shifting down. And I went to the doctor. I was like, what the hell is going on? This is really scary. And they're like, we got to check to see if you have esophageal cancer. And I was like, cool, gr fantastic. And they did a bunch of tests on me. They took like samples and stuff. They put a scope in my nose to check my vocal cords and everything. And they're like, nope, you're fine. You're just, your voice dropped. Happens sometimes to guys in your 30s. And talking all the time does that as well. So it does change your voice. And it allows me to do things like this, where I can just change my voice and the tone of my voice so that it sounds really nice anytime I want to. Because streaming all the time allows you to get a lot more voice control. That's right. Especially when you can hear yourself just like this. And then you can just go back to talking normally. So, yeah. <laughs> it is 100% just about you being able to control your voice. And also my voice dropped at the same time. I actually can't hit high pitches anymore. It's dropped so far that I can't do it. And my dad's did the same, so it makes sense. It's genetic shit, right? It sounds so good in the, in the headphones. Enjoy. Enjoy. Will Game Maker be open source? I doubt that. No, I don't think they will. I know they've open sourced some of their stuff. They actually did for their um, their web release stuff. I think it's, yeah, web web compilation stuff I think is open source for them. But I don't think there's anything else for that. They, they are a business that makes money off of it, you know? That's their primary product that they sell, so. You have live audio feedback on? Yeah. See this? I can hear myself in real time. It's great. Super useful. Super useful, actually. Let me find this real fast. I don't know if I can find this. There was a good image of me a while back. I'm going to see if I can find this real fast. One sec. I think it's probably in Thor posting. Hey, does anybody have that picture of me in the cube? Does anyone have that one? Oh, wait. Oh, I found it. 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 Somebody asked for my best Mariah Carey impression. There it is. Soon. Soon I will be released. And the time of man will end. Yes. Oh, yes. Soon. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's actually incredible, frankly. Who was that posted by originally? Let me see. It's supposed to be Sev back in 2022. Good job, Sev. Sephora. Incredible, dude. Jake McKenna with $19.99 said, My friends and I have struggled to finish a game for a number of years. 
Hmm. What bothers me most we all have a good level of technical ability with game engines and game dev degrees. I'm in aerospace, others in game dev. Thoughts? You're probably overthinking it. You guys are in a bunch of positions that are like super high end, right? And you've taken a number of years to try and finish a game. Stop it. Make a demo. Start showing it to people. Don't overthink this shit. It's really easy to overthink, it, especially people in that those positions, right? You're probably overthinking the launch of this thing. Show it to people. Show people the demo. Give them a slice of what you're trying to make. Get feedback on it. Because if you're just doing that all in isolation for a long time, it's probably going to come out in a way that you didn't expect or people don't know, right? Like they don't, they don't know if they like it or not. So like show it to them, get some feedback, see if they like it, find out what they do like, find out what they don't like, and then move from there. Make the demo. Make the demo. 100%. Ghostly Method said thank you for building a wonderful community and being hey, so supportive. Thank you for the but 10 gifted please going broke trying to pay back the loan I took to get the demo. The demo is free. God damn it. I'm glad you like the community though. They are a lot of goblins. It's true. They're good goblins though. Don't let them know I said that though. They'll try to find the second brain cell. Won't allow it. Wide Rope with $4.99 said did you know Australia lost a war to emus? I did. They ran out off ammo. So, um, you said, could you answer the question I sent earlier? I will. There's a queue. The way that this works, you can see at the bottom left-hand side of the stream, there's a queue with everything in there. Your message will eventually come through. But we have ads now. So, that's these voice messages that are coming through, that's the queue. So, don't worry. Don't worry. I will get to it. And if you join the Discord, you can know the exact timing that I got to it, even if you're not here anymore. So, do keep that in mind. Are you pro-Ukraine? I'm pro-human beings. I don't like politics. Like, to be honest with you, I think that it is too easy, too many times in life right now, to be pro-one guy at the detriment of the other guy. There are people on both sides of that war that are hurting. Both sides. And to forget that is to forget the humanity of either side. I'm anti-war. Are the fur noodles? They are go doing good if I could talk. Fur noodles. There we go. Yeah, they're doing good. They're doing really good. There's so many shinies, I don't know what to do with them. Do you play Pokemon a lot? Claims to be anti war while raising an army of goblins. Terrifying. Actually true. Yeah. It's, it's too easy to forget that there's human beings, man. It's way too easy to forget there's human beings. And when you do that, you fall into a state where it's so... It's easy to perform atrocities for the greater good. You have to remember there's human beings. Every time. It's very shit. And I see that happen all too much. Java man copy bastard, don't you do it. How, many, how do you become so seasoned in life? I don't know, dude. I know you're pushing 50. How dare you? I'm 36. You goblin. Pushing 50. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm pushing it super far away, man. I got a long stick. I'm pushing 50. Ridiculous. Why you like this? Why you like this, dude? Alright. Next one. Physic first with 500 bits said, Hey, don't diss the Huntsmans. They are super chill, pay their rent by eating the mozzies and flies, and just sit on the walls. You know, you're not wrong about that. You're not wrong about that at all. That is completely true. I agree with that. Tyler Hyde with 20 Australian dollars said saw someone in YouTube chat ask if Australian houses are insulated, sealed. Absolutely no. not. Can't tell you how many spiders I've seen in my house. Easier to name the spiders and leave them be. <laughs> name them. I guess, dude, I'm going to be real with you. If the spider in your house is large enough to have a name and a health bar, then he's a roommate, right? Like, that's that's it. That's all that... That's it. He's got a name. He's got a health bar. That's a roommate. You could say it's a pet, but it's not a pet. That's a roommate. He pays rent. He eats all the bullshit that comes into your house. Roommate. I got roommates like that. They're great. I let my spiders run free in the house. I don't care. 
They eat all the, the bullshit that flies around during the August season. There's actually like, um, we have spider season here. It's August. Whenever there's August, spiders everywhere. It's everywhere, goddamn spiders. And I just let them be. I'm like, cool, man. Eat that shit. Because it's spider season and fly season at the same time. And if you leave the spiders alone, you don't have any flies in the house. It's great. It's great. Name in a health bar, dude. Fantastic. <laughs> Get the flaming warfare. No. Leave them alone. Spiders are good. What about toxic spiders? What about them? What do you mean toxic? It's not really how that works. Yeah, just these spiders, dude. They're fine. Leave them alone. They are. They're extra defense in your house. Jumping spiders are so cool, dude. We actually get jumping spiders here, too. They got big old eyes. And they're really cute. Yeah, I think they mean venomous. I think they do. But yeah, the jumping spiders are so cute. They're so good. And they're so smart, too. And the way that they move is, like, really, really interesting. I love the hell out of them. Love the hell out of them, dude. I love jumping spiders. They're so neat. Who's your favorite roommate so far? Oh, my favorite roommate was this really big wolf spider that um was like... I found him in the bathroom. He was actually in the tub. He couldn't escape the tub. It was too powerful. So I got him onto a piece of paper, and then I put him into the Madagascar hissing cockroach enclosure because there was a lot of flies in there, and he chased down and he hunted all of the flies. Dude was wicked. He was awesome as shit. He killed everything. He lived like a year or two. It was cool as hell. It was super good. He didn't get eaten by the roaches. He protected the roaches. And he killed a couple of baby roaches. Those were the sacrifices. Yeah. I didn't give him a name. I, mean, I guess we could posthumously give him a name, right? He had a health bar, but he didn't have a name. He was so big. So big. Man did eat like a king. It's true. Yeah. Name him Jeff. I'm in. I'm in. Jeff. Jeff the spider. Long since dead. Well done, Jeff. Barnabas? That's a pretty extreme name. Spiders pay rent? Yeah, by eating all the weird shit in your house. It's great. Andrew William Schultz with $5 said Pirate Software actually cares about its international community. Yes. Heck yeah, pal. Thumbs 100%. up. 100%. I care about the international community because the international community cares about us. By making our games more affordable for people in different regions, it allows them to buy it, which means we get money and they don't have to get malware for pirating our games, right? It's beneficial to everybody. And to be real with you, if you don't care about the people that are playing your games, why are you making games? Doesn't make any goddamn sense. You're sharing with them an adventure. You're sharing with them a piece of software that is supposed to change them in some way. And if you don't care about them, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Doesn't make any sense. Thiefbug with 1000 bits said, Hey, uh, we have been on green light at the same time. Quick question. Do you think it's viable as a solo programmer to use a lot of bought assets since programming and writing are basically my only skills? Yeah. Money isn't much of an issue, but time certainly is. No, I super think that's the case. Um, you can even reuse those assets a whole bunch of different times. Like, I'll give you a really example. Have you ever heard of Kairosoft? Who here knows what Kairosoft is? They make phone games. They make mobile games. And they're great. They're really good. I love these. I love these games. Kairosoft makes awesome shit. The reason why I bring this up every time with this, Kairosoft has a style. And the reason they have a style is because they just reuse all of their graphical assets between every one of the games that they make. They're all the same. So we go pull this up. Kairosoft. Do do do. Games for Android. Let me see if I can pull this up. Oh god, it's loading so slow. What is this website? It runs like shit. <laughs> I think their website is mining Bitcoin right now. Oh dear god. Okay, let's get a better look at this. Let's find a different website that doesn't look like shit. Yeah, so we can go pull this up. Let me actually show you this. Copy that image address. We'll put it over there. We'll copy this image address. Put this up here. Let's just take two of their games. And we've got a, there's, they've got a lot of games. So, like, this is not the same. Uh, see this? You've got Zoo Park Story, right? For one of them. And then they have this other one, Cafe Master Story. They use the same assets. The, and many of the times, you'll actually see the same characters between different games. Which is awesome. It's actually really useful. And they keep a consistent style between all of the games that they make. And they make a ton of these games. They make a ton of them. Yeah, they're on Steam, too. Is there actually... Like, let me see how many of their games are actually on Steam. Let me see. Kairosoft. Best of Kairosoft. No shit. Yeah, here you go. Best of Kairosoft. So you can see across all of their games, they not only keep that consistent style, but 
they allow you to have the same assets between many different games. They still have unique assets in them, but many of these are the same characters, the same NPCs, the same models, same monsters, everything like that. So you can do this. And you don't have to buy new assets for every game. You can just make a lot of different games with the same kind of assets. It's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that, right? There you go. So yeah, check out the work then. You should. I'm going to link this in chat for you. It is. It's really cute. Their stuff doesn't suck, you know? Just a money printer? It's not a money printer. You still have to make good games. Their games don't suck. That's why it works, right? You can make a bunch of games with all the same assets. You just have to make them not suck. You can use those games in different contexts. They have to not suck. Isn't reusing assets cheating? This man's never heard of a library in programming. Cheating. What test? What test? What test are you cheating on? There's no such thing, dude. None. As you are a developer, you make things. You put them into your Batman tool belt, and then you can just keep using this over and over and over again. There are libraries that I made at the beginning of my career that I still use. The heartbound dialogue system that I made, I'm going to use that in every game that we have going forward because it's efficient as shit. That's the point of it, right? There's no such thing as cheating. If there's cheating, then you need to go build your own processor, pour your own silicon, do the whole thing yourself. Not allowed to use anybody else's work. Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, reuse your stuff, your own stuff. 100%. How'd you know about my belt? We all have one. That's the idea. Yeah, so don't, don't get caught up in the idea that you have to rebuild everything from scratch. You don't have to. And if you look at this, let's go look at Game Dev Story real fast. They're the ones who made Game Dev Story. Look at this. You've got that same isometric style. You've got all the models that work the same way. And if we go back, oh, look. It's the same isometric style. It's the same models for the characters. Oh, look. Manga works. It's the same isometric style. It's the same models for the characters. This is why they can do this. They can produce a lot of different games very quickly with a lot of different themes and styles and objectives by doing this. It's great. It's really good. And as long as they retain that isometric style, which is now kind of synonymous with their name, you know what a Kairosoft game is going to be. It's going to be high quality. It's going to be good. And it's going to have similar assets. It's great. It's really useful. Really good. So yeah, do it. Do it 100%. Also, Dungeon Village is fun. Just going to be real. Also... Soon. Soon I will be released. Not yet. Not yet. Too soon. But soon. Sorry, did you mean Ninja Village is fun? No. I didn't say that. I said Dungeon Village. Thank you very much. But no, Kairosoft is a good choice for that. I think it's really good. It's a really, really good one, actually. CMDR underscore team kill said three, seven, three, seven, three, seven. Nice. Next. I don't know with five dollars said been in the cybersecurity field for five years now. Been stuck in IAM for two years specifically on CyberArk. Want to branch out without taking pay cut. Okay. So you're doing identity and access management shit, right? That can be really boring really fast, I find. Um, if you're doing offensive security stuff, I guess you'd, you'd be doing defensive at that point. Defensive security stuff. Make the most sense to me. You want to branch out with it taking a pay cut. Okay, do this. I have some cool shit for you. Let's go to Discord real fast. I have a section in Discord called Interests. Go to Interests. Go to Hack the Planet. Under Interests Hack the Planet, we have this post at the very top. This is all beginner stuff. This is the intermediate stuff that you should be doing. Go and do these. This is the stuff you want to do. And once you start getting going with that kind of stuff on the side project stuff, you're learning at home. Then you can go and do bounty programs. If you've never done bounty programs before, do some of this stuff first. Can you pin that? It's already pinned. It's the first message in the channel and it is pinned. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Is there a Discord server? Is there... Squint. Yeah, yeah. There is a Discord server. It is discord.gg slash pirate software that I am currently showing right now. Yes, I had to find the cube earlier. The cube. 
But yeah, no, this is what it's for. This is the whole idea for this, is to share this kind of information for the Hack the Planet channel. Yeah. You looking up cube, cube is very funny. I needed to find it. I didn't know where it was. I didn't know where it was. Is there a second brain cell? No. It's over on YouTube. YouTube has the second brain cell. Twitch has the first brain cell. They're both the same. They're both the same. There are a lot of notifications. I get that many a day. If you're wondering how bad this really gets, there you go. Enjoy that. Enjoy that. It's at 450 now. And you want to know the worst part? Most of those notifications are people just sending me the number seven. Most of them. About half. It's about half. Absolute goblins, dude. Basics of XSS exploitation on this, though. You've also got a bunch of learning stuff on here, and you've got being able to do bounties. By doing these types of things, you're going to learn new stuff, and it's going to help you transition into a better offensive security role where you don't have to take a pay cut. That's the whole point of that. So please do this. Please. It's very good stuff. And on there, Hack the Box actually has certifications, and they also have like more paid-for kind of sets up, setups in this. And they gave us a discount code, which they've never done for a community before, which is awesome. So we have an affiliate system with them where you get a discount, which is great. They've never done that before. So it had a lot of bugs at first, but we fixed it. It's great. All right, next one. Midwestern Kayak Adventures with $2 said I have about eight days a day. Eight days a day. Very good. Very good. Carl Pomelo with five Canadian dollars said you should write a motivational book called Work, Nap, Mate. What if instead of writing a motivational book, I just said that. What if, I, what if I just said, if you're having trouble making things, if you have difficulty making stuff when you get home from work because you feel demotivated, get home, take a nap, and then go make things. This barrier allows you to separate work and your passion projects in your brain. And then you have no problems making stuff. Just take a nap. Take a one-hour nap. That's all you need. That's all you need. That's it. That's it. It's useful. It should be a t-shirt. I think I'm going to make it into a sticker. We're going to make some stickers. We're going to make a bunch of weird stickers. Go make games and work nap make. I like that. New Kernet said, Hey, Thor, I heard you like kefir, but have you tried I kefir do. beetroot soup? What? What is kefir beetroot soup? Also, thank you for that raid. 56. Hey, Modern Paul Scambates. What is up, dude? If you guys don't know Modern Paul Scambates, he baits scammers. That's what he does. Awesome as shit. Cold beetroot soup, aka Lithuanian pink soup. I've never had this. Hmm. That looks really good. Okay, I'm going to be real with you. I'd eat that. I'd eat that. Look at it. Just look at it. Just look at it. Hmm. Cold borscht with kefir. I'd eat that. I'd eat that a lot. I love that. You know what's weird? I only found out recently that borscht is actually a cold soup. I've only ever had it warm, which is weird. I didn't know why. I thought borscht was supposed to be warm. I just I had no idea. Work, sleep all day, no work done. Great. Yeah, there you go. You've done it. You've solved it. You've solved it, man. 100%. So I'll let it warm. Yeah, it's weird. It's supposed to be like normal. Borscht is supposed to be like not warm. It's supposed to be like room temperature or cold, which is weird. You can eat it cold or hot. Interesting. Different variants. Don't worry. Okay. I like it. I like borscht. I like it a lot. I've never had it cold. I need to now. You have never literally never eat it in cold. Yeah, I know it's a thing. It's a thing. Gumbo cold. If you're making gumbo right, you make that thing cold, it turns into, like, like an ooze, dude. Like, nah. Nah, that's got it. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> you eat that shit with a fork when it's when it's cold, dude. Like, no. Nah. <laughs> that's gross, dude. Uh, the dim command is actually over on, uh, on, which, on Ferret software. It's in there. Yeah. Ferret Software is the channel on Twitch. It's ferrets.live. We'll take you there as well. Is that a Blue Yeti? Yeah. Yeah, it's a Blue Yeti. It's like six years old. It's been repaired. Look at all these sevens. Next. Scott Rouch with $20 said, Why does every good life tip start with trick your brain? 
I'd like to speak with whoever coded those busted things. Dude, I'm very real with you. Most, most shit in your life is going to be based around tricking yourself into doing the thing. Like, that's it. Um, you have to figure out, like, what it is that motivates you. Little tiny things that will help motivate you. And you trick yourself into being, like, cool with it, right? There are so many times where it's just, like, I don't know. Like, I'll feel shit about something. Like, I used to I used to feel shit about things all the time. And I was like, well, what makes me happy about it? How do, can I reframe this situation where I want to do this thing and it feels good to me? I just trick myself. Trick myself into seeing it a different way. Like, that's the whole idea for it. And it's, it's like, crazy common for that. Like, if you feel bad when you get home from work and you don't want to work on your side project stuff, taking a one-hour nap, your brain wakes up afterwards and you're like, it's a new day. Today's the day I get to work on things. It's like, dude, it's only an hour later. But you've tricked yourself into thinking it's a new day. It, I'll give you a funny one, right? I grow, one of the things that I like to grow is shiitake mushrooms. Shiitake mushrooms are really, really good. They're super tasty and I love growing them. It's very fun. But in order to grow shiitake mushrooms, you trick them. And the way that you trick them is you put them in a refrigerator for 24 hours so they think that they've actually been in the dead of winter. And then you take them out and you put them in water for about one hour so they think that they've gone through a thaw. And then... You put them on the shelf with all the wind so they think that the tree that they're a part of has fallen over and cracked. And then they grow. Because you tricked them into thinking that it was winter. That's the whole point. You've tricked them. You've tricked them. You've, tri you've tricked them. They're so tasty, too. They're so good. Do the same thing to you. Hack your motivation, dude. Yeah, get out smarted mushrooms and then I eat them. Yeah, I lie to the mushrooms, and then I eat them. I lie to the mushrooms, and I eat them. That's true. It's actually true. It's not even. That's not even false at all. Are we the shiitake mushrooms? Nah, you're goblins. They're different. Still a fungus, though. Definitely. Yeah, get bamboozled, fungus. Exactly. <laughs> Shiitakes are really good. I actually grow um, lion's mane, shiitake, oyster mushroom, and uh, reishi mushroom. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. Imagine being a dumb fungus. Imagine. Next. Nicotine FX with $1.99 said hello. That is all. Thank you. Thank you for that. Zerzel said War Thunder has no leaks. War Thunder only has the truth. That is a problem though. Fear of shorts with 5 Australian dollars said first time catching you live. Thanks for all the entertainment. Your name is Fear of Shorts. How did you ever find my content? I, I have to know the answer. Like, <laughs> hmm. Super Gamers Games with 1000 bits said first, thank you for recommending the beginner's guide. It was a yes. very enjoyable title, of awesome which I game. felt a whole lot. Second, I'm not that great of an artist. Where should I look for a good start of learning more standard art? Yes, I know about the whole thing about games with bad art, but I'm looking into making sprites with at least a decent level of quality. You're the best. Colon closing parenthesis. We actually showed this off earlier today. I have a perfect asset for you. Uh, da, 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 da. Chat probably already knows the answer to this. Chat, do you know the answer to where to go if you're trying to be an artist? Specifically making pixel art? Hmm? 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 Who knows? Who in chat knows? Who in chat knows? Or have you forgotten? Does chat have no... Object permanence, have you lost it? Pixel Dailies, there it is. Yeah, some of you know. So Pixel Dailies is a really, really cool Twitter account that you can actually find. And what they do is they put out a daily prompt for pixel art. It's really, really useful. Super, super good. And when you do this, um, you can go and see everybody else's take on the same theme. Really useful. Really, really, really useful. Today's was insectoid. So there's a lot of insect stuff, which is really cool. And a lot of different ways that people have drawn these things with different styles, different levels of detail, everything like that. It's very, very helpful. Thank you very much, Stewie and Beepstring. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much for those five gifted subs each. Yeah, this is, this is a good way for you to get other types of art styles that you otherwise wouldn't realize existed. Because you're like, oh man, we're all drawing the same thing, but we're drawing it in different ways. It's good. It's really good, actually. It's really, really, really good. So, like, yeah, that's the whole idea for this. This one was construction, so they did construction before that. So they got, like, icons for this. Um, this one, like, this one looks like it's a full animation for this. So you can see other people's work as a result of, of this to see how they do it. 
you know, and see what their theming is around it, which is cool. It's actually really good shit. Love it. Should you know approach to writing tests when making games? Um, is it different from general software? No, it's not. It's the one only thing that I would say that's a little bit different for general testing for making games is you need to think about the perception of the end user about how a mechanic should work. And you have to sometimes give feedback on that perception. You can make this equated the same way to software engineering. You can make it the same to say like, hey, this certain UI element, the perception is that it should do this and it actually does this. Sometimes that works that way with spells in a video game, stuff like that. That's that's the big difference, right? You have to think about the perception for that stuff much more. Much, much more. So yeah, hope that makes sense. Next. HMC with $5 said, tell editor more ferret shorts, please. Oh, you know, not a bad choice. I'll talk to Shadelock about it. Supreme underscore Sage 33 with 500 bits said question that goes out to DMs. Can dispel magic stop the effects of Hero's Feast? The issue here is as raw instantaneous spells cannot be dispelled, but the effects last 24 hours. I mm. say the effects cannot be dispelled because they are no longer a magical in nature. Mm. December 13th at 0930. Uh. Let's go look up what the community is actually doing with this. Can Hero's Feast be dispelled with Dispel Magic? The rules of Dispel Magic would allow the effects of Hero's Feast to be dispelled. However, as a 6th level spell, this would mean the spellcaster would have to beat a DC 16 to dispel it, or spend a valuable high level spell slot to do so automatically. So technically, yes. But also after they've eaten it. Are you just... I guess you'd be removing the hit points, right? The spell is already over. Yeah, the bonuses are not part of the spell. Hmm. Because Hero's Feast also grants immunity to poison damage. Yeah, the hit points gained from Hero's Feast are actually added to your maximum hit points for the duration of the spell's effects. This is pretty useful benefit to the spell because it can be less taxing on the party's healing resources. Be they spells or potions. So if that's the case, dude. Is the actual... Is, is the buff part of the spell? Is the buff part of the spell? It's not temp HP, it's max HP. And if you can remove it, does it take it from the top end to the bottom end? So let's, let's take this into account, right? I actually don't remember the ruling for removing maximum HP because it's not a thing that happens a lot, right? Not a thing that happens a lot. Let's say that you have 100 maximum HP and you add 50 to it. Let's say the player has 45 HP left out of 100 and you remove the max 50. Do they die? Because they go from 150 max down to 100 max. Are you only removing it from the top end? Or do you remove it from the bottom end? Because some games will do it differently. I think in this one, I think it's DM discretion. It is. I would rather do it from the top end. I would rather do it from the top end. Where you lower the maximum, it doesn't impact your current HP. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of how that goes. Soul what are you sending me? What kind of goblin ray do you want? What is this? What? Oh, God. <laughs> Hold up. Zultralin wants to show you something. Hey, you guys remember when I was like, hey, you should go and, and leave a, a real valid comment on the, uh, on the thing of, like, add deeper analytics, read it, and actually do that? Look at this. There's a new comment on the idea you support. Everyone got those notifications. <laughs> Everyone got that? Wait, what is this? This random person, can you fix the boats in Origin? It's causing crashes. What does that even mean? What did you guys do in block game? What do you what do you mean it's causing crashes? Did you guys put so many goddamn boats in Origin that it's crashing the game? What did you do? 
What did you do? What did you do? Somebody placed a bunch of boats in origin causing lag. Just got to make a plug in for that. Just got to make a plug in for that. You know what I'm going to start doing? I'm going to start tagging all the goddamn boats to each individual person so that when you place one, it deletes your old one. I'll do it. I'll do it. One boat each. I will do it. Why is this set to full screen? I don't want that shit. The hell? Buh, where is it? God damn it. What is the hotkey for Minecraft full screening? There it is. Fixed. What did you nerds do? Oh, that's a good sign. That's a great sign. The ads have overtaken. One moment. God damn it. Want a bet? Here, I'll fix it real fast. Server's restarting. I whitelisted it, kicked everyone off the server, and I'm restarting the server. They'll delete all your goddamn boats. Bunch of clowns. I'm gonna, we're gonna put in a check for that. You will get banned for it. Don't be a dumbass. Now we have to put in a check for it. Buh, 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 buh. Let me go find this. Um, where is my goddamn server? There we go. Why do you do this? Why can't you just have have a good time? I give you something cool and you fill it with boats. Why must you do this, chat? Why must you be boat goblins? It's loading terrain. It's fixing it now. Oh look, all your stupid boats are gone. They're deleted now. Fantastic. No more boats. They're gone now. Whoop. Yeah, it looks like it's fixed. No more stupid boats. No more boats. White lists. Off. You can go back in. Boats are gone. Go back to farming things. Enjoy. <sighs> By the way, um, we've already got two names for it. When I find out who did it, you're permanently banned from the server. So enjoy yourself. Next... Uriel underscore 88T with 500 bits said just getting into VR games and I want to make a VR game. How much different is the dev process? Uh, for a VR game, I don't know. And the reason why is because I am allergic to VR. I actually get um, motion sick when I use VR. 
so I can't do it. I know nothing about the development process for it. I know absolutely nothing in that regard. I get... I get, like, really badly motion sick within, like, ten minutes. Yeah. Yeah. It sucks. Staps with 500 bits said hello. Didn't see we need a 500 bits for asking question. Don't know if you can see previous bit donation, but I did one few minutes ago about a question on game dev. Love your work. Just re -asked the question. Now I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know how to find you anymore. God damn it. User snaps. Uh, let me go find this. I found your work through YouTube Shorts, so checking your stream today. Got a question? I'm currently a tech designer at Ubisoft. So big company with not much creativity at my scale. I want to dev on my end. I want to dev on my end, like game jams and prototypes, but as soon as I end my day at my company, all my game dev energy is gone, and I have a hard time working on my game. Do you have any advice on how to keep this indie energy when I end my day at work? Yeah, so like, there's a couple ways you can do this. These are the ways that I did it for a little while, right? There's the nap, right? This is a big one. You go to work. Work drains you. You feel shitty. You come home. You take a one-hour nap. And then you go work on your, your, you know, games. You go do your game stuff. That's a really useful one. Another thing you can do is environment. Maybe it's not that... Maybe it's not that you are shitty and tired feeling after work. Maybe it's that you treat your home as your rest place. So change a portion of your house, wherever it is. Maybe it's a certain way. Like maybe you sit on a couch when you're working on stuff on a laptop. You sit on the left side of the couch instead of the right side of the couch. And you define this as your work zone at home. Go to your work zone in the house. Trick yourself into, whenever I'm here, this is when I work, right? This is when I work, when I'm sitting in this location. And then you go there and you work at that spot, right? This is a normal thing. Pretty normal thing. So these two things might help you a lot. Uh, yeah, dedicated workspace, whatever it is. That's super useful. And uh, I think that's that's important. It's work, nap, game, and then environment. Make sure that you have a work environment at home. It, you're basically trying to manage not just... Not just your work, you're never managing your work ethic. What you're really managing is you're managing your your brain's desire to do a certain activity based on where you are. So you're, you're trying to stop yourself from going into sleep mode and tired mode because you're going home where you normally rest. You need to have a work zone at home. This office is my work zone. If I go up here, up, upstairs, and I go to, like, um, like I, I get in bed, I can't do anything. I, I pass out in seconds because it's the sleep zone. That's what it is. That's the point of it. That's the whole idea. If I go to my couch, I can play video games on like console, things like that. That's what I do on there. I watch TV. I do that. Play, you know, Steam Deck. If I, um, in the kitchen, I'm cooking stuff. I don't hang out in environments in my house unless I am doing the activity that is for that environment, right? That's the whole idea with it. And I learned that kind of slowly over time because if I do mix those, I have problems. I have serious problems. Like I used to work on Heartbound when I was in bed on my laptop and I would get, you know, tired when I was trying to work. And when I try to go to bed, I'd have all these ideas because it, that's the work zone now. Screwed it up. Don't mix the zones. Don't cross the streams, dude. All right, next one. Makes hearty with 500 bits said good morning, Thor, Goblin King, Rat King, Ferret Father, Generator of Sevens. Hoping your computer is finally free of the Witcher's curse. You might need to check your folders for goblins, though. I hear they've been plotting to stuff your computer full of sevens and ferret treats. Oh, that's fine. Here's what I'm going to do, all right? I'm going to take a 7, and I'm going to take it over here, I'm going to slide it onto one of your computers. There we go, now it's yours. It's in one of your computers. I don't know which one. Could be anyone in chat, on YouTube or Twitch. Either one. Next. Gunpowder with $9.99 said, hey man, I just want to say thank you. For some cosmic reason, after I've started watching you for a week, the small dev group that I'm in now has the chance to become an actual game studio. Dude. Let's go. Red Heart. That's cool as shit. That's cool as shit. Keep it up, man. Kazmanian underscore devil said when will you stream is David Bowie's Goblin King from the Labyrinth. In the shipping room, I actually have a Labyrinth poster. David Bowie's amazing, dude. He's the best. David Bowie. Goblin King. There is only one Goblin King, Chad. You keep saying I'm the king of the goblins, but I'm not. I don't have the hair for it, man. I don't have the hair for it even a little bit. Even a little bit, dude. Let me show you this. 
We get a really good picture of the goblin. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. Where's the one with the orb? I need an orb. There we go. I need some good orb pictures. Yes. The goddamn Goblin King, dude. Look at him. How do you even get your hair to do that? It's standing perfectly. It's fluffy in every direction. How is that even possible? How is that even possible? It's not even hairspray, dude. Like, look how fluffy it is. Look at it. It's 100% magic. It is. It's outrageous, dude. This is the reason we had a hole in the ozone. All right? That's <laughs> like, that's that's where it came from. That's so much freaking hairspray at that point, dude. It's so much freaking hairspray. It is outrageous, dude. It is outrageous. See, so, you I know it's, it's wild to me. This random person, can you handle that in a mod ticket, please? I can't, I can't do anything about it right now. <laughs> Spamming the chat is not going to help that. Not going to help it. There's too many people on the server. There's nothing I can do about it. Mod ticket. Mod ticket is the way, dude. Let's go see if it's actually a host problem. We'll see if that's the problem. Server management. On soul. Do do do. Do do do. Let's see. It's just people logging in, dude. Well, that's interesting. It looks like there may be an issue for people with Bedrock version right now. Let me check something. Yeah, let me look at something. Um, Via version. Yeah, it's not really kicking anybody. There's no, there's no kicking happening. It's just Via version probably having an error of some kind. What version of this are we on? I need to go open up all my stuff. Ugh. Blah. Let's see. Uh, bu 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 block game. There we go. We got block game on that. That'll be fine for that. You got to get my keys set up. Yeah, Bedrock is the thing. We actually use Vi version and... God, what is it called? Geyser. So we can actually do every version of Minecraft from 1.18.2 beyond. And then also Bedrock or Java on the same server. Yeah, update Geyser needs updating weekly. I know it needs updating. I'm aware. It's almost like I've been running the server for two years. Let's see. Geyser Spigot. Let's go pull this up. Geyser MC. Let's go to the downloads. Last download was on the 12th, which was yesterday, which is probably why it has a problem. And Floodgate hasn't been updated in forever, so we can leave it alone. But update it anyway, because I have no idea if it's the same version that we're on. All right, so we've got that done. Let me go and get my keys, my authorized keys for this. Add a key. Add all these keys. Hmm. There we go. All right, long into this now. We've got that. Let me go grab this over here. Yeah, reload that. That's cool. Open on here. Boop. We're gonna do what is it called? Close out of that. That's not a problem anymore. Grab this. Log in. All right, good. Got all our plugin shit going. That's cool. 
And it looks like the problem that we're having is login instability. And the login instability appears to be an issue because of what exactly? Hmm. Well, that's interesting. I'm going to go check something real fast. All right, that should be good. I think the problem is missing it. No, it's not. It's not that at all. It's a different issue. Definitely an issue, though. Um, all I need from this is I'm going to put these new plugins on. We're going to go get those set up real fast, and then we'll get back to work. Get back to doing stuff. Answering your guys' TTS messages, mostly. Floodgates. Oh, this is old. Delete that. One moment. Need to grab that. Download Geyser. That's good. We're going to go get Via version as well. Via version as well. That's done. Downloaded that. That's cool. We have no issues there. Bloodgate Spigot, Geyser Spigot, and Via version. Boop. Go. Imagine blaming boats. No, it definitely was boats. It was 100% boats. There were thousands of boats on the server. There were two issues. One of them was the boats. And I know that because it killed 2,500 boats when I did this. In like a nine chunk area. I will find you. Hey, there's a lot of boats. Thankfully everything's logged. I just don't have time to go look it up right now. Okay, so we've got... Via version is now one version ahead, so that's good. And Geyser Spigot is in. And Floodgate is in. Where's my Floodgate? Need to make sure that that's good. Floodgate Spigot is in. So... Whitelist on. Kick all. Restart. I had to kick all so it saves everybody's stuff. <sighs> you play Tabletop Simulator? Yeah, we do Tabletop Simulator for our D&D games. It's great, actually. We need to make a ferret game? Eventually. They're all playing I'm on a boat, Lonely Island. Yeah. I was having fun mining. Well. Get wrecked. <laughs> the issue is that not only were you having fun mining, but it was breaking. Everything was breaking. So this will be, this should fix stuff. It looks like it was having an issue. I don't know why. Could be the host, could be that. Definitely boat related, which was annoying. Okay, let's see. What is this? Um, Jake.
All right. Yeah, no, there was actually 2,500 boats that were there. It was a huge amount. The boats thing is really weird. It's definitely a strange issue. Is y'all's Minecraft server just insane? A little bit. Warp origin. There we go. Code, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you very, very much. It's actually an MMO. So if you're wondering what I work on in Minecraft as a side project thing, it's a fully functional MMO and it's not monetized in any way. Yep. There's no monetization whatsoever. It is 100% an MMO that you can play for free. Yeah. No donations, none of that shit. Nothing. And it's got, like, professions and gear and all kinds of things. All kinds of different materials, everything like that. Yeah. The Minecraft server is mc.blockgame.info is the domain to get into the server. That being said, it's whitelisted right now because it has a problem. It's people filled it up with boats and it exploded. Yeah. I'm just scared of the PvP. You don't drop your loot. You lose durability and gold. That's all. That's all. What shaders do you use? I think it's... I don't remember the hell the name of them, to be honest with you. Oh, look, it kicked me again. Why is it losing connections randomly? That's interesting. Interesting. There's no log for it. What is causing this? I turned off the whitelist. The UID of player came in. And it logged me out. But there's no logout message. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know which guy's in that. I'm going to leave that alone for a little bit. Server's going to be unstable for now. I have no clue which guy's in that. Dude, what is happening in this channel right now? This is a really interesting thing that I have to deal with right now. This is actually really interesting. So it appears we have a we have a section of the Discord that's actually set up specifically for looking to hire and looking looking for work kind of stuff. And it the intention for it is to get people to find jobs inside of the industry. But what I'm finding is that there are people that are posting dozens and dozens of links because they're getting an affiliate kickback on it. I don't like that. I'm going to see if there's a way that I can set it up so those forums can only have one post per person so that this can't happen. Because that's quite weird. And that's not something I thought about for this. 
because the intention was not that, but people are always going to find a way to goblin. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and figure out a way to fix this. Because I, I want you guys to, yeah, there's just too damn many of these. It's completely, it's just a massive wall of this. It's a massive wall of this. Hmm. I think you can do that inside of the channel. Missions. Um, Discord forums limits number of posts per person. How to tag it limit for Discord forum. No. Yeah, another day, another goblin, dude. It's always like this. Volume post mods can place limits. How do we place limits on this? I love that in our official FAQ, it says, what kind of tools are available to moderate forum channels? Slow mode. If the volume of posts and message activity is, too, is concerning, mods can place limits. Where? <laughs> Discord. I need to know where. Where do I use this? Look, I'm defrosting. I'm becoming enraged. I'm becoming enraged. Why, Discord? Yeah, the the Minecraft server is going to be unstable, guys. You're going to get disconnected. We don't know what's going on. It's whatever. It's not a big deal. It happens. Max slow mode is six hours. Where do I find this even? It's not in the settings for the channel. Mm. Members are restricted. There we go. It's in the overview for the channel. Limited to one message for this interval for new posts. God damn it. Six hours, really? Okay, save that. Hide after inactivity. One week. New posts will not show in the channel after being inactive for the specified duration. Done. One sec. I've almost got this cleaned up. I'm gonna go clean up all this shit in here. I'm gonna do it. Gross. That way if anyone bitches, it'll be like, no, Thor did this. I'll do this. The intention is for you guys to find other people to hire, to do things. Not to fill up the channel with posts for JP Morgan Chase. Deleting every one of these damn posts. Deleting every single one of them. Jesus Christ. Why is there a Project Manager Test Lamb Operations Tesla in here? No. 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 Uh. All right. Clean. 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 I clean it up. We're good. <laughs> yeah, there's still more. I'm just cleaning up the top half. All right. All righty. Next alerts. Let's go start handling these again. Now that I fixed these problems. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. 
next. Kentorian with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, I'm a 5 plus years Unity developer, I okay. got an opportunity for a foreign company, one of the guys worked on the original Dota, but the Glassdoor reviews are awful, what is your advice? Well, if the Glassdoor reviews, understand that Glassdoor reviews, usually when someone leaves a review, they're likely to leave a review if it's a negative experience. They're unlikely to leave a review if it's a positive experience. That is a very common thing, especially on Glassdoor. It's usually for where someone wants to go to bitch, right? Usually. Um, that being said, if you're having problems with that and you, you know, you, you get in a chance to work with some people, I wouldn't worry about reviews for that kind of a thing. Maybe go take the job, right? You know, so you got opportunity for a foreign company, one of the guys that worked on the original Dota, Last year reviews are awful. Even in a bad situation like that, you might be able to do something cool. And if you're really concerned about it, bring up the reviews to them, right? This is a normal thing that you can do. You'd be like, hey, um, in your interview, right? Like maybe after the interview is done, if they give you an offer, you say, okay, I would like to have some additional information. Let's say you go and get it, right? Yeah, plan your exit strategy. That's number one. When they give you the offer, say, hey, I'd like to understand a little bit more about these reviews. I'm a little concerned about taking the job. Can you tell me something to, you know, encourage me to join? That's fine. It's fine to be upfront and honest about these things. You don't have to hide that shit. You can just be like, I am concerned about this. I'd like to have this job, but, you know, that's important. We have ads. Yeah, communicate it. Communicate about it. Yeah, you're interviewing them as well. Exactly. I would wait for the offer on that one. Because the person interviewing you may not have an answer. Job interview is definitely a two-way thing. this voice studio engb studio b what is that one wait a minute Wait a minute. I think we might have a better one. I think we may have a better voice. There might be a better voice that we can use. We have ENGB WaveNet B that we're using right now, and I'm being told that ENGB Studio B is better. But I have to look. It's just a more clear version of this. I'm not going to remove Discount Mumbo. Maybe. Maybe. I can give different voices for different... for the different streams. Did you know that? Did you know I can actually do that? Yeah. ENGB Studio B. There it is. What does this sound like? This is a test message. It's discount mumbo, but better. It's discount mumbo, but better. Let's try this. Hello, goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty all right. GigaChad 7. It says GigaChad. It says it correctly. If we do ENGB WaveNet B mail. Hello, goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty all right. GigaChad 7. I think... Hmm. I think the WaveNet one is better. The timing feels better. Does that make sense? Like, listen to this. Hello, goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty all right. Giga Chad, seven. Right? 
It sounds good. And we've got ENGB, not WaveNet, ENGB Studio. Hello, Goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty all right. GigaChat 7. Yeah, I think I think the WaveNet one is better. Yeah, I think the WaveNet one, it's faster. The second one is the new one. Which one's better? Is this new one better? Is this one better? Hello, Goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty all right. GigaChat 7. The second one is super fast. You think the new one is better? Really? Really? Let's do a vote. We're going to do a vote. I'm going to do a vote on both of them. Yeah, because I, I want you guys to decide for this, because I, I don't know which one is better, to be honest with you. Because it does sound a little bit different for me. We're going to say which Oliver, A or B. And I'm also going to do the exact same thing over for YouTube. So we're going to start a poll. Which Oliver? A or B? And the way this is going to work is I'm going to play both of these right now. Listen to this. This one right here, right? This is going to be Oliver B. Hello, Goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty all right. GigaChat 7. And this is going to be Oliver A. Hello, Goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty all right. GigaChad 7. We're starting the poll now. A. Hello, Goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty all right. GigaChad 7. Or B. Hello, Goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty all right. GigaChat 7. You have to choose. You have to choose. No, you're not saying it in chat. You're not saying it in chat. You're doing it in the poll, you goblins. Look up. YouTube knows how to do this. Why is, why is Twitch failing this? Why is Twitch failing this? You don't have to put it in chat. You don't have to put it in chat. doesn't work that way. doesn't do anything. It, it looks like B is winning. It looks like we're switching out Oliver, dude. How do I actually add this? All right, the bees have it. Most definitely, it's already it's already completely undone. It's too far. Actually, maybe not. We still got a whole thing. We got a whole thing. I'm gonna wait. I gave it a couple of minutes. The Twitch poll is there. Refresh the page. Ugh. Refresh the page. Refresh the page. Why not both? We could do both. Can you? It's not playback speed. They're completely different systems for it. A totally different voice. It's the same sounding voice, but it's it's different in the way that it does these things. Yeah. This is B. Hello, goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty all right. GigaChat seven. And then this one here is this. Hello, goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty all right. GigaChat seven. You can hear him breathing. On this, on the A version, it's too fast. I kind of feel the same way. Can you skip this track? No, no, I can't. Cause it's over. That's why I can't skip it. Give us an option. Give me a, a GUI, dude. I'm not gonna develop all that shit tonight. Studio is 10x the cost, I believe. Still cheap, but should be aware of. It's... Let me make sure. Google Voice Studio versus WaveNet. Is we using WaveNet? Standard WaveNet Neural 2 and Studio Voices. Let's see. Studio Voices Preview, Standard Voices, WaveNet Voices. Texas Speech API also offers a group of premium voices generated using a WaveNet model, the same technology used to produce a speech for Google Assist. WaveNet is what we were using. WaveNet is the closest to human speech available. 
That's the one that we were using. The studio voice, studio voices, this voice type is designed specifically for use with long form text such as narration and news reading. So you guys would rather have the studio voice. Interesting. Let me, say, let me look at the cost comparison. Okay, so. The WaveNet Voices is a million characters. One million characters. For free. Every month. The Studio Voice is a hundred thousand characters. Actually, it's a hundred thousand bytes. What does that mean? How many bytes of data is that going to go through? And then it's $160 per 1 million bytes after that. That's dramatically more expensive. I don't know about that one, Chief. You guys may like it, but that actually can turn into a terrifying cost really fast. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. It's $160 per million bytes after that. Mm, no, I think we're not doing that. I don't know. I don't know how many bytes a message is. Frankly, I have no i no characters, like no idea for that. Three hundred fifty six characters in a byte. Yeah, but it may be the bytes of the actual audio file they're delivering back. I have no idea. The other ones are cost per character, which is important. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to the wave now, dude. What is the what does the neural one sound like? Let's try neural. Hello, goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty all right. Gigachad, seven. It sounds really clear, but it's not. The accent makes it harder for me. It's really clear. Sounds good. Hello, goblins. This is my voice. It sounds going back pretty to this. all right. Gigachad, seven. I refuse to get destroyed by capitalism. I'm putting it back. WaveNet it is. WaveNet it is. Your poll has been unended by capitalism. It's too powerful. I don't know. There was another voice. There's a lot of different ones in there. So like ENGB is the ones that I'm doing and ENGBB is the ones that I'm caring about. That one was a neural net voice, which is separate. I think there's other ones in here. Let's see. ENGB neural to B male. Let's try this one. Hello, goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty all right. Giga Chad, seven. That one is zero to a million bytes. And then the cost is $16 per million bytes after that, which is the same as the WaveNet voice. Is that one better, though? That's the best one so far. So let's add that one. So this is the Hello, neural goblins. one. Hello, Goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty all right. GigaChad, seven. There's no echo. You have the website open. You Goblins. This is the other one. Hello, Goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty all right. GigaChad, seven. These are the same cost, so it doesn't matter. Hello, goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty all right. Gigachad, seven. It's about tonal inflection. The tonal inflection is different. Yeah. There's an echo on this one? On this one? Hello, goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty all right. Gigachad, there's resonance. Seven. Yeah, there's no echo that I can hear. There's, you can hear it in the room. Like, it sounds like it's filling a space. It's definitely not an echo. An echo would be like it reflecting off of a wall and coming back, dude. There's no echo on that one? Okay, what about this one? Hello, goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty all right. Gigachad, seven. Is there an echo on that one for you? Okay, how about this one? Hello, goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty all right. Gigachad, seven. Do you know what the faint echo is? It's my headphones going back into the microphone, you goblins. Listen, I'll close my... Hello, goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty all right. Gigachad, seven. The echo is gone. <laughs> 
What's the matter with you? Oh my god. Okay, listen to it. Listen to it. I'm gonna move myself away. Hello, goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty alright. GigaChad, 7. That's the old one. This is the new one. Hello, goblins. This is my voice. It sounds pretty alright. GigaChad, 7. I kinda like the new one. I kinda like the new one, man. The newer one sounds better. The pausing seems more organic. It seems more organic entirely. I think that's the big difference between them. Yeah, I think that's a big difference. And if we look at this, the neural two voices are zero to a million bytes for free. And then the wave note ones are zero to a million characters for free. I think bytes is cheaper, isn't it? Isn't that kind of how that's working? It's based on the amount of bytes. I don't know if that's the amount of bytes of the audio sent back to you, though. I'm not really sure. Because these are the two voices that we have there. I'm not really sure. Read the text-to-speech document. Pricing calculator. Let's look at the pricing calculator. Oh, God, it's so... Oh, their calculator is so obnoxious. I don't want to... Oh, God, there's a million Google Cloud pricing calculator options. Shit. It's super shit. It's too many. It's too many options. One character will be at least one byte. I don't know if that's true. We're talking about likely it's going to be the audio cost. Like the audio amount of bytes, right? It's one byte per echo unit. Well, there we go. Fantastic. So like, if we go and listen to this, right? We've got Oliver in there and that's fine. Polyglot preview. Neural two voices. Let's go look this up. Texas Speech API provides a premium voice tier called Neural 2. Neural 2 voices are based on the same technology used to create a custom voice. Neural 2 represents the latest in synthetic voice generation and allows anyone to use custom voice technology without training their own custom voice. They're available in global and single region endpoints. I think we should be using the Neural 2. That's the new one. I think we're going to use that. Yeah. I think that's how that's going to go, dude. I'm going to check that out. I want to see what that feels like. Because we, we were using WaveNet before. WaveNet is text-to-speech API also offers a group of premium voices generated using a WaveNet model, the same technology used to produce speech for Google Assist, Google Search, etc. And the money? It's only 16 bucks per million. So, like, it's the same. It's the same cost, right? The only difference that we have now is it's per million bytes rather than per million characters. So we need to find out the cost there. And I don't know if I could just pull that up. Going to my Google Cloud billing account. Oh, look. The cost is zero dollars. <laughs> so far. It is zero dollars, Chet. Nothing costs anything. Currently. Deeply funny. Deeply, deeply funny. Yeah, we just don't use enough of it. We just don't use enough of it at all. No, it's not a lot. It's 100% free for the first one million bytes every month. So, we don't hit a million bytes. At least not yet. And if this changes, I'll let you know. Let's go run it. Closet Pankin with $5 said, Yo Thor, you're wholesome as hell. Unrelated. Have you ever seen a King Cobra JFS cooking video? No. They're beyond unreal. I have not seen that. That sounds outrageous. Honestly. Make longer messages? I mean, they do cost more. That is true. Every month. Cool. Practically free. Yes. <clears throat> It's not Stewie Griffin's voice. What the hell? That sounds nothing like Stewie Griffin. Griffin? Griffin. It sounds nothing like him. Nothing at all. Alright, let's go pull this up. Make sure that I have all my stuff in place, and we're gonna start blitzing the queue. Next. The last Psycho69 with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, thank you so much for your encouragement and I thank you so much for everything you do. If I hadn't found your shorts, I'd still be sleeping on learning. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you very, very much. 
Almost at one million. That's crazy. I know it's nuts, dude. Chazwaza36 with five Australian dollars said this stream is hands down the most genuinely funny and informative stream I have found. Also need to translate into Australian more hash by the demo. It's true. I should translate in Australian more. That is true. Here. Australians. Australians. I'm here for you. All right. This is... This is just between me and the Australians right now, all right? Here, let me let me start this off by saying that Vegemite is king and Marmite is shit, all right? Now that everyone else has left the room, now that everyone else has left the room, tell me about fairy bread. Explain this shit to me. Explain it to me. Fairy bread is outrageous to me. I've never had it because I'm I'm from America. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one thing. I have, I've had Tim Tams. I've done... Tim Tam Slams, I have Milo in my house, I have Vegemite, and if there's, if you can still see the toast, it's not enough Vegemite, like I'd, I'm down, but I don't know anything about fairy bread. It's a parody of American cuisine, it's very close, alright, I'm surprised that more Americans don't do this, you put butter and sprinkles on something and you eat them. Wait a minute, I have a question for my Australians, is it called sprinkles or hundreds and thousands? There is one correct answer. It's not hundreds and thousands, it's not. They're just sprinkles, goddammit. They're sprinkles. Here, let me show you something. You ready for this? You ready for this? Hundreds and thousands. Ready for this? What are called hundreds and thousands? Waiting for it. I need to show this to you. Why are they called hundreds and thousands? Hundreds and thousands are as traditional as you can get from fairy bread toppings to rainbow sprinkles and ice cream. Sprinkles. Sprinkles. They're sprinkles. Jimmy's. Or hundreds and thousands. It's sprinkles. It's the same as soda versus pop. They're the same. They're the same. You've been lied to. You've been lied to. Why are they called jazzies? I've never even heard of that, actually. All right. All right. We're good. You can call them whatever you want. They're still sprinkles deep down. They're different things. They're not, actually. No, they're just circular. That's all. They're little spheres. Sprinkles are the same. They're the same. Yeah, Beck. I'm Beck. I do, th I do think it's fun, though. But no, to be real with you, I I want to have fairy bread. I've never had it. And it's something that I've I've thought about for a while. I just don't eat sugar. That's really the thing. I'd have to go buy sprinkles. No, sprinkles aren't always tubes. You can have little sphere sprinkles, too. We use the term sprinkles to describe all of these things. Yeah. Fairy bread. It's called fairy bread. Here, let me show you. If you don't know anything about this, you should. It's a, It's like an Australian tradition thing for kids, but adults eat it too. Let me get you a good image of fairy bread. Ooh, that's some wild looking fairy bread. There we go. Here's like a normal looking one, right? That's it. That's all it is. It's circular sprinkles and then you have like butter to hold them on. And that's all. Fairy bread is for men. Fairy bread is for anyone. Fairy bread, dude. That's what it is. It's just that. It's simple. Sprinkles equal Jimmy's. So is it is it called a Jimmy in Australia? Are they called Jimmy's in Australia? But why? I don't know. It's tasty, right? That's it. I don't even think that's toast. I think it's just very dense bread, guys. And there's no reason I would ever have that on toast. It's got to be soft bread, right? Yeah. I wouldn't do that on toast. If you're going to do it on... If you want to get deeply Australian, I guess you could just... Put Vegemite on toast, then put sprinkles on that and call it fairy bread, but nobody's going to like you. you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys have a thing in the Netherlands uh, called Hageslang, but that is that is actually chocolate sprinkles on that, which is really interesting. So Australians and the Dutch, you have a thing in common. Let me show you this. Let me see if we can find a better looking one. One that doesn't look weird. There you go. This is, this is that one. 
So they do the same thing, but they do it with chocolate. Yeah, it's a chocolate sprinkle for them. And then Australians do it with the, the circular rainbow sprinkles. Yeah, it's the same deal. It's exactly the same idea. So this isn't, this isn't the only culture that does this. I think it's kind of good. What is wrong with white people? Nothing, dude. Every, every culture has different foods. Every culture does. And it's good. It's good shit. Some of them are desserts. Some of them are fun. Some of them are savory stuff. Some of them are good when you're sick, right? Everybody eats differently. Has nothing to do with the color of your skin. Has everything to do with your culture. That's it. And different cultures means different foods, which means new shit you get to experience. Enjoy that. Enjoy it, man. Enjoy the differences. It's a good thing. You get to try stuff. Unless it's balut. I only ate that once. It was gross. Yeah, not again. Never again. Mix and match. Yeah, I ate a lot of Vietnamese stuff, to be real with you. I ate a lot of Vietnamese stuff. And I really enjoy it. I actually really enjoy it a lot. It's very tasty. And um, the big thing for me is like pho. Pho is really good. I like... Korean food as well. A lot of Korean food. A lot of fermented Korean stuff. I actually know how to make my own kimchi, so I make my own kimchi at home. Really enjoy that. Love it, dude. Balut was super good. No, Balut's awful. Balut is awful. It's the crunch that got me, dude. I can't do it. Yeah, I can't do it. The crunch is just... It's grim. It's real grim. Turns me to this. All right. Alrighty. Next one. Let's go. Is it working? Oh, it's stuck. We have a problem, Chet. I don't think it wants to process this, actually. Huh. You gonna do it? The neural system is slower. It's stuck. Yeah, we have to switch back. Oh, man. That sucks. That actually sucks. Well, well, decided to not buy the demo and bought this instead. Well, thank you. Mr. Slendy plays with 1000 bits said, what is the thought process behind built in cheats in games? Why do devs invite players to cheese the games? I never personally understood. So process behind built in cheats in games is that kind of stuff is some people want to use it as an accessibility control. That's it. If you're having a single-player game and it's really difficult, having cheats in a game can help a lot. It's a lot of fun for that. It's a lot of fun for that. I actually really, really enjoy it. Uh, original debug tools, but also it's it's fun for players, right? Sometimes they just want to play God mode. There's nothing wrong with that at all. If it's a single-player game, it's irrelevant, right? And look at Heartbound. You're allowed to cheat in that game. You can go and hack anything you want into it. You can modify the game, do anything you want, you know, cheat engine it, have some fun, right? It's a single-player, you know, RPG. It doesn't matter. Were the weird Australian hot dogs you found a while back? Oh, dude, what were those? I I sent that to Cardboard Cowboy and I asked him to explain. Hot dog, sphere, Australia. This was so weird, dude. Yeah, primo hot dogs. God, these are weird. Australians, I have something for you and I need you to explain yourselves. Oh, God, it's so grim, dude. It's so grim. This freaks me out. I need to find a good picture of this. And there is no good picture of this. This was a product that I saw from Australia, and the one that I saw originally had mustard. Not mustard, it had ketchup instead of mustard. They're hot dog balls. With American mustard. Like, what is this? Tasty mini hot dogs with American mustard. What is American mustard? What does that mean? They doesn't look bad? Dude, they're little hot dog balls that you cook in the microwave. This freaks me out. They're not Vienna sausages either. They're hot dogs, man. And they're like spherical. I don't understand this. I don't understand this product and I find it horrific. And I sent it to Cardboard Cowboy because I was like, the Australians have sent me this. And he said, 
I've never seen that shit in my life. <laughs> so either it's a grand Australian conspiracy or these are real and normally eaten. Right? Or these are or these are real and like no one eats them, rather. Is it a conspiracy where like all the Australians are eating it secretly, or is it is it real and like the Australians don't want it? I need to know. What about Indian food? Indian food is delicious. Love that shit. I actually go, there's a there's a place near where I pick up the ferret litter that uh is Indian food, and they um it's called Spice World, as funny as that is. And they have so many spices there and they do it by the pound oh it's so good it's so good is this like dunkin dip yeah it's like basically dunkin dip little hot dog balls freaks me out i don't like it dude i don't like it it's, it's not good it's not good for my bones no one eats them okay so it's not a grand conspiracy good liam kenny with 50 australian dollars said the tim tam slam consumable got nerf ed and bum bags got buffed here recently and pvp is a nightmare now <laughs> <laughs> no, I got nerfed. That's not good. That's not good. It's funny as hell, dude. I have a new word to look up, though. I don't know what that is. Australian bum bag. What is that? What the hell's a bum bag? Oh, is that what that is? You guys call that a bum bag? We call that a fanny pack. I guess it's the same shit, right? Yeah, that's what it is. Fanny pack, bum bag, same thing. Same thing. All right, it makes sense. I think bum bag is better. I think it's better. Wait, what? What do you mean a million? We're not at a million. We're not at a million. We're not at a million. Don't you lie to me. Don't you multiple guy me. We're not at a million. We're not at a million. Not at a million, guys. We're at 977,000. It's not my birthday. I haven't heard bum bag in forever. Yeah, it's like an Australian thing. I think it's better than fanny pack, dude. We call them fanny packs. Right? Bum bag. No, Jimmy Two Bits. Here in the US, that means butt. I'm going to say it as much as I want. Yeah. Here means butt. I know that's amazing to you, right? It's the same. Guess what we call thongs? I don't know. It's gonna be grim. Whatever it is. As we wait for the ads to go away. Yeah. Call it butt floss? Yeah, see, it makes sense. That makes sense. I've heard it there, like, called that here, too. You know? It's true, Vile Mods. Next alert. Joel Tium said hi. Absolutely love the stream, and your work has Thank boosted you. my motivation a lot. I'm really Thank glad. Thank you. I've been working on my own champion of breakfast, so to Good. speak. Good. Good. Do you think Good. I should still make a demo? Since yes. the game is so simple, I'm not even sure how to make one without giving the whole game away. As an well, example, how would you make a demo for the classic Snakes game? So the only way you could really do that, honestly, at that point, and this is going to be against all judgment that I normally give out, you don't need a demo. The reason why is because your game is so simple. If you're selling it for like $3, which is usually the case at that point, a lot of people will actually buy that without the use of a demo. If your game is not able to do that, right, the only way you can really do it is by giving yourself a, a small level. No, a timer doesn't work because people will find ways around it, right? What you do is you just include one level, and then you have like multiple levels instead in the full game. So you give them a taste of it. Right? That's the only way you could really do it. You have to you have to restrict the content at that point. Yeah, one stage versus all the stages that you made. Yeah, that's the whole point. And then you can have a demo then, and the demo is just that one stage. Otherwise, you don't really want a demo. Even though a demo is something that I will always say you should have. 
But that's the thing that I would do. If you have a situation where it's always the same and it's impossible to slice it off in this way, you wouldn't have a demo. But generally, you, you want one. You really, really, really want a demo. It is the best way to get people engaged with the stuff that you're making. And that's it. That's it. Crystal Coconut with 500 bits said, Hi Thor, I've been working in the games industry as for two to three years. Nice. For years I've noticed Moonlight and side projects I get intense brain fog, memory problems on low sleep while programming. I can't figure out whether this is making excuses but I tend to work really concentrated on side projects but in very compact bursts instead of doing a little every day to mini burnout. Yep. I'm pretty stubborn to a fault. How do I undo this? Plus did you have any part in making the animals stronger at AGS? I did not have anything to do with making the animals stronger. Nope. No idea what that is even. To be honest with you. But yeah, it sounds like it sounds like what you're doing is you're doing this, right? You got nothing, nothing, nothing. Spike of work, spike of burnout. Spike of work, spike of burnout. Don't do that. Do this. That's it. Set up a certain amount of hours per day. And work that many hours and no more. No more. If you go super whole ham on this really, really quickly, if you're like, oh, I'm going to do all the work right now, I'm going to get into game dev and I'm going to make all the games, and then you're like, ah, I'm out of time and I don't sleep. You say, I have intense brain fog. You're not sleeping enough. You're overworking the shit out of yourself in short bursts. This is bad for you. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do a couple of hours every day, maybe one or two hours, and move on. Have it part of your daily routine. That's it. It's not that easy, though. It is that easy. What you do is you sit down and you give yourself a list of the things you're supposed to do in the day. You assign a certain number of hours to these things. You sit down and you work on that. Sometimes when you're working on something, you don't actually get any code done. Sometimes you're working on design. Sometimes you're working on writing. Sometimes you're working on general direction that you want to explore. That's it. All you have to do is give yourself a routine every day. And you follow that routine. You follow it. And if you don't follow that routine, give yourself a list so you do follow that routine. Also, if you may have uh, you may have ADHD of making a routine to start, don't listen to chat MD. Go to a doctor if you think something is wrong. But legitimately, follow a routine. And the best way to set up a routine for me was to set up lists and to follow those lists. And I still get off of those lists all the time. And I have to go, okay, well, if I'm off track right now, what am I doing? Am I actually finishing something I was supposed to finish today? If, the, if I'm not finishing something I was supposed to today, it's not worth it, right? I need to be getting back on the track, finishing the things I need to. Because it's not just me relying on that. Like, everyone else in the studio relies on me doing these things. Shay relies on me doing this. Stein relies on me doing this. Steets, Shadelock, all of the translators, all the moderators, the 20 ferrets in our ferret rescue. Everyone relies on me doing the thing that I'm supposed to do for the day, right? That's it. So I make a list and I follow it. Every time. Every time. That's a big deal, right? So listing your tasks, the things that you want to do, the way that I feel about it isn't as a punishment. It's not a punishment to go and list your tasks. It's not something you have to do uh, begrudgingly. It's not that at all. It's, oh man, look at the cool things I get to do. Isn't that awesome? And I list out all the cool things that I get to do in the day, and then I go and do them. It's a treat to write that list. It's a positive thing to know what I want to do today. Always. Always, always, always. Yeah, it's a carrot thing. I don't punish myself with lists. Oh, I gotta do these things. Blah. It's cool. I get to do neat things. Want to become repetitive? That's fine. Does it matter, right? Every day is different. I have to solve new problems every day. There's always new puzzles. There's new things that people chat, like chat talks about. There's new stuff that happens out in the world. Everything is different all of the time. Even if you have the same routine, it doesn't mean you're doing the same work. It's not repetitive, right? Not. That's all it. Yeah. So do it. Don't sit around. Yeah, it's a change in mindset. It's a change in mindset, mindset entirely. Always has been. No! Destroyer TJ. I won't. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? All right, next. Maximus underscore 981 said my initial message from my 500-bit dono seems to have gotten lost. Or I must have missed you reading it, though I couldn't find it in the answered TTS channel. Oh well, I can just ask again what do you think of Titanfall 2? The awesome game is playable again without the North Star client now that the hacker problem seems to have been solved. It has the best FPS experience I've ever seen. Let's see. 
That's weird that it got missed. It wouldn't be. Uh, it probably got deleted the other day because the queue exploded because my computer crashed, remember? I had to change the motherboard out, it was ass. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so with that in mind, my initial message is 500-bit dono. What do you think of Titanfall 2? The, the game is playable, again, without the North Star client, now that hacker problem seems to have been solved. So, here's something that I want to know. Titanfall 2 got ruined by hackers in that game. Like, it got straight up ruined. Did they actually solve this issue? Anybody here play Titanfall 2? I'd really like to know. Because it was a huge problem for a long time. They actually solved it. I'm going to play Titanfall 2 then. That was one of the longest standing things that I wanted to play. And I just was like, I don't want to do this. Because it was so broken. They actually fixed it. They actually fixed it. Is it actually up on Steam? Titanfall 2. It is. No shit. No shit. Mm. It was just on sale for $5. Missed it by a week. F. Let's actually go look at this. I'm going to go grab this real fast. We're going to go up to Steam DB. Titanfall 2. That's such a good success story, dude. Let's go look at this. When did they fix this? How long ago did they fix this? Oh. In September, I would guess. Huh. I feel like they may have fixed the problem. And look, many of those players stayed. You can see they've had big bursts in and around, looks probably patch cycle, maybe. There's no free weekends on this. But this... Hmm... I'm going to buy it during Christmas. There's going to be a Steam sale. Like, there's always a winter Steam sale, so I'm going to buy that. Is it not patches? What would cause this, then? Probably just sales. Could be a Steam sale. Could be that. That makes sense. Let's do this. Nah, it's too much data. Yeah, this looks like either a Steam sale or a patch of some kind. If there's no patches happening, then Steam sale. Yeah, the winter sale's coming up. We've got, like, what, nine days left? Something like that. It's like normal PvP shooter, though. That's fine. It's got big robots. I like big robots. I do. Look, big robot. See, isn't it like a normal PvP shooter? Watch this. You ready for this? You're not ready for this. If you've never seen Titanfall... Neat. <laughs> Love that shit. Wait for it. I want to show him getting in the... Ro Look at the big robot, dude. Oh, oh, he threw the man. You could throw the man. You could be a robot in a robot. Wait for it. Look at that. Wait, look at that again. You could be a robot inside of a goddamn robot, dude. Mm. Robot. Robot in robot action. That sounded a lot better in my head. It's way worse out loud, actually. <laughs> but no, dude, this looks sick. And uh, I knew that this game was, like, unplayable. I knew this game was unplayable. Uh, from the hacker community. So if if they fix this problem, I'm really excited about that. How did they fix it, though? That's the biggest thing that I'm really excited about, is how did they fix this problem? Single player is insanely good. That would make sense. Because there were so many people that were talking about this stuff. Anthem died. Now it's dead. Secret Janitor, I don't know. The problem is, is they had so many hackers in the multiplayer play that it was unplayable, dude. Yeah, it was awful. It was horrifically awful. They fixed it, and there's been a community-made client that allows you to avoid all the DDoS. No shit. That's really good. Good devs. That's a good job. That's a tough thing to fix, man. And it's funny, too, because, like, with Respawn making it, but EA publishing it, usually if something goes wrong even a little bit, EA is like, it's your time. And they just, like, end you, right? They just put the pillow down over your face sort of a thing. And it, EA didn't kill this one, which is great. It's really great, actually. So yeah, I'll probably give it. A, I'll probably give it a go. You know, community-based client and oh, the community client. Hmm. Hmm. EA tried. Well, they didn't succeed, thankfully. 
We need a Titanfall 3. I mean, this already looks really good, dude. I do like me a good... Like, here's the thing. I like weird power shooters. This is the kind of thing that I really enjoy. And I intentionally stayed away from this game because of how bad it was in terms of the hackers. So, like, I have no reason not to play it. If they fix that problem, there's my one issue. EA tries? No, they try to they try to kill studios if the studio is going wrong. Go look at Dawngate. Find out what happened there. Unfortunate. God, I love Dawngate. Such a good game. Northstar lets you mod the game and customize it. Interesting. Cheater doesn't equal hacker. I know the cheater doesn't equal hacker. I'm a hacker. I know. I know. They're just cheating at the video game. But people understand the term, you goblin. Crave with two Canadian dollars and 79 cents said thank you for all the random advice from Shorts. Anytime, dude. We're going to keep doing that too. Forever. 10,000 years, pirate software. Oris Algite Amuse said, Ugh, Heartbound's 5.49, but all I've got is 4.69. Can't get more money since I'm addicted to my computer right now. Also bought and played the demo. Buy the demo. The demo is free. God damn it. The demo is free. Why you like this? Sinisterous underscore Fory with 500 bits said Yard Cheer 500 sir about the question at hand, we wandered off at the Big Mac chart, how do you suggest I could get into the localization of the games to Hungarian, my dad is 52 he plays games but he won't play some of them BC he does not have localized subs. Dubs would be just an extra. Any idea how can I get into it? Thank you Thar really in beforehand Yar Heart. Hmm. So you actually asked this earlier, what I need to do is I'm going to put out... I'm going to go put out some feelers and see how much of our community is actually in Hungarian, uh, how many people are interested in that, in that area of the world. And if there's enough people, then what I would do is I would I would actually reach out to the community, do an announcement, and ask for Hungarian translators. This is something that I always do. Um, the best thing you could do is find companies that are doing Hungarian localization, right? There's always going to be companies that are doing this kind of stuff. It is a smaller region, right? You guys have about 9 million people living in Hungary. So you do have to think about that. There's a smaller market. But... If there's enough people there that are interested in that, and enough of the community doesn't know English in that country, it ends up being financially viable to do so. I generally tend towards localizing over not localizing 100% of the time. Almost always. Because it's fun. Yeah. And that's it. That's all it is. So yeah, it's it's important to find out. We have to do a little bit of met metrics there. He just knows the population of Hungary. Yeah, let me show you. Hungary. Population. 9.71 million. So you're a little bit above that. 9.71. I was 0 0.71 million off. There we go. Yeah. About 9 million. Let me translate it to Dutch for you. That is another thing that we want to do. So, like, there's a couple of languages that I need to do right now. And it basically comes down to, like, how isolated those languages are. How isolated those languages are. And that's the really important thing. Is like, how many people in that country actually know English? For instance, like... German has done quite well, even though a lot of the population there doesn't speak English. It did just fine. We do want to translate into German, though. That is a thing. We want to do that. There's a lot of people in Italy that aren't going to play the game because they want it in Italian. Didn't know that. Something that I can actually do. Yeah, most countries, many, many countries that we try to target for, the reason why we do localization for them is because they don't have English as a standard in the country. Or they don't want to. Yeah. Yeah, German gamers do speak English. A lot of them do. Not all of them. Not all people in Germany speak English. But it's an important it's an important metric to find out how much of the population actually speaks English. Like, do we need to translate? Maybe. That's always the question, right? <laughs> I can convert to Russian. We actually already have the game in Russian. Yeah. Uh, some of it's missing right now because our translator lives in Moscow and can't be legally paid until the sanctions go away, frankly. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of shit. But not much else we can do, so. There is a Moscow in Washington? Yeah. No, it's not illegally. So I can't illegally pay them. That would put me in federal prison. So instead, I'm waiting and doing the legal thing where I don't pay them and they don't work on anything until it's over. Yeah, that's it. That's what it is. <clears throat> I don't really want to... I don't want to get a, you know, a forced free apartment from the government with some forced roommates. I just don't want that, you know? I don't, I don't want that at all, so not going to happen. 
But yeah, if you want to do that, start applying for companies that have localization for that. Hungary is a smaller country. And um, Heartbound would only have text. It wouldn't have any dubs. It wouldn't be anything like that, right? No no voiceover or anything. But we would have we would have subs. We'd have text for everything. Anyway, um, when I'm ready for that, if I do the research and we find out we need it, I will put in an announcement and maybe you'd be the one to translate it. We'll see. K-Buy with 100 Argentine pesos said fun fact. As an Argentinian after the Latin USD change in presidency changed recently, heartbound price changed from around 1400 ARG pesos to 13k ARG pesos in two months. Nice country. Oh, shit. There's nothing I can do about that either. There's nothing I can do about that. It's going to be the same for Turkey, too. We had a lot of people in Turkey that played the game. We had a lot of people in Argentina that were playing the game, too. And their currencies got removed from Steam, so they're tacked to the USD now instead. There's nothing I can do to fix that. If, you, um, if you're a person in Argentina and you can't, and you want to play our game, and like you've been a fan of the community and everything like that, just reach out to me, man. I'm not going to put you through that shit. That's not your fault. That's outrageous. I'll just give you a key. I don't care. Like, I've always been that way. And it's... The economic collapse of your country is not a problem for for me, and it shouldn't be a problem for you for buying our game. That's shit. That's super shit. And I knew this was coming. I knew this was coming because we saw this from a mile away. It's the same thing. It's the same thing that I always offer to anybody, right? If there's some kind of extraneous situation, there's only one thing that I ever ask for this. It's always the same. Is if your country is having a, sh a time, whatever it is, whatever that time is, and it, because of this, there's external factors that stop you from being able to buy our stuff, and there's like, no way you can. In this case, Argentina is going through economic collapse eff effectively, right? 1400 was their price before, and now it's 13000 for the price. Imagine that increase, like insane, right? Um, all you have to do is you have to reach out to me, and I will ask you for a story. You pay me in a story. That's how that works. Every time. It's the same thing that I did for the people of Russia. It's the same thing I'm going to do for the people of Argentina. It's the same thing I did for the people of Iran. It's the same shit. It's always been the same shit. Never changed that. You reach out to me. You tell me your story. And that's how you get your key from me. And if you can't give me your story, you get nothing. No buts. Listen to all that shit. Every time. That's it. That's the whole deal with it, right? And yeah, um, for the Russian ones, uh, I have a whole list of emails to send out for that kind of stuff. And I've been talking to a lawyer to find out if we can send those keys. And it looks like those keys are not actually covered by U.S. sanctions. And as a result of this, I don't have to worry about it. I may be able to send the keys. And we're going to find out. We're going to find out. It's going to be good. So if I can, then our fans in Russia can actually get the game, which would be very, very nice. And I just have to wait and find out and do the legal thing. That's always the case. It's always wait and find out and do the legal thing. I'm allowed to do giveaways for those types of things. I'm allowed to do those types of things. And I, I think that this is a, a proper time to do that because Argentina is getting wrecked, dude, and it's not their fault. That sucks. Same thing for people in Russia. Same deal. It's not their fault that they can't buy our games. It's uh, it's awful, right? It nobody Nobody should be punished based on where they were born. And I think that's the biggest problem right now is... They were born, their spawn point caused this, not their actions. And that's sad. It's very sad. <laughs> also, it's funny someone called me a micro comrade in chat. I was actually talking to a, a person from Russia over email the other day. And they were using some kind of a translator. And they were trying to call me like little friend or something like that. But they actually called me from the translator. They called me micro comrade, which was <laughs> <laughs> something about that just made me laugh super hard. I thought it was hilarious, frankly. I thought it was really goddamn funny. Micro comrade, dude. It's like, God damn it. Like, how rid ridiculous is that? But yeah, no, the way that I always feel about it is this. I'm not going to punish anybody based on where they were born. We're not going to take our games off sale in any region based on economic situations or geopolitical situations. I don't give a shit about the politics for that. I don't care even a little bit. I care about the human beings that are trying to just play video games. And that goes for a lot of people. There actually have been a number of people that reached out to me from Russia for that. Um, people who are disabled, people who are very young, like 13 to 16 year old kids that are just like, I just want to play a video game and I want to share this with my friends and I can't, you know, um, people that are like, I'm, I'm physically disabled, you know, I'm in a wheelchair and I can't, I can't actually play most games and you put in all the, the controller support in this game. So it's accessible to people with physical disabilities and like they can't buy the game and that's sad as shit. So yeah, of course I'm going to give them a key. I don't care. It's not a big deal for me and it's a big deal for them. 
And that's the whole point of that. And this has been the same since the beginning, man. This has always been the same since the beginning. None of that shit's changed. And just because there's more people paying attention to me now doesn't mean I'm going to drop my morals. Human beings over anything else. Human beings every time. And I don't care where you were born. I don't care the color of your skin. I don't care your gender identity. I don't care your sexuality. I don't give a, a shit. I don't give a fat shit. I don't give a thin shit. I don't care at all. The human beings. And that's how I will always treat them. Always. All right, next one. Pair on with 65 Swedish Krona said you've mentioned before that people who pirate Heartbound gets a message to contact you. How yep. many do this, and how do you deal with these interactions? The first question I always ask them is, where did you get your copy of Heartbound? It's 50% of them at that point go, ah! And they just, they realize that they pirated the game and are like, you gotta buy it on Steam, here you go. I think my favorite interaction I've ever had with that was I was like, where did you get your copy of Heartbound? They're like, hey, I got this error. And I was like, where did you get the copy of Heartbound? And they said, I got it from Steam. At the bottom of their image that they sent me, it was running out of a folder. And that folder was the name of the build, which is only available if you got it by pirating it. So I revealed this. I was like, hey, what about that? And they said, oh, I thought I got it from Steam. Thank you for correcting me. And then they just disappeared. So they tripled down on it, which was like the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. It was really, really, really funny. So, yeah, that was the dumbest one. But out of all of them, I think that's only happened once, frankly. Uh, most of the time they go, oh shit, I didn't realize that this was pirated. I thought this is where you got the game. And I'm like, no, go to Steam. Also, let's sit down and talk about malware now that you've downloaded this from a third-party website. Let's go do some scans on your computer, make sure that they have uh, Windows Defender on. Let's go make sure that we do like a malware scan, like a simple one like Malwarebytes or something like that. And then I talk to them a little bit about malware, and then afterwards, if it turns out that they're just some kid that can't afford it or anything like that, I just give them a key to the game. And I've been doing this for years, man. Years and years. Does it take a lot of time for me? Yeah. Is it worth it? Absolutely. That kid gets to learn something a little bit about offensive security, a little bit about malware. Keeps them a little bit more safe on the internet, because we were all stupid and we used LimeWire when we were kids. No one was there to protect us, right? So at least somebody teaches them something. And then on top of it, they get the game on top of it. You know, so we fix the issue and they give the key. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. And any of these keys, I actually go and burn them 12 hours later. So if the person tries to go and resell this stuff, we just kill it. It's gone. They can't do that. So you have to use it. <laughs> That's how that works. Very funny. Foxy Owl Selena T said what happened to go from 600 viewers to over 6,000. YouTube shorts. That's what happened. Look at this. It has exploded. In a month and a half, we went from 13,000 subscribers to this. And it's only accelerating. It's only accelerating. It's going to happen tomorrow. And it might happen off stream. And that's what I'm worried about. It's going too fast. It's going too fast. Yeah. Eat my shorts. It's wild to me, dude. Pop up live event. I only watch you and Asmongold pretty much. I like Asmongold's takes a lot of the time. This is here's something really important for you guys, actually. Why why is it a good thing to listen to Asmongold if you're in the gaming industry? This is going to be kind of an interesting take, because a lot of people don't realize this. Why is it a good thing to listen to Asmongold if you work in the gaming industry? Why? It's not because he isn't a dev. Asmongold, the way that he works, is he takes all the things that people are most upset about, and he talks about those. It has nothing to do with influence, it has everything to do with the fact that he is an avatar for the average player's voice. That is exactly what it is. He's 100% a microphone for the common player of your game. And if he is talking about it, it's because they want to talk about it. And if you don't listen to him in those situations, you do so at your peril. He's one of the few people that exists inside of the gaming industry that's like this. He's a microphone for the common average gamer. And that's a big deal. 
That's a really big deal. And it's incredibly important, right? It's not just him, but he's one of the few that are at that size. Yeah. He's he's like a player representative. And he's going to be just as angry. He's going to be just as upset. He's going to be just as bombastic about it. But if that's the kind of behavior that you see, it means there's a lot of people inside of the gaming community that feel the same way that you're not hearing. Otherwise... His takes wouldn't be as popular as they are. That's it. That's the whole thing. So you should be listening to someone like this if you're a game dev. And if you see the perceptions that he has and you don't agree with them, that means that your community management needs to fix that perception. Or they need to fix the game to fix that perception. That's the point. It's a perception issue or it's a game issue. That's it. That's all it is. And it's super important. It's super, super important to understand. I, I think so many people just kind of gloss over me and just go, oh, he's just a rage bait streamer or some shit like that. It's like, no, dude, you don't you don't get 60,000 average viewers by having just shit takes. You don't. You don't do that. You you need to actually, people have to identify with that message, and they do identify with that message. That's why they watch it. That's why they hang out in a stream. No, not just having shit takes. Eventually the audience leaves, dude. That's That's how that works. Just having shit takes is not enough. It doesn't work that way. So I, I really think it's it, if you are a game dev and he talks about your stuff, I would say legitimately, you should listen to it. What is this? Puts ten percent on Bits hype train. Wait, what happened? What are you What are you talking about? What are you guys spamming this for? What happened? What did I miss? Andrew Tate exists? Not really. Not anymore. No, we don't have a golden kappa. What the hell? We better not. It shouldn't be two in one day. There's no way. Wait, what is this? Wait, what is this? Hold up. What is this? Is this a new kind of train? Wait, is that another Golden Kappa train? Are you shitting me? It says Golden Cat. You gotta be kidding me, dude. There's no way. There's no... Two in a day? No. What? <laughs> I don't think that's ever happened on Twitch before. Is that actually a Golden Kappa train? It is. What the shit, dude? You have to be kidding me. No, there's no way, dude. There's gotta be an internal cooldown. This has gotta be a bug. There's no. There's no way. There has this can't be real. I'm waiting for these ads then. There's no freaking way. That is seriously another golden cap. I've never seen this happen ever. You have to be kidding me, dude. This, this can't be happening. What? Look at this. Hold up. It's showing golden cap. Is it working like that for you? I'm control f 5 Hold up. Is this actually a second golden kappa? No shit it is. Why is the graphic on it so different? The graphic on it's really weird. It's a golden kappa train. It's actually a level... It's actually a golden kappa train. It 100% is a golden kappa train, shit. What is happening right now? I don't understand this. We're gonna go play the binding for a minute while I figure this this what? Second two in a day? Why is it showing golden campus? Part of the Christmas giving event? What's the Christmas giving event? What the hell is this? Hold up. Christmas giving event. Which? I don't know what this is, dude. Send me a link. God damn it, chat's moving too fast. 
Send me a link. I have no idea what's happening right now. Jesus Christ. I I was just getting into the queue. I was making it through. You can't take it away from me. What do you mean stream chat? All right, I'm checking stream chat. What is this? Oh my God, there's too many messages. Wait, what? Get bonus bits until 12.20. 25% off of subs until 1.2. The rest of... Really? Bonus bits? A golden kappa train? Bits are cheaper, and you get 25% off all subs. Alright. Here we go. <laughs> that is outrageous, dude. What is a golden kappa train? So YouTube guys, you're probably really con like confused right now. The way that this works is a hype train can start every couple, like every hour or so on Twitch if people throw enough bits or subs. That train, as people throw subs and bits, which is currency, money, right, at me, levels up. It gets harder and harder every level that it goes. A golden kappa train is supposed to be incredibly rare. Nobody gets two golden kappa trains in a day. It's usually like one every couple of months. I don't know what's happening. So with that in mind, if they engage in this one, they actually get... Oh my god, wait, what is this? No shit. Chat. Chat, look what it does. We added 50 bits to Darkness's cheer. They're actually adding 25% more bits on top of your donation. Whatever you throw, Twitch adds another 25% to it. This is insane, dude. Okay. What? It's not cheaper. They just add more. If you throw 100 bits, it throws 125. So what we're what I'm saying right now is if you want to bankrupt Twitch, I think now is the exact time that that can happen. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh my god, it's already level 12. It's gaining levels. It's gaining levels. This is ridiculous, dude. That is so many golden. That is so many golden kappas already. You guys already have golden kappas from earlier today. The goddamn Q. No. Oh, the Q, dude. <laughs> the bit goal's gone insane. The Q has exploded. <laughs> what in the name of science is even happening? Look, chat. I'm defrosting. You're slowly releasing my power. Look at me. I'm ready. Almost time for Christmas, Chet. And then I'll escape. I'll escape, Chet. Soon. The power of the Golden Kappas is releasing me. There I am. Soon. Yeah, we need hype music. Let me get some hype music. Let's do... Uh, I, need a, I need a playlist for this. I'm gonna make it a hype train music. There we go. Enjoy this. This is nuts, dude. No, this is way faster than last time. What the hell is happening? This is way faster. Way, way faster. I'm I'm announcing a thing on this. This is nuts, dude. It's actually wild. I can't even read chat. It's just... I can't read the activity feed. I can't read chat. It's exploded. <laughs> I can't even see anything. I want to... Oh, my God. It's the second Golden Kappa train in a day. I've never seen that happen before. I've never seen that happen, ever. I have never, ever seen that happen.
This is wild, dude. Maybe they, maybe they upped it for holidays? I don't know. I don't know. I can't check the rank. Let me go look at it. They usually take like a whole day for the rank, dude. This is bananas. I'm letting I'm letting the other streamer buddies of mine know that this is going on because this is that's a huge deal. That's massive. If Twitch is matching that with plus twenty five percent, that's enormous, dude. Yeah, it hasn't updated yet. The ranking is not updated yet. Usually once a day. We are currently. Let me see where we're at. We are currently at twenty one thousand. 465 subscribers. So, here's here's the my big question. Is this the first time this has ever happened on Twitch? Has there ever been two golden kappa trains in the same day for a stream? I've never heard of that, ever. Ever at all. That is outrageous, dude. Holy shit, what is happening? Dude, it's already level 19. What is going on, dude? What? Holy shit, man. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. I'm gonna go pull this up on stream chat so you guys can see what's going on with this. This is nuts, dude. Wrong one. That's the one. We've gone to plaid. Yeah, exactly. The train has arrived, Chet. Dude, this is bonkers. This is honestly bonkers. Yeah, look at this. Bonus round unlocked. Bonus round unlocked. Look at this. Let me go to the bonus round stuff on my own channel. I didn't even know this was going to show up. It's down to the bottom of my screen. What is this? What is this? Twitch, what have you done? What's terms apply? What is this? End of year bonus round. The end of year bonus round is our newest celebratory promotion to help viewers show love for their favorite streamers. The end of year bonus round starts December 13th at 10 a.m. It started an hour ago until January 2nd. The upcoming bonus round includes the following discounts. 25% off all new recurring subs site-wide. 25% off all single month gift subs site-wide. From December 13th to December 20th, enjoy our new bits bonus. Twitch will cheer 10% on top of all cheers of 300 bits or more, and even larger special bonuses for a limited time. Okay, we're adding this. I'm going to go put this up there. So it was not 25%. It just looked like it was based on your actual bonus. Extra bits to anything you throw. There we go. This is crazy, dude. Oh, it's actually insane. Hold up. There we go. I've got a better link there now. Save that. Aha! Aha! Bonus round. There we go. This is awesome as shit, dude. Twitch doesn't even need to do this, either. That's really cool that they are. By the way, um, there's nothing on this that says the Golden Kappa trains are more common, so did we actually just have two in the same day? 
we just hit we just hit the the thing twice somehow there's like no increased rank on this there's no increased chance for this did that actually just happen what the hell dude that's bonkers dude that is completely and totally bonkers we need more music hold up where is it that's not the right one I want a different one Whoa, there we go the bit goal is already at 95% Jesus Christ dude that is outrageous dude it's a special themed hype train it is yeah it 100% is but it's a gold kappa hype train yeah chat so fast nobody know I f knows I farted oh they do we all know you farted primitive reason farting in chat yeah wreck dude think we can't see it you think we can't see it we know we know twitch seems so extra twitch is wild dude i think the thing that's crazy about it is like th the monetization stuff on twitch is completely insane it is so much built around let's go 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 kind of a thing and people like it it's a lot of fun like look at this this is crazy that's some wild shit dude i don't even know what to do with it it's an absolutely bonkers thing to do. It's really, really nice. I think it's cool as hell for the golden cap at the second time. Wait, is that already purple? Wait, what? It's already level 24. What the hell? What? I can't even see what's going on. I can't even see what's going on. It's going so fast, it's impossible to know what's happening. It is actually impossible to know. Do some space lasers. Oh, look, it made it into like a little shamrock. What was that? <laughs> it's gone. It's instantly gone. I tried to scroll down my activity feed. It's gone. It's gone. It doesn't exist. It's gone. We're actually about to hit level 26. Is it really? I can't even see it. It's not even showing up in the activity feed. It's completely broken. All of the UI is broken. All of the UI is completely broken, dude. It's amazing. You guys have managed not only to DDoS me and my systems, you've managed to DDoS Twitch and their systems because it's not even feeding me accurate information anymore. <laughs> oh, let me go get the big goal set up. One sec. Let's go get let's go get the big goal set up because it's gonna hit it. I'm going to try and do it as quickly as I possibly can. What the hell? Yeah, sign in. Ooh. Boo. Okay, let's do that. This is bananas, dude. Actually bananas. Actually bananas. And yes, prime subs do count for that. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Somebody said prime subs don't count. Yeah, they do. They count towards it. Let's go pull this up. This is nuts, dude. I didn't even know they were doing this. I actually had no idea there was going to be an end of year bonus run. I didn't. I didn't know this at all. I had no clue. Somehow, I I completely missed this. What is echo units? What does that even mean? What is an echo unit? What is this song? It's great. This song is called Space Lasers, and it's one of the songs from the Heartbound soundtrack. Yeah. Okay, alert box. No, we need the widgets. Let's do the widgets. There we go. All right, the bit goal is currently at 98. No, 99. Okay, I got to go faster. Uh, got to go fast. All right, it's going to hit. It's gonna hit. I'm waiting for the moment that it hits. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. It's gonna happen. Oh my god, there's so many bits, dude. 
We added 105 bits to this. I love seeing all the bit messages, and it's like we added 105 bits. That's amazing. How many bonus bits does it actually add? Do the bonus bits count for this? Data Sherpa with a 5,000. Thank you very much. God damn. That is wild. Boom! Oh, so many, dude. The big ol' hit. The big ol' hit. All right. 100 subs are going out. Goal is reset. We're good. We're good. Enjoy your subs. Did it go through? Did the 100 subs? Yeah, it did. It did. The 100 subs went through and instantly disappeared. <laughs> Pirate Software gave out 100 community gift subs this minute. Gone. Instantly gone from chat. Jesus Christ. I had I was concerned that it didn't go off. Oh my god, dude. No, I can't do it again. That's the bit goal. That's the point of it. This is nuts, dude. Holy shit. We had a level 30 train earlier today. This is... It just hit level 26. Again. And the train is like teal this time instead of being gold. So it's a golden kappa train, but it's like a teal version of one. So it must be, it must be a holiday train. Yeah. So it's really funny. This is actually really funny. Uh, Shay just showed me a, uh, a telegram for like ferrets, like a ferret telegram. They're like, so that dude that's pro that's popping off in a lot of folks' YouTube shorts, Pirate Software, the dev for Heartbound. Apparently he runs a ferret rescue too, question mark, question mark. <laughs> Shay's a mod in there. <laughs> Shay's a mod in that group. It's very funny. It's very funny. Shays a mod in a whole bunch of those ferret groups. Facebook, Discord, and all kinds of places. Really funny, actually. Yeah. It's how we get in touch with people that are having ferret problems. That's one of the best ways that we do it, is by being part of those different social groups for that. The TTSQ is insane. There's no way this could ever be done. It's... It's over. It's over, chat. Look at it. I just want to... I just want to show you this. We were so close to getting it finished, and now look at it. You see this? You see all the bits? You see that? There's one channel point thing in the middle. Look at all the bits. Look at all the bits. We were so close. I was only like two hours behind. We were so close. We were so close, chat. It was so close to being done. I almost had it. I almost had it. I almost had it. Next. Crazy person 373 said at Parade Software, do you recommend purchasing the pre-order for Ashes of Creation? And if so, what pack do you recommend? It depends. The reason why it depends is I think Ashes of Creation is going to be very good, but, and this is the big one, it's going to be an alpha. Actual alpha. Not bullshit alpha, real alpha. Meaning it's going to be broken, dude. And if you want to be a part of something like that, then do it. But if you don't, then do not, right? That's the most important thing. It's going to be real alpha. We're going to be playing it on stream too and fixing a bunch of stuff and helping them fix a bunch of stuff by reporting bugs. And I'm going to show people the normal QA process. I'm going to show people how you actually report these types of issues. That's the whole point. That is the whole idea for that. Yeah, true alpha, a real alpha. A real alpha. Yeah, it's going to be broken. So keep that in mind, right? Victoria underscore Aphrodite with 500 bits said, TTS hello, I have an idea for a game and I have read your website. Okay. You have inspired me to try to make a game. The only problem is I have no clue how to code. I'm sure okay. there are a lot of people who are in the same spot as me as well, and so what do I do? Do I just have to go onto YouTube and learn how to code or are there game making programs that will help with this sort of problem? There are game making Sorry for programs. the repost, I didn't know TTS had to be 500 or higher. Oh, no worries at all. I'm sorry that your message got dropped for that. I need to make that pinned every single day, and it, it looks like it became unpinned earlier. Also, it looks like the train is slowing. The train is slowed. Enjoy your golden capas. 
It has one minute left, Chet. This is it. This is it. One minute left. Yeah, slow down. Look at it. Train slowed down. I'm going to answer the question after the train. They're not, they're not there yet. You got 50 seconds left. You got to wait. You got to wait. It's on Twitch side. Nope. What? What was that? What was that? Axolotl with his 69 gift subs. <laughs> I want some nicers in chat. Let's get a nice for Axolotl. That is outrageous. Just a little bit of nice. Just a little bit of nice. Jesus Christ, dude. That is so many subs. That's an outrageous amount of subs. Oh, chat just broke. Oh, that was weird. The stream actually froze for a moment. Weird. That was weird. Yeah, a lot of nices there. So, if you're trying to make something you don't know how to code, you can have things like Game Maker Studio. So, Game Maker actually has a ton of really interesting stuff for this. Game Maker is an object-oriented programming language. And what this means is you can make an object, you can use a visual scripting system. You don't have to know what you're doing. All you really have to focus on, even if you don't want to use Game Maker, holy shit, visual sanity with another gift, 69 gifted subs. What in the name of science, dude? We can't contain all the nice. We can't contain all the nice. That's so much nice, dude. That is so many. It's at 83% already of this level. It's at 83%. That's 260. God damn, dude. That's so many. That's so many. So even if you don't use Game Maker, you need to find a, a language like a game engine that will work with this. The first thing you should always do is this. Make an object, make the object move. This is gonna, don't focus on learning a whole language. That's not what you need to do. You need to learn how to make an object move in a game engine. Once you do that, it opens up everything else to you. Thank you for the five gifted memberships over on YouTube. You guys are awesome. God damn. Oh my God, it's exploding. Another 10 gifted subs. Thank you very much. Oh my God. Level 28 has been achieved. Level 28 has been achieved. So yeah, what you're going to focus on is moving the object. You don't have to focus on anything else. Don't worry about learning the language. Don't worry about any of that. Just focus on this, on moving stuff. That's it. And you can go from there, and it's okay. You don't have to learn the language. You just have to learn enough. And that's going to focus on doing individual things inside of your project, right? Dude, this is, this is nuts. This is completely bonkers. This is a, this is completely, completely bonkers, dude. Dude, not only 10 hours, this is the second Golden Kappa train in the same day. I've never seen that happen ever on Twitch before. But it's showing in the UI that the result of this is going to be a Golden Kappa. Which is insane, dude. That is insane. I have never seen that ever before. In fact, I'm going to go tweet about that. Alright, I'm putting it out. So, defying all possible reason, we currently have a second Golden Kappa train running on Twitch today. I have no idea how this is happening, and I've never seen it before. Absolutely wild. That's bonkers, dude. That's completely and utterly bonkers. I didn't even know that could happen. I thought there was, like, an internal cooldown of some kind. There you go. Enjoy that. Enjoy that. Yeah, I didn't even know that could happen. Yeah, YouTube has their own Kappa. If you do Kappa and then you put a space after it, it works. <clears throat> By the way, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. 
If you're trying to ask me a question through 2TS right now, it's definitely not going to work. There is no possible way that I can get through 159 in the game. <laughs> There's no possible way. There's no possible way at all, dude. That is too many in the queue. We've done 205 today in the whole day. There's no possible way. I've already been streaming for 10 hours. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. No. Chat, there's no possible way. There's no... There is no way this can happen. Dear God. Was that just a hundred subs from Data Sherpa? Jesus Christ. Ugh. Bah! You're about there. Look. You're about to beat the all-time record for the channel that you set earlier today in the other Golden Kappa train. You set that record today. Today. This morning. You set that record. This morning. You did... <laughs> The ads. The ads. The ads have started in the middle of this? God damn it. Jeff Bezos is trying to stop you. Jeff Bezos is trying to stop you from hitting the record, Chen. I'm going to play this music during the Jeff Bezos. There it is. Enjoy that. Enjoy that. One minute and 40 seconds left on the Jeff Bezos. It's good. It's good. Oh my god, you break you broke it, dude. Are you kidding me? You actually broke the record, man. Holy shit. There's so many of you that are, that are subbed at this point that none of you are getting ads anyway. <laughs> What's the significance of a YouTube sub? It's the same as a Twitch follow. They're the same. A Twitch sub is the same as a YouTube membership. Yeah, they're the same. Oh, what are the highest train has ever been? Like 53? This is nuts, dude. You know what's really funny? The hype train says that Twitch is the train conductor for bits. And because of all of your guys' bit donations, they gave an extra 23,000 bits so far on this train. Twitch is the conductor for bits. That's amazing. That's outrageous, dude. That is outrageous. <laughs> it's because of the bonus round, dude. Look at this shit. Wait until the ads are over, you'll read it. Twitch has given an extra 23,000 bits. 23,000. Because of this. Enjoy our new bits bonus. Twitch will cheer 10% on top of all cheers of 300 bits or more. And even larger surprise special bonuses from time to time. Larger surprise special bonuses from time to time? For example, if a cheer view or if you throw 500 bits, you get a second cheer of at least 50 additional bits to that cheer. They have thrown. Twitch has now thrown. What? Nair just threw 23,000 bits. What? What do you mean? 23,000 bits. What do you mean 23,000 bits? What do you mean? That is... Nair, that's a shitload of bits, dude. That is a shitload of bits. Holy crap, dude. That is... that is bonkers, man. 
that is really, really... The hype train's at level 31. Oh yeah, it's a new record. The hype train's at level 31, dude. Oh my god. Nair with a hundred gifted subs as well? Dude, what are you doing? Holy shit. I've never seen anything like this, dude. This is wild. What is going on? Twitch gave us discounts on bits and subs, so chat has lost their minds. <laughs> what are you doing? Slowly having an implosion is what's happening. Yeah, I'm slowly imploding currently. Like, 100%. Absolutely imploding. Uh, the Twitch side of chat, YouTube, is currently exploding. Yeah, no, no. Thor is speechless. That's new. Yeah, normally you can't get me to shut up, but to, 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 this is ridiculous, dude. This is completely ridiculous. This is nuts, dude. The demo is free, you goblins. Holy shit, dude. Twitch has now thrown an extra 30,000 bits because of your guys' donations. Was that a 10,000 bits from Sion? Seriously? 10,000 bits? Oh my god, dude. This is nuts, dude. Thousand bits. What? What do you mean thirty thousand bits? What? You did twenty thousand, twenty three thousand bits, and then thirty thousand bits, and a hundred subs, dude. That is outrageous. Twitch just used six thousand bits and actually popped up Twitch. <laughs> Twitch duplicated 6,000 of those bits. You gave 30,000 and Twitch gave another 6,000. You're bankrupting Twitch. It's happening. It's actually happening. We're watching it happen in real time. Nair is now the hype train conductor. Twitch is no longer the hype train conductor. That is ridiculous, dude. That is outrageous. That is outrageous, dude. Oh my god, dude. You guys have been going for 40 minutes straight. The hype train has been going for 40 minutes straight. It's 100% a new record on our channel. This is nuts, dude. How much am I missing? All of it. It's definitely quieter over on YouTube. This is- this is nuts, dude. This is mega hype. Oh yeah, it is. I've never seen anything like this, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Twitch stock going down. <laughs> keep that music going. I'm going to keep it running on this. I love this song. 
It's my favorite out of our OST right now. Did the big old crash? No, it didn't crash. It's going up. Fastest 40 minutes ever. This is nuts, dude. It's wild. Hey, uh, Twitch, I, I wanted to let you know, you know when you said that you'd add bits to all of their, their bits, did you? Twitch, I'm a little worried about you. They've been throwing a lot of bits. Are you okay? <laughs> Twitch, are you okay? That's a lot of bits. That's a lot of, you guys were the hype train conductor for a little while there. And then Nair decided to dethrone you. I, I'm a little, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. <laughs> That's a lot, dude. This is the second Golden Kappa train today, too. And I've never seen that happen before. I've never seen that happen before. DJ Clancy, you good? Dude, Clancy's the best. You deserve it, now cry? Nah. I can't even read the chat, dude. Yeah, it was a double Golden Kappa. So... Uh, Jeff, in the beginning of the stream, we had a Golden Kappa train at the beginning of the day. This is the second Golden Kappa train today. I didn't even know that was possible. I didn't think it was. I thought there was an internal cooldown or something like that. Two in one day. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen that happen. And as such, chat has now exploded. This is nuts, dude. This is absolutely outrageous. One minute left. One minute left. Holy shit, dude. What's the Twitch record for Hype Train? It's level 53, I believe. You guys are at level 33. Nair with the 50 gifted subs. It's at 96%. 40 seconds left. Don't wait to the last second if you want to do it. Sometimes they end early. They do break. They do. Dude, what? Holy shit, man. There it is. Level 34. This is nuts, dude. This is outrageous. Another hundred gift subs, dude. Phoenix with a hundred gift subs. <laughs> you don't even know what to say. This is outrageous. That's wild as hell, dude. What is that? What just exploded? What just happened? I saw the bar shoot up by 50% and I didn't even see something come through. The entire th activity feed is broken, dude. <laughs> what is even happening? What even was that? Phoenix with 100 gifted subs. What came after that? No, this is nuts, dude. I can't, there's no way to read it. It's so fast I can't even read it. Nair... Nair with a hundred thousand bits. Nair with a hundred thousand bits. What in the world, dude? Twitch doubled that up with another 10,000 bonus bits because of Nair's hundred thousand bits. Holy shit, dude. That is nuts. That is outrageous, man. <laughs> oh, boy. 100,000 bits is a very special emote icon, too. It's a special one. 100,000 bits is enormous. It has its own bit emote and everything, dude. The 10, 10k has its own, too. It's like, it's like red. You made Twitch do the, do the 10k emote. Yeah, look at this. Let me show you this. If you've never seen this before, it's wild looking. Let me grab this. Mm. 
No, where's the image? I need to set it to 3.0, I think. There it is. This is the 100,000 bit image. That's it. You, I've never seen one of those before now. I have never seen one of these ever in my life. <laughs> it's like a Dorito universe, dude. Look at that thing. What is that? That is outrageous. Biblically accurate bit. That's what it is. A hundred thousand bits, dude. That's bananas. That is outrageous. That is outrageous. It's level 36. Wait a second. When you gave 100,000 bits, it jumped up by like four levels. It jumped up by like four levels, dude. What the hell? Holy shit. It's at level... It's at level 36 right now. Yeah, the bit goal is annihilated. The bit goal is completely annihilated. The bit goal is supposed to go off once a month. Not twice a day. <laughs> That's bananas, dude. That is outrageous. It's a Dorito universe, it is. <laughs> it overflowed the bit goal. I mean, it's happening. You've already done it. This is nuts, dude. Dude, I'm gonna be real with you. Like, this is this is so freaking overwhelming. There's, I've never seen anything like this on Twitch. I've been streaming on Twitch for six years. The community grew up in size by over ten times. Actually, it's twenty times the size in the last month and a half. This is wild, dude. This is completely wild. <laughs> There's no amount of thank you that exists for this, man. There's, there's no words that exist for that. <laughs> That's amazing. God damn. <laughs> oh, God. You can't make me cry. It's not gonna happen. It's not, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna... What was that? Voidy VR with a 25,000 bits, dude. And Twitch with an extra 2,500. Holy shit, dude. I feel like the end of your bonus is arousing success, Twitch. <laughs> oh, you're on Twitch, too? Yeah, I've been streaming here a long time. I only recently got to do um, simulcasting because they changed the rules. 40 seconds left, chat. 40 seconds left. This is nuts, dude. You've been going for 50 minutes. You've been going for 50 minutes. Nair with 50 gifted subs. Level 37 achieved. Dude, that is a lot. That is outrageous. Ace of Stearns with 5,500 bits. Holy moly, dude. What are the new rules for simulcast? You're allowed to simulcast. That's the rules. That's it. The only thing you have to worry about is you can't combine chats on the screen. That's all. And you can't lead people away from Twitch, is the idea. Which makes sense. How many subs to a mill? Let's find out. There it goes. This is bananas. This is honestly bananas. Somebody said just in time for tax season? Nah, they're gonna give me this next month. <laughs> 
That'll go for next year's. That's future me's problem. You know, that's future me's problem. I don't have to... Yeah, it's not for current me. <laughs> that's not my problem right now. Later it will be. I just, I'll tell my tax man, I'll be like, I'm sorry. And he'll be like... I'm going to be real with you, with the massive increase in the amount of people that are on here, to be honest with you, I went to my tax man because I was terrified, and I was like, holy shit, this is crazy. And he said, what did you do? And I said, what do you mean? And he goes, my grandson knows who you are. What did you do? <laughs> and then there was a long conversation about the fact that all the YouTube shorts have exploded because his grandson had been watching my YouTube shorts and knew who I was. And that was horrifying, frankly. Deeply horrifying. Yeah. Yeah very interesting made me laugh yeah that's a Thor of a different dimension that's future Thor future Thor has problems with this this is this is wild to me dude I put videos on the internet I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry for putting videos on the internet now you all know who I am yeah unfortunate this is nuts dude Level 37. What? Zenga Kukatsu with another hundred thousand bits. I don't even know if I said your name right. It has so many syllables and I'm I'm American. We don't use that many letters in our words. That's an outrageous amount of letters and an outrageous amount of bits, dude. 100,000 bits. That's two sets of 100,000 bits. And then Twitch gave... How much did they give on top of that? Twitch cheered an extra 10,000 bits on top of that. Dude, you guys might actually try to break the Twitch record at this point. I've never seen this. This is nuts. This is wild, dude. You're going to go into another ad break in nine minutes. And there's nothing I can do about it because all the snoo snoozes are used. Holy shit, dude. I'm going to have to do the bit goal again. This is insane, man. Hello, wizard with a gun. How's it going? Uh, Twitch is exploding right now. We have this thing called a hype train going on, and it's the second Golden Kappa train in a day on the same stream, and I don't know if that's ever happened before. And they're doing this right now. So everything's a lot cheaper, and Twitch is throwing extra bits. Visual sanity with 100,000 bits. And Twitch gave 20,000 extra bits that time. Twitch gave 20,000 extra bits. Holy shit. I'm gonna wait for the bit goal until it ends. It's too many. It's so many. Because if I stop it right now, it's gonna get the wrong percentage. I can't even do it. It's over 100%. I gotta wait. I gotta wait. It's turning into a German debt in real time. I can't do it right now. It doesn't count for the hype train when the streamer does it either, unfortunately. <laughs> I wish it did. I wish it did, by the way. No, not German debt. Germa. Germa debt. It's turning it it's turning into Germa debt. If you don't know who Germa is, Germa is another streamer on here. Germa has a massive ongoing debt with his community, and it's deeply funny. It's very funny. You're seeing that now in real time right here. This is this is now my version of the Germa debt. This is nuts, dude. This is bonkers. Yeah, I put out a tweet about this. It's level 39. There you go. This is what's going on. Holy shit, dude. The UI is completely broken. The UI is completely broken. None of it works. None of it actually works. It is all broken. 
All of it is broken. <laughs> you broke all of Twitch's UI. Nair with a hundred community subs, dude, what? The TTSQ is broken. The UI is broken. Everything is broken. The IRS is breaking into my house actively right now. <laughs> it's all broken. Everything you've broken it all. You've broken me. You've broken the stream. You've broken Twitch. Twitch is broke now. It's true. You've broke just Jeff Bezos. Broke. 100% broke. Oh my god, dude. You broke the bit goal. The bit goal's over 100%. Holy shit, dude. What just shot that up again? There was something that got missed? What even is this? We've got ads in five minutes. Most wholesome channel on YouTube. I work in the IT insurance sector for only a few years, and your shorts have been super motivational, especially the one about imposter syndrome. Rock on anytime, dude. And thank you very much. Thank you. Seriously. This is bananas, dude. This is honestly bananas. That's a level 40 hype train. It's level 40. I got a snooze back. I used it. We have 10 minutes. Wait, it gave me three snoozes. I'm using them all. <clears throat> I'm using all of the snoozes. You get 20 more minutes before Jeff Bezos arrives. 20 minutes, Jet. This is wild, dude. This is absolutely wild. 5,000 bits from Yggdrasil. Nice name, by the way. Kingdom Con says the hype train 47 is Twitch's record. I think it's higher than that. I'm pretty sure it's 53. Let me go look this up. Twitch hype train record. It's level 47 from Kai Sinat in 2022. Wait, is it actually Kai Sinat? At 47, it says that the Twitch... That was in 2022, though. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, wait, no. Elias N97, the largest German streamer, broke this. Broke the record. <clears throat> I don't know what the level was. I have no idea what the level was. I have no idea. Elias N97, the largest German streamer in the world. It was level 51. It was 51. 51 was the record. You guys are at 40 right now. There's two minutes and a half, two and a half minutes left. It said largest German streamer. I don't know if he is. That was the article. It's the only thing I can find. It gets harder every, every level, dude. This is nuts, man. This is absolutely, completely outrageous. A hundred gift subs? Nair with a hundred gift subs. It did like 40% with a hundred subs. Holy shit, it's so high, dude. The level is so high. What in the name of science, dude? It needs a combined total of 291, 298 subs or 149,000 bits for this level. It goes up every level. <clears throat> and I'm like coughing to death, dude. You just hit 100%. You just hit 100%. It's level 41. We are 9 away. No, 10 away from the all-time record on Twitch. 
Now it's 314 tier 1 subs, or 156,000 bits. It is increased. It goes up every time. Dude, it's not deserved. That's crazy. That's a wild amount, man. You guys are breaking Twitch entirely. Every time you do that, they give 10% more of it. They've been doing it the whole time. That's wild, dude. That is absolutely wild. Don't get discount yourself, man. Dude, I'm gonna be real with you, man. Like, I've I've never seen anything like this before. Especially not towards me. Like, holy shit. It's not even about discounting. This is just this is bananas to me, man. It's completely it's completely wild to me. It really, really is. Like, holy shit, dude. I'm honestly just glad that the things that I do mean so much to you guys. Seriously, that's... That's wild, dude. It's wild to me. <laughs> Holy shit. You're such a mensch. Well, thank you. <laughs> What'd you walk into? Twitch exploding. Twitch has broken me. They've broken all of our systems. They broke... They're going towards breaking an all-time record on the platform right now. It's at 55% of level 41. <clears throat> and there's two and a half minutes left. The all-time record is level 40... Or 51. And they're at 41 right now. And I've been streaming for like 11 hours. Another 100k bits? Wait, what? Oh no, that was just the alert from earlier. That was the alert from earlier. No, that was the alert from earlier. Yeah, no, that's... The alerts are only 3 seconds per donation. So because of that, it's miles behind. Even the visual alerts are broken, dude. Everything is broken. All of it is broken! Everything. Every bit of it is broken. <clears throat> I'm trying to watch the activity feed just to catch the ones that are like that. The bot is broken. Is that one, two, three, four, five bits? One, two, three, four, five bits. 12,345, and Twitch gave an extra 1,852 bits as a result of that. One minute, 20 seconds left. It's getting more difficult. The climb is real. This is bananas, dude. I just got here, but what's going on? You should look at the Twitch side of the stream. It has exploded. It has absolutely exploded, dude. It What do all these bits mean for the channel or monetarily? Every bit is one cent, dude. Like, this is not a small amount of... Like, this is crazy shit. You keep saying the IRS is gonna have a field day? They don't pay me till next month. That's next... That's future Thor's problem, alright? That's after December. No, I don't... I'm, uh, you know, no. I'll see you later, IRS man. That's... That's future me's problem, all right? Yeah. <laughs> That's scary as hell. This is bananas, dude. This is honestly wild. Yeah, one bit is one US cent. Thank you so much for all these bits. Holy shit, dude. You almost didn't make it. We're at level 42 now. Holy shit. 
You are nine away. You are nine away. From the all-time record on Twitch. Nine away. For a game dev streamer. That doesn't exist. For what we do. <laughs> That's wild, dude. Thank you so much. That is that is bonkers, dude. That is completely outrageous. What in the name of science? What even just happened? Visual sanity with a hundred gifted subs, dude. Holy shit. Holy shit, that's so many subs, dude. You just hit 100% again. It's gone for over an hour. It has been an hour-long hype train so far. It's level 43. You are eight away from the all-time record on the platform. You are eight away. Eight away from the all-time record ever on Twitch. Holy shit, dude. The record is 51, yeah. We're at 43 right now. Oh my god, dude. Also, thank you very much, Chris. Over on YouTube, thank you very, very much. Cloud Distillery with the 10,000 bits, dude. Chris with the 20 gifted memberships. Thank you. Seriously. What is the name of the OST? This is the Heartbound OST. I've been playing the same song throughout the entire thing because it's super high energy and fun. It's our, it's our OST from our game. It's actually our in-house music, yeah. We have 100 songs in the OST. Two minutes and 50 seconds left. This level of the train is at 49%. This is bananas, dude. Nair has given 600 subs. Dude. Dude. 600 in total over the train. That's bonkers. Thank you for the 20 gifted subs. Holy shit. How do you- there's nothing I can do, it's so fast! I'm missing a hundred gift sub donations, because it's going so fast. It is impossible to see. It is impossible to see them. 10,000 gifted bits. Look at that. They're going. They're gone. The moment it happens, it's gone. Yeah, the channel is real. Yes, it is. <laughs> We're at 8,000 viewers. You have seven minutes before Jeff Bezos shows up and gives you ads, and I can't do anything about it. I used all the snoozes. I used them all. Soul Warrior with the 10,000 bits. Thank you very much. Axolotl with the 69 gifted subs. Nice. Nice. Yeah, it's 8K viewers on Twitch side. It's another 2,000 on YouTube side. We're over 10,000 viewers right now. That is bananas, dude. That is honestly bananas to me. The alerts are ancient by now. The alerts are completely ancient. Nair with 10,000 bits. I'm trying to use the hype train itself as the alert notifications. One minute remains. One minute left, Chet. 
Do the big goal? I can't. I can't. If I did the big goal right now, it wouldn't do it. it did, when the streamer donates uh, gift subs, it doesn't count towards the hype train. We've tried it before. What was the initial big goal? It was... I don't even know. I don't know. I'm waiting to the end so it doesn't lose people's... Oh, you got it. You got it. It's level 44 now. You are seven away, Chet. And I know you love that number. I know you love that number. You're seven away from the all-time record ever done on Twitch. This is bananas, dude. I can't believe this, honestly. Like, I, I honestly can't. This is... It doesn't feel real, man. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. You're already 27% into the level. We have four minutes left. Search your couch for change. <laughs> uh, I just see like a bunch of ferrets flying past and search your ch couch for change. This is bananas, dude. This is honestly outrageous. I, I can't thank you enough. I've never seen anything like this. I'm gonna go update this on the on the Twitter thread. This is nuts, dude. I put out a tweet for this. There you go. I quote tweeted myself, dude. I cashed my 401k for him. Don't do that. Don't. Don't do that. Don't take out a second mortgage. The demo is free. Don't do it. Don't do it. 78%. Two minutes left. This is bananas, dude. This is absolutely bananas. Three minutes until the ads. Will you survive through the ads, chat? Will you survive through the ads? Will you survive? I can't stop it. I've already hit the snooze button three times. It's over. I can't do anything about it. They're about to start. Two minutes left. The big... What? The hype train is at level 95... Actually, it's 95% right now. Level 44. With one and a half minutes left. 96%. 97. It's going. Holy shit, dude. You, d you did it. It's level 45. It's level 45. Two minutes left until the ads. Wait, what was that? Hold up. Was that 150,000 bits? What was that? Dude, what was that? It said Twitch gave 15,000. What was that? Who did that? It hasn't popped up yet. It's broken. Everything is broken. 
<laughs> it hasn't even popped up. I have no idea who did this. Everything is broken. <laughs> it's already at 75%. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit, dude. 50 seconds until Jeff Bezos. Eighty-eight percent. It's going. He's almost there, chat. Twenty-two seconds remain. Chat. Chat, he's there. He's slowly creeping into frame. You can see him. The ads are here. In ten seconds. There he is. There he is. There's no escape now, I know. I know. There he is. He's arriving. The Jeff Bezos pog face. I know. I know it's terrifying. I know. Near with 25,000 bits, dude. Dude, the ads. There they are. They're gone. The ads are there. The ads are there. I can't do anything about it. I can't do anything about it. They're there. Level 46 hype train. 7,770 bits. 7777, 7, 7, rather. From traffic. Thank you very much. This is bananas. This is honestly bananas. Holy shit. The record is 51 and we're at 46 right now. Yeah, the big goal is over 200%. The record is 52, not 51. Is it actually? Holy shit, dude. This is bananas, dude. Twenty three seconds left on the ads. Twenty three seconds left. Fifteen seconds left. You're almost free. You're almost free of the ads. The horror is receding. It's receding, Chet. You've beaten Jeff Bezos. You've beaten Jeff Bezos. It's fine now. It's fine. The ads are gone. The ads are gone, Chet. It's fine. You've escaped. <laughs> also, I gotta be real. That's the funniest picture of Jeff Bezos I've ever seen in my life. It's very funny. <laughs> It's so good. The Jeff Bezos pog face is the best pog face I've ever seen. It's so goddamn funny. It's so good. 81%, a minute and 45 seconds left. People are saying that apparently the, the maximum one, the record is 52. The only one I can find is 51. The QTTS is in shambles, dude. The QTTS is over 300. This is never going to happen. This is never going to happen. It's never going to happen. Oh, this is wild, dude.
Yeah, people over on YouTube, if you haven't seen this, I'm gonna show you what it looks like over on Twitch, alright? If you're wondering what's happening, and you're on YouTube right now and you've never seen something like this, this is what it looks like right now. And this is a hype train. And it's just exploding. It is just exploding. That is what it is. It's just exploding. Chat is impossible to read. <laughs> You're wondering what that is. I'm going to link this over on the on the YouTube side. There you go. You can have this. It's bananas. It's level 47 right now. It made it to level 47. You are five away from the all-time record on Twitch. You are five away. If it's 52, you are five away. This is bananas, dude. It's actually bananas. Somebody said it's level 48. Wait, is it? It says 47 on mine. Here, let me reload it. The Twitch one is completely broken. It's, <laughs> it's broken! Okay, hold up. Applying it to be Google, and then applying it to be Twitch chat. The hype trade. It's just a purple bar. <laughs> it's just a purple bar. I can't even see what's happening. It is level 48. It says complete level 48. You guys are going for level 49 already. Are you kidding me? You're four away. Hold up. This You're four away from the all-time record on the platform, guys. You're four away from the all-time record on the platform ever. What the hell, dude? This is freaking insane. This is outrageous. There's the end of your bonus round for you guys. That if you don't know what's happening, this is what's happening. I've never seen anything like this, dude. That's honestly, honestly wild. Twitch is absolutely broken. Everything on it is broken, dude. The activity feed is just exploding. I can't read any of it. It's, it's, it actually is broken like four times on my screen. It doesn't even work. It doesn't even work at all. <laughs> the Bickle's at 250%. <laughs> what in the name of science, dude? It's at 92%. One minute and 20 seconds left. The queue is broken, dude. There's no way I can get through all of this. The ferrets are completely broken. All of it is broken. Everything is broken, dude. Look at it. Here, I'm gonna do this. There are so many alerts coming through that it is it is DDoSing the ferret. I think it just broke. It just broke. <laughs> it just crashed. <laughs> <laughs> the ferrets just freaking crashed, dude. It froze and then crashed. Holy shit. I have never seen anything like this. This is... This is wild. It's at level 49. You guys are at level 49. We're three away. We're three away. Yes, there's Twitch staff here as well. They're watching. They have wrenches. And thank you for being here, Twitch staff. This is a hell of a moment, dude. 
It's 49. We're at level 49 right now. Yeah, they get wrenches next to their names, dude. Holy shit, dude. I had to close it on my other monitor because it's DDoSing my system. <laughs> what the hell, dude? 61%, three minutes remain. To the moon, dude. It's finally happened. Another the 13,000 bits fly by, dude, what? <laughs> it's so fast. It is so... Wait a minute. That was Nair with 90,000 bits and Twitch with an extra 13,000. <laughs> dude, what? Visual sanity with 100 gifted subs. That is a lot of subs. You guys are actually going to do it. It's level 50. You're at level 50. You're at level 50, dude. Level 49 just got completed. You're at level 50. Everything is breaking. You're two away. You are, you are two away from the all-time record on the platform. Out of every channel, ever in the history of Twitch. That is crazy, dude. Protect the PC, I ain't touching shit. <laughs> Goblins together. Strong. Thank you for the gifted memberships over on YouTube, too. Thank you very, very much. Seriously. Holy shit. I don't even know how many that just was. It just shot past. It just shot past. 27%. Three minutes left. This is it. Nair with 90,925 bits. Holy shit, dude. I can't see the train. Refresh your page. Look at the top. It'll be a purple bar. <clears throat> Here, I'm going to unpin... I'm going to unpin the, the other message that was on there. Now it's just the train. Yeah, the UI is completely broken. Everything is breaking down. All of Twitch is imploding. The UI is imploding. My stream is imploding. The bit goal is imploding. Twitch's wallet is imploding because they're giving us 10% extra bits. Holy shit. Tubby McCustardson. Thank you for all of those subs. 85%, two minutes remain. Axolotl with 69 subs. What is happening, dude? Can you teach me C code? No, but you can teach yourself. Let me give you something. Here, one moment. 
Twitch site is exploding right now, but I'm going to show you something that you can use. It's going to help you a lot. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Found it. Here. This is a huge amount of free information. There you go. Use that. There's a bunch of free stuff for you. You just beat level 50. You're one away. Chat, you're one away. You're one away from the all-time record on the platform. Ever. In the history of Twitch. You are one away. You have four minutes and 30 seconds left. That is outrageous. Thor reload? Why is it broken? Is it showing wrong? Wait, is it actually there? Is it really broken? Is it actually 52? All time record shattered. You beat Twitch's record for the entire platform. You beat it. It just said all time record shattered across the whole screen. You're at level 52. You did it. This is the highest. This is the highest hype trade that's ever happened on Twitch. Ever in the history of the platform. In a community of game developers. Out of every channel that exists. That's... Holy shit, dude. And you're not even stopping. <laughs> you're making sure that no one's gonna break that record again, dude. That's... It totally broke, too. It still shows that it's behind in this. You just broke another level. The the viewers aren't even working. My stream deck is broken. The stream deck doesn't even work now. It's great. <laughs> 11,000 viewers on Twitch right now. That's the highest I've ever had on this channel, let me tell you that. to calm down dude my hands are shaking and shit this is nuts this is actually insane it's at l what level it's level 54 what the ui is completely this ui thinks it's level 51 that ui thinks it's level 54 all of it is broken you broke the platform chat you have completely broken the platform you've completely broken it you've broken the platform you've broken me <laughs> Holy shit, dude. You you have no idea how incredibly humbling this is. You have you have no idea. That is I've been streaming on this platform for 6 years. I've been making things on the internet for the same amount of time. Seeing this is, that's wild to me, man. You have no idea. I'm mostly just happy that there's so many of you guys that care about the things that I make. And so many of you guys that are inspired by the stuff that I put out there to go and make your own stuff. You have no idea. You have absolutely no idea. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs>
That is bananas to me, dude. Oh. <laughs> it already, I already did. I already did cry. I'm actively crying. What do you think that's coming out of my face, dude? God damn. Oh my god. I can't help it. That's that's insane. That's insane. That is insane. Holy shit. <laughs> I'll be milking this for content. Do it. <laughs> Three minutes and 30 seconds left. It's still going. What is it at? Level 54 just got completed. You guys didn't just beat the record, you've destroyed it. You have destroyed the record. Is it broken again? I have to refresh my page. You broke it again. You completely broke it again. I don't even know what level it is now. <laughs> I have an idea. I know what I can do. There we go. Alright. I've set it to hype train only. Nope, it's broken. Yeah, it's broken. It's broken. None of it works. You broke it all. <laughs> you broke it all, dude. Dude, on my screen it says 136% of the level. It says 136% of the level. It's broken. You broke it. It, it actually can't go higher. 55 is the limit. You've hit the limit on Twitch. I didn't even know there was a limit. I don't think anyone knew there was a limit. It's at 140% of level 55. You have hit the limit. It's at 152%. I'm screenshotting that. That's crazy. You've maxed... You've actually beaten the final boss of the hype train. You've beaten it. You've broken it. You have broken it. Look at this. Look at this. You've broken it. It's broken. You broke it. <laughs> Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Screenshot it. Wait, it says zero and it hasn't stopped. It's still going up. I think you guys broke it for real. It says zero seconds remain and it's 179% and it keeps going up. I think you actually broke the feature. It ended. It ended. It ended. Chat. Chat, it has ended. Suck strong support. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. New all-time record, 179% at 50, level 55. 7,321 subs. I'm screenshotting all of it. I'm screenshotting every bit of this. This is insane. This is insane. This is absolutely insane, dude. One moment. I'm screenshotting all of it. This is this is bananas, dude. This is outrageous. Where is this? Let me show you this. 1.8 million bits. 1.8 million bits. Not only that, you guys broke the all-time record ever on Twitch. Look at this. 
level 55 is the end. I didn't even know there was a maximum limit to this. I didn't even I didn't even know there was a, a final level to Twitch and you found it. <laughs> you beat Twitch. You won. Did he cry? Yeah, it did. I couldn't help it, dude. Twitch chat has won. The goblins. And on this day, I grant you goblins your second brain cell. Thank you very much. Well done. Two. Let's get some twos in the chat. The second brain cell is yours. You more than deserve it, let me tell you. I may regret that later. It's a lot of twos. That's weird. You're breaking my entire computer, by the way. It doesn't know what to do. Everything is shutting down. All this stuff is breaking. Look, it's all clean now. Oh my god, dude. That is... That is something else, man. Hmm. Pixel perfect. Trying to find the exact size I want this to be. Probably like there, yeah. I'm gonna get this and frame it. That's um that's like a lifetime achievement award as a streamer right there, dude. That is uh that is insane to me. That is absolutely wild. Um shit, man. Oh, man. Ed Speaks, thank you for the rate of 215 people. Um, We just broke the all-time record on Twitch <clears throat> for the hype train. And my brain is mush now. I, uh... <laughs> I didn't know that it could cap at level 55. But apparently it can. And we reached it. It got to 179%. Thank you for the raid, man. That is outrageous. <coughs> God damn. I don't know. I don't know, Kingdom Con. It, it takes like 24 hours to update, man. I have no idea. I have no idea, man. Let me go look. This is nuts. We're at 28,364 subscribers now. Up from 20,000. Holy shit, dude. 
Call my dad? I'm going to message him. I'm going to send him a message on Discord. That's insane. You said we're number 10 for subs now on the Twitch Tracker leaderboard? God damn. Make chat slow? No. I will never restrict the goblins. Never. Slow mode is for when you want to use, you want to restrict it for some reason. There's no reason for that. You guys can go wild. That is insane. I'm going to put this tweet up. That is wild, dude. The ads are the ads are here. <laughs> oh. Wait for it, Wolf. Wait for it. Not yet. Not yet. Wait for it. I've got a tweet going up. Wait for it. Wait for it. Shout out the all-time hype train. Twitch hype train record. It's incredibly humbling and I cannot thank you enough what you've done for me. I only hope that what I do is even a fraction as valuable to you. There you go. What is a hype train again on Twitch? Um, it is when a bunch of people throw bits and subs, it creates a system called a hype train, and it has a timer, and you can go up levels, and the levels get harder and harder every time. Before this, the all-time record was level 51. They made it to level 55 and found out that there's actually a cap. I didn't even know there was a cap. I didn't think anyone knew. I don't think anyone ever knew that. Enjoy your guys' golden capas, dude. Nobody left the show ads too. I guess that's true. <laughs> this is this is honestly insane. That's honestly wild, dude. I have to do the big goal. That's true. I have to do the big goal. It's completely broken. It's 330%. <laughs> I wonder if they're, gonna, they're probably going to decline my card, frankly. <laughs> I want to read this to you guys. This is what I put out. It said, we've shattered the all-time Twitch hype train record. This is, an incredibly, this is incredibly humbling, and I cannot thank you enough 
what you've done for me. I only hope that what I do is even a fraction as valuable for you. Thank you. And that's that's the honest truth, man. I really hope so. Because that is... That is something else. That is something else, man. You deserve it, friend? Well, thank you. That's... Dude, I've had some of the craziest moments on this platform, I swear to God. I remember years ago when I was streaming on here. Like, if you guys didn't know this. Let me show you this. I've been streaming on Twitch for six years. And if you don't know that, let me show you what that looks like. This is what that looks like now. <laughs> you have no idea how wild that is. When I first started streaming, I was terrified. I was terrified of streaming. I thought that people weren't going to like me, they weren't going to like me, and then they wouldn't like the game, and I would let everyone down on the team. We didn't stream with a... Like, I didn't have a video. It was only the... No, I didn't have a video camera, right? I didn't have a camera. I didn't use voice. I didn't even want anyone to know because it was terrifying that I'd screw it up. And then when I did start streaming with a camera and I did start streaming with, you know, my microphone and everything, I was like, I was so nervous all the time. I was so nervous. For a long time, I was super nervous. And that showed because when we had huge bursts of people, they all left. And then over time, I got more comfortable and I got better doing this. And I got more comfortable, and more of you stayed. But now this, dude. That is wild as hell. Yeah, now I'm, now I'm just paranoid about getting gnomed by you. That's true. <laughs> There's a reason for that, though. Because you send me shit like this in the mail. It's a goddamn gnome. It's a goddamn video gnome. Of course I'm paranoid about getting gnomed, because you try to gnome me in the mail. Oh. That is outrageous. But no, dude, like, this is... This is wild to me. This is honestly wild to me. It is... As much as you all say it's deserved, it is incredibly humbling for me. And I'm already... I already do as much as I can to try and give back to you guys all the stuff that I've learned and try to help people through things. And I, I'm just going to keep doing the same thing. And uh, <laughs> thank you for being on that adventure with me. It means more to me than you can imagine. <laughs> I just can't believe that, man. TTS time. There's no way we're getting through 400 TTS messages. I get through 200 a day, maybe, man. I get through 200 a day, maybe. Thank you for that raid, by the way. Thank you, Brave Cities. <laughs> Speedrun TTS? There's no way, dude. I do have a gift for all of you, though. And, um... And I'm not sorry. <laughs> there it is. There it is, chat. You thought I forgot. You thought I wouldn't burger you in this time of gloriousness. You thought I'd be too uh, emotionally distraught to burger you at the top of this mountain. No. No. All of it is burgers. All of it. <laughs> oh, burgered. 100% burgered. Take it back, I can't. I can't, you're already burgered, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're already burgered. Thank you, guys. And as much as you're worried that I'm gonna change... As much as you're worried that I'm going to change, no, I'm gonna keep burgering you. No, I'm still going to own five pairs of pajamas. No, I'm only gonna own two pairs of pants. 
I may have bought five more shirts, but it's the first time in eight years. I'm just still going to be a nerd making video games in my basement. And I hope that you will also be a nerd making video games wherever it is that you do. I'm going to give you everything I possibly can to make sure that you can do that. You just got to take the first step. Also, I just lost the game. It's true. It's actually true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Much love from Germany. Well, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Also, thank you for all those gifted memberships over on YouTube side. That is wild, dude. That is honestly wild. Holy shit. Thank you very, very much. Holy shit. I'm showing shade lock, which has happened. <clears throat> I'm going to do the big hole in a minute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the big hole in a minute. Yeah, TTS is destroyed, dude. There's no way. I'm trying to, like, my hands are shaking. Like, I'm full of adrenaline. You have no idea. <laughs> you don't understand, chat. You don't understand. You like, you remember when Data got the emotion chip? Like, you remember that episode of Star Trek? That's me right now. That's me. All right. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to do with it at all. I have no idea how to handle this. There's no, like, there's no, like, level of, like, social adjustment that could happen right now. I'm broken. It's over. Like, <laughs> this is it. That's what that is. I'm trying to, try to stabilize and I can't do it. Holy shit. Homeboy oh worked far hard for that demo. And all right, the demo's free, you goblin. All right. Let's do the bit goal. I think I could do the bit goal now. We're going to do it. Are you ready, Chet? Are you ready for the bit goal? That was a great episode. I love Star Trek a lot. And yes... We're also very close to a million subscribers on YouTube. I never thought I'd be here, man. And I wouldn't be able to be without you. Every one of you is carrying me, so thank you. I mean that. That's how this works. I'm your weird Captain Planet. You summon me into the internet. Yeah, look at that number go, dude. It's wild. It's honestly wild. All right, chat. The bit goal's going out. Are you ready? Are you ready? Congratulations at winning the internet today. Yeah, it's it's bonkers, dude. There we go. Twitch makes me wait, by the way. You can only do 100 at a time. We're doing 300. So, here we go. There's the first one. There's the second one.
I'm gonna wait a second so it doesn't decline my card. And there is the third one. Please don't decline my card. Please don't decline my card. Please don't decline. It did it. It's good. We're good. It didn't decline. It didn't decline. Everything is good. I was so worried. I was so worried it was going to decline, dude. <laughs> I was like, the bank is not going to like this. Holy shit, man. All right. I'm going to end the goal. We're going to put this back in there. Change that to that. Five. Sorry, they go back up. There we go. It's good. It is good. Oh. That is bananas. That is honestly bananas. Oh, I'm so slimy. Make the demo free. The demo is already free. It's a demo. It's a demo. What does a big goal do? It gives 100 subs every time it hits maximum. That's what I do. World record, yes. This is a world record. That is a world record. What are you going to do to celebrate 1 million? To celebrate 1 million, chat has asked me to do a cooking stream because I cook every day for myself. And I have to think about what I want to make. And it might be my cheese bread. It might be. It may be the cheese bread. I don't know yet. So I need to figure out how to set up my rig to do a cooking stream. Because as much as you guys want this, I can do this. And um, for those who don't know, I cook all the time. I cook for myself every single day. And the way that I make my cheese bread... if you, This is going to be funny. If I didn't end up streaming and making video games, if that business failed, I was going to open a bakery. <laughs> Many of you probably didn't know this, but that's what I was going to do. I bake bread a lot. I bake bread all the time. I love baking bread because it's like doing chemistry. And I love the shit out of it. I've always enjoyed it. It's very fun. So, likely what I'm going to do is cook my cheese bread. And the way that the cheese bread works is that I use a very, what is called, high temperature Swiss. High temperature Swiss means that it takes a very high temperature for it to melt. There are some brands of Swiss that can do this. So, inside of the bread it creates these these spherical pockets, like this, of Swiss cheese. And when you slice it, it actually leaves those pockets open as you slice through the bread. And if you put this into a toaster, it doesn't melt. So it's a one-slice grilled cheese when you put it in the toaster. It is a single-slice grilled cheese. And it is delicious. It is super, super good. So I'll put the recipe out for that. We'll do a cooking stream for it. I have to figure out the tech for that, though. And then I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it on one of your computers. There you go. Now it's on one of your computers. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah, it's really good. I love one slice grilled cheese. But you got to like Swiss. Not everybody likes Swiss. Not everybody does. Yeah. Don't put it on my computer. It's too late. It's too late. Chat has exploded, dude. How long have I been streaming? I've been streaming for 12 hours. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Twenty-four hour stream, dude. I mean, I mean, Thursday is my day off, and you know, I don't have to do anything tomorrow. Thursday is my day off day. It's Thursday. That's why I take it off. I mean, we could just do the queue. I mean, it's only one button press, right? I mean, it's not, it's not really difficult, is it, right? You know, just, there's only 424 messages in the queue. That's, that's fine, right? Right? Oh, wait, wrong button. Quail Divine with 500 bits said, Hi, Thor. Thanks Hi. to you, I am excited to start my first game, but struggling with ideas. Feeling overwhelmed and having trouble turning ideas into something I can actually start working on. 
Okay. Any advice? Yeah, I actually have a lot of advice for that. So, uh, let me go open up the answer TTS thing. So, I'm excited to start my first game, struggling with ideas, feeling overwhelmed, and having trouble turning into ideas into something I can actually start working on. Any advice? Yeah, so one of the things that I would say is, first, I'm going to take this, and I'm putting it on one of your computers. Enjoy that. Enjoy that. It's yours now. It's yours now. If you're trying to make things, and you're having this kind of issue, a lot of the times I find that doing something like a game jam is a good idea. So let's stop this for a moment. The reason why doing a game jam in that situation is really good is because it gives you restriction. When you have restriction, instead of being overwhelmed completely with ideas, you are forced to choose one idea and run with it because you have a limited time. When you have a limited time, restriction allows you to focus on just that one thing, right? What is this? Nair deserves a challenge coin? You guys want me to give Nair a ch Hey, Nair. Hey, Nair. You there? I can't see Nair anymore. Nair, you there? If you don't know what a challenge coin is, this is one of the pirate software challenge coins. Is Nair even... Wait, are you saying Nair's not even here? No, he is. He's here. Nair is here. Hey, Nair. Get in touch with me on Discord. That was the most outrageous show of support I've ever seen on this platform. And it was something you absolutely did not need to do. And that's the coolest goddamn moment I've ever had here. And while you're not the only one, you definitely led the charge for a grand majority of that. And it's very, very nice of you. So hit me up on Discord. I'll need you to prove that it's you. So thank you. Seriously. There's only 50 of these that we ever made. And uh, this is one of them. Yeah, this is one of them. So, thank you. Thank you for helping us break the all-time record on the platform. 100%. Sent a DM, did you? Let me see. Oh, wait. There's a million DMs. So, if you're wondering if a DM is going to get through to me, I, uh... I have bad news. You should go to the stream chat on Discord and then at me from there. Because <laughs> this is... It's not going to happen. It's just not going to. I don't know where you are in there. It could be anywhere. Discord DMs are an unruly nightmare of a beast. Yeah. Aha, Nair. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stop. No, not all of you. Just Nair. God damn it. You know what's even worse? You know what's even worse? Nair messaged me last month on the 19th, and I never saw his message. You were in one of the groups that got deleted, man. <laughs> Discord lets you get to a certain limit of DMs, and then it just wipes all of your notifications. And he's one of the ones that got into that. Holy shit, dude. And yeah, you absolutely knew me there. Yeah, Discord walled you. It did. Yeah, Discord deleted all my messages. It was a big thing. Holy shit. God damn. So since I'm sure it was lost in the scroll, I just wanted to say that I love what you're doing, both in your streams and your animal rescue. It really is awesome. And it's clear you're very humble about it all, too. Dude, it's it's incredibly humbling. It's insanely humbling. I don't think I feel like I deserve this at all. This is wild to me. I think we worked on some SC2 bugs at some point. That's likely. I was on SC2, I think, for two years. Um, I was on the editor team for a long period of that. Long time. A lot of stuff. Long, long time. And then later in the future, I was doing offensive security stuff for that, too. It's a long while, dude. I wouldn't be surprised. 